You well, I love your Thank hair. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Lockdown is growing long. Yes, I know that. Well, I've, I've had a lockdown cut. So yeah, yeah. Go. I've got my Mine wife definitely to help me does. Out. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Lou, you, you brought us some real goodies on the show. We're talking Ranger. We are. And we there's are. lots to get excited about this hour. There is, because we've got the oxide sprays, because we normally bring the oxide ink pads, yes, yeah. but we've got the sprays this time. So we've got all the benefits that. We get from a pad, but in a nice spray yeah. form now. Which is nice because there are colours here, and we've got various different ways to enjoy the colours. But we know the name. So say picked raspberry. You know that. You might have the ink pad, but now you can work with the oxide. We've got the pins mm. going in. So there's everything going on here. And some beautiful uh, little stencils as I well. I mean, it, yeah, for Tim Holtz, all Ranger and the whole range is about being able to layer. Yeah. So layer your colours, layer the same colours. Mm. But it's he wants everything to be able to layer on top of each other so we can create those multi-layered backgrounds mm. but as quickly as possible. Because his ethos is, you know, get it down, play with yeah. it. Work right out there. what you're going to do with it later. And that, and we are going to be playing with it. You're so knowledgeable, Lou. I love working <laughs> with you. Uh, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We'll whip down the counter, uh, show you everything that we have uh, featured this hour, and then we'll head to Lou for our first demonstration. We're going to start with some ink pads. What I like about this, I know they're the mini, Lou, but you're getting a really nice collection. So effectively, you're getting four and as opposed to buying like one large ink pad, you're getting four different colours. Yeah, I mean, I love the minis. Um, one for storage, yeah. if I'm being honest, because travelling around for me. But also it's an affordability thing because with the bigger ink pads, it's a slightly more expensive. Yeah. Whereas now you can actually get more for your money if get that makes sense. Well, you get and a you wider can, range. And as crafters, we are dreadful. We say like we're only going to start off with one or two yeah. and you get hooked and then you want to add more. Nice tasters as well. Now, uh, you're getting four colours here. I'm just going to lift up the little swatch to show you, and Lou kindly did these for us. Beautiful blend, and this is what you get with Tim Holtz. So the first set of four uh, you're getting in here are wood, uh, w walnut stain, dusty concord, shabby shutters, and picked raspberry. So you're seeing all those beautiful, and, lovely colour palettes. And when you look at the front of the ink pads, you actually think the colours shouldn't blend. Yeah. Um, because you've got that walnut stain, which is obviously a deep, deep colour, but it works beautifully with the deep of the dusky, dusky concord. Yeah. But then it'll work brilliantly with the pink. Yes. Because you obviously, when you think about us working with craft card, we'll go for blues and pinks. So you've got mm. all of them, and they do blend beautifully you together. See that? that is. A a really nice blend. Mm. Okay, twelve ninety nine there. Good price point too. Uh, zero 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 eight three six. Your item number. We do have another set of four. Uh, same item number, but just a different option. This is uh, within this set. You've got your scattered straw, your evergreen bow, bow, salty ocean, and your weathered wood. Nice again. Really tough to choose between the two. And it is. And having the scattered straw to me changes all of those because mix the scattered straw with the salty ocean, you get mm. a yellow green. Oh right. And then with the weathered wood, which is a blue green, which is a blue, yeah, blue, deep blue, yeah, is like, there. Yeah. And you can then change all of them together. Oh, I like that. That's a really nice blend. Do you know mm. that to me. It's got the seaside in it, yeah, all the landscapes. Mm. You've got beautiful sea uh, sky colours too. All right, twelve ninety nine your price if you want to go for that. So two different options for sets of four. So you've either got this option here or this option here. Uh, zero 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 eight three six your item number. Uh, distress markers. Now, how do you tend to use your distress markers? Um, I use mine for colouring images, if I'm honest. Okay. It was actually what got me distress markers got me into watercolouring stamped images oh. because they were in a pen form and they were probably one of the first that I dipped into. So you've got all the distress colours, um, but oh, you've got now nice. the, the ability to either do that very fine tip or you've got the brush tip as well. But you can watercolour them out as I've done at the bottom there. So, so you fine tip here, that's where they're dual tipped. Then you've got your brush tip and a beautiful brush stroke tip to do your lettering. And here you can uh, do your colouring. Yeah, yeah you can. They're, the they're a distress ink. So yeah. therefore you can still do all your distress techniques with them that you want to do as well. And they can blend together, as you know, yeah. with all distress colours, they mm. blend together beautifully. Worn lipstick. I have to say, the names for Ranger are just exceptional. I know. I don't really know where they good. get them from. And this is your I think final Tim Holtz one. said one day that he got them from going round a makeup counter. Uh -huh. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Uh, there we go. And there's your final one, your mustard. Uh, so that's your mustard seed. Right. Details on your screen if you do want to get your set of three there. Eight three zero two six seven. Your item number. Now I know being really busy for our sprays, and they just quality is very good. Here. It is. Um, the oxides had been out a while before the sprays came out because. Mm. 
of the way it has to go through the, the mechanism to be a spray, it took the chemist at Ranger just that little bit longer because okay. um, Tim That's wanted it to still have that oxidized effect we get from the ink pads, yeah. but in a spray formula. Well, that can't have been easy to achieve. No, no. So it, they have been around for a while, but they are beautiful. They're a great way to create quick yeah. backgrounds, and we've still got all the oxidizing effects. Well, we're showing this here. So Lou kindly has done the boards. Now, uh, I'll show you the color, because these come in sets of uh, two. So here we have got our chipped sapphire and our abandoned coral. So there's your abandoned coral, just sprayed out. There's your chipped sapphire. And I've sprayed them onto black and craft cards to show that they work uh, so wow. it's like cream craft and so you, you don't think you have to just oh, so use that's black that's your craft card and there's your white card stock that's excellent Lou, really prepared for this uh, and here is showing the blend as well I and mean, how good do those blend so that's a really nice option there if you do want to go for that so that's your chips out by abandoned coral then We've got our picked raspberry and our broken china. So there's your picked raspberry, your broken china, and the blend of the two. As we go through these boards, that's on white. There's your craft card, and that's your black card stock. Then we have our uh, mermaid's lagoon and our evergreen bow. Bow, I should say. <laughs> we keep doing this. So there we go. So there's your colors, and that's the colors blended. The, I like this one. Mm. This is your pumice stone and your black soot. So there's that pumice stone, black soot, and how well do they mix on there? Beautiful. Over here, we've got the barn door and the scattered straw. So there we go, your scattered straw, your barn door, and a blend of the two. And Lou, you've been so organized. <laughs> thank you. From a presenter standpoint, I thank you for making my life so much easier. Uh, this is your wild honey and your old paper, another great uh, combination here. I mean, old paper if you just mm. want to distress. So there's your wild honey, your old paper, and a mixture of the two. Then we have over here your milled lavender and your seedless preserve. Seedless preserve, milled lavender, mixture of the two. White cardstock, uh, craft cardstock, and your black cardstock. And it shows the difference there. Really organized little. I'm impressed. You can tell you're a teacher. Uh, and then we've got our uh, antique linen and our ground espresso. So antique linen, ground espresso, and then you have the mixture of the two. So those are all of the um, sprays. Apologies, it took a few minutes to get through that, but I think it's important to see them sprayed out. And it's so useful with Lou creating the boards on the different backings as well to see how they look. So thank you for that. Uh, $12.99 your price. You get to pick two, 736, 769, your item number. Busy for this. Right, we're going to move on to some stencils, and we've got a lovely mix here. So uh, we'll start a bit of steampunk. Uh, so here you've got your gears and your uh, gradient dots, $14.99 your price, you are getting both, 066-019 your item number, and if I just drop that down, you'll be able to see, oh, those gradient dots look amazing, and I love the gears too, so that's a nice combo if you want to invest in those, 066-019. Next, and I'm so glad Lou has, she's created boards, which I'm going to show you here, because we were having a production meeting, and you would think, to just look at these, that they're, they're quite, they're, they're nice stencils, but you think they're quite simplistic. But the way they're designed is, if you can see, it's actually got the shapes in between, and that means you can overlay and layer up so you can see that within there. And what it allows you to do are effects like this. See, now that's a game changer, Lou. It is, because, I mean, the one with the honeycomb on, um, mm -hmm. I've shown that you can have the centre clear so you can make a circle, but then on the edges, I've layered them up so you can yeah. keep, do a continued. That's and the cool. idea behind it is you can then create a background for yeah. whatever size you want, knowing that they're each going to line up, whether... Yeah to the side, to the top, to the bottom. They're cool, and you can go as big as you like. Yeah, yeah. totally. At uh, 14.99, your price there, 159.372, your item number. Right, we got something a bit different coming up next. Uh, we got some cracked leather, le leather papers. Not easy to say at this time of the morning. Um, <laughs> do you know what I love about this? Think about, great weight to these, think about front of albums I mean, adding some ink onto the cracked leather would look incredible. So you get that beautiful faux leather effect with the papers. And you've also got your tags in the mix as well. So there you're getting your tags and your cracked leather papers. $18.99, your price there. 766081, your item number. Going to move on. We've got some stamps for you, beautiful stamps. And I uh, have to say, every time, I, I feel like I'm... I'm 
throwing a lot of compliments your way. I don't even think I'm sucking up, Lee, but you really are so knowledgeable. And in our production meeting, you were saying, like, price point here, and I think any crafters will know, twenty two ninety nine for uh, this range is actually a very good price. So uh, twenty two ninety nine for Tim Holtz, you got your cling stamps. There are options. Uh, so this is your Stampers Anonymous. Cool designs are something a little bit different. This is your uh, anatomy in there. Uh, and as we scroll down, <laughs> it's the cat. It wasn't just me. The cat is moving. Um, OK. Then we've got our, our tapestry. And over here, we've got our Renaissance. I will whip them around to show you the quality. They are foam mounted, red rubber, beautiful, beautiful uh, stamps. Look at that and the detail. That you are getting. Okay, we've got to move on. Uh, six seven uh, six nine seven three eight six your item number. Last but certainly not least, we got examination for you. Just having a little look. There's some cool elements in here, and this is what Tim Holtz does. He brings his own personality and something a little bit quirky and different. Thirty ninety nine is your price. Three uh, three zero four hundred your item number. And we will be playing with everything on the show. Right, uh, enough from me. We're going to jump onto the website and then we're over to Lou for a play. There is lots to discover, so please feel free at your leisure to have a look at the website and discover whether it is the stencils. You want to go through all the options with the sprays. We've got the pens. Uh, I know the sprays are very popular, and I think Lou is gearing up to uh, demonstrate some sprays in just a moment. If there are any colors you particularly want to see, please get in touch, and that is the real beauty of Hochando, and we will uh, do our best to accommodate you. So you can email in studio at Hochanda.com. Lou, are you okay? You're looking around for something. You're no, right. No, that's fine. Yeah. You know when you just just double checking everything. Okay. Right. The, the sprays. I'm going to go for my first colour, which is the purples. I'm not a purple person, right. and the main reason for it is I struggle to blend it. But these actually pairings are brilliant. The seedless preserve um, is like a pink purple. Yeah. Now in the in the bottle, you'll hear there's a little ball bearing. Oh yeah. And the idea is shape them from side to side. Now Tim Holtz says you know life is too short. Yeah. The reason you shape them from side to side is if you're not careful what happens is it travels up and it makes all this gunky yeah. and then it gets in your lid and he just literally says life is too short get a towel yeah. and shake them like that. Give it a shake. And do a proper shake. I mean that's a proper shake. Yeah. Right. Um, no and then any around. ink is on your towel oh, not on your hand good. sort of thing. So that, that's yeah. that's what he actually suggests. We but had a, um, a question yet. Mm. Do you mind if I uh, yeah, show go that for it. So it's from Emma and she wants to know what's the bit and this is actually a common question. What's the difference between inks and oxides? Okay, the oxide, I'm trying to see if I've got one that I haven't shaken up to show you. Yeah. Oh well, it's gonna be a little bit tricky. Um, so the oxides are made of pigment and dye. So the traditional um, distress ink pads are dye, which means when we use them they're more of a translucent effect. Okay. So what the sides were was Tim wanted something different so he wanted to be able to do have the translucence but also have another extra thing to it so that's right. the oxide so when you see the spray here down the bottom here which is white uh, yeah. is where all the pigment is and the clearer color up here is the dye and yeah. it's the fusion of the two together that creates uh, the oxides uh, okay. so then when we add water we can then oxidize them out so this part here it just gives it like a lovely chalky effect yeah. um, so, so it gives you just that little bit option of doing both together. Nice. Okay. I'm going to put that back with its pairing before I forget which ones they are. <laughs> I've tried to be... So, I'm going to give that a good shake. You can hear the ball bearing yep. at the bottom of it. And we'll keep that tissue. So I've got... Um, I like... I'm only working in a tray to make it easier for mm -hmm. you guys when it comes to clearing up later. Yeah. But I like to work on a background. Okay. Um, so, like Leone works on card, I like tissue paper to make Lovely. my own rice yeah, papers. Yeah. Getting the most out of everything. Mop up. So, I thought what I'd do is I've got the crack leather and then I've got a piece of black card as mm. well. So, we can see how they work. Because actually, when you spray them from the white, so if I do the seedless preserves, you can see there. I mean, that is just ridiculously intense. And then you see it on the black. It's a slightly, you can see the different colour there, but it's a yeah. slightly darker version. But it doesn't mean you're not going to get the, the same effect. So I'm if impressed, I... Lou, that you're actually able to get such an intense colour on the black. So a lot of time when we lay colour onto black, it's lost. It is lost. And that's one of the benefits of the oxide. Because of the pigment that's in here and that oxidisation, it will actually give that. So that's the two muddled together. Mm. And, and you can see, so the idea is you can layer your colours on. The more you put on, obviously, the, the longer it'll take to dry. Yeah. But you can carry on layering. And the idea, 
with all of distress and the idea with tin is that keep going now that is a lot on there if I added some water it would blend these now if I turn my gadget on if I turned it off it will start blending them so you can still do your blending techniques you can still get them to move yeah. if that's what you want them to do so if I add some water but the more water you put on when this dries more of the chalky you can start seeing some of the chalky effect coming there yeah, yeah. the oxidization but it's the same on the black and um, you really notice it more when you can see here mm. the oxidization you oh, can yeah. really notice it a little bit more on the black than you can actually on the white but if we dry them normally at home I would put these to one side yeah um, it's not that you don't need to use a heat tool it's just I think sometimes with a lot of sprays and inks it's nicer to you know do that you can see the full effect so let's do that so I've put a lot of the ink on mm -hmm. and a lot of water now this is on the cracked leather and and I love the cracked leather because you can actually see where the two colors I'll stop the gun for the moment have mixed you can see where the cracked leather then allows you to have a um, oh yes the darker in the cracked bits but then you've got the lighter color on the top yeah, it's on the blending we like that. for you straight away it's so, that cracked effect on the leather too it's brilliant it's great I mean with that leather paper if you wanted to create the effect of an old book yep. you get that instant um, so that's not brilliantly dry but it'll do and I'll dry this one off now you see I've smushed that but that doesn't matter so we've got that there. You can start to see a little bit more on the black there, how beautiful that oxidization nice. with the milled lavender and the two. And where I've added the water, and they've had a chance to blend and really oxidize there, you can see where the, the pigment in between the two coming out together. And that's what the oxide sprays were about. It oh, was yeah. to have where the dye would give you the translucent effect, but you've got the pigment there that gives you then that extra yeah, that's punch. That's a great background. And I mean, I think that on the black is absolutely yeah, superb. So I put them to to dry to one side, okay. and then what? I've got low. You know, you've got loads of bits here. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm trying to do it now. I know we've got different cardstock on there. Let's just yeah. move those out of the way, and I'll grab another two colours. So I want to try and show as many of the colours mm. as possible. Okay. We are busy for our sprays. What I would say to you now is, um, if there's any particular pairings that you really want to go for and you have your heart set on it um, do and I'm not trying to force you into checking out but I don't want you to miss out because there is a possibility we don't know what will happen but we could lose options so right now all options are in stock so if you have got it in your baskets do check out and that way you're assured you will get hold of it right just to show you what I was meaning about um, shaking up and down so that's shaking it with the tissue mm -hmm. this is me shaking it up and down and not having the tissue on so then I lose all that lovely ink all wrapped around the top yeah, of my yeah. bottle okay. so, so why waste it yeah. is to be quite frank so I'm gonna go for the um, broken china and the picked raspberry and we'll do some of those now you can work on lots of different cardstock it will work in slightly different ways because some cardstock being watercolor you know will it's a bit like anything will work better with a liquid whereas some of the others with like a super smooth it will sink in and dry really mm -hmm. quickly that doesn't mean you can't get really cool effects yeah. either so let's create a background then I'll do some of the stencils over the top so this is the pick raspberry and we've got it on the now this is um, a coated a card color. stock and yeah. it's a beautiful so I just want to give that a quick blast nice. and this is on one of the tags we've got yeah uh, it comes with the uh, leather paper the correct leather paper yeah. I cannot now, and I blame Leonie for this, she's in the studio, I blame <laughs> you for this Leonie. Picked raspberry now, for me, is always going to be pickled raspberry. Yeah. Yeah. It's all down to Leonie. All right, pickled raspberry. So, yeah. now, we'll dab some of that off just to speed it up. Okay. And because I'm dabbing some of it off, it's giving me a little bit of the illusion as if I'd added some water. So before I sprayed the two colors on together so if I just grab one of the stencils and just put it on the top yeah and I'm just gonna give this another I can then spray but you you don't have to go through the whole stencil think of different parts of it oh that's nice so yeah. then if I put that on the top of that there because I'm not gonna waste it let's grab another piece of card you are a true crafter Lou I love it <laughs> well at home I'd probably get my journal out yeah but it's lovely having different backgrounds uh -huh. right okay so let's do that there and keep that and I'll work on that later yeah. but then I've got the stencil background there 
and so you can still layer on the colors are then starting to blend so i've got because i've dried it the the broken china is still standing out a little bit more i mean if you want to get perfect blends with the oxide sprays drying in between the layers gives you that if you want to get more where we did before that the colors merge together yeah do you know do that so you can get it sprays are brilliant for quick easy easy backgrounds now i know we've got them in pairings but it doesn't mean that other sets aren't going to work with each other does that make sense no, as yeah, well of course it does yeah well they're all designed to to yeah. work together really so i've got my tags there so if i then i'm going to put this back over again and let's i'm going to not waste any of this ink mm -hmm. i'm going to put that over again and then i'm just going to spray some of the water on the top and I'm going to use a tissue, but if you've got a blending tool, use a blending tool. Yeah. All the techniques we do with regular inks, we can do now with the oxides. So where those now have blended together, and I've put the water, the water takes away a bit of the colour, but also kickstarts some of the oxidisation. Oh, okay. So we can see, it's, it's not bleaching as such, it creates that beautiful... Um, chalky effect but now by putting the water on I've reactivated again and I've now got a slight purple shade to the two going together Lovely. so you, you can keep going and you can keep making backgrounds so all the different techniques we do I'm not gonna waste that sorry I'm just gonna put that there so all the different backgrounds we do yeah. um, with our regular inks you can do with sprays so let's just put those there I will get them and I'm just gonna clean my stencil on my tissue paper okay <laughs> only because why not? why not now what I have done here is I've taken um, one of the distress um, sensors we've got on gears and I've used the um, distress crackle paste now that is on the website and I've also used the matte medium because we can still go over it will create like a resist effect for the the gel medium yep. but for the crackle it will actually stain some of the crackle and go in between the gaps so we can create different colors so you know when you go and you've got lots of choice here it's like oh let's go f I know I don't know which one to go for first or which I'll tell you what let's go for barn door I'm trying Good to choice. you know when you I'm trying to get as many of the colors yeah. in as like quickly it. barn door is a great color though. oh it's a superb yeah. color yeah. do you have favorites um I'm more of a blue green person yeah. I do okay. like them but the barn door I have to say candied apple I know we haven't got it on the show wild honey is oh, one of nice my one. favorites yeah. But then things like that, we've got um, the pumice stone. Yeah. Now, that is an underrated, because depending on what colour you mix with that, other colours pop out. Oh, that's interesting. So if I just spray, so this is the barn door. Oh, look at that. And I'm going to spray it now colour. on the black. Yeah. And then we'll add a little bit of the scattered straw. Uh -huh. Lovely, intense colour. Here we go. Yeah. And we can go there. Shake it up, Louise. That's it. Way. Right. So I'm just going to give that a quick blast. And so where we've done, you, I've used the stencils. Mm. Where we've used them before, you can still use all your paste, all your mediums that you've mm. got before. I mean, on the black here, we can see the colours, and you can start to see all the oxidisation. Oh yeah. I oh, think the black for demo great. purposes probably shows off a little bit more of the effects. Lou, that looks really, really good. Really good, and with the stencil as well. That's and that's the stencil, stencil we've got on now, and um, the texture paste. So you can see where I've done the texture paste. I'll keep drying as I'm talking. Mm. Um, I finally got a quiet heat gun, so I can. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> but you can see going through the crackle paste oh, there. That. It's gone to the card behind. Plus I've got all the other layers. So I've got the black still showing, but I can still go on top and create all the different that layers great Lou we're halfway um, okay. through the show would you mind if I had a quick no, recap and then we got back to you is that okay yes certainly brilliant uh, we're gonna have very, very quickly just show you everything uh, that we're featuring this hour thank you so much for tuning in uh, apologies if you did tune in for the start of the show uh, we did have a few technical issues but we are now uh, live let's have a look at the set of four ink pads so there's two different options here we will start with this option I'll just lift up and show you uh, Lou's kindly made boards for everything that you're gonna be seeing so having a look you've got your walnut stain your dusty concord uh, your shabby shutters 
and your picked raspberry. So those are, I mean, they all work beautifully together. So that's one set of four, that's one option. Then your second option, uh, set of four, this works really well. Your scattered straw, you've got your evergreen bow, uh, your salty ocean, and then your weathered wood. But look at that, it is a beautiful beach scene. Now this is the most popular option. I'm not surprised, because I really do think those set of four work perfectly together. I mean, here for your sky tones, ski tone, uh, your uh, sky tones and your sea tones, uh, and then you've got your, uh, in here, sort of like your landscapes going through to the sky, and that could be your beachy scenes as well. $12.99 is your price, 000836, your item number. You just pick which set of four works for you. Now we've got the uh, markers. So these, uh, I like these. I like how they they come across, because they enable you to get the same effects you would with the inks, but obviously from a pen. Lou's kindly just shown us uh, what these look like. So you've got your Ranger Tim Holtz Distress Markers. Uh, there's the broken, uh, well, we'll start with the mustard seed here. So your mustard seed, that's in the fine point because they are jewel tipped. Then you've got your brush tip for that lovely lettering. And this is just the color pulled out because obviously it is an ink. Uh, then we have our fine broken china, beautiful blue. There's a brush nick, and then there's the uh, fine, and then you've got the uh, pulled out color. And then we have our worn lipstick, fine, uh, that's fine tip, brush tip, and that's the color pulled out. So those are your set of three. Nice cut, if I just show you actually, all the colors together, they do work well. So you can just see three colors, I think, complement each other quite nicely. 830267, your item number. Sprays are busy. If you want to get a hold of your spray, so your oxide sprays, seeing the effects and watching Lou have a play. Come on, how can you not want to play with these? So you've got a spray, but where these set themselves apart from other sprays, you've still got the oxide effect. So uh, you're getting these beautiful oxide. Let me go through the boards and show you why these are so special. So Lou has done a great job with these boards. I'll explain because what she's done, those are your two colors. Uh, and then this color's mixed, but she's done them on white cardstock down this column, and this will be the same for everything that I show you. Uh, the center column's on craft card, and the uh, final column's on black cardstock, but you get to see how your oxides really play. So let's whip through these. Uh, this is your abandoned coral at the top, but you see the difference from black to white, and then you've got your craft in the middle. Uh, this is your chipped sapphire, and this is the two together. Beautiful, Re really nice, they work very well together. Okay, that's one option. Next option, uh, we have our picked raspberry at the top there. Then you have your uh, broken china. And then finally, the two together. Again, just works really well. I think the team have done a good job picking the color combos here. Uh, this is your mermaid lagoon and your ever, uh, evergreen bow. So there's your mermaid lagoon, your evergreen bow, and the two together. That's another color combo like this one. So Lou was saying like pumice stone is one of those, it could be a secret in your crafty stash because it allows you to discover different colors, color tones. Then you've got your black soot, which is another nice color to have. And that's the two together. It's got a bit of a galaxy type effect, the team was saying earlier on. Then we have our barn door, which you can see there. Uh, and your scattered straw, which is another color I know Lou. Well, Lou likes both of those. And you can see how well they complement each other. Over here, we have our wild honey and our old paper. So getting those sort of distressed looks, wild honey, old paper, and then mixed. And then we have our milled lavender, which you can see there, our seedless preserve, and the two mixed. And finally, we have our antique linen and our ground espresso, another really decadent color combo. 736, uh, 7, uh, 769, your item number, if you want to go for those. You're picking sets of two. But where they stand apart from the rest is it's a spray, but you're getting oxides in a spray. Right, we're going to move on. We've got some lovely stencils for you. Uh, you had a little sneaky peek at one of these. So you've got your gears and your gradient, uh, gradient dots. Just showing you how they look. I mean, those dots look so good, and I love the gears as well. So uh, nice combo, 06609, your item number there. This next stencil, they're interesting in how they work. So you'll notice that you've got, obviously, the design cut out. But then you also have, within the uh, transparency of the mylar, the outline engraved. 
And what that allows you to do is line up your stencil and then achieve different effects. So you're, you're stenciling through, moving the stencil around and lining up. Uh, it works for the same way for both of them, and I'll show you the kind of effects you'll be able to achieve. So you really need to see, and I'm so glad Lou has done this, because you need to see the stencils used to appreciate how good they are. $14.99 is your price there. One five nine three seven two. your item number. Now we're going to move on to some papers for you. These are different papers. I, I haven't seen these papers on Hochanda before. So you've got a beautiful cracked leather. Look at this. So get your inks on there. If you wanted to, I mean, for album making, I'll just show you, you can see that beautiful cracked leather effect. So creating the illusion of a book that's just been discovered. You know, it could be a hundred year old book. You know, when you get leather that's really old and distressed. And then you've got your tag in the mix as well with the reinforced eyelet. So you're getting uh, those within there. So you're getting your tags and you're getting your papers. 1899 your price, 766081. Over here we've got some stamps. Uh, so this is your stamp as anonymous. You've got three different options with it's funny how it's only when I lean there. Uh, so having a little look, $22.99 your price for the individual uh, options. So let's start with the anatomy and I will whip that around and you can see. Yeah, look at this red rubber, foam mounted, pre-cut. This is good stuff. Down here we have got our Renaissance. And, oh sorry, there's tapestry. And that's your Renaissance. There we go. That's your uh, Renaissance. And there is your tapestry. Brilliant. Okay, so those are your three options there. And then finally we have... This is your examination. Uh, examination, so I mean that is a, look, look at that, the size of that as a red rubber stamp. Uh, foam mounted, beautiful quality, 330, 400 your item number. Let's jump onto the website as we head back to Lou for our next demonstration. Any questions, please get in touch. So we're showing how easy it is to shop by brand. Just type in Ranger and you'll be able to see all the goodies on the show. Do explore, there's lots to discover. You've got your uh, distressed markers in there, there's inks, there's sprays. There's, uh, oh, there's lots to do, behold, so have a little look. I mean, great way to really stock up on your stash. So uh, treat us as your, your local store and we deliver to your door. Oh, that's, that's quite good. I was very impressed with that. Just, can we, I, I wanted to take credit for that if that's used. Your local store and we deliver to your door. Uh, okay, uh, we're gonna head back to Luke for our next demonstration. I just wanted to quickly show, so that was the one that I did with the gel medium, the matte medium, yeah. and I've just wiped off the excess ink from it, so I've still got all the oxidization of the two colors between, mm. but you can create that resist effect. Yeah. Right, so I've grabbed another piece of the cracked leather, and I'm going to use the uh, ground espresso and the pumice stone. Okay. And um, I think when we think about darker colors, I think we automatically sit there and think they they should they won't work because the darker mm. color will overpower the lighter color yeah. and it, it's not it, it, yes they can if you you know if you sit there and put Classic. one color more than yeah. the other but it, it can work in a totally different way so what i want to do is i just want to do another resist technique okay. so i'm going to use the pumice stone and i'm just going to spray through the um gear stencil that we've got here so i'm just going to move that to one side i won't waste that ink but what i want to do is I actually just want to put some embossing powder. Oh, okay, cheeky, yeah. On the top. So if you haven't got a gel medium, but you have got an embossing powder, the resist technique will work exactly the yeah. same that way. Nice. So we'll just quickly heat that up. So what I'm doing now is all I'm doing is I'm embossing using the sprays to act as um, like an embossing ink. Yeah. Embossing powder just needs a wet um, surface to, to adhere, adhere to. to. But I would imagine if you go, say, for a clear embossing powder, having that over the top of your inks will give the ink a different look. Yeah, I mean, we have on the website, which would even be even cooler, we have the Distress Glaze embossing. Oh, yeah. So if you, I put this down and then I took something as a total contrast, like a yellow or an orange, I would change the colours. Now, see, the pumice stone is mixed. It's, it's a, it's a beautiful colour. It's got so many depths to it because you can see the lighter colour, but you can also see the, a darker colour on the undertone. Nice. So we'll just heat that up. Okay. Right. 
so I've just done that down the side. Now, because it's a wet ink, you're not always going to get the crisp Christmas you really want from um, your designs. But I love that, actually. It, that it takes, looks good. But it takes away a little bit of... I think sometimes we put too much pressure on ourselves to have just so. Yeah, no, I, look, I think that looks great. <laughs> but so I'm just going to spray this now with the, the espresso. Oh, OK. Well, that's interesting. So we've got that together. So we've got the pumice stone. So now what will happen is I just want to let this dry. I'm going to put a little bit of water on here just because I want to add some of the oxidisation yeah. into the um, ground espresso. I love the ground espresso. It's, um, it's a bit like we always used to go around edges of things um, like the walnut yeah. stain. Yeah. To me, the ground espresso has that. So now if I take this away I'm going to take the excess away the embossing powder oh, that works. has given me the resist yeah I so this is a way of doing it if you wanted to do that use the two colors together but I've also got like a matte and a shiny That's, can, can you yeah, see so I've got the shine no. from the embossing powder but I've got the matte and the oxidization where the the that water droplets really in so that is a way if you didn't know how, you know, if you didn't want to know, I'll start again, Louise, put your teeth in. If you wanted to play with the colours and get used to mixing a darker one with a lighter one, yeah. that is a way to, you know, begin in. Love it. Right, okay. so what I have got, she says, have I here? Oh, I'm going to grab a white piece of card. So I'm just going to use them, the two colours together so you can see them work. Mm -hmm. And... And you can layer on the top of each other. Okay. What colours did we use? And that's the same too. That's the okay. pumice stone and the espresso. ground espresso again. Um, I've got the cable. Yeah. It's nice it's showing here how the darker colours, don't be afraid to go for those dark colours no, like don't. the ground espresso. No, because we, when we've got such a range of the ink colours on the top. Now, so we've got quite a dark background, but then if I chose something like the picked raspberry once this was dry and blasted on the top of that, they will highlight. Now this is, um, as you can see, this is like a matte effect cardstock. So this is show, trying to show everybody. You will get a different effect with your oxide sprays and your oxide ink pads, depending on what surface you obviously, you know, work on. So that's got that shows all the different beautiful how they work together. Mm. And, and you can. So. What, when you look at them, you think, oh, it's a dark pairing. I'm not yeah. going to be able to do anything with that. It, you know, they work absolutely beautifully Could together. Could we see, on a Grand Espresso comes with antique linen. Could yeah. we see those two together, just see how they get on? Um, you want, right, antique linen. Let me just, you know, antique linen. Antique linen is there. Can yeah. see it for look. Just, right. I mean, I would imagine the same sort of principle because you've got light and dark yep. sort of playing against each other. Yeah, each of the colours, when they break down, you see lots of other colours. So when I did the pumice mm. stone to start um, with, you saw all the greys and the browns yeah. and it has a bit... So let's grab a tag. And the pumice stone comes with black soot. Is black soot yep. a scary colour? Um, no. No, it's, it's the same Could like the ground express. Well, can you see that? The, the pumice so stone which one have we got? Soot? Antique linen and the black soot? Okay. Uh, yeah, no, pumice stone and the black soot. Oh. Sorry, I'm throwing you around here. That's okay. I'll just give the punish, uh, the black soot a bit of a shake. Yeah. Right, so we can do... So you could go... So let's go... Right, let's go scary and make it dark and see what we can then do with okay. it. Does that make... Because yeah. nine times out of ten, we're always worried about um, making mud. How would you... How would you tend to use your black soot? Um, I love the black soot actually on the black card mm -hmm. because when you add the water, let's grab a piece of black card. I would imagine, I, I would have thought it had been lost on the black card. So I'll do both at the same yeah. time. So that's it. Can you see it's more grey than black on the yeah. black? So I've got more of a grey, right. a grey effect yeah. than I have a black effect. So if I put some, I'm just going to put a little bit of water and I want. I don't want to spray it. I just want to very put... Very sparing, yeah. Well, I, I want to um, have bigger chunks okay. of the water. More of a dribble. So where I've got the black soot on the... where the water's coming through, mm. on the grey, it's showing grey. I'm seeing... I'll dry it off seeing the skull thing. there? So, it... I love it because now I've got a black and a grey just in one spray. I, and I know that sounds really bizarre. Yeah. 
So suddenly it takes, it's no longer black. I've got a grey background on a black, as you can, oh, that's a brilliant camera that's shot. Superb, that is superb. Well, thank Holly. <laughs> so you can see I've got more of a grey yeah. than a black. Nice. So the black, uh, to me, mm -hmm. takes away um, if a background is really, really dark. Yeah. So if I just dry this one off and I'll just dab it and then I'll put the um, antique linen over the top. Mm -hmm. Tim was saying it's quite satisfying seeing it dry too. It's it, a beautiful oxide uh, shape. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I would spray a whole lot and just leave them to dry. Yeah. Um, only heat guns are, are fantastic. If you, but sometimes it's nice as well just to see them dry mm. and naturally. Of course, put them to one side. So we've gone scary with black soot. So there's the black soot, and yeah. I've added the water on. So it's quite. So you can oh, see where good. the water is. Now, to me, that's quite a cool background. Yeah. That's Suddenly, nice. but then on you see on the black card, I know it's really tricky to see. I've got more of a grey effect than yeah. I have a black effect. Love that. So depending on what medium you use, mm. the colour doesn't have to be scary. Okay. So if I take So this is your pumice stone? Yeah. So let's grab, I'll keep using I'll use That's a nice one. So we have got the stencil, so there's the gears that come with your graded dots. And we'll put this over the top, and this is the pumice stone. And we'll put that over the top there, and we'll Blue. do the same. That looks great. Over this one, I love these sprays. stencils. Love I won't waste. Sprays. So now I've got the pumice stone going on the top, uh -huh. and the black suddenly. Now, what would be really, really cool now, where I did the embossing effect, you know, like added embossing powder. Mm. If I added embossing powder to the wet ink on there, that would make the pumice stone. Or the antique linen, sorry, we used. Was it antique linen? I can't remember. Mm -hmm. um, that would make it then stand out in a different way yeah. again, she says. So on the black, suddenly the two together to me just work. Oh, Do you I like I just... about the oxides? Because you might not. We've all got sprays at home. I, I've got sprays at home, but I don't have sprays that work as an oxide. Uh, no. And that's what makes oxides are very unique as an ink. And uh, to be able to get that oxidized effect but within your sprays. Very appealing. It is, and once you've once you've got your backgrounds done, you can use your normal distress inks. It's easier to do it um, to do your background with the oxides first, and then use your distress inks yeah. on top. Because the distress inks are translucent, they would get lost if you did it the other way round oh, underneath okay. the oxide spray. Yeah. So dab that excess bit off. So there, suddenly the two colours together work absolutely beautifully. And I mean, I'm just going to think that. Is me, so that is a tag I made, and that is all the excess bits from the boards mm -hmm. I made. So, just that's made a background straight away, and using up the black and the white. But oh. I can then go back over. So this. Love that. As you're doing that, Lou, uh, we had a e great email in from Jane. I want to squeeze that in before the end of the show. So, by accident, I came up with the tagline: "We your local store, we deliver to your door." Uh, Jane has carried that on. <laughs> I tell you what, we. we we're going to get it printed out and I'll read it out. So we'll uh, try and do that. I really want to get that in before the end of the show. So uh, hopefully we'll, we will do that. So these were my scrap backgrounds. And I have to thank Leonie. She, I know she's in the studio, but I'm not doing it because she's in the studio. Yeah. Um, and Leonie was saying that we keep all these little bits, but we keep forgetting about joining them together yeah. and making another background. So all I've done now is I've sprayed the antique linen on yeah. the top again. And I've got another layer on top of a layer. Oh, nice. So I can keep, you know, we can keep going and going and going. So you can do more and more with your backgrounds. Brilliant. So they don't have to be, like you were saying, they don't, the dark colours yeah. don't have to be scary. They can make don't equally be as beautiful. Lou, thank you so much. So Lou will be back at 11 o'clock. Please make sure to tune in because I know Lou's got so much more she'd love to share with you. Jane, I'm going to do you justice. So here we go. This is a poem by Jane. So, uh, treat us as your local store, we deliver to your door. Straight from here, the studio floor, if you want, there's plenty more. We have great value, bundles galore, switching on, knocks on our door. Uh, we are the home of crafts for sure, and hobbies and arts, and all of our presenters are good looking. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> ran out, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Sorry, I ran out of Jane, you're a star. Thank you so much. Uh, thanks for watching as well. Big thank you to the very talented Lou. Uh, Lou will be returning at 11. Please tune in because we really do have some great demonstrations. Hope you're enjoying your start to the day. Plenty more, though, coming up.
so we got a phenomenal one day special Stamperia and it's going to be the wonderful Paola and Leonie taking you through there. After that we got All and Create, The Weekend Wow and then Oakwood Garden Couture's or Creatures. Have you heard of Achanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Achanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with Achanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888 and join Hachanda Freedom today. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we're honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, my name is Maggie and I'm from Impressions Crafts. Um, I've been running my business now for 15 years. It's a small family-run business in the south of Cheshire. We have a large craft shop and we sell all sorts of beading and jewellery supplies. Um, I have a passion for making jewellery. I love working with um, the Lucite style flower beads and we make thousands and thousands of angels and have been doing so for the last few years. We've been bringing uh, to Hachanda Lots of lovely beading kits, jewellery uh, for necklaces and bracelets and earrings. And we also bring a wide range of angels and accessories, beading accessories like bookmarks. And we also have our range of laser cut, uh, sun catchers and mobiles, all the lovely crafty beads. Hope you can tune into my shows and looking forward to seeing you on her channel. Hi, I'm Lucy from Sweet Poppy Stencils, the Craft Station Limited. We're a craft retailer and we specialise in stainless steel stencils. Our stencils are manufactured in metal. Uh, but this allows us to have designs that are intricate. We also have new products coming on board. Um, our craft bonds, our uh, pole drops and acrylic paints are joining us. We've recently joined Hachanda and we're really excited. This allows us to demonstrate and show our products. Um, we know customers like seeing um, the demonstrations. So make sure you tune in and don't miss the Sweet Poppy shows on Hachanda. Hi, my name's Mel and I'm from Crafty Devils down in Devon. We are a family run business and we've been established for about 16 years now. We're known for our MDF products and our mediums. All of our MDF products are produced in Devon in the UK and we have a wide variety of products to inspire you. If you watch Hachanda, you'll see us put together and decorate our designs to inspire you so that you can make your own crafting projects. So make sure you tune in to all our Crafty Devil shows on Hachanda. Well, why 
what a wonder special we have. And now, of course, it's from Estamperia or Estamperia. I think that's that's how you would pronounce it. I think, well, that's how you pronounce it in Spanish. I don't know, in Italian. We got, of <laughs> course, the Estamperia. Uh, now I cannot say it properly. Estamperia, of course, is an Italian company based in Budapest, apparently. All right, but who is based here in Handel is our <laughs> gorgeous and amazing and inspirational. And, you know, can I say it? Uber talented that no matter what craft you throw at her, she excels at it. And of course, it's our Leone. Thank you very much. That's lovely. Yeah, don't about excels. Sometimes I kind of wing, you know, oh, wing it a prayer. Well, you <laughs> might wing it, but you excel at winging it. <laughs> Thank you. It it's could true. be worse. It it's could true. be worse. You know, we have known each other for, I don't know, over 10 years. Sorry, or, you right, know, actually, 14, 14, you 14 day, years, actually. I think. Yeah, yeah. 14 years. And the, re the thing is that you keep amazing me. And I, this is, I'm not saying because uh, Leon is here, but it, it, it's truly, no matter what a style, no matter what products, you kind of transform them. But of course, it does help when you have, or you enjoy, you know, when you have got a collection like the one that's yeah, special. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it certainly does. I mean, the, the collection is just inspiring anyway. And Tony's is amazing. And I tell you what I do love about Stamperia. When, um, like on YouTube, they've got so much education now. They like do. the other day when I were prepping. And it's not necessarily, when you watch their education, it's not necessarily that you're just going to repeat what they're doing. It's just when you're in that moment, you're crafting along with them and you pick things up and it's lovely Absolutely. and then you'll put your spin on it just like the shows you Absolutely. know but I really like that and I just love the the stamp period team because they just they there seems to be people from every, you know, Absolutely. corner of the globe working with Stamperia. And it's wonderful. And then, you know, I was saying last night, I was watching it and there were all these fabulous accents and all, you know, they could all speak a lot, you know, all these languages. And then there's me. <laughs> Just a little secret <laughs> uh, for us, you know, are we from all different parts of the world. Your accent sounds as exotic and as beautiful as all those ones. So, right, yeah, it's exotic. I, you know, to be honest, I thought uh, Leonie was the Spanish when I first I came to this country. Because Pujol is a Pujol. Spanish surname. Yeah. Anyway, moving on from that conversation. Now, Stamperia. Now, uh, of course, it is a fabulous collection. It's the under the sea uh, or the sea world. What you are getting is that signature style from Antonis and Stamperia. We always joke with Leone, don't we, that those papers have got such an amount of detail and yes. layers. Yes. But every every yep. element. Uh, yep, and they are. I think the thing is with these as well. It's one of those where you you kind of they're that beautiful. It's where to start, and because you're only getting one of each paper, it means if you can get more than one. Oh, that's upside down. Then obviously I would go for it. But they're absolutely sensational. Stamperia are so good at. Um, Add a layering, like you said, and the collage element. I mean, they're just phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. I love one of the things I absolutely adore about Stamperia collections is the way that you have got borders within even a plain one. The way that you have an amazing, gorgeous, uh, you know, elements in here. The rust element, the collage, the way that you are getting all those beautiful colors as well. I absolutely love the elements in here. Now, this uh, that I'm showing is a 12 by 12 you can see words in here you can see the beautiful glorious girl in there and you can see as well the, the amazing layers as well you can see the words in here you can see how you have got also quarters so that means that six by six eight by eight oh again <laughs> sorry there was a reason I just knocked it again uh, Marty's gonna go I have to go and at some point and rescue it just again Sorry, I was just gonna put it aside, so therefore, uh, my fault entirely. Uh, you know, let's just start the day as we mean to go on, just making mistakes and fixing them up. As, uh, yeah. <laughs> and you can see even the backing paper, even the paper that is on the back, you have is printed. Uh, like Leone was saying, if you can't go for an extra, I don't know if you can, no, I don't think you can go, go to get two of them because I think it has sold out 
about individually. See, the only way to go for is with the one day special. That's the 12 by 12, and then you have also the 8 by 8. They're the same designs, that beautiful, gorgeous under the sea collection, but of course, reduced in size, which means that you have got twice as many options for the same design. Again, one of each design, double sided. You know what? I'm gonna, not going to show all of them because they are the same designs. However, you are also getting a stamp uh, set. Now, I'm going to show what Leone has print out because when you see the packaging, it's inspiring. It's beautiful, already gives you an idea. But however, look at the size. Now, let me show you the stamp itself. You can see here the absolute stunning detail that you are getting. It's she's like kind of one of the, I was gonna say it's, it's one of these kind of mermaid heads that it's on top of a boat you know that kind of it, it has got that amazing mysterious element and then you have all those kind of mechanicals in here as well and I love her earrings the anchors mm -hmm. as well you have words like sea as well and you have got all those mechanicals from maybe a you know, under the sea ship, maybe, or just a ship that kind of goes over the sea. I don't know, whatever, mm -hmm. whichever way. <laughs> 30 pounds and 47 pounds is the one day special. You are, ha ha you have a five pound saving and I will be quick to get it because 40%, approaching 40% of the stock has already gone. 447858 is your item number. Now, of course, like we were mentioned, St. Peter is, is based abroad and it will be, uh, there is a little bit of an extended delivery. Uh, it will be dispatch from the 4th of March. I love March is from the corner, but it's beautiful. Those samples that I think this one is by is it by Vicky Papai Noel? Yes. Oh, I, you know, I love her stuff. Mm. Uh, look for her on social media. She's also a very sweet lady. I met her a couple of times and she is absolutely as beautiful uh, as her projects are. Uh, now, she, I lo love how her tutorials as well because she kind of has a style that is kind of very vibrant with color, but then she will do something like this that is kind of absolutely stunning. Right, if you want your wonder special, remember approaching 40% of the stock has already gone under the sea. 12 by 12 papers, 8 by 8 papers, and of course, stamps. Right, moving on to another stamp set that is part of the collection, however, is different. So if you wanted to add it on, you will not have repeats. Uh, this is the seahorse. Again, beautiful detail that you are getting here. And again, I'm going to show you the printout. So you can see the real size. You know what? I really, really love this one, Leona. I love with Antonis because he's got, um, you know, he loves all the mechanical sort of distress stuff, all yeah. the rusty stuff. And these have got, uh, they just look steampunk, don't they? They do. It's such a steampunk kind of collection. And I just think it's a really clever collection. They are really nice stamps. The thing is with these as well, because they are a very, the, the stamps are um, really um, flexible. Yes. So it means if you're going round boxes, if you're going, you know, around things, cylinders, yes. whatever, then they're really, really flexible. And that's something, because Antonis is really really into his mixed media. That's something that he, he wanted, so it allows him more Absolutely. flexibility of use. Absolutely. And I... <laughs> <laughs> that close. Uh, 16 pounds and 99 pence is a stamp set. Uh, now you are getting all those beautiful images with that. Seize the day and seize the day by checking out your baskets. 143825 is your item number. 16 pounds and 99 pence is the price. Now we... We have rice papers. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> All right. So these ones are different from one that we, because we came in this early this morning. And I was like, oh, but uh, they did sell out last night. No, well, no, these are different ones. Um, now, uh, they are absolutely stunning. We, you were talking um, that, you know, Stamperia as well, Leone, is the first company that printed on rice paper, uh, mulberry yeah. type of um, Yeah, online. absolutely. And the thing is with the, I, I still, Stamperia for me still are the best when it comes to rice paper the the way they layer all those images the color stays vibrant it stays fresh the ink isn't going to bleed it's edge to edge 
yeah. you know and the the imagery it makes sense all yes. those layers make sense you know it's just um beautifully done and rice paper is one of those products that you can use on so many different things because it it is so um so you know it, it's just so flexible and i've only done two sides because that were going to be okay. a demo um because it's so flexible um it means that you can put it on so many things and that i did that in a bit of a rush because it was just to show how easy but how effective it is that's just on a cream box and it looks beautiful before you even do anything absolutely it looks beautiful Beautiful. That's the thing with rice paper, especially with uh, Stamperia ones, that it's quick and easy yeah, yeah, yeah. or it, you can take it as far as you yes, want. Yes, absolutely. You can make it into a, a full project, but but yeah, it, it's just one of those products that once you've got hold of it, it's just so, so cool. And I love what you say about that all those layers make sense. They are not yep. just, just put there to just fill the paper, but exactly. to make ha they have got an elegance into design. Italian designers, they are very proud to mention. Over 60% of the stock has gone. If you want to grab yours, well, you can need to check out your baskets. The item number is 586669. You are getting three A4 and two A3 uh, papers, uh, 13 pounds and 95 pence. If I were you, I would double them up because then you would have two of each. Right, well, they are in stock. Of course, once the stock on, that's not a possibility. So hence why, you know, check out the baskets. Now, these are, again, absolutely stunning. This is from a different collection, isn't it? Not Vagabond's mm -hmm. collection. But still, we can use them together. Absolutely. The Vagabond collection has been ridiculously busy. People have loved the Vagabond. And you will love, the rice papers are fabulous because they're more background rice papers. Yeah. Um, so you need them because they're the, your, they fill in your space. They give you loads and loads of detail. I mean, they're absolutely beautiful, but you're gonna love them transparency die cuts. Those transparency die cuts are amazing. We've not had those on before. I've put the mold next to it. The mold has sold out, but when you take out the center of the oh, owl, those transparencies go so well in the center of the owl. So if you managed to get the owl yesterday, that's the air dry clay, which we have got on the show, take out the center and those transparencies fit beautifully. But they're fabulous. You know, when you're layering your projects and stuff. So we yeah. didn't have those before. It's the first time we've had the transparencies. So I would absolutely urge you to put those in your basket because they will just add to your collection. I mean, Aren't I just wanted fab? to show show how they, yeah. they could. And also the fact that you can overlay them, our yeah. busy elements, but kind of just suddenly you can see there how gorgeous. Also, I was thinking alcohol inks on the back. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, so, alcohol inks, uh, gilding waxes, oh, um, sorry, flakes. flakes. You know, absolutely. they're going to look, even paint. If you oh, want absolutely. to paint on the back of them, paint. But I love that. I like the transparency of them because it just gives you an extra layer but it's not um it's not in your face. Yeah. It's more. It's almost magical. Absolutely, uh, beautiful. Uh, ima imagine that. Imagine play with something that you haven't seen before. Here, Vagabond clear die cuts uh, plus two A three A rice papers. Fifteen pounds and forty seven pence is your price. Nine one four six four four is your item number. Now, staying with that theme of the Vagabond, we have here uh, again one A three rice paper. We have though those grey board that have been laser cut. You can see the font and detail in here you know when I came into the studio and I saw Leonie prepping with this I was like oh they are mm. nice they're nice aren't they they are very very they're nice very nice they're ridiculously detailed as well because you've got so many bits inside the bits do you know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. For There's instance, this bit here is like cut out of this bit here, which is like cut out of this bit here. So yes. you have got so many options there to use for. So when you see an image, it's not just one image. It's actually three die cuts within that one. Uh, right. You are getting all of those ones as well as the stencil, which again is one of fabulous stencil. Yeah. I really like that stencil. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And I'd not used that before. And at the top where the pack packaging covers it there's actually more of the story so Ooh. it does say at the top hold on i'll yeah, rip yeah, mine off we um, can see it, the yeah. preface once you have tasted flight you will forever walk the earth with your eyes turned upwards and 
turn skywards for there you have been and there you will always long to return yeah i love that i yeah. love that i think that is absolutely gorgeous absolutely it is and of course you can bring it like you were saying kind of just put parts of it or a lot all yes. of it it's just so many possibilities 16 pounds and 97 pence is your price if you are wondering this is your perfect kind of mixed pack of rice one rice paper one uh, you know the gray board and of course you have the stencil 486310 is your item number then we have again from the bank event a collection have got the eight by eight papers we have got the chipboard stickers here uh, and we have got the mold which molds are just oh, fabulous yeah. aren't they? these molds are beautiful and they're so i mean you can get such depth in these um i love 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 the detail and again that vagabond collection has been so busy um these are beautiful because with the mold you can use your your air dry clay again we've got that on the show but you can use your resin in there and the resin pieces they just look so good oh, the yeah. detail of it is amazing What's you know, uh, if you want it, I would be quite over 80% of the stock has got uh, gone already. Remember, you're getting the full 8x8 eight eight pad. I'm not going to even attempt to open it up because you know what's going to happen. And, you know, Maddie already has been on her knees twice uh, and we are only 50 minutes in. Uh, right, so you can see here the chipboard stickers as well, how they layer. Uh, now, then you have got the ability to... You know, sometimes, I don't know about uh, you at home, but maybe you are kind of thinking, oh, I've always wanted to try Stamperia, but I'm a little bit afraid. This is a perfect bundle because it has got the paper pad and the sticker, the chipboard uh, elements, which means that straight away you know what to do with it. And then you have got the mold so you can delve into it and try with a few materials to begin with. 997376 is your item number, but look at the artwork. It's all about that beautiful Stamperia and Antonis uh, collaboration with that you know it's extreme detail that makes sense right remember to check out your baskets now approaching uh, already approaching limited stock if you want yours please do check out your baskets it's, it's extraordinary and also a lot of people will have gone for maybe the original collection and they want to restock on the paper pad so hence it's a very good way to do so as is uh, the vagabond in here that we have again the eight by eight i believe is the same maybe but without the uh, molds in here that we have and we're talking about uh, you you have got all these different die cuts elements as well that we have instead of the mold and you can see it here how you can blend bring it all together freedom i like that i like it and look let your dreams be your wings that's such a powerful um sayings as well for our journaling or maybe you know journals about your travels because that's the thing we cannot travel at the minute but we can remember the trips that we have done or the places we want to go or the you know places that kind of inspire us even if we are not even planning on going. For instance, Mars, I don't plan on going to Mars, but maybe, you know, it's kind of inspiring. You never know, you know. <laughs> Half the stock has already gone. 553190 is your item number. 14 pounds and 47 pence is your price. Now, malls are very popular from Stamperia. Here, there are some more that you can grab if you want to. Now, these ones are from Sir Vagabond, the Vintage Tour. Uh, 12.99 is your price. 153702 is the uh, item number absolutely glorious then we have another set as well of malls uh, which is a uh, fancy uh, this one is gears fantasy actually in fact uh, my pronunciation here power uh, I love this because again that mechanical clock nature is absolutely stunning 12.99 is your price 015451 is your item number over half the stock has gone if you want it please do check out remember these two are silicon molds which are slight you know that means that is even more possibilities for them then we have got the thick stencils the sea rust and the writings are uh, absolutely stunning I love that rust because it looks also like a map I don't know or an archipelago or something like that 907918 is your item number 1198 is your price you can see that if I ever I go to the psychoanalysis uh, psychoanalysis uh, you know with those 
ink blots would be quite funny. All right, white extra light soft clay packs. You are getting two of them already very busy. Remember, you are getting a duo, so you are getting 160 grams in total. And I love that they are smaller packs because they last longer that way, uh, or rather fresh longer. Uh, 10 pounds 99 pence is your prize. 585725 is your item number. Now, one of Leona's favorites is the cream paste from Sampuria. Here you again, you are getting a set of two, 150 mil each, so 300 mil in total for 15 pounds and 98 pence. 987 803 is your item number. Another very, very popular Sampuria item is the color gel. Now this one, you are again, you are getting a set of two of 150 mil each of them, so 300 mil in total. 15 pounds and 98 pence is your price, and I believe this one is the one that is completely clear and you can see asset free, which means that is perfect for anything that you want archival. Uh, 246 266 is your item number. And with that, let's head to the best part of the show. Let's see Leon in action. Thank you, Miss B. Okay, so what I've done first of well, let's start with the um, the cogs and things. Um, these are just beautiful. Now, I've already, <clears throat> on a couple of them, I've already put some paint on. Um, but I want to do a couple of different things. You'll have to bear with, if you did watch last night, um, <clears throat> some of them I am going to repeat what I did last night, but the others I'll mix it up a little bit. So with this one, I'm going to pop some of the paint. I do apologise, the paint has gone. That did sell out last night, which I know is, I know, Ooh. we were gutted because it's absolutely gorgeous paint so I'm very very sorry but um hey you got to you got to get in there quick that's that's all we we're saying about that so I'm literally now a lot of people when they use these they like to paint them while they're in the actual um background and I I must admit I started with that but then because you're painting the paint obviously it's sticky and it, it's an acrylic so I ended up sort of sticking the bits in the actual you know the the bits in the the grey board even more so it took me ages to get the the bits out so I, I actually prefer to get my bits out first and then add Aww. my paint mm. because I just find it easier um, if you use card underneath then any extra paint you're gonna catch it on the card so it kind of just works as um, you know your background anyway now let's just see I actually want that to be wet to put my embossing powder on so I'm hoping I've put enough paint on there and it hasn't dried too quick if it's not um, solid it if, if it's not completely covered it doesn't matter right let me just get a piece of paper there we go so i'm going to put embossing powder on a couple of these only on a couple not on all of them because i want a bit of a, a mixture so i want some with this some with that you know so the embossing powder i know won't hit everything because it's paint some of that paint will have dried but that's cool because it's kind of what i'm aiming for I love that, it's nearly hit everything. <laughs> um, the embossing powder I'm using, and that's hardly gone on at all. If you want more, either put paint on. Now, obviously, use your ink pad, just because I can't be bothered rummaging. I'll get one of my Distress Oxides. So where it hasn't stuck, I'll put my Distress, a little bit of Distress, and just bob that in there as well. So I've got a little bit of the... Um, the embossing powder. Is it Linda's gang? Yes. Um, so we had Linda's um, gang on the other day. I can't, it's habit calling them Linda's stamp gang. I yeah. can't get out of that habit. Uh, we did have Linda's gang on, on Wednesday. Um, and yeah, lovely products. The embossing powders are go. I love Linda's. I love Linda's. But yeah, they were Wednesday. So I've still got all my stuff out, you know, still playing with all the stuff. Right. Now. I went on with full blast there. Don't go on with full blast, first of all, because these are chunky powder, but also because I don't know which bits have held on to paint which haven't. So going in a bit gentle means I can assess what I'm going to lose and what's okay. So some of it might go, some of it might not. I have got my very gentle heat gun, but I haven't plugged it in. Now, I think I can be a bit more harsh now. So when I've, I've gone over, I've kind of assessed what, what's safe. Because I know that's safe, I know now I can blast it. And I didn't want a complete coverage because I want it to look... I want the texture more than anything. And I want this to 
you know, to give it that lovely sort of metal shine underneath the paint. So I'll put a bit more paint on. So that's the first one, and you can see, I love that embossing oh, powder. Love that. All right, go back to it being gentle, just to see what's going to drop off and what isn't. Once I know I'm all right, then I'm going for it. I love that. And this is grey board, so your grey board can take all sorts. It can take your paint, it can take your embossing powders. And it's lovely because you've still got that grey board dimension as well. There we go. So that's my embossing, which looks fab, especially on these, because it's all uneven and gorgeous. Lovely, it, isn't it? It looks like that proper rust in the in the boats and things like yeah, that. Yeah, when it's gone all, yeah. all grungy. Now, my other ones, what I was doing yesterday, which I was so into, those have already been done. So I'll just get these ones first. Halfway through, she'll... No way. Wow, it, Neela. That's, do you know, it just goes so quick, doesn't it? Everything goes so quick. Right, spritzing it first, okay, because I want these to be wet. They've already got paint underneath, and I'm going to bring on um, my Magicals. So these have got, these again were Lindy's, they are Lindy's, these were on the other day, but they work so well with this because when you bring your powder in, that's not quite soft enough, when you bring your powder in, if you put, if it's wet underneath already, then when it hits the um, the water on the the um, oh, embellishment, it, yeah. it'll start. Do you see how yeah. it fades? But what I love about this, it'll keep some of that dimension, so it'll keep that sort of crusty look, which I just adore. And the colours in this are amazing. You know, they work so well with this. Yes. You do need to mix it up. I love them. And it's really nice having, I'm using card underneath because as ever, the card will allow you to, any of the excess, it'll allow you to, to sort of keep all that excess so you're not going to waste anything. I'm being careful where I'm spritzing because I want it wet over that side. So now when I take this, just popping that on there, like so. And you'll see in a second. So some of it stays nice and crunchy. Even when it's not crunchy, that doesn't matter. And by crunchy, I just mean that it's textured. That you've got crunchy. That it's crunchy. the powder. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but when it hasn't got, because it almost stays as a, in a, the crystal, yeah. or, um, you know, in the, giving you that sort of texture. Will you have to seal it somehow, or? Not if it's got the water underneath okay. it. I mean, it, it, the water hasn't been um, heavy enough or wet enough to um, to actually make it distribute, yeah. but it's wet enough to hold it in place, so it should be fine. Obviously, it depends what you're doing. If you're doing a full mixed media piece, you might want to, but have a look a look at that. <gasps> Can you see how I beautiful that. that is? Look at the colours as well. I love the colours of that. I just think it's marvellous. That one, I really love that one. If you want, so like for instance with that one, yeah. if I want, I want the colours to blend just a bit more. So I'm going to just bring it round. These are the kind of things, I love it, because these are just tiny little embellishments and you end up playing for ages just with tiny little embellishments. Oh, but these beautiful. are the things that make your, I mean, look at that. They make your, your full piece and they make it look so oh. cool. Um, obviously, I've got my background paper. Always use your background papers because that already, <sighs> yeah, I know, doesn't it look cool? So always put card underneath it because you'll, when you actually capture your stuff, like all the excess ink and stuff, it looks amazing. Now, I'm bringing in a frame, the frame I have already started, you'll be glad to know. I was going to put acetate, but I forgot to find my acetate because this is a frame by Cool Cats Crafts. Um, yeah. Because what I wanted to do was put a light there and yeah. then put the, the bulb all the way around. I'm going to do that later. Ooh. So these are your little lights. So I thought they could be all the way around and they'd be hidden under the frame. So I thought that would look so really cool. cool. That would but be so obviously, cool. that's one for later. You don't yeah. need to watch me do that. I ordered so many of them because I yeah, lose I... them. I order me them and too. then I lose them. I drive myself mad. And then, you know what you need to do is get extra batteries because oh, otherwise... Oh, I've got them. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I've got the extra batteries, yeah. but I've lost all the lights. 
I know exactly so where my I, batteries I, are, <laughs> but I ain't got no lights. Oh, I'm using my distress. Opposite. Obviously, I lose that distress on this morning. She's had the spritzers. I'm just using a bit of the ink, um, only a little bit because it's already got enough distress on there, but just to add a, a little bit more intensity around the edges. You won't see all the edges anywhere because it's going to be in the frame, but just a little bit there. I'm not going to waste too much time on that because it is in the background and I'm very aware of time. So, um, very aware of time. It's me. I'm never aware of time. <laughs> right, glue. Well, now, let's blame your, your <laughs> non-diagnosed non dyslexia. Exactly. I blame that all the time for yeah. everything. Yeah, me and um, Miss P did a, an online thing where we both found out we were dyslexic and that's I mean, why yeah. I've got um, time management issues. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Yeah. I mean, you were like uh, likely to be a dyslexic. I was like most definitely <laughs> dyslexic. <laughs> but it did give me a fabulous reason for why exactly. my time Absolutely. and why I can't remember anything. My memory is just ridiculously rubbish. Yeah. Okay, so popping that in the background. I'm not going to glue my frame together yet because of... Um, because of wanting to put them lights in. I've already painted it because we sold out of the paints. I thought I'd already paint it. They're the beautiful paints you managed to get hold of if you did manage to get hold of those. Um, we're trying to see if we can get, but we don't think we can. But we're trying. We'll see what we can do. Okay. Oh, no. Where did I put my extra bits of paper that I cut out? No, this is a problem. Oh. My extra bits of paper that I put out, I don't know where they are. Bear with, sorry folks, I'm okay. rummaging because these are very, very essential. Are they on the floor? What? No. What are you looking for? Do you oh, want to come back? Give a reminder of the one day special. Yeah. Right, the one day special that we have got here is from very, very busy. It's from Stampuria. It's this beautiful company based in Budapest, although they say they are Italian. Or the Stamperia. That's how it should be pronounced, I think. Uh, extended delivery because of that fact. It will be dispatched from the 4th of March. What you are getting is the under the sea, the 12 by 12 the 8x8 eight eight papers as well as the beautiful stamps as well. I, uh, we, do, we adore it. Like uh, Leone always, when she receives uh, the uh, Ice and Puria products, she always, you can always hear her, oh, this is gorgeous, this is beautiful. And it's all this covering all those layers. Lots of these papers, what you want to do is just take them and frame them. But also, they are the sorts of papers that you want to frame them, but also play with them. Also, fussy cut elements. Use foam pads and just do simple projects if you want. What I adore about this collection as well, because of the mechanical nature, is that is you know, that has no gender. It's not for girls or boys or whatever gender you want. It's for everybody. It's perfect for our journals. It's perfect for memories from traveling. It's perfect for kind of dream-like situations. I love the kind of intimacy that these, you know, you, you see this picture and you have got the femininity, let me show you again, uh, and, and the softness of her face as well as the hard gears there kind of clogging over at time. I love the detail that you kind of discover every time that you look at it. The colors are stunning, the rust, the tongue on as well. Remember that in the one day special, you are getting the 12 by 12 and the eight by eight. They are the same designs, but of course it's ringed down. So that means that you have got even more possibilities. Remember that you have also the possibility of using them both sides and even the, co the covers are printed. You are also getting the stamps and I think with that, Leon is getting ready, so I'm going to kind of shut up. Uh, but you can see that. Uh, you can see the stamps in there. 30 pounds and 47 pence is your price. You are saving five pounds. 447858 is your item number. We are a 40% of the stock gone. If you want yours, you know what to do. Check out those baskets. And with that, Leonid, you. Oh, no. Apparently, oh, we have got some pictures. That's fabulous. Uh, now, for, who is this one from? This is from Tina. Fabulous oh, work. Oh, that's beautiful. I, Love, love the background with those kind of mm. textures as well. And we have got more from Tina. Look at the mechanical horse, how good. Love how the die cut with the um, gears on the background kind of elongates or prolongs the seahorse as well and gives it more dimension as well. And Aww. another one from Tina, look at that. It's absolutely stunning. Absolutely love all that detail. And then 
we have got some from Paul. So thank you for sending these pictures, Tina and Paul. You can see the beautiful detail in there. I love these ones because they That's show amazing. that you don't have to be a mixed media expert in order to appreciate and enjoy these papers. Perfect for, for memory books. Look at that. Oh, look. See, I should get this collection for my sister and her husband because mm. they, they actually go into sea expeditions and oh, you know, really? yeah, they can go diving. to Antarctica as well. Nice. That's exciting. Oh, yeah. 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 And I play with paper. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. Boom. I'm the creative Living one. Living the anyway. dream. Yeah. <laughs> I tell right. you what, I loved about Paul's. Um, he used the full page. And I think that's very, like, because you don't want to cut them up. Like, for instance, if I show you these papers, when you get a 12 by 12 pad like this, I mean, that one's easy to cut up because you've got your tags on it. And you want to cut that up because you've got tags, but you want to use those tags. Because Paul has done a book, you'll be able to use both of those sides. But then when you get a paper like that, it's like, oh, I don't want to cut that up. Paul has actually used these in a book, so it means you're not actually. He's cut it up, but one's one side, one's the other, and he's even used the centre panel. And I really like that. And I feel that with papers like this, they make you look at your paper to really to look how you can get the most out of it. And I really think seeing books like that, you absolutely can. That's gorgeous to fussy cut, by the way. And that's another thing. This is the, the, I say it all the time, I don't do fussy cutting. Give me a pad like this and I'm fussy cutting till my art's content. It's ridiculous. Um, okay, so next. So I've got my layers. Um, now it's literally just building up those layers. One of the things I wanted to use was this. Now, can you see this? This is beautiful. I'm not sure if we've got these on the show. I was sent them, so I think they're on the show. I don't know if it's as you're checking out your basket. But what you've got, these are your flexible moulds. Now, your flexible moulds are fabulous because there's that many ways of using them. Um, and they are just so cool. Um, see, I, are they not in with the, um, as you check your basket out? <laughs> So, um, we do have bad luck with this, don't we? Um, right, OK, well, if you have got these already at home, I've used this one with your glamour paste. So you can use glamour paste in them. And the glamour paste, I mean, look at that. Oh, oh, oh it's oh, beautiful. Um, or, of course, you can use them with your cream paste. And the cream paste is amazing because of that flexibility. I know we've got cream yes. paste on the show. Yes, you do we get mentioned, we mentioned. two tubs of your yeah. cream paste if you want to get hold of that. Um, something that it Raoul Lou actually, um, she said she's seen a demonstration on the Stamperia where they put the, a bit of the cream paste in, but then they put rice paper in so you were at, and then put a little bit of gel medium yeah. so the actual uh, rice paper sticks to your cream paste and I really like that because then I can start tearing yeah. into this and I can use just parts of it but my rice paper already melds in which looks wow. I thought that were really good that's the stamperia technique so again have a look on your um, on Stamperi for all of those. I'm going to use some of this because I just love it. I just love the colour and again that is my cream paste. So I'm going to use some of the moulds. I'm going to use some of my, my lovely elements and then just extra paper bits. And the thing is with those pads you'll end up cutting all these extra paper bits because they look cool. So let's start layering and I'll do it relatively quickly she says. Oh, I tell you what, I wanted to use as well a little bit of the mold. Be rude not to use the uh, not mold the stencil. Oh yeah, the stencils. It'd be rude ones not to, wouldn't it? It's a set of two, isn't it? It is. So you get in the beautiful um, the the underwater stencil along with the um, the Rust. sort of rusty stencil, which is absolutely gorgeous. With this one, I'm going to do it. Um, I'm going to mix up my paints a little bit. I'm going to use that gorgeous green again. I do apologise that has gone. You could use, I want to use paint rather than um, a texture with this just because I'm filling in that background. So just getting my my stencil brush. This one's a bit too hard and annoys me. If had something like a Stazon or a Kaival, could they do something like this as a stencil brush? Yeah, fruit? of course. Um, yeah, play with all your inks. I mean, I use Distress on all sorts as well, even on my um, acrylic paints. 
But yeah, you could be spritzing through it, you could be using your beautiful ink pads or using your textures. The choice is yours. It's a cracking stencil. And I'm not worried where I'm putting it, you know, if I, if I cover this because it's just the layers, isn't it? We're just after the gorgeous layers. Then don't even worry about like your full, you know, trying yeah. to get full elements or completely covering the, the image with paint. I, I kind of want it to look a little bit oh. rusty. It doesn't it look good? It's I such a good that. stencil. I love that. And it works so well on the paint, um, on that paint background. You know, because everything goes, doesn't it? The paints just work all, all together. So it all goes. See, I love that. I, do you know what? You get so carried away. Everything, everything, you you just one leads to another to another do you know what I mean and before you know it you have spent three hours just on one piece and it's lovely you know because you just it's so mindful because you just get lost in it and lost in all the layers and it, I think I don't know about you Miss P but layering when I first started doing this I layering used to mess with me head a little bit because you create all these beautiful things and then you Absolutely, cover it up yeah. but I'm okay with it now mm -hmm. I found my peace because you you don't even think about what you're going to do next I find that's the way I can do it yeah. if I, really, I do yeah. this and I, and I don't think I'm going to cover that up just enjoy that process and don't worry about it it's fine I think for me was the moment was with Seth after that oh, he said in Seth. one of his workshops he said you're always one w one layer away from magic and yeah. then he said something as well but I'm not gonna it's not allowed to say it <laughs> <laughs> but it's just like uh, but I love that because yeah. it's just like that sense of that is a good yeah he's, oh he's fabulous he's Seth right, isn't he it? one of the nicest people absolutely isn't he? and they all yeah. in, in our little old industry is fabulous Indeed. okay so we're a big fan let's just put that so this is obviously your mold so your mold you might just want elements the thing is with it being glamour paste i can actually get it to mold round there and i really like yeah. that because i don't i like it not having that sharp edge i like it molding round so it gives you that really nice sort yeah. of soft edge now i am going to use her extra strong glue on this uh, you could use your gel medium that would absolutely hold it i love the stamp here extra strong glue though it's a cracking glue is this so just popping that on there like so and remember, if you do want your um, that wonderful paste, the cream paste, the cream paste will give you the same kind. I mean, I know I'm using Glamour, but your cream paste will give you the same kind of movement on this, which is fabulous. And you can paint it. I mean, that's one I've started painting with the cream paste, but it just looks so good. You can do so much with it. So allowing that to sit like that, that needs a little bit of glue time just to hold. Bless you. Oh, that was uh, my day. <laughs> Behind the cameras. A very dainty lady. That like was very this. dainty. That yeah. wasn't one of my sneezes. Oh, my. No. Yeah. It was very dainty. It's when you try not to sneeze and oh, it'd be yeah. loud. Absolutely. Mm. Uh, by the way, uh, we are very, very busy, so please check out your baskets. Now, the Bargament uh, sets, one of them. The, now, this one is limited stock. The one that comes with the mold is now limited stock. That means 90% 90 90 of the stock already gone. 17 pounds and 47 pence is you, what you're paying. Uh, please do check out your baskets if that's what you wanted. Right, sorry about that, Leonie. No problem. See, I think that's the, with the Vagabond, if I put that the right way around, no, I haven't. With the Vagabond, with this, I think I think Antonis has got, it's it, it's almost magical, it the is. whole thing. Mm -hmm. So you've got obviously all this kind of mechanical stuff going on, but it's still magical. It's still mm -hmm. different, isn't it? Do you know, something I'm going to bring into this is my stone paper, but I won't demo stone paper until the next hour. The next hour I will absolutely demo mm -hmm. the stone paper, because stone paper, if you've never used stone paper, oh, you yes. need it in your life. Yeah. It's one of those products that's so cool. 
and I've cut that a bit short, but it doesn't matter. Um, and that's, this is what a Stamperia also do. I mean, if you want to shop ahead, the details on the screen for that. But Stamperia is one of those companies that are quite, kind of say, innovative, discovering new products and discovering yeah. new ways of using. Yeah, and I'm sharing, like, um, again, if you look online, the ideas to use the stone paper, there's full tutorials on making gorgeous bags. And I mean, you can, the thing with stone paper is, where have I put my bit of stone paper? Oh, here she goes again. Um, the thing with stone paper is, you can use it for all your wonderful uh, techniques that we use for, um, you know, on our cards, on our canvases, but um, it's a paper, so it means you can still stitch it. You can, I don't know where I've put it again. I will find it in a few moments' time. As usual, it's me being unorganised. Um, you won't be able to recognise it, Maddie. It just looks like a piece of really weird worn material. I did have it in this collection here. Um, but yeah, you can do so much with it. It's one of those products that um, it just blows your mind because you can't actually rip it, but you can cut it. I've got a big sheet behind me. Let me show you that. That's the, the actual stone paper. But yeah, it's absolutely fabulous. But I will demonstrate this in the next hour. I am going to try and find my little bit because it looks so cool. Oh, I drive myself mad. But anyway, let's get gluing this down. So, layers, layers, layers. I mean, the piece de resistance in this one, is obviously my wonderful oh isn't that oh, such a good image it's, amazing. it's such a good image uh, this is the one day special so the papers are all the one day special he's from the one day special this is fussy cutting at its best I mean it's such a cool image thing is with this right you could if you wanted to and I should have done it really if you wanted to give it more depth you put that on stone paper and that will make it stronger um, and then you can actually mold it so stone paper allows you to mold but it's beautiful that's where I'm going but let's just build up some of these wonderful layers so I've got my my paper there and actually that would look nice crunched first I have already um, inked the edges of these so I don't need to do any inking these are all from the paper pad and what I love about this just cutting out your layers cutting out your little bits from your paper pad and just start layering them up it just obviously it looks cool because this is how it's designed you know and that's uh, the lovely thing about it you'll look at your paper pad you'll see how it's designed how it's been put together and you can recreate that but you can recreate it on your you know on all your uh, wonderful mixed media projects and mixed media I think it can be kind of scary, can't it? But, but it isn't at all. I mean, this isn't really... Well, I suppose there's a few different bits and bobs on it. But this isn't a scary mixed media. You know, this is this is really just paper collage. Absolutely. Well, you know? pa pa paper collage, technically speaking, is mixed media. Because, well, technically speaking, as long as you mix... Even Different if you medias. have paper and glue, <laughs> that's already mixed media. In, yeah. in our art terms, it's considered mixed media. But here you have the cream paste as well. So you have used it for with the mold. Um, it's the paints, you have used the paper. I think sometimes we get obsessed with the mixed media thinking mm. that is a specific way of doing things. Yeah, with and it has to it be has a specific. Be. But really, as with anything, really, you've got you can do what you want yeah. you know as with all of this it's creativity so so just do what you want but and, and don't be scared of the process and I love how both t uh, Tina showed one way you have shown another way and then Paul sent a very mm. clean and simple but still stunning still beautiful usage of the paper absolutely absolutely there's so many ways you can use these papers and I think because they're quite it's that fantasy it's that yeah. magical element so it does allow you to really really use your imagination with these and I think what you said about it um, you know it's for absolutely anybody it don't matter male or female you know you you'll still you, everybody will love this yes. um using your gel medium allows you to to stick all these on and it does they will dry and that will dry perfectly i'm going to put a bit of gel medium there just because it's bugging me now i know i haven't got tons of time but just deciding where he's going to go remember there's going to be lights in this frame so just around the edges it'll be all lit up which i think will look absolutely fabulous you'll notice see 
uh, because I haven't put anything behind him, uh, that's going to be a little bit saggy. So you do need to build it up. So have something behind it to build it up. If I, I should have got one of my... Um, the, roll, uh, the reels, yeah, reels. that our blanks use us all the time, because because they're absolutely fabulous. But if I just, you know, your your yeah. your things for your um your doodads, your canvases. Yeah. If I use some of them, I am eyeballing it a bit, so I'm not going to show you that because I'll be here for ages cutting them. So I'm going to cut those down, put them together. And then, then I'll be able to use underneath it to do, use um, act as a support. But obviously that's a boring bit. You don't need to see me do that. Now, round the edges, to make it pop just a little bit more, I've already inked it a bit, but I think it needs just a bit more um, ink. So I'm going to go in with a black because I think just to make it stand out that that extra bit now this is only paper at the end of the day you know you can still add your glazes on this you know you can still add maybe you want to add um, a crackle varnish would look absolutely gorgeous on this you know I'll tell you what I would and I, I want to dig out um, the wax varnish that that's crafty do oh, that would yeah. look beautiful on this the acrylic wax mm, that would look yeah. beautiful I know Stamperia and we haven't had it yet there is um, a really nice finishing wax that Stamperia do as well um, and again that's another product and I think with something like this waxes and and finishing varnishes look really good because they make it they give you that sort of that really nice finishing touch because sometimes you don't want it to be too papery do you do you know what I mean yeah, yeah I know what you mean yeah. you want that extra kind of um, finish mm -hmm. and I think waxes and um, and that really do really yes. can finish finish a project it's, off it's almost as if it transforms something that looks mad mm. and solid to something that looks like an oil painting yeah it gives yeah. it that translucentness and that sh you know that shine with them yes yeah yeah and it get yeah more depth doesn't more it depth, it gives yeah. it more d now i'm going to just i think i'm happy with that so when i put that on just that tiny bit of black absolutely works mm -hmm. i'll glue it just remember i am going to put support under this but i want you to see it because i'm i am going to finish this so i'm not going to my other demonstration last night i did carry on over two hours <laughs> but it's funny because you know, we we rush these projects, but when you're at home, you can't rush Absolutely. these projects. It's like, I mean, this should take you ages because because you you're doing something that's got loads of layers and loads of detail. So so really, does it a disservice to rush it? So you can see there, I could have put kind of like one of them underneath yeah, it as that well. That's really cool. Yeah, I like that. I a like lot. that too. These are fabulous. Now, if you are putting that under there, though, and I did this last night, there's not a chance, if I'm popping that under there, there's not a chance that I'm going to waste that bit. So definitely cut some of those elements off. So the bits that you're hiding, cut some of those off because you will definitely use those. I am using my gel medium. I will see a little bit of that gel medium, but that's absolutely fine. I would normally use my matte one, but I've run out of my matte gel medium, which is terrible. The matte one would have been better because obviously you won't see the, the yeah. shine as much. Yeah. So you're going to have to imagine he's got a support underneath him. So I'll do it with ink pads so you can imagine that. <laughs> there you go. Can you imagine if you use ink pads for support? <laughs> I mean, imagine if I forget to take them out. Oh. <laughs> no, I, oh, where have I put my ink pads? I tell you what would have looked absolutely amazing. My piece of um, stone paper, but I don't know where I've put Ooh, it. Yeah. But I will dig that out because I've already distressed it and done all sorts with it. And it looks so good under, under here. Yeah. That's what I did it for. So I'm literally now just going in with my gel medium and just picking some of these elements. Awesome. I've only got a minute. I am rushing a little bit too much now. I'd be I way like more stuff. delicate. But there. And again, I'd pop a support on that one. You can, obviously, with your papers... When you start, um, if I'd have used my stone paper, I'd have been able to, to move that. But obviously, you can actually, you know, um, yeah. layer them with glue, and that'll give them more support anyway when they dry. Yeah. And I think, let me have a little look-see. 
I'm you know what I was thinking layers. as well? It, that would be lovely. I was uh, sorry to bring it to again my knees, but uh, you know I would cut her the you know the scuba uh, uh, octopus. I would cut the circle out, put a picture of my niece in yeah. her bedroom. Yeah, that would be cute. So or, she looks like she's scuba diving. You yeah, know, like kind of make it like you, she can open it up and yes. see herself there. Yeah. And there's loads you can do. I mean, this one originally, I was going to cut it here uh -huh. and decoupage it, oh. or cut that out yeah. and put some behind yeah. it to layer. So, there's so many, and I love that. You know, you can take it, but you can use it in so many ways. And I think that's what you'll do, isn't it? You'll use it so. Yeah. It suits you. Absolutely. And that's the, the beautiful thing about all of this, isn't it? You use it so it, it suits you and your um, what you want it to do. I love that, though, having a little photo in. Especially when you can open it up and like... Exactly, Eep. yeah. <laughs> It'll look really yeah. cute. I am just playing now, folks. But, but it is. But that's what I'm it's all about, the time. possibilities of... Exp you know, look, well, look, I see. Oh, I love this. Uh, we, will, we will see it finish, or kind of sort of finish, uh -huh. <laughs> at 12 o'clock. It'll, It'll be finished. It'll be finished at 12 o'clock, because, of course, Leonie will be back at 12 o'clock with myself as well. Uh, but all the one-day special, over 40% of the stock has gone please do check out your baskets if you want remember you are getting the 12 by 12 this is the marvelous large octa I can't say octa um, scuba diver you know <laughs> but it's just... I was saying it is um, the octopus revenge on the scuba diver that you saw in a restaurant Mm. <laughs> maybe. I know, well, that maybe would the be scuba me. diver that has become an octopus. Anyway, yes. if you want him, you can have him, but you need to check out your baskets. Do stay tuned up because more inspiration after the break. We have got, I believe, an, a brand new launch as well Yay. from our apps, apps is in the building. Uh, it's a weekend wow. And so, of course, stay tuned for that. We cannot wait to see what he's going to do. But don't forget to check out your baskets right now for the Semperia. By the way, thank you very much, uh, Leone. That was yes, marvelous. Yes. Uh, I'll uncreate Weekend Wow after the break. Then I'm back with Karen with Upwood and Garden Creatures. And then Lou Sims is back with Ranger Tim Holt. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we're honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hello, I'm Carol. And I'm Hayley. And together we are the Dreamies. Dreamies have been around for 11 years now. We started with CD-ROMs, we've developed into stamps, paper pads, dies. We've now got the Dinky Inkies range as well, so we've got so much to bring to you at Hachanda. We design everything in-house and we manufacture in the UK. We produce tutorials to inspire you to get the most from our products. On the Dreamy Shows, we hope to further inspire you with all the techniques and tips that we can offer, hopefully getting you to use all of your inks, your flower making techniques, and really build on all the skills you probably already have. Make sure you join us for the Dreamy Shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Bev. Hi, I'm Sam. And we're from Be Crafty. Be Crafty is a family-run company. Sam is my sister. And we love bringing brand new products to Hachanda. We manufacture and design all our own ranges of stamps, inkables, MDF, lots and lots of inspiration that we love to bring and share with you. If you tune in to Hachanda to join us, you'll see that mine and Bev's style are totally different. But what that does is it brings you lots of styles and techniques that you can include in your crafting too. Our ranges are increasing all the time with the lovely hand-drawn images that Sam and myself are trying to bring to you, plus the fantastic new designs that we like to bring in the inkables, in the dinkables and the MDF as well. So you can use them across all different sorts of crafts and bring the best we can to a Chanda too. So make sure you don't miss the Bee Crafty shows on the Chanda. Did you know
you know you can watch Ochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using our app on Roku. Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it. Now it's time to add the Hochanda app. Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the Added Channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Anna and I'm a founder of Craftbox UK. Craftbox is a box full of craft supplies that we send to our customers monthly. All products are placed in a beautiful, sturdy box, which is ribbon tied, and we hope that by receiving this box, you will feel like it's Christmas every month. Make sure you don't miss the craft box shows on Hochanda. Hello, everybody, and a warm welcome. This is the launch of a very special weekend because we're not only introducing you to uh, our mega monthly mega deal, we've got the weekend wow in there and we've got another uh, monthly mega deal later on as well. So a lot happening this weekend if you're a fan of All and Create and I know there are so many fans out there who absolutely have embraced uh, and love All and Create. This is a weekend to really celebrate and you're going to have a great time. So lots to look forward to. I'm not here alone. Let me introduce you to uh, the very talented Abs who's here. Dude. <laughs> You look, I, mean, I love the top. Ah, uh, thank you. I feel, I feel that I, I've just, well, I'm wearing an apron and you're looking very cool. But uh, uh, yeah, thank love you. the top. How are you doing, Abs? you excited? I'm very good, thank you, and you. I know you've put in a lot of uh, work. It's hard at the moment, because Abs and myself, we're talking to each other, we can't see each other, we're in different sets. <laughs> but um, Abs, I know you put a lot of work into what we're seeing here. Tell you what, there's so much going on. This is very exciting. That is um, the fruit of months and months of hard work with yeah. all the designer and the team here. So I'm so pleased the, f the day is finally here. The big day, as we called it, for our first launch, first collection of 2021. Wow. So yeah, I'm so excited. Nervous at the same time, but yeah. I'll let you show them what we have today. <laughs> well, Abs, let me put this into context because our mega monthly mega deal. Yeah. Now, as the name suggests, this is meant to last, okay? We are one minute and 40 seconds into the show. We're approaching 10% of the stock has gone. Actually, scratch that. We are now at 10% of the stock. Abs, oh are you God. kidding? <laughs> It's a monthly mega deal. This isn't, this isn't a one-day special. A monthly mega deal, and we're at 10% of the stock in about two minutes, is under two minutes, actually. It's just 10, two minutes on our clock. is ridiculous, and you are getting so much here. Now, let me break this down for you. Um, okay. I've just got really quickly, I want to I say that so many of you are going for the, the, the mega collection. I am going to show you individual options as well. If you do go for the mega collection, you are actually saving seventy-three pounds and six pence. Actually, apologies, seven pence. So seventy-three pounds and seven pence. All of this should have cost you, and that's not even including the free gifts that we're showing here. I will be getting to that. All of this should cost you over two hundred pounds. I think we worked out with abs; it'll be two hundred and seven pounds, excluding discounts on the show. 
but you're also getting in here the bonus gift. So you're getting the two sets of stamps and washi. Now that's worth 25 pounds and 28 pence. So that's included as well. Uh, the mega is made up of the weekend well, which you're seeing here. So this is your weekend well. So set three, absolutely stunning, stunning, stunning stamps. Look at this. Beautiful. I, this is what we love about All and Create. So this set, it's called Basic Veggies, but they're anything but basic. They're beautiful layered veggies, so we, we love those. Okay, so we're getting all three sets here. That's your weekend well, as you can see there. But then we've actually got two other monthly mega deals incorporated. So this is how the mega uh, collection works. So you've got a monthly mega deal down here, which is, oh, oh I could tell you what, Leonie's going to be playing with this on Sunday at 6. This is such a cool one. Let me just show you something. A few examples which are amazing. Look at that. Are you kidding? There we go. We've got Stan and Ollie in there. We've got, this is a nice one. So create a little scene here, a room with the characters. Look who's on the box. We've got our Marilyn Monroe. Or how about this? Oh, come on. This is what I love about All and Create. Are you kidding? Characters, fun. Keep it fun. I mean, there are so many uh, different ways we can take these stamps. All right, I've got to uh, move on. So that's one monthly mega deal, including the big collection. You're getting everything here. So there's one monthly mega deal. Leonie's going to be playing with that at six. Uh, tonight at six, we've got Tracy, and we're going to speak into her live on Skype, and she's going to be looking at this set here, so this monthly mega deal that you're seeing. So oh, quirky, different, original, and you've got the three just up here too, which you can see. But... At the moment, the majority of you are going for the complete collection. Now, what I would say about the complete collection, we are over 10% of the stock. I want to put this into context. So you're still getting savings from the individual elements, the weekend well and the two mega deals. So you're still getting savings there. They've already been factored in. So you are not saving £32.78 with this bundle. As a Freedom member, you're saving 73 pounds and seven pence in total. That's the saving that you are getting. Uh, you're also getting, and that's including our uh, bonus gift as well, our free gift. So within the collection you're seeing there, you are going to be getting the stamps, so these set of two stamps here. You are going to be, that's a bonus gift worth 25 pounds and some change. So you're getting those and you're getting your washi there as well. We are busy for our, our mega collection. I'm not surprised. And Abs, one thing, and we were chatting about this just before the show. The first flexi payments, you're spreading it up. If you do go for the complete collection, is ridiculous. Now, look at this price. You are saving, that's your delivered price, £53.35. You are better off becoming a Freedom member and taking advantage of that. Abs, I can't believe that. 53.35 and then I know. everything gets sent out to you. I know. Yesterday when I got a call from the buyers and they asked, I asked them a lot about the pricing, what the, what, what the discount they put on and everything. And then when they told me about the first um, Flexi, which is only 53 and you get everything delivered to your door, I was thinking like, wow, 53 to get something over 200 pounds. That is amazing. Well, <laughs> Plus the gifts. Yeah, that's the thing. Oh, you would be spending, to buy this complete collection would be £207, and that doesn't even factor in the free gifts of the two sets of stamps and the washi in there as well. What a bundle for an all and create lover. Uh, Abs, what is it, just looking at this, because I'm really conscious of the fact there is so much here, I want our viewers at home to appreciate everything that they're getting, and we are, there's no way that's true. As we are seven minutes in for a monthly mega deal, we're approaching 20% of the stock. 20%. You, the reason why, and I'm not putting this on for the cameras, it's a monthly mega deal, and I know how much stock we had. And obviously, All in Create can bring a lot of stock. So, that's just very, very quickly before we get to you, just go through what is it about this collection that really appeals to you as a crafter, because there's a lot to, to draw from. So, in this collection here, you have so much variety, and mm. you have so much... Um, um, variety and versatility of the stamps. So you have um, different styles, different um, 
themes go in there, so you have something uh, I have to say. It's, uh, you call it a complete collection, and it's really complete because um, it fits different styles, different needs, and different occasions. So you have the veggies and the fruits there with um, illustrations with nice, um, intricate styles from Bipasha, and then you have the Janet Klein cuties, you have Tracy Evans, her quirky style in doing the grungy sides, also by the quirky for the cuties. So it's it's like it's completely um, it, it's a full collection. You have everything that you need in there. There is something for everyone. So we've got the botanical that you're seeing there. There's the pheasant. I mean, look at that as an image. So much to play around with. But then we can go from something like this to something like this. It really does embrace the very best of all and create. There is something for everyone within this collection. Love this. I really do. OK, so uh, enough from me. All I will say, and um, I just want to leave you with this, it is a why not deal. So you are better off becoming a Freedom member and taking advantage of the savings at the end of the month. So enjoy Freedom membership for the whole month. It means you do not pay anything for your PMP and also you get exclusive member discounts. So uh, let me explain the difference. Let's have a look at the full page. So All and Create, this is your monthly mega deal. You can see here the savings uh, that you will be getting. So. If you are, now the combined price, as a Freedom member, you're saving a further £15. That more than covers your uh, Freedom membership and then some. You've got to think, Freedom membership, 5 97 lowest price we've ever featured it. Uh, so that's been for a little while now since uh, I think it was over the summer we dropped it. But uh, then you get to enjoy the Perks Freedom membership. If you want to opt out, there is no contract. You can opt out at the end of the month. Monthly mega deal. It's exceptionally busy. Please, please, please don't miss out on this because there is a lot. This is a bundle. Do you know what happens? I'm just thinking, when this arrives, imagine that box arriving at your door. It's going to be exciting. And then it's where do you start because there's so, much, there's so much to play with. I know, there's so much to play with. And I'm glad we have loads of shelves over the next four days. So we have 15 yeah. shelves in total. So we, have, we will go through every stamp set you have in there, deliver a lot of inspiration, show you a lot of um, <coughs> inspiration from the design team, but also a lot of demonstrations. Brilliant. So if you're going for the, camp, for the mega bundle, you can sit, relax, and enjoy the next four days and Let's loads of inspiration. We will deliver you the max we can. Brilliant. Let's have a play then. What are we going to start with? Let's have a play then. So the first thing I want to do is, um, <coughs> because those stamps are really, really beautiful, so I, I really thought I would stamp them first to really show you how they look like stamps, because you need to see them stamped, and you need yeah. to see the beauty and the details of them. So first of all, I would just quickly f um, flick through those here, as you can see. So these are some colour I did home, and I added some glossy accents at the end to give it a nice, nice finished look. Yeah. So you can see here um, I think this one uh, let me show you in order I did it in two different versions so you can see here um, oh, and you want red or you want yellow and no. green <laughs> apples the, the whatever red. you prefer well, and even here types. inside I did like different colors if mm. it's like premature or not so this is just to give you an idea and as always say the minute you see them colored yeah. it gives you a completely different look so I really yes. really like this one here yeah. and so that's the first one and then we have my favorite fruit ever you can see here I tried a lot of coloring <laughs> that's why I was saying yesterday in my Instagram live but this is also um, a beautiful beautiful stamp set yeah. here oh sorry I'm um, just come back to this one I need to highlight something very important here that Please make do. me fall in love even more with this stamp set is the sentiment that Bipasha put here um. and there's a story behind it she told me she was fed up hearing all the time people saying one apple a day keeps the doctor away yeah. so she did one apple a day keeps anyone away if you throw it hard enough <laughs> <laughs> that sums up the passion as well. I love it. Yeah. So she did. <laughs> Quirky, yeah, one up in a day keeps anyone away if you throw it hard enough. I love that that's sense fun. of it. That's I really, really love it. That's, that's really made good. my yeah. day when I saw it the first day. Yeah. So that's my favorite fruit in the world. <laughs> in yeah. the fair. And then we have the tomato here, also yeah. to give you an idea. Which my is also a fruit. Hmm? A tomato is also a fruit. Yes, yes, yeah. indeed. So I'm not the best with coloring, but I thought I would show you. Um, some um, versions here, also do the glossy accent. We have this one, I just yeah. put some cream colors with the glossy accent, I don't know if you uh -huh. can see. Difference, a little bit darker from the white. That's nice. uh, we have the pumpkin, of course, so the best pumpkins. And with what I like about these stamps is not only the beautiful images of the fruits and veggies, mm. but also all the scripts around it, all those details, all the small um, elements and the numbers. They make them very, very yeah. um, interesting. You can use them as they are with the burger, or you just can fussy cut them and use only the images. We have the carrots, both sides as well, the small and the large one, with all different scripts and different details around them. And finally, we have the mushrooms. Oh, yeah, those mushrooms, mushrooms here, the details on them and the sides, it's just amazing with all those beautiful, beautiful elements on that. them. 
So, um, yeah, so that's um, my small um, coloring that I did here. Now, what I want to do, the first thing I want to do is, as I said, stamping. I have to start stamping those. So, I'm going to have some cardstock here. Um, let me just remove that one. So, I thought I would go with the A4, and I want to do some stamping for you. So, here, for instance, let me start with tomato. I said. Um, I have here loads of background that I did in the past. So um, I have loads of, of I dropped one in the floor, but it's not a problem. So I have many backgrounds that I did in the past. So what I thought is I will show you how they stamp, work finish samples on a resi background, and then on the next demos you can come back to the background and show you how I created different backgrounds. Perfect. But I thought I have to start with these beautiful stems. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so I'm using here. Oh, sorry. Go on. Yeah. I was going to say, we've got details for the acrylic blocks at the bottom of your screen. <laughs> now, these have been out of stock for one year. Uh, I know just the nature of the last year, so many people were struggling to get hold of acrylic. So, um, Abs actually was telling the story that he put in an order, even before they were available, you put in the order so you would be the yeah, first one to get hold to of it. Just to make sure. Um, so, they are back in this. stock. Um, a lot of people have been asking when they would be back in stock. You've got your large A4 acrylic and then you've got your uh, border as well. So those two back in stock, 21.98. So yeah, so I'm stamping here on um, on a background that I created before. So this one stamp is straight away with um, black um, versa fine ink pad. I'm using the border, so all I'm doing is I'm just lifting the corner to have a nice print. Mm -hmm. And then I already have my nice print here. I did exactly the same using the same technique for the background and they did the, back, uh, the pumpkins and also I did here another one just to show you how it looked like. This one is slightly different because you see the background is white. I will yeah. show you how I did too. So here what I did is I stamped it, put acrylic on the top of it and then stamped again using stamping platform nice. to get in the right um, place. Okay. So this is what I did here um, just to show you. Um, on a printed paper and then what I want to do this is also a background that I made during I think an Instagram live that I was creating and I want to stamp this one to show you um, with heat on Boston as well how on a dark background how they look really 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 beautiful so let me for instance grab um, here I have the pumpkin uh, not this one so I need my Versa mark and here what I want to do is I'm stamping more than one and create a collage just mm. with heat and bossing and then work uh, and then finish off the piece and um, add in all the elements. Okay. As we're doing this, got to tell you, the monthly mega collection, 20% of the stock's gone. So this isn't the monthly mega deal, it's the mega collection. Uh, it's classed as a monthly mega deal, but it's a collection because we are going to be launching more mega deals over the weekend. You are getting everything here. And as Abs was saying, because we've got some great shows where we're going to be featuring the Weekend Wow, the two other monthly mega deals. Uh, and so Tracy's launching one this evening. Leonie's going to be launching one on Sunday. If you do go for the complete collection, sit back, relax. The next four days, you've got some great things to enjoy. Now, if you do want to go for the Wow, just by itself, that's in front of me. You can see that here. Uh, and that's 49.97, saving five pounds. That's what we're working with. But I want to put this into context. If you do go for the monthly, the complete collection, that monthly mega deal, that complete collection at the bottom of your screen, you are saving 73 pounds and seven pence. So you're pretty much getting the weekend wow. That's already factored in your saving, and then some another 20 pounds on top of that. And within the monthly mega deal, the mega collection, I should say, you are also getting the bonus free gifts as well. So uh, a quarter of the stock has gone for the big collection. It's where the majority of you are going for maximum value for money. Please become a Freedom member. You will save money. And also do take advantage of the flexi payments. Your first flexi payment, it is uh, 53 pounds, I think I'm right in saying. Uh, we're just going to whip that around and show you 53 pounds and 35 pence. Enough for me. Okay, so um, while you were um, showing them the, um, giving them some updates, mm -hmm. so what I did is I did the Versa mark as I showed you, and then I put some white embossing um, powder, and okay. I'm going to clear uh, quickly um, dry it because I'm going to create some collage here next to it. Mm -hmm. But I want to show you how you do extended without having to do all the, um, how to say the the masking technique. Okay, and that's what I like about the embossing. So I'm just hitting here quickly. You can see how those pumpkins are showing very beautifully. Yeah, I think that's fine. Yeah, um, on that background, you can see and all that detail that you're getting yeah, within you can the stamp as well. I think that's fine. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another stamp set. So I use the pumpkin here. Mm -hmm. So let me go for, um, just for instance, 
going to put it in my acrylic block. And your smile tabs is showing how all the stamps work well together if you do want to Absolutely. create a large so, image. What I'm going to do, let's say for instance I want to have that tomato next to the pumpkin. So a good layer to make sure I did not miss any detail. And then I'm going to put it here next to the pumpkin. And then, so just making sure um, I don't miss any detail. And the idea that I want to show you is when you put your um, embossing powder, you will see um, part of it here because I did on the top of that pumpkin. So I'm going to take my um, brush or anything, just remove all the excess okay. to have just what we need. Nice. It's looking good, Abs. So how long has this been in development? Oh, months and months and months and months. And then um, we were supposed to be here in January, and then we pushed it to end of January, and then beginning of February, and then yeah. <laughs> and now it's here with all what's happening right now, with delays also with all what's happening. Uh -huh. So now before you hit emboss this one, all what you do is just go with a brush or with your finger, anything, and yeah. remove that one from on the top where you embossed before. Okay, yeah. So you have a nice print and you don't have to have those um, like on the top of each other. It's like a masking technique basically. Nice technique, but this yes. is a good way of doing it and a quick one. So you don't have to faster cut in um, all of this and do that. So just go here. This is a really clever way of taking the stamps and building up a larger collage yeah. with the images. And then just go hit and boss it. Mm -hmm. And then you have it exactly next to it. It looks like it was one stamp set to yeah. start with. Works so well. So what kind of response apps did we get from the design team when they got their uh, stamps to play around oh, with? Oh, they were so chuffed. They really uh, liked them and they said they look even better than what we designed them the first time because when you see the finished, stamp, the finished product and when you start stamping it and use the designs, you like it even more. So yeah, so here is exactly next to it and it looks like it was one, um, one design here. Nice. So this is just to show you on a very busy background and then we're going to finish off this one. Okay. So I did this one, that one, and then what I want to show you also is doing um, some stamping straight weight on um, background that are either embossed or whatever they are, mm. or just with distress. Okay, um, let me just quickly do this one and this time I'm going to go with the fruits. Okay. So for instance, we have the, oh, should we do the pear first? Because for this first hour, I thought I would show you just an easy way of using them without having to do a um, million layers like I usually do. Mm. And in the other hours, I would go with different techniques each time. So here, for instance, all those backgrounds that I stamped on them, you can either color um, the images straight away or you can faster cut them because the background is already busy. And as you can see here, you have all the many colors and textures. What you can do is you can stamp these pumpkins in spare piece of paper on a white background and then just stick, stick them on the top. So that white will really pop and then you can see them better. Nice. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to put that one here. They're such beautiful designs. I mean, you see, and the more I look at them, the more things I discover at. Yeah, so I'm just doing to make sure I have a good print. Yeah, and it's perfect. It's really perfect. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring some of those sentiments from the stamp uh -huh. sets. Of course, those sentiments are perfect to add your um, finer okay. sentiments for the cards. But what I want to do is I just want to add small details to this card here, just using one of the sentiments, for example, that one. And I don't want it to be perfect. I just want, for example, go with right. some here. Now, everything Abs is working with, if you do go for the complete bundle, that includes both monthly mega deals and the weekend wow, you're getting everything. So you have some numbers in there, and then I'm just going to do part of it here. Okay, so just kind of framing my work, adding some details. 
is that just using that sentiment stem set, you can also use a different way to just frame your work. And then let me use another, well, because I stem, I inked it, so let me just add some details in here. That's perfect. Um, okay, so should we go the with stamps this that Apps just using uh, right now is called Background Voices. And we're just seeing that here. If I turn that around, so you can buy this uh, in the complete bundle, or it's also included in a monthly mega deal as well. There we go. Okay. It's just the stamping those parts, and I'm really um, framing all my work and make it look. Um, Abs, you got to tell us the story behind your elaborate sleeve. <laughs> Yeah, this one, because the next time I'm going to use acrylic paints and jelly plates, so okay. uh, it's easy for me to clean my hands, my briars and everything <laughs> on, my, <laughs> on my sleeves, so it's easy for me to do that, that's why I put the sleeves on. The team thought you were going to gonna start a career as a wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to do a few more, just like one here, bit one in there. Just some details like this. As you can see, I already start framing my artwork, and then all what I need to do is first I get the pure now here highlighted, add some work on the background, and then we can finish off. So let me do that. And the real joy of having so many elements to really pull from. So, whether and how do you want to shop? And I'm not just trying to say you have to go for the monthly mega deal, okay. um, sorry, the complete collection, because there are separate elements you can break down. We've got a launch tonight with Tracy. We've also got a launch at six with Leone. But what Tracy and Leone are going to be launching is included right now in the complete collection. So Zab's quite rightly said, if you do go for the complete collection, sit back, relax, and then you know that you've got it in, uh, got it wing its way to you and how exciting when all of this arrives. All I want to point out, Please become a Freedom member. Don't pay full price because as a Freedom member, you are saving money. You're going to save a further £15 of Freedom member, which covers your Freedom membership. Have a look at your first Flexi as well as a Freedom member. £53.35. The saving as a Freedom member, I want to put this into context because you've got savings within the bundle that have already been factored in. What you're saving as a Freedom member is £73.70 hence in this bundle the whole bundle at regular retail price abs was telling me would cost you 207 pounds and that doesn't even factor in the free gift do you know you're getting 146 stamps in the collection as well it is breathtaking and i can see why it's been so popular and so many of you are going for it just showing you the free gift that you are getting as well so within this collection this is a free gift and top and this on top of your savings that you're getting so you're getting the fantastic stamps and you're also getting the washi tape as well. So there we go. You can see the savings on your screen, but the free gift is on top of the savings. Uh, over a quarter of the stock of the monthly mega deal that is meant to last, as the name suggests, a month. And we genuinely strive. If we're doing a monthly mega deal, we try and make sure we've got enough stock to last the month. All and create have got a massive fan base. It's a community out there. So many of you in that community. I know we've got people shopping in Europe, uh, in America, and the UK right now. So thank you. I hope you're enjoying the show. Back to Abs. Okay, so um, let me just quickly show you. I'll just finish that leave here, cutting it. So what I did is I took stamps of that. It's also on the show. Um, this is, um, is on the show. It's one of the bundles um, there. It comes with the... Um, I think with a small M92. I don't remember... Um, when it comes. So yeah, what I did here, I just stamped here the cross because I think it would go like a blue on blue, it would go very well there. And then I do have also, um, I'm going to stamp here the pair to have it in white as I mentioned. Uh, and black on a white cardstock. Okay. Perfect. I want to have a nice uh, print. Um, 
So I did here um, that one. So all I'm going to do is just fussy cut that pair here in the middle and pop it on the top here. So that white will really, really pop. And I may give it some colors. Um, for example, very, very light color like um, this one here. So you can see, because that color will go very well with the background. Actually, I may fussy cut this one actually and use it. And also for that other um, first background that we did together. So you have here that one cut in white. So you can see it will even pop more now because we put it in white and then you can add my more finishing touches and that's what I'm going to do now for this card. So I'm trying to work and on two in the same time. Um, bring my um, stamp set. So we also have the same stamp set again, yep. the I6 one, and I want to stamp one of the crosses here and I want to go for a different contrast color. So I may okay. go for here. Um, so we have the blue and I may go for some we go for dark blue, I think. A dark blue would go well on that one. So I'm just going to stamp one of those. Nice. Okay. This one's here. Let me just clean that one. And also, I don't want those numbers, so I'm just getting rid of some of the ink. Not that much, just so. It will go perfectly. So that one will go here. You have the first one there. Nice, perfect. So that is blue already um, adds a lot of details. And then I'm going to just do another two here using the same color. I like having um, an odd number. Okay. Now, if you do have any questions for ads, we'd love to hear from you, studio at hochanda.com. Please get in touch. There you go. Yep. So now I'm going to remove this so I can put those two here to be easy for me to stamp those. And then I can put that um, uh, die cut on the top when I finish. Mm. I'm just going to put it here. Okay, there you go. And then we have the other pair here. And then all I'm going to do is adding some colors and around it, okay? So um, all the colors, I'm gonna do it um, in between and show you the results. But because I really want to do now um, to go to um, uh, something different to show you is with jelly plates, doing the stems on jelly plates, but also creating those beautiful backgrounds using a different product on the show. Perfect. Is that okay? Okay, Abs, I'll let you get set up for our next demonstration. I really hope uh, you are enjoying this hour. So it's the launch of a weekend celebrations. Huh. We are, oh, this is quite fitting. We're 30 minutes into the show and we're approaching 30% of the stock for the complete collection. This is not a deal that's meant to last an hour. It's not even a deal that's meant to last 24 hours. This is a bundle that is meant to last a whole month. Now, you're getting 146 stamps. I'm really conscious of the fact there's, there's a lot going on here and sometimes with bundles like this, it's hard to appreciate exactly what you are getting. So let's just take a moment. We're going to take a breath and we're going to go through everything. So you're getting the Weekend Wow, which you're seeing just here. And this is what Abs has been playing with. So there's your Weekend Wow. Now that you can buy individually and we'll put that at the bottom of your screen. That's $49.97. It's already got a saving of five pounds, which factors into big collection. All I will say to you is, the Weekend Wow, if you wanted to get this for nothing, in the complete collection, you are saving 73, uh, 73 pounds and seven pence. That is your total saving if you go for the complete collection. So in effect, you've got your Weekend Wow for nothing. And can I just show you, this to give you an idea, I know Abs was playing with, but just to give you an idea, just with the Weekend Wow alone, how beautiful is this? And what a lovely inspiration this is from Anne. Just really embracing all those lovely, oh, come on, you've got the carrots in there. You've got the tomatoes. Okay, the leaves. So lots going on. That's your weekend wow, okay? But then we've got within this collection, uh, it's effectively two monthly mega deals. So that's the big collection on your screen. So uh, we'll start here. This is going to be launched on, uh, on Sunday with Leone. Love, love, love these characters. Laurel and Hardy, Marilyn Monroe, Dali in there. So quirky, fun, uh, so many elements. You've got the TV screen in there. So Le please tune in at six o'clock to see Leone playing with these. So Leone will be back. Let me just show you. I mean, come on. Look at this. There's a Marilyn. 
very cute, Starlet, or how about these guys? Come on! And this is just a, I know I'm jumped straight to sort of like the real showstoppers, but there are so many elements going on. This is another uh, nice inspiration, really nice inspiration, creating the whole scene. So you've got the character, you've got the couch, you've got all the elements, the TV, everything there included in that set. So obviously it's, uh, you'll find that in the complete collection which we're featuring here or the monthly mega deal which will launch on Sunday so if you want to see those we've got another monthly mega deal launching tonight at 6 uh, with Tracy lovely Tracy she's going to be speaking to you via Skype and uh, it's getting all six of these so that again is included in the set there is a saving but you can get it in as part of the uh, bigger bundle now on top of that so the weekend well that monthly mega deal, that monthly mega deal, you're going to be getting with this complete collection, only with this complete collection, bonus gift, you're getting two stamp sets and you're getting the washi tape. That's worth £25 and, uh, is it 98 Sorry, 20, uh, £25 pounds and 28 pence. So if we carried over all the savings that you're getting here, the £15 there and your bonus gift, you're actually saving 73 pounds and seven pence in total. Look at that first flexi payment, 53.35. And I'm just gonna whiz through and show you some examples of what you could be creating. I mean, have a look at that. So there really is something for every, because look, sometimes we wanna go a bit grungy, a bit mixed media. Other times you wanna go a little bit cuter. Now that's sweet. Or if you like quirky, and this is what All in Create do so well, is, and excuse the pun, but they're so good at stamping their own originality. I mean, how about that? Home sweet home. It's, I mean, all of these examples are absolutely exquisite, but we can go from something like this to something like this. And then we can go from here to here, or, to here and that is why I love the complete collection if you were to go for the complete collection at regular retail price it would cost you 207 pounds that's how much and I'm not even factoring in the bonus gifts so the bonus gifts were 25 pounds and 28 pence that's not even factored into that 207 pounds so 30% uh, of the monthly mega deal the complete collection has gone Please become a Freedom member if you're going for this. You are saving money. You're going to save 15 pounds. Uh, got lots more on the website. Let's have a quick look at the website. Uh, loads of elements on the website. So do have a little look and see. Uh, shot by brand as well. The acrylic blocks are back in stock. The A4 on the border, they've been very, very busy. Got pick and mixes on there as well, which we're going to be showing as well. Uh, and lots more. There's stencils. So do have a look and look, five star review, five star review, five star review. All in Create have such a great fan base and a community out there. Right, we've got some pick and mixes for you. Um, I'm gonna be quick here because I know we need to get back to abs. This is an A5 pick and mix. You're choosing any three for 33.97. You're saving 20 pounds. I mean, just for this one alone. Come on, how cool is that? I love these images. So you are picking any three of these designs. It's very simple to order on the website. We're just showing you very quickly the designs here. You're saving 20 pounds. I'll stop there. And what I would advise, do go onto the website and have a little look and just see all the options. Because that's the thing with the pick and mix. There are so many options to deliver there. 703-328, uh, your item number. Now we're going to move on, uh, moving up in size as well. This is your A4. Just have a look at that saving. 25 pounds saving there. That really does encapsulate what makes All and Create so special. Look at the amount that's going on. If you are going for the uh, larger A4, you really do need to go for that A4 uh, acrylic block with the little bit of flex, and it does make a difference flexing it. So have a look. You're choosing, I mean, any three of those. Are you, that's ridiculous for 49.97. Look at the size, the amount that you are getting. Again, I won't go through them all. You can find them on the website. Do have a little look. But that's impressive. The A4 has got my interest. And then uh, we've got a final pick and mix for you. These are your border pick and mix. Uh, we showed the bundle, the acrylic blocks, with the large A4. You're also getting a border stamp that fits these beautifully. So you're going to be picking any five of these stunning border stamps. 
Excellent. So there we go. Have a look on the website. You don't need me to go through these. Take your time. But uh, what we do want to do is have a look at Abs and see what he's up to next. Abs. Okay. Sorry. I was just priming my plate, so I have a nice work. So you don't have to see me doing that. I was just a priming <laughs> to make sure I get a good um, print when I do my work. Okay. Okay. So basically, I just put um, a layer of acrylic paint just to get um, to prime my jelly plate. Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to show you how this um, weekend wow bundle work very well with the rest of the stamp set. So the first demo is all what I did is a basic stamping, and then and just show you. For example, here I was fast cutting just quickly. I did not finish the white bits in the middle, but the minute you pop it here, it really um, uh, pop straight away. And I did the same thing with the um, the carrot here and etc. So that's an idea. And then now I want to show you how you can create everything from scratch, creating your background using the different stamps we have today on the shows with the weekend wow, the fruit and the veggies, and you get to create a nice um, print. So I'm having here my jelly plates. I'm going to use some acrylic. Um, some acrylic paint. I'm going to do um, a very um, easy to start with um, background. So, for instance, I'm using here some green. And then I'm going to use some blue. Just for example, those two colors to start with. I have my brayer. Just blend them very well. If you think you have a lot of paint, you can always um, have um, a piece of cardstock and get rid of the excess. Or you can have Steve like me <laughs> and just remove the excess here. And I think I have a little bit too much, so all I'm going to do is just leave a very thin layer. So I'm just going to remove a little bit more to leave a thin layer. I think that is perfect now. So, um, one of the stamps we have on the shows is designed in purpose and um, perfectly for the jelly plate, which is the um, mirrored um, stamp set, the mirror alpha, but the mirror alpha, I think, called. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to do it here. Just put it on the top yeah, of bring my jelly plate. Okay. Just put it like so. Just press it a little bit to make sure um, I uh, and the stamp catch all the details, all the paint, sorry, to have a nice details later. Mm -hmm. And then removing it. Obviously, you're not going to waste that one. So if you have a piece of cardstock or anything next to you, um, try to um, do a stamping with it so you have a nice background for later. And because I'm using acrylic here, so please make sure you clean your stamp set just after that. You see, clean your stamp set. This is just with what was left here on the paint, mm. and I already got a very beautiful background. So clean your stamps just after because it's acrylic. And now I have this one. You can actually stop here if you want. You don't have to go. Um, you don't have to go crazy and then create more um, layers and layers and layers if you want. For example, here we have a tag. So all I'm going to do is put in my tag here try to do a print, a quick print now. So this is the easy, and um, this, this is very basic and very easy print. One layer and one um, design and one pattern. And I know Abs that the mirrored alphas were designed for the jelly plate. We're just going to show you the bundle. Uh, saving seven pounds, twenty-three ninety-seven is your price. Uh, six seven eight seven one seven your item number and you're getting all three stamp sets. And then I'm just reversing, and you have your print here. It looks amazing. So that is one. Yeah. What I want also to show you is, um, let me see if there's anything left over. Actually, if there's any left over, I don't mind it. I like it to have more interesting print later. So I'm going to do here some um, yellow. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to mix it with a bit of magenta. So I'm doing two colors now, well, like before. I like that blend in the middle. Again, bring, get rid of all the excess of paint that you don't need. I mean, that's already looking like, that's just a waste. But it looks like a good background. It is. Um, I use this kind of background to do, um, to die cut all my, um, when I have, with my dies, I use to die cut some die cuts and I have them colored and in nice colors. Um, just maybe a little bit of that pink. Okay, uh, just, uh, this is quite important. I need to let you all know, um, 
we're having to reset our phone lines now. I want to say that is because we were so busy, it actually crashed our system. So uh, I apologize. It's going to take us about 10 minutes to reset our phone lines. If you do want to continue placing your order, um, you try, try shopping online. Uh, if you've never done it before, it's really simple, and I promise you it's safe and secure. You can go to our website, hochanda.com, or you can use the Hochanda app. Have a go and order on the website. At the moment, if you uh, prefer to speak to somebody, I know a lot of you do uh, prefer chatting to us, absolutely fine, but it's going to take about 10 minutes to get the phone lines back up and running. So uh, if you do want to go for the bundle, at the moment, the best bet is shopping online or using the app, and I do apologize for that. So here what I did is I'm using different stamps set, and this one by Tracy Evans. So I did that nice print, and then again, do not waste that one. Um, let me just do it here in that piece that is left here. So, and then I would use it when I do my um, small layering and small details. Okay. Well, that not enough print in that one. Um, so yeah. So here I did um, another print. So I'm going to put my tag again and have another beautiful print. So this is the other bundle here that I'm using. Um, it comes with the alphabets. Mm -hmm. your grungy alphabet and your numerator and my paint I left it dry a little bit too much okay. but you can see you can have um, some of the print you see and mm -hmm. most of it is here but I'm not gonna waste this one because all white here if I'm gonna wait um, some white paint I'm gonna get um, another print so all I'm doing because it's dry so I'm just gonna activate again that paint just by putting another layer of acrylic mm -hmm. paint and here I used white and then I'm just gonna do quick layer like so take another tag oops sorry and hopefully get uh sorry hopefully get a nice print now right good to see it because these are all uh, things challenges that we do encounter as crafters but i still like this one i really like yeah. it can you no, see it's, good. it's, it's uh, maybe the light is too much here on the screen but me i can see it i can see a lot of details in here as well and in there so it's still okay. a nice um background and sometimes we don't have always to have um, a very busy background we can have just um i have to say it's just um a it's very light yeah you see oh yeah that's nice. I thought it dried, but I just put a bit of acrylic white, acrylic paint, and I got a very nice print. Yeah. Now I'm going to work on this background. Okay. So, let me put my jelly plate aside. I'm going to use it later. And for now, I will just play with some stamps and then back to the stencils this time. Okay, so, for this step, I'm going to use now the, um, on one of them, I'm going to use those apples. Mm -hmm. And you're using your larger acrylic block as well. Uh, this is nice. If you haven't seen this in action before, one of the main features that really sets us apart as acrylic block is the flex. What's the importance of that, Abs? Because I know we were playing with it the uh, other day we worked together. Yeah, it's very important. And yeah, the flexibility and gives you that nice um, flex, as you said, to get um, a nice print. For example, this one, I just want to do it this way. Mm -hmm. Horizontal this time. I'm going to do it here. Here I'm stamping on acrylic, so just make sure, um, uh, because acrylic it takes a little bit of time to dry, but also do not move too much, because if you move too much, it can be a little bit slippery because it's acrylic. But oh. it's not a problem. So and I'm you've just got a nice message. Uh -oh. You're going to like this. This is from Rachel, uh, and she said, Abs is a genius. She's <laughs> never actually seen you before, Abs. Uh, but she's asking, she's just emailed in saying, who is this man? He's amazing. This is abs, and this is all and create. Rachel, you're going to have your mind blown because uh, <laughs> all and create, the world they offer you is absolutely phenomenal. And it, what we're offering right now is a complete collection because we've got a four day celebration of all and create. So we're going to launch two monthly mega deals. We've got a weekend wow. If you want to get everything that you're going to be seeing over the weekend, so the two launches that are coming up, the weekend wow that's here. And if you want to save 73 pounds and seven pence, and if you want your free gift, and if you want your flexi payment today to be 53 pounds and 28 pence, don't pay that. 
please become a Freedom member and take advantage of uh, the savings. So as a Freedom member, you are saving money and your first flexi payment as a Freedom member is £53.28. Uh, is it £28? Sorry, it's 53.35. All I will say, at the moment, uh, we were so busy, and this is an indication of how busy we are, our phone lines actually crashed. So uh, we are trying to rebeat those. It's going to take about mm, now eight or nine minutes. If you do want to uh, place your order, you can do it online, hochanta.com, or go to our website. Uh, go to our website, sorry, or go use the app as well. Uh, this is how easy it is. If you go to the website, just add the big bundle. Uh, please check uh, tick flexi buy now. You need to be a Freedom member. You're saving money as a Freedom member. So get your Freedom membership first and then get the bundle. Uh, and these are other items you might want to add into your order as well. Okay, it's that simple. How are you getting on, Abs? Good, good. So I stamped the first one here and it stamps beautifully and perfect as you can see. And this one is on the light background. Oh, yeah. And you can see already, um, if it looks already as I'm um, nearly finished because you used mo I used most of the space and just need some colouring and some finishing details. But I like also that tab here to add some sentiments on there. And now I'm using the other one, yeah. the second bag, and I'm using the mushroom stamps at this time. I'm using the mushroom. Yeah. So um, I'm just making sure um, I have a nice print, just lifting my acrylic blocks. Do you know with that first one, Abs, I know it was a little bit lighter, but it still it works so well. They both work beautifully. Absolutely. I like both of them, I told yeah. you. Um, not because I did not get 100% um, all the, um, the print, but I still loved it because um, it has all the details I wanted. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is what I did here. Now what I want to do is a quickly, um, where did I put most small A7 stamp set? I think I left them here. Oh yeah, there you, there you go. One second <laughs> while I get down to bring my stamps. <laughs> There you go. Okay, so what I want to do here, we have those stamps also on the show, and I think they would go very well with this um, bundle. So, for example, I'm going with the... Um, yeah, that one. So, and also one of the um, hexagonal shape, I think, or triangle, should we go with one of those? Mm -hmm. And then use different colours. So I have here the... Um, because I used yellow and magenta, so I'm going to use um, some yellow and magenta um, for the, um, the ink. And I'm just going to add some details. Okay. Just going to stamp here. So... I'm just doing. Nice. Can you see that oh, yeah. one? Yeah, just a little bit of detail. Lot of That's details nice. Already. That works nicely. And now stamp the other side, maybe. Just that section here. Got about five minutes left. Okay. As I said, I'm here three days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I will be showing so many things and I will finish um, most of the um, demos between the shelves as well and to show you how um, they look like finished. So I did that one there and now I'm going to go, for example, for the triangle and do some, or maybe the squares, I like the squares too, and do it now with the magenta. So, let me just do that line. One of the squares, um, should we do one here? And as you know, as you notice in this um, hour so far, I did not do any colouring, I did not do any um, like uh, many layers like I usually do because I thought with the first hour I would really go um, with something simple just to show you the beauty of the stamps and how beautiful they stamp and how beautiful um, they work together. And don't worry, abs with billion layers will be back in the other hours, so <laughs> yeah. I'm having a variety of um, demos this time for you. Okay, so this is what I did here, and then what I thought I would do is, um, how many you said, to see if I can do it quickly? We've got about four minutes, or about three minutes. Three minutes, okay, three minutes, I don't think it's enough for me to do um, the background, so I'll do it the next demo. So what I'm going to do here, I want to do the pumpkin now, so I'm going to take this um, background that is already ready here, and I'm going to go... They said the pumpkin that I didn't use. Yeah, the pumpkin, and I'm going to use it with the other ones. So I'm going to do it this side, or this way, actually. So pumpkin you can find as part of our Weekend Wow or in the complete collection. That's the pumpkin. So a good layer of ink, just to make sure, um, because it's very rich in detail stamp set, just to make sure I have um, inked 
um, all parts of the stamp and they have a nice print later. So I'm going to do the yeah. pumpkin here. So as I said always, just hold your stamp. You don't have to press, just have to make sure it doesn't move. And then all what you do is you lift here um, the, um, all the um, sides of the acrylic block, all the corners and the edges. So this way, and then you should have a nice print, which is perfect as you can see here. Beautiful. Let me just put it here. That's really nice. Really, really nice. Yeah, I really like it. And now what I want to do, back to that stamp set that I used on my jelly plate, but now I want to use a straight weight here on my, um, sorry, here on my background. So I have here the number two, for example, there's some details. This stamp set is by Tracy Evans, mm -hmm. recently become one of my, let's say, um, go-to. I can't stop using it. I'm using it a lot, a lot recently. Nice. And Tracy will be here launching uh, the stamps at 6 o'clock? Yeah, today at 6 p.m. Tracy um, will be here. So, looking forward to her shows. So, this is number two. So, I just that number two in there. And then I'm going to do some background here from the middle. Random one. I'm not looking for anything okay. in particular. Got about a minute, Abs. Sorry. And I did a mistake because I wanted to do it in the blue. <laughs> Okay. And I use the same ink pads. Okay, don't worry. So I'm going to do, there you go, the blue, just some parts of the stamp sets, and just add some details in here. Oh, nice. Yeah, and maybe a little bit of that abs, section. I'm afraid we've got to wrap it up. I'm so sorry. Uh, but so we'll I'll be, be back at one, and at then one, yeah. I'll, yeah, I'll be back at one p.m. and then we will do um, more, and I will show you also what I did between the shows. So yes, yeah. awesome. thank you so much. Please follow uh, All and Create on social media. All and Create Fanatics is a great group. Uh, just want to recap. I've only got a few seconds remaining. The complete collection. Now ignore the fifteen pounds on your screen. You are not saving fifteen pounds. Please become a Freedom member. So uh, you are saving money. As a Freedom member, you're going to save a further £15. And as a Freedom uh, member, your total savings will be £73.07. and pence. I want to put that into context. This collection, if you were to buy it, excluding the bonus gift, uh, full regular price, it will be £207. It's an amazing deal. It's been popular. Thank you so much for tuning in. So we got a great hour ahead. Coming up next, Karen is going to be here with Paolo, and we got Oakwood Garden uh, creatures. After that, Ranger Tim Holt with the lovely Lou, and then Stamperia, one day special. What a morning. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion, and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we're honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Andy from Picture This. I've been a painter all my life. Picture This was actually formed on the back of a throwaway remark from one of my art students. This has developed my drawings into a series of photopolymer stamps, clear stamps for the crafting community and the crafting industry. 
The stamps are all hand drawn by me. They're made in the UK. Most important to us to picture this. And we have so much more to bring. Our shows on Achanda, um, we hope to make them informative, amusing obviously, entertaining, but mainly it's about bringing the creative spirit to you. Make sure you tune in and watch the picture this shows on her channel. Hi, I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly, and we're really excited to still be working with you guys here on Hachanda. We were there from the very, very beginning, and we're still bringing you lots of really exciting soft crafts. We design and manufacture all of our kits and all of our fabrics here in the UK and we love bringing them to you. So if you're an experienced sewer or you're just starting out in soft crafts and sewing, join us. There's tips and fabrics for everybody. Make sure you don't miss our shows and come and craft yourself silly on Hajanda. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dies that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders. We have decorative dies, we have colouring daubers, we have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping moulds where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers which are absolutely stunning. So I hope you can join Heartfelt Creations here on the channel. We have got a brand new a products for dies and stamps, but we have got one guest that we recognize on her face because she's very talented and always inspirational. Karen, how are you? Good morning, Paola. Good morning. I'm fine, thank you very much. Now you are bringing gorgeous, beautiful garden creatures to our space. Garden creatures, but part of the Wings and Things set. So we did name the full. It's a collection that's been going on for about three, four months now. Um, we brought bee butterfly, we brought the dragonfly back, um, uh, we brought some frames and now we've got a snail and we've got oh, a little snail. So now what we are getting here is a set of st two stamps, two dies and two stances, right? That's correct. That's correct. Fabulous. And look, you can see what we can create with it. Now, I, we were talking about the ladybird. That is absolutely stunning. And shall we show uh, what the dies? They are, I love that they are nice, large sizes. They're nice and large, yes. I'm not a... Um, I'm not a lover of a lots of little stamps. I like a little stamp here and a, a, a dying stamp, but I like a large, I like a focal point. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and then you have got the snails. By the way, if you want, if, do you know what's the name of a group of ladybirds? You have found out, and I'm going to let you tell no, them. No, you tell them. It's what you, you, you are. Oh, you are so sweet. Uh, well, so are you. A loveliness of uh, ladybirds. And this is what I love the way that you can create in the corner as well. Well, you just cut all your dies up, don't you? But the dies are absolutely gorgeous. They cut out. Uh, you get an inner, you get an outer. And you also, on, the, on both die sets, you get a natural embossing as you pop it through. 
Absolutely. So you do get the embossing. You can you can deep uh, emboss it deeper if you put an, if you put a rubber shim through, but you would not need to because you can see you can see there the embossing is just uh, it just comes through absolutely gorgeous. I'm giving you that focal point, showing you where you can if you don't want to stamp on them, showing you exactly where you can draw where you'd everything. It's, and then you can put your eyes where you want so you can have them looking from the side there's no faces on them you can have them looking from the side or you can have them looking forward and put two eyes onto them your googly eyes great for the kids Absolutely. And, and just something and then you've got a miniature form of each one you've got a small ladybird and a small uh, a small snail that comes out as the small snail comes out as one but it's easy to stick it onto a piece of black card and you've got the shadow there but Let's have a look at the stamps as well, because you are right, it's the ways that there are different possibilities of using them. Certainly, certainly, yes. Yeah, just uh, some, I think they're really, really sweet, and yeah. there's something that, we do get a lot of ladybird stamps and that, but they're very tiny to go yeah. as an accent. But why should a lovely ladybird be an accent? Let it be a focal point. Or oh, it's ring plastic. I absolutely agree. Ladybirds are so lovely. Loveliness of a ladybird. And I, of course, that means that if you are using them on a twist ring plastic, you have a decent size. It's not just You've a got, tiny yes, little it's, thing. It's not tiny. And you, 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 you're not trying to hold it down. But I've, I've got brought some shrink plastic. We're going to, uh, we're going to miniaturize the snail later on. Absolutely. All right, if well. you want, and then of course you are getting the two stencils. So you are getting now two sets of dies, two sets of stands, photopolymer made in the UK. Then you are getting the two A5 stencils as well that coordinate perfectly. And remember, although they are the new garden creatures, they will coordinate perfectly in size wise with the wings and things. Wings and things, now, yes. Now, if yes. you wanted to look, let's look at numbers because uh, I was looking and I was like, I fell in love with the ladybird. I'd have to say, it's just, she's just stunning. So you wanted, if you wanted to go just for the ladybird, you can. However, um, you know, the saving is when you go for the full bundle. Why? Because if you were going for individuals, you would be paying £25 in total for the die and the stamp on their own. However, if you go for the full collection and you flex, you have got a £10 saving. You also have a flexi buy option, which means that you would be paying £24.98 today for the whole lot, plus BMP. However, it's a why not deal for a Freedom member. Why means? It means that you are saving more money if you are not even a Freedom member to become one and then go for it. Look at the snail. Now, one of the things is because a Freedom member will pay £22 and for, for, is it 48 pence today. That's all you would be paying, which is less than what you would be paying for the ladybirds a stamp and the ladybird die on its own. That's how much of the saving you have if you are flexi, uh, uh, if you are a freedom member and you flex away. 010113 is your item number. That 14 pounds and 99 pence saving. Well, it's, it's, you know, you are basically not paying for one of the, um, the die set. Anyway, moving on to uh, also beautiful dies that you may want to go because for this, because you have a butterfly frame here with that doily edge. It's a perfect kind of building up that focal point isn't it Karen? Certainly. It's a beautiful, it's an A5 size, it's like a, um, a broad angler. you remember yeah. when we used to have the skirts with the broad angler around the bottom but it fits the complete A5 size and then you've got the matting to in between it then you've got a, and the, obviously the space has not been uh, wasted yeah. you've got um, another circular die and then you've got three more where you can do mass and layers you've got a little butterfly and then you've got the borders which they're they're a straight border but you can add on to them continuously uh, we've put them with butterfly um uh, uh, but butterfly, butterflies yeah. because they came with the butterflies originally but you can see on top of a box even just using the waist there it's giving it a beautiful aperture in, in the car but look that's I love how, yeah, the negative and the positive. And remember, uh, it's, it's a, such a, a beautiful focal point maker. You know, it's kind of, it draws your eye into that perfect rectangle. That's just the overly another that, uh, that we've used with, with uh, the butterfly from the set. And then that's the smaller one that you can see. We've used one as a negative. We've used the, the, the mat as the negative and then put the, put the other... Uh, 
broadly anglais die into the centre of it. And then you don't have to use them as a whole. Cut them in half, put them as side, side parts. Just put one on with your greeting and that's a card in two Absolutely. minutes. Right, just to make it clear that you are not getting the butterfly die in this bundle, you are getting a smaller one, you can see there, as well as the border. Twelve ninety nine is the price, 618480 is the item number for that. Then we are like dragonflies. You know, dragonflies for me is one of those uh, under undervalued in a way, underused rather. Underused, yes. Everybody always uses a butterfly, but they don't use a dragonfly. And yet, if you've actually seen dragonflies with the colours, they're astounding. They're not... A butterfly will have vibrant colours, yeah. but when you look at a dragonfly, it's like iridescent. It is. It's like... It's, it's, it's like, like northern plastic. lights. It's, yes, the there. northern lights, where it'll fly one way and you'll see one thing, and it'll fly another way and you'll see another. But this is our Duncan. We've named all the, our uh, our animals, but this is Duncan dragonfly. Duncan dragonfly. Sounds like Duncan... Oh, sorry. That, but you can see in here that we have got dyes that will... I uh, stamps that will match but that is separate. Twelve ninety nine is a die set. There you have it. You can see how beautifully it die cuts. And let me show you a sample that we have got here for the couple because, again, the size of it is just beautiful focal point for a mixed media project. Mixed media, put three or four together, three or four bases, three or four tops together. It's as, it's, it's as much as um, uh, uh, when you have MD, a small, thin MDF. Um, it's a focal point, you don't need many onto a card if you're doing one, but you can also, there, that's being done all with recycled products. Yeah, um, it's the, the, just a beautiful, beautiful size that's going to give you, you don't have to do a lot with them. Absolutely. You can do, you can do all sorts with them, you can colour into them, doodle into them, whatever you want, but... At the end of the day, they're an absolute beautiful, beautiful size. Uh, absolutely. Uh, 548513 uh, uh, is the item number. Four the dies, $12.99 just the price. Remember, if you add it, if you go for the garden creatures and you go for it in a, in a flexibly, you can add other items to it and then you can flexibly the cost of those ones as well. Now, the matching uh, dragonfly, Duncan, the dragonfly uh, stamps, we have that as well here. You can use it in combination with the, the dies or on their own. Um, now, I love the detail. I have to say, the stamps for me in this one is when you can see all that detail. You can see all that detail, yes, but um, this, you can stamp it out and you, you stamp it out and you've got the outer die that cuts cuts the one that's completely white, but then when you've got the inner die, look how clear and, and concise that you will stamp and cut out there. It's so near to it. Yeah. However, you don't have to cut it out if you don't want to. You can fussy cut it if you if if you so desire, but when if you're making quite a few, you you possibly more than yeah. likely need to go to the die. But you can choose how you want to cut it cut it out. But it's so intricate. Um, eat embossed, it holds the, it's, the, the lines are so delicate. I absolutely adore it. And of course, again, the die and the stamp combination. Uh, the details on the screen are for the stamp on air. It's on 11.99 is the price for those ones. 175.139 is your item number. Now, more stencils, but this one, are, you know what, this is one of those ones that you need in your stash. Uh, the, here you are getting a duo, you are getting the dots and the butterflies. Both of them incredibly popular, and the dots with the ladybird, it's a perfect match. It's a perfect match, yes. That's why we brought it back out. The dots came with the butterfly, uh, the dots and the butterfly stencil came with the butterfly. However, bringing it back for, for, your, for your ladybird, you, you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong with dots, yeah. can you? Absolutely. And then don't forget, it's not just about stenciling through them, put them through the emboss uh, your embossing machine. Um, you can paint through them as long as you clean your your, your stencils afterwards. All your mixed media, we we're, we're putting uh, texture paste and doing uh, throwing things at the texture paste oh, yeah. now. But that's been embossed and then gone mm. over either with Mica Magic or gilding wax. And this is of course uh, you can see here the stencil being used of the uh, butterfly. And look at that, as you can see there, the butterfly. But then this is a collection of the whole creatures. They're and they're all in. They all in match. They all they all, they're all working together. They're all being designed so that if you like creatures, you like things with wings. 
and everything goes goes with each other. So, um, and, and obviously we've got three on today. Um, possibly there may be some still on the website, but we will we'll be bringing them back. Fabulous. All right, if you want to go for the set of stencils, remember that you are getting the butterfly and the dots for just 9 dollars Set a 470-363 is your item number. And then lastly, but not leastly, we have a happy hour from Impression Obsession. Love the giraffe. He's gorgeous, isn't he? It is, absolutely. And so if you want to go for this item, please do check out your baskets uh, as soon as possible because the price will be, that's £5 saving will be here for only this hour or until the stocks last. So £14.99 for a photo polymer stamp set. There you can see with the sentiments as well. 566402 is your item number. Right, we have also card bundles. Now, perfect lady bird uh, set. We have the red, the black, and that beautiful golden yellow as well for the snail. Uh, now, you're getting 15 sheets of each. 999 is your price. Uh, 970511 is a really nice, bright colors. A smooth, so you can stamp on it you as well. You can stamp on it. You can I think we ink on it. Well, I've been inking on it, stamping on it. I, you put your um, texture paste onto it, let it dry. Uh, die cut with it, cut it, it's uh, stable enough to make boxes, a good all-round coloured cardstock Absolutely. and it's cut colours through to the core. The core yeah. So you have, you can see in here the brightness of the red, it's a proper red uh, and of course we have got the black as well and the yellow and you can see them. Now 270 GSM, perfect construction weight for uh, 45 sheets in total, 970511 is your item number, 999 is the price for this bundle. Right, uh, fabulous, I love that, you know, nice It's, it's work, nice to have it? a smooth yeah. coloured card isn't it? because a lot of colour card is uh, sometimes we've got a little bit of texture on but that's absolutely smooth you can do all your greetings on it and uh, you can see I've, I've, I've eat embossed onto yeah. it as well could you show us the loveliness uh, that is your box full of lady oh I my know. loveliness of, of, of I don't know why I was just um, I was in the craft room it. and I'm listening to her chander on my laptop and I'm just cutting away and cutting away and I think I've got a nest. <laughs> you have a, a beautiful nest. Oh, but absolutely. And, and done different things like just inked on top of them. But yeah. they're there. I can throw myself together and, and uh, it's just a little box full of stuff. And, oh, and yeah. I thought, I thought, well, I think in two days ago, I thought, I'm not very well prepped up. I've not got much done. And then I eventually put them all in a box instead of a bag. And it's like, wow, I am. Uh, <laughs> right, so what are you going to show So what? Next? I'm a little bit high because uh, we've got the new counters, yes, haven't we? Aren't we do. And they're gorgeous. Yeah. But they put me on, I, I thought it might be a bit too high for me. So they put me on a box and I'm getting a bit like seasick. <laughs> I feel a bit too tall. Yeah. It's a bit cold up here, you know, Fowler. No, Not used to I it. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't <laughs> no, know. neither would I unless you stand on a box. <laughs> so what we've got here is I'm, I'm going to just show, uh, I'd like to just show you how to do a little card that stands it. up yeah. all on its own. Great for kids parties, Perfect. great for, uh, you can do um, uh, place settings yeah. um, also you could if you popped them on put them on top of her um, oh crikey what do you call them but you have your napkins in a napkin ring oh, all sorts wow. but they're of a decent size though it cuts out and it's from toe to toe it's just short four by four Right. So that's uh, 10 centimetres by 10 centimetres okay. would, would be the, the complete yeah. footprint of that one. I've cut some out, but I want to show you how, how I'm going to cut, cut, cut them all out. So I've got, uh, this is the 270, and I've got um, our uh, white cardstock in exactly the same, and I'm just going to use two of the dies. I'm going to do them in two different two different ways. So this is one die, that's the outer edge die, and then this is the inner die. And you can see here it cuts those out, but it just scores all those for you. If you want them deeper, just use a, an embossing mat as you yes. pop it through. So I've not really, I've not used my scoreboard, and all I'm going to do is, there are two ways that you can put them, so you can have them, this one goes that way, but shall we have one facing down? Yes. Yes, we'll have one facing down. 
And and when you, there's going down to the garden. Down to the garden. It's, yeah. it's, it's digging in the grass. Absolutely. So, I love ladybirds. I love ladybirds too. I mean, they're red and black. Of course, I'm going to love them. <laughs> <laughs> I like red and black exactly, as well. Exactly. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I like to colour with purple, yeah. but I like to wear red and black. Yeah. So I'm not going to worry too much about going over the edge because if I was to pop it straight on there, I'm just going to cut two yeah. straight ones out. And so this is like 5 foot, 5.40 because it's yeah. double, it's double the... Uh... Uh, I did to 70. Yeah, 270, 270 is 540, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's like nearly 600 uh, wow. GS, yeah. GSM. That's a good testament about the quality of the dyes. The dyes, definitely. Yeah. They de definitely. So I've, you can see I've just popped it through there. I'm going to pop it in and press run. And, then, and of course, that it, it, these ones will also fit through an A5. An A5 machine. dye, yes, I've been doing all my prep on an A5. I'll leave yeah. this one in the bag for to, to bring to bring yeah. here. Um, um, and the one that I've been doing it on is an A5. Uh, an A5. Sometimes it does. Uh, my dies getting my die cutters quite whole, so it's not uh, yeah. not cutting as as well. Not this one, but the one at home. So you can see now I've got a card base, but it's not very very yeah. level at all. I've done it wrong way around anyway. I'm so sorry. Matter. It's going up. It's bottom. going up. It's, it's, it's crawling out of the grass. Out of yeah, the grass. Absolutely. So we've got. Um, I'm going to do a red one, and I'm going to do a black one. We've done an outer red. Okay. And I'm going to do these separate okay. because I want them to to, to both be yep. to be sure of, of embossing. Yep. What I will do is I'll reverse the machine and bring it straight back out. Okay. Yeah, because with the, the gold power and the body. Yes, body yes. Down. I'm going to get a, a sheet of white. I've forgotten to put a prep. Oh. <laughs> it's good that, isn't it? I got so excited the first time I did the it because it was so quiet, so quick. So you can see here, and you can even see where it's done the, the embossing. Do a little tap. And you've got it there. Yeah. So this this is your black one, and then we've got. By the way, Karen, don't run the counters the first day, huh? Yeah? I'm not. I did it backwards. <laughs> I, I did, did it backwards. It. <laughs> I know you can take it. Oh, we just like, you know. If I wipe my hands down my jeans, do you think I'll get away with the <laughs> nearly wrecking counters? <laughs> don't worry, I might just do. I them. think these counters are going to be amazing. I think oh, yeah, I, I they that. look absolutely fabulous. Yeah. I, I like that they have got a shell, so I can put all sorts well, of stuff. Well, yeah, there. because I've, we, you, you know, normally you're going around and you're looking for everything. Yeah. And uh, everything's got its place. Absolutely. And of course, this collection, uh, talking about places, I love that it's such a big focal point. Oh, you can make a card just out of, out of one. See, I've not done it on there, I've done it on mine. Yeah. Uh, don't worry. It's like, you know, if you do it in the, like you were doing, nobody will see that. There we go. Yeah. I'm not going to get into trouble. No, you are not. Well, I was thinking, another thing I was thinking about this collection, you know why it would be really nice? Is to do, because they're nice sizes, especially the ladybird and the dragonfly, to do them in like bunting. Yes, yes, I did. When we had the, when we launched the bee, I did the bee in bunting ah. and I had it all on, on, on the, on the counter. From, from our producer M's, um, you know, Pepper in a Penny, just if you want to find her, um, online, uh, it's, um, she's suggesting a mobile. A mobile with the different oh, for, for the different yeah, insects, so the, different, the insects. different insects and different wings. Yes, that, definitely. For little, um, you know, baby. Uh, the, uh, Yana, yes, make sure they're baby. out of reach as well. Yeah. As well. So oh. this one's just a quick and simple one. I'm just going to get the glue, and this is the card base that I've got. Yep. And I'm going to cover it in one that I have cut previously in white. Yep. So we're going to cover that, and then what you can see there. It just covers that little bit there on the back, and you can't see that you've made it oh, from, from two. Oh, it's cute. It's so cute. Get my scissors out, and we're going to cut it. We're going to cut the ladybird's it legs might off. Be in, um, if you cut
can't. I mean, probably my, no, it, I was going to say something, but better not. No, go on. We've got plenty. We have plenty, Paula. We've got right. plenty. Right. If you cut the, the wide one, if you cut the, um, the top part a little bit to so shape it, I just think it's a baby. <laughs> if, you if you cut. <gasps> yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, let's. Let's have a look, see if we've got Not the got black, one. really black thing. We're just thinking, is this the movie? It has got like the little... Like... So you mean if we cut... Yes. Sort of this bit here, yeah. go around there. Yeah. Go around there. <laughs> around there. Uh, I mean, maybe it's... It a... got a little chubby baby. <laughs> <laughs> maybe not, maybe not. Could oh, be an oh, alien. Turn, turn it out around, turn it upside down. Is that either frog? No, or a skull. Oh. A skull and bones. He's a frog. Or a turkey. He's a frog. He's a frog. <laughs> He's a frog. <laughs> oh. I've decapitated the, 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 the. You're having me decapitating ladybirds. So we've got the legs on and we're just going to cut into the legs, cut across the top of the head. Because we don't want red legs, do we? Yeah. We don't want red legs. No, definitely. And they're easy to chop into. Just chop the last oh. one off. You could then put them as frog's legs. Yeah. They? Or, you know, as a fish, they look like fish. Yeah. Or, or don't even ever dolphins. waste. Don't yeah. ever waste anything. No, absolutely not. This is how simple um, it is yeah. to do a ladybird. I and then all that. I'm going to do is get my black drops i see also the head of it if you look at it the antenna and um, it looks also could be the head of a robot a what sorry rob robot robot ro robot robots yes that's that's the word sorry it's one of those words i cannot pronounce yes yeah that's the robot's yeah. head isn't it exactly. yeah definitely so it's quite versatile it's not it just is. a wing gun thing Oh. And then you just carry on bobbing those in as such. Don't if you miss the all if you miss the, the the bits that are done in. Don't forget they're not always completely uh, symmetrical. Are they lovely the uh, the yeah. lovely uh, ladybirds? Okay. And then we would we'll stick that one on that's already dried. Yeah. Mm. I'll not put the legs on, I'll just pop it onto there. Oh. Well, it's not got a base on it because we've decapitated yeah. the And you're using one. the one that is already yes. dry, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, so that's that one. Yeah. Uh, that needs to dry. Okay. And then there's one there that you've already got with dry and see the dimension ah, into perfect. it as well. Fabulous. Thank you, Karen. Thank you very much. And I shows how quickly and easily you can do something that is fun, that is exciting, that you can do like that for bunting or you can do decorations for the garden. Maybe you want to do something a little bit different, uh, mixed media. Now, approaching 20% of the full bundle has already gone. Now, if you want to go for the complete bundle, you are getting two die sets, two stamp sets and two stencils. The die sets feature, of course, the ladybird so you can create a loveliness of ladybirds and the snail so you can create wait for it a scargot toir or route of snails apparently i don't know uh, huh? a, route. a route i think it's route or root but route or root mm -hmm. i don't know how to pronounce it but don't you know me i'm the worst person for pronunciation however you can go for individuals so, for instance, if you wanted to go for the ladybird bundle, well, no, it's not a bundle. You would go for the die and the stamp, right? So that would come up at twenty-five pounds. If you go for the full collection, you have got a saving, a saving of ten pounds if you are not a freedom member, a saving of fourteen pounds and ninety-nine pence if you are a freedom member. Remember that if you're a freedom member, you don't pay PMP. So that means that it's a why not deal. It be, it's, you would say be saving money by becoming a freedom member and then going for the bundle. Remember, if you flexi buy then as a freedom member, you would be just paying twenty-two pounds and forty-eight pence today. 
which means that you would be paying about three pounds less or the two pounds fifty less than if you just went for the ladybird uh, stamp and light on it and so on. On top of that, you would get the sense and the very useful stencils that you can use because you have got the good rain and the leafy stencil there included. Now, if you wanted to go for individuals, of course you can, but of course the saving, that 14 pounds and 99 pence saving is when you are a Freedom member and you go for all of the collection of the garden creatures now I love that I love the simplicity of these cards I love the fact that you can bring in a lot of detail see here both stencils have been used that is in the complete collection and uh, this nail as well what's the name of the snail then um, Karen Sydney, Sydney, Sydney the snail. Sydney snail. Oh, isn't he gorgeous? Uh, or the earth could be Stanley. Could be the Stanley, the small one. Stanley. Stanley. Yes. Yeah, that's it. Certainly could. Our uh, um, the design team were were also asking about would shall we name them? Shall we name them? So all these names oh, came together, I see. and it's it's um, Sydney, it's it? Caroline, Sam, Sam, and. Uh, Cheryl that oh. have, have named them so he's called Sydney because we've done them all with the same initial of what what they uh, what they are uh, we have had, but talking about Cheryl, we have had an email from uh, Cheryl. Uh, she's saying that she loves these eyes because, and the stamps because they're very versatile. And you know what? It's true. I mean, it's a new home for a snail. It could be like, you know, somebody who. I also think the snail is the symbolism of uh, resilience and, you know, just, just, just keep Longevity going. Longevity. Longevity. Because they keep going. They keep going and going and going and going. And it's also, you know, a nice thing to say, well, I'm sorry I'm late. Yes. Because I will every sorry this this post has been so Absolutely. slow. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, and I love as well that you not only are getting the snail but you are also getting the um the you get the yes. toadstool and you get the little toadstools, yeah. but look how beautiful they've been colored. They've yeah. been colored up, absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely. But a nice little finishing toucher. They are. But also they'll they'll go for other die sets. They'll go for Indeed. and you still get the matching stamps. All the stamps match the dies, so the dies will yeah. cut out every single stamp that you. That, yeah, that absolutely. I, I absolutely the adore these sets. cards and how it shows it. Uh, perfect. Thank you, Karen, because that you know that way of saying like. You know the, the slowness of the, the of, of the snail, but also the flutter by of the ladybird as well. Yes. Right. Twenty percent of the stock has already gone. Zero one zero one one three is your item number. Remember that if you're a Freedom member, you can flexibate and just pay twenty two pounds and forty eight pence today, which is less than if you just went for the ladybird die and the stamps on their own. Now you may want to go for the butterfly frame, which ha it brings in that focal point nature of it, the oval. Uh, the layering elements of to, to it. Twelve ninety nine is your price. Six one eight four eight zero is your item number. Then we have the dragonfly as well. Uh, this is the stamp on its own. You are getting the dragonfly in this big um, component, also the smaller one, and the flower as well. Three stamps in there for eleven ninety nine. One seven five one three nine is your item number. Uh, then we have uh, got the um, dragonfly uh, dies in there. You can see four dies. Twelve ninety nine is your price uh, uh, five four eight five one three is your item number now remember we have got a happy hour deal uh, it's a stamp set so if you want it please make sure uh, that you check out your baskets uh, it is from Imp impression obsession and it's a photo polymer feature in the giraffe so you can create a tower of uh, giraffes if you wanted to uh, now they are it's a fabulous stamp set you can see you will fill up to things again soon that's one of the sentiments that you have got in there it's been a long time you have a special spot in my heart hold your head high and chin up. I think their sentiments are absolutely fabulous. You see down his neck? Yeah. Just right down. Stop. Uh, just up a little bit. Stop. Down a bit. That one there. Ah, that's, that's a, a heart. heart. Oh, yeah. You can see that that's a heart. Mm. And, uh, it's it's gorgeous. You could colour it all in giraffe and then have the heart. Yeah. I heart you. I love and I love that you can make it a more sort of with a bow tie or a bow so create it. That could be a lovely also a wedding card with and get know. well soon card. But you absolutely. know when you're feeling unwell and absolutely. you've got a scarf on. Yeah, Fourteen absolutely pounds and ninety-nine beautiful. pence is the price. You are saving five pounds for that. Remember that's a happy hour. A deal five six six four zero two is your item number. Right, Karen, what are you going to do next? So I'm going to do a pop-out card. First of all, I'm going to show you how these 
these uh, cut out, I'm going to do a black snail and I'm going to do a yeah, uh, brown craft. That's what. <laughs> Sans colour, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Craft. It's a. Um, um, oh, crikey, words fail me. Well, it's. Craft card. Craft card, that's yeah. the one. Card. That's the one. From it, here, there's this, one of the things of social distancing that is quite difficult is that I could see that it was the same colour, but I wasn't sure if it was actually craft card, craft card or not. Or yeah, not, so. yeah. I think it's the height it's getting to me, Paula. Oh, <laughs> dizzy height. <laughs> dizzy what, height. No, dizzy yeah. height. Well, they do say, isn't it, that when you are high up, I mean, I'm not talking about <laughs> but you know, like in a mountain, in the top of a mountain. You get short of breath and yeah. you also, also the, your brain, and, uh, your brain starts slowing down because it's started to use all the oxygen and everything, that's isn't it? it? Yeah. I think that's exactly what's happening. Oh, here. definitely, definitely. I haven't got a clue. What, I'm, I'm so disorganized. I'm not disorganized. I'm just so disorientated. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's the heights. Yeah. I, I know because I feel exactly the same when I am on when, top of the box. On the top yeah. of the box. I'll try it after after this afternoon with, without yeah. the box. So you can see here, you've got your snail. He's all cut out and he's all embossed beautifully. He's going to go on to there and then you're going to do whatever you want to him. You can draw on him, you can stamp on him. And what, we've, what I've done here is I've done a little bit of doodling and just made him a little bit look a little bit three three dimensional and then a little bit of white on his eyes because we've got quite popular with white pens nowadays haven't we yeah. so that's that's one snail and this is how it starts out what i will do is i'll just give, go through quickly of how we do a pop-up pop-up oh, card okay. so the front i've left so basically left it so plain it's not about the front but it's about that when you open it up you can see and you've got your little mushrooms in the back there and you've got your pop out so all i've done is this is um the white card stock i've colored it and then i've gone through on the stencils with a deeper colour and you can see how beautiful the leaves are. I've not done them in any particular order, I've not followed them, I've done a couple here, a couple there, I've even gone down into yellow and done it into three. So I think there I've got a nice like greeny, greeny, grassy background. I've cut this to seven by five and I've cut a piece of black a little bit shorter, a quarter of an inch shorter. And to stick that, I'm going to get the glue and I'm going to stick one side down. And any glue or any? Yeah, I've got my, um, I've got one of John next door's. Oh, bottles. bottles, but I have got the Oakwood Archer glue in. That's my go-to glue since uh, um, now. Yeah. I've watered it down a little bit to go through this, mm -hmm. to go through those to make sure it goes nice and um, it flows nicely mm -hmm. because it is a nice thick glue. Yeah. Um, but um, I've, with watering it down as well, so I popped one side in. And that is the black card that is in the bundle. That's the black card it? that's in the bundle, definitely, 270. And then I'm sticking a glue onto the other side. And this is going onto craft card, so the glue's sticking. So rather than opening it up and popping it down like that, what I am going to do is I'm going to close it and, and glue it yeah. closed. It'll not open completely properly, but I'm not worried because it's the kind of card that doesn't need to open properly. It's popping yeah, actually, up. Yeah, actually, yeah. Like, yeah, yes, full, yeah, yeah, it's holding up. If I'd have done it flat, you find that you get the lumps in the middle. So I've then folded this one up, and to measure it, I've done, done exactly the same little distances from the edges. So I took another quarter of inch off on two two sides and it just goes in a little bit different than that one and then i've made two marks yep. and the reason i've done the marks is we will stick this on first we're going to put them together and you see how easy it is to glue on a yep. little bit of not a lot of glue around it again the black card stock from the uh, the bundle 
I've drawn in that one and it comes out. <laughs> Fits in, gets a, a nice even border exactly all the way around it. And that's glowing just nice. Now I want that to pop out when I open it up. So I'm going to have to cut it to do it. But if I do the pop-up too too long, yes. it, when you close it, you uh, want to make yeah, sure that it closes yeah. without mm -hmm. that being there. So you get, you pop it in and then you will probably, mm, you measure. Line it up slightly, measure. So if I know that that yes. is going to where it's going to fold, when it folds in, it's not going to go further there. So I've drawn two lines, making sure that the lines are within, going to get hidden. And all we need to simply do is a pair of scissors. Again, we open out your scissors and go to the edge of the lines. Lift that through. Uh, my bone folder, my Cool Cats bone folder, and I'm going to push that bit forward and the other goes back. I'm not too worried about scoring it because the bone, my Teflon tool will yeah. there. That's give you nice scores. Mm -hmm. That's going to go in there. And I know it goes in one way or the other. Again, just one side. Being very naughty, not popping my glue, off, glue top on, but I am using it. Yeah. I'm going to pop one in into the fold, making sure I've got the yeah. border just nice. I'm going to fold that over, pop that into there. Again, folding it into the card give it a little bit of heat yeah because the heat will warm the glue up and makes the glue stick better oh i didn't know that well you've seen ali haven't you when she eats something yes, when she wants to dry it yeah. a bit quicker and um, when she's putting two pieces together she'll oh, dry yeah. it and yeah. then it, it gives it that it's tack it, yeah. so a bit of heat will always do it so you've got that there Perfect. yeah yeah simple way to do it and then we know that that's going to fit, so we're going to pop that one onto there, just on the one that's going to face forward. Okay. That goes. I love that. Into I think the there. And as you bend it over, can you see? Yeah, we can see. You're going to bend it over, push it down, and again, warm it up a little bit. Use your Teflon tool or your own folders, whichever. My preference is a Teflon tool. That gives it a little bit of heat. You can feel that the yeah, heat's there. Absolutely, yeah. And there you go. And then all you'll need to do is start, you could put a, a ladybird oh, lady in. I really love this card. We've got this little ladybird. Let's put yeah. little ladybird on. So it comes, this one die cuts um, without the centres into it. It completely die cuts like, like that. Yeah. However, don't forget, all you need to do is I save these bits as well. See, I'm going to have a whale of a time when oh. I get home do, doing stuff. I've yeah. cut them out of red, I've cut them out of black. And I know that that piece. one fits into there. And you're not going to be ages paper piece in this. Yeah. So you've got that one in there. Like that. You've got this one. Sticks into there. Just two pieces to paper piece. And you can have in red or you can have in black and red. You can do what you want. We've got flowers. We'll stick some little flowers. Um, You've got die cut flowers. Where shall we put the flowers? We'll put, we'll just put one in front, a couple in front of okay. it. One there. We'll do another one. You, that's it with the, cent with the center in. So these are the flowers that die cut. They come. We should have three, shouldn't we? And this would make a lovely new home card. So, you definitely, know. definitely. Oh. Sorry, it's late card. Yeah. Or, stick on, yeah. stick on. That's how we got another one. And 
Well, also, I kind of think... Um, You've got things. You know, you know the one that kind of... You make me smile? Smile? Kind of a word. <laughs> no. Smile. smile. Yeah, you make me smile. Then you can pop these in as well. Oh, they cut lovely. Yeah. But don't forget, you can stamp these, colour these. And they all match together, so you don't have to... So That's got... the thing that uh, I'm looking at the shell now, and it looks if you fussy cut the body of the snail, it becomes like a seashell. It certainly does. We'll do that. You're so good. So we've got these two flowers in it there. The second one there that I'm just popping on top, it's got an indentation in. You can put your glossy accents yeah. and everything else into there. Absolutely. And what did we say about the snail? Become a... yeah. So we've got one here. And what we're going to do is, oh, I see it, Paula. I you do. See it? I see it. Oh, good. It's not just that I'm no, crazy. No, it's like one of those that you listen to. So we cut just two little lines there. You've got your <clears throat> snail. Yeah. And then if you just straighten this out yeah. a little bit, just like that, you haven't got a snail, you've got a slug. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, you have. I mean, yeah. but then this, and then you decorate the front of how you want. Yeah. Two little cards, just totally different. You can see there, I've been printing and stamping on that one, this one, but so easy to do. A pop out card. Absolutely. Oh, gorgeous. Thank you, Karen, Thank you. for showing us that. Now, um, let's look at how you can get to do that card. And the best way, the one the way that you are saving the most money is to go for the full bundle. Yes, if you wanted the snail on its own, if you wanted Sydney, you know, on its own, you can have Sydney as a stamp and as a die. You can. Uh, that will cost you £25 in total because it was £12.99 for the stamps and £13.99 for the, um, I think that's correct, £11.99 to uh, Twelve ninety nine and eleven ninety nine. Correct. Sorry, I'm, I'm doubtful for numbers, but that's how it would be for the stamp and the toys. Now, if you wanted to go for the ladybird, you have got exactly the same kind of um, you know price point there, uh, and they will be losing the ladybird. However, if you are thinking, if you are a freedom member and you go for the complete collection and you flexify it today, would you would be paying just twenty two pounds and forty eight pence. That's less than just one die set and a stamp set. And of course that gives you all the ability because like Karen was showing, you can mix and match the other elements that you are getting. Also, look at how lo lovely it looks, this rain plastic. Look at those beautiful bold samples as well that they are displayed there. I adore the fact that you are getting the bold ladybirds. I have never seen a ladybird that big, and I'm not mean in real life, I mean as a stamp or die. I love the beautiful nature of, I don't know, they are very pretty, aren't they? They are this kind of red and black, but also the snail. I, you know what, the snails are such a resilient animals, that kind of longevity, they keep going. And of course, they have that sort of I don't bother anybody, just keep me, leave me alone kind of attitude as well. But look, as soon as you kind of incorporate them into your projects, look at that. You are getting the smaller ladybird as well here, as well as the larger one with the beautiful uh, flowers. Right, and remember that if you go for the full bundle, you are getting as well the two very useful stencils here, the wood grain and the leafy stencil. Now, if you go for the full bundle, if you're not a Freedom member, £10 saving. If you're a Freedom member, Fourteen pounds and ninety-nine pence, which means that not paying PMP is a why not deal. Become a freedom member before uh, buying the full uh, set. Zero one zero one one three is your item number. We have got more though. We have this gorgeous butterfly frames in here. I love the fact that uh, you know a kind of a doily, kind of brothery and glass sort of element to this because you have, as Karen was very well pointing out, the outer element, but you have also the inner, uh, you know, oval shape. So you can choose whether you frame it. Let me show you here. Whether you're just using the frame, or you kind of use the element to create a full element in there. You can use the other elements as well, and you have got the butterflies, borders, and um, kind of eyelets. Twelve ninety nine. Is your price nine dice in total six one eight four eight zero? 
I like the sizes as well. Then the dragonflies, again, part of the wings and things that coordinates perfectly with the dragonfly and, well, Lucy and uh, Sydney. Uh, here you have the dragonfly. Twelve ninety nine for four dice in total. Five four eight five one three is your item number. And, and for Duncan. And then you have uh, the stamps that match perfectly, so you can use them in combination. So let me show you how the stamps work with the dice as well. So you have got the possibilities of mixing and matching them, which it makes a lot of sense. Eleven ninety nine is your price. One seven five one three nine is your item number. Right. If you wanted to go for the uh, snails uh, on their own, you have got here the die set on its own. Uh, Nine two zero one five seven is your item number. Twelve. 99 is the price. Now, if it was the uh, snail stamp, if you want Sydney as a stamp form, you have it here as well. 752191 is your item number. 1199 is your price for that. If you want the ladybird as a die set on its own, here you have her, Lucy. Uh, now, 1299 is your price. 499. 370 is your item number five dice there and if you want lucy as a um, you know stamp set well you have it the possibility of going for that as well 11.99 is your price you're getting three stamps there 856206 is your item number if you wanted all of the bundle remember that's when the saving is especially if you are a Freedom member, you have a 14 pounds and 99 pence saving, which is basically you are not paying for one of the die sets plus something else because, well, and a bit of something else because a die set will cost you 12.99 on its own. Remember also, if you're a Freedom member and you flexify, you are paying less for the first flexify. Remember, it's just two payments of 22 pounds and 48 pence for the full bundle, which makes a lot of sense to put that as a flexify. Remember, once that you put that in, you can then put in as well the car stock which I have got here so you can see the red and the black and the yellow so you can add that to the baskets and flex by as well right so you have got 45 sheets 270 she is GSM right Ken are you ready yes shall we Fabulous. get along with a little bit of shrink plastic Absolutely. so you can see the size of the stamp there so the stamp well it's yeah. of this of the snail yeah. is just short about three and three quarter inches by four and a quarter so about three three and a half by four so it's a nice nice big one i've got a nice piece of uh, shrink plastic and what i've had to do is it's a, an a4 sheet and i've cut it into four i've got stays on yeah. because i'm wanting it to be permanent yeah. i have stamped this out before i've got it on my stamp press um, I've got a dry one, so we would be all right to Absolutely. to carry on. So just nice light taps, and I've not popped it down. I've not stuck it down or anything because I found that um, a stays on yeah. will stick. So the stays on with it being an alcohol, yeah, um, a permanent and an alcohol. Always make sure that you pop your tops back on your stays on, and I've popped it in, but it's stuck to it, which. Yeah. To me, it's even better. It's even better yeah. because it's given me chance to make sure that I nicely rub over mm -hmm. it, and then you get that you get you get that um, really nice, don't you? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That, that's uh, that. So we've got that there, and then you need to let that dry. I bob that onto one side, put that over the over there, and then I've got a dry one here. Now you can colour, if you colour with alcohol markers straight onto your drink plastic, you're going to make that run. So if you've done, if you're doing alcohol markers, oh, do it I from see. the back. Okay. I'm only going to do pencils and I'm not going to colour it all. So I've got a nice darker one and a little one and they're not expensive pencils. And it'll, it doesn't look very, very clear. It doesn't look very, very deep, but I wouldn't worry about it. I'm not going in for any colouring competitions. I'm just mm -hmm. using normal pencils. I wouldn't actually use my uh, uh, my Derwent ones on, on to, onto yeah. it because it's it's shrink plastic. It's not going to matter. You're not going. You don't have to be an artist. Mm -hmm. So all the bits that are coming out, I'm just colouring in, making sure that go around in circles or colour how you want. Get the kids involved with this. 
Yeah. And then instead of doing what I'm going to do with a heat gun, yeah. do it as a party or something like that. Have a snail party. Oh, All your invitations with yeah. snails. Yeah. And then you make things. Yeah. Stamp on pencil cases. Let them colour pencil cases. Let them colour these. And then everybody goes in the oven. Safe. Safe Absolutely. in the oven. Well, I know we're not doing parties, are we? But well, when we parties will. happen, we will but, be. You know, it, it, you there are assume. families of more than one child, so I would yeah, imagine if you yeah. want to keep them entertained, and um, you know, or my friend, I mean, she's, she's in South Africa, but she, she has got a four or five year old now, and you know, she's kind of, you know, looking after full time, and, and a lot of crafting like this, things that he can colour in, this would be perfect for him. Certainly, and it's not like buying a colouring book. Yeah. You can keep stamping and Absolutely. stamping. You can you can mask them and have them as three yeah. or four. You can mask them or you can you can use them to learn to count with. And the, the you other can have thing, a, a height chart yeah. with it, with and all the, the different insects, a height chart. And again, you know, the kind of thing that you can stamp onto fabric and cut an embroidery or Or colouring with, co with fabric paints, yes, definitely. Absolutely. And they're ideal for children to be able to... Well, you, you, you do that for a child to sew yeah. uh, with a, with a big... It. Uh, yeah. with, with a big aider. Oh, by the way, we have got about three, two minutes left. Well, we're all right for two minutes. What we're going to do is we're just going to... Here's one that I coloured earlier. Let's okay. get this. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, come on, Karen. Karen. Come on, Karen. Karen's going to go through and pop it through. You can see it goes over. You should, you should cut it. Yeah. You should stick it down, but yeah. we'll fly by. Uh, it seems to be staying yeah. there. Press run goes through. Okay. Now that's not me cracking. That's not my that's, bones. That's the yes. That's if the you find it difficult plastic. cutting. Um, shrink plastic put a piece of paper over it and it'll cut it it'll keep it in. as you can see this one's moved and i would put another piece of paper in there let's get rid of that uh we need to pop a hole into it let's get a nice big hole okay. wherever you want to and then you we're going about a minute till the end we'll get show. that done oh yes yeah. i've heated this up so when, you, when you're holding it, if, if you've got a lot of little things sticking out, yeah. put a bit of anti-static on it. But if you're doing shrink plastic, always hold it with wood because the metal contacts yeah, it and makes it go. And you are the smartest on the other day I did uh, And it'll all start coming, to coming together. Okay, yeah. I didn't put any anti-static on this one. Well, come on, you can Turn do it. Turn him over. Come on, get your get your antenna out of the way. You can use the wood. Yeah, I know. This is good. Don't stick your fingers in it like I do. What are we gonna do? Oh, we'll get a piece of card. There we go. Put that down. You'd normally put something hard no, down onto it. Harmed. No snail was harmed. No Karen's fingers were harmed. Oh, look at that. And there you go. You've got jewellery. As you can see, that's still not completely shrunk. I can go back into it. But then it could be the bigger brother. Yep, <laughs> the bigger brother. And you can do that with the little one as well. And then you can pop it on. You've got necklaces. Marvelous. You can you can put them on well, airstyles. Karen, we have got seconds to go. Thank Love you. It. When Thank are you, you back? Two. At two o'clock. All right. Stay tuned for that. Check out your baskets and stay tuned because after the break, Lucy Sims and Yana is with Ranger of Tim Hunts. indeed a Lou Sims and Yanis and Ranger and Tim Holtz and next then at 12 a Stemperia one day special and then at 1 Abs is back with his amazing all and create weekend wow Hi, my name is Catherine Sturrock and I work in collaboration with FMM. FMM creates some wonderful cake decorating cutters. We have brought them to a chander and used them with air dry clay to create some beautiful flowers, leaves and other florals. We use them then to decorate various products such as laser cut designs, mixed media, card making and many other items.
So join me on a chanda and let me guide you through the process of putting together various flowers such as roses, peonies and lots more besides. Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people will be too. Our kits are really easy and I hope they inspire you to have a go at stitching. Since we've been on Hachanda, we've had a great time. Everybody's been really friendly and really good. We've met loads of people all around the country who watch Hachanda and find it really inspiring. Don't forget to join me on my own Dean shows on Hachanda. Hi there, my name's Leona. I'm a presenter, a guest and a crafter here at Hachanda. I got into crafting years ago, Ever since I've been crafting since I was a child and I absolutely love it. I love my job, I love the presenting side because I get to meet loads of really inspirational people and that's just the beauty of this, there's always something new to learn, there's always something that you want to get into, it's fabulous. My Let Leone Loose show on Achanda is also fantastic. It's my weekly highlight. I get to work with loads of really cool brands, loads of fantastic products, and again, I'm always learning. And I do get loads of wonderful viewers getting in touch as well, which is obviously a highlight of our job. I hope you can join me on my Let Leone Loose shows every Wednesday, 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we're honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Pat and Mark from Totally Patched. We're a family-based business here in Shropshire. We've been established for about 20 years. The, all of our kits uh, come pre-cut, meaning all the fabric is cut for the actual people who want to make the items, whether they be um, cushions, bags, quilts or anything else you want to cast your creative memory or mind into. Most of the kits we produce we design ourselves. The design process is usually inspired by the fabric itself. We use, only use great quality fabrics, 100% cottons. So, whether you're a beginner or an experienced sewer or quilter, we hope we've got something for all of you. Make sure you come and watch us on Pachanga. Well, hello everybody. Uh, thank you for joining us. So we had a show earlier on with Ranger and the lovely Lou. Hello, Lou. Hello, hello. Uh, it was early doors though, and I can it, it understand was. if you want to have a little bit of a lay-in uh, and then join us now, or you might watch the earlier hour. Stick around, because Lou, you've got some great demonstrations and techniques for us. I hope so. Fingers crossed. Yes. Yeah. Well, yes. I say I always enjoy working with you. <laughs> thank you're you. You're so knowledgeable. Thank you. And I think you're good at obviously coming from a teaching background. You're very good in in the techniques that you share as well. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. I do mean that, I do mean <laughs> that. Okay, so what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna show you some of the mediums. We have got other goodies on the show in the form of stencils and stamps. You can all shop ahead for that. We will look at them on the counter a bit later on, but we're gonna start with our mediums and then we're gonna get to demonstration. Let's start with the Distress Inc. So we've got two sets of four. They share the same item number, but they are options. So if we start here, you've got your walnut stain, uh, your pickled raspberry, your shabby shutters, and your dusty Concord. And just having a look at these beautifully blended. So 
Uh, Lou, as a question we got asked earlier on, what's the difference between distress inks and distress oxides? Right, distress inks are um, dye-based, mm -hmm. which means they um, have a more translucent nature to them. Right. You can do all your watercolouring <coughs> techniques with them. Oxides are a mix of pigment and dye, right. which then when blended together, give you that um, <coughs> special effect. So you, it's a more of an opaque look rather than a translucent. Yeah. And then obviously you can do add more water techniques and they okay. blend in lots of different ways. Can you mix distressing and distress oxides? Yes, you can. The best way, I, for me personally, I found doing it is to do the oxide backgrounds first and then stamp on the top oh, with the okay. distress. Because the distress inks are translucent, the oxide being more opaque will yeah. hide it all. Course. Oh, so you have to yeah. do that way. So okay. that's why I find it's easier yeah. doing no, it that, that way around. Sense. Now, this is our second option, and it was actually the most popular option in our previous hour. So you've got your scattered straw, which is there, evergreen <laughs> bough, you've also got your salty ocean, and then your weathered wood. How beautiful do these complement each other? We were discussing it, it gives the illusion of um, a beach. A beach there, actually, if I do it that way, you kind of got, got the feel of the beach. Or well, this could be uh, a lovely scenic scene, wonderful skies. I mean, that top for your sky is incredible. Then you're seen, and then you've got uh, your scatter scroll, which could be, if I turn it that way, now we've got that skyline coming through, the sun coming, uh, bursting through. So a lot you can do. It's a really nice combination. I have to say, I love all the colours, but that as a combo would probably be my favourite option as well. Uh, it is in the lead just. 12.99 is your price there. Triple zero eight three six item number. So those are distressed inks. Now we're going to move on to distressed markers. So, distress markers, tell us a little bit about these. So, please. the distress markers are the distress ink in a marker form. Okay. So, you can, so this allows you more precision if you want to colour your images, so you can colour directly. Whereas you see us all put the little bit of colour on our mats and then pick it yeah, up. Yeah. Whereas this, you can do it that, and, but you've got a lovely fine tip, yeah. so you can get into the, the, you know, the intricate details on a stamped image, and then you've got the brush. Mm -hmm. Tip well, as well. That's and uh, this is what uh, I love about the pens because we're just showing you that fine tip that you are getting. So here, uh, this is your worn lipstick. So there's your fine tip. You've got beautiful lettering there, <laughs> Lou. I commend you. Oh, sorry, I was about to say, forgive the handwriting. Are you kidding? <laughs> forgive the handwriting. You've got lovely handwriting. Uh, you're definitely not a doctor. Brush. Uh, there's your brush nib, and then you've got your colours. Drawing the uh, apologies if I offended any doctors watching there. Uh, and then we've got our mustard seed. And in again, your fine tips, the same pen, fine tip end, that's your brush nib. It's your beautiful brush stroke lettering or brush stroke uh, feel, and that's just drawing colour out. And you're getting all three of the uh, markers. And here we've got a broken china. Fine, that's your brush, and that's your colour. Okay, if you do want to pop those into your basket, 9.99 is your price, 830-267, your item number. So, we've had a look at various forms of distress ink, whether it's in pen marker form or pad. Now we're going to move on to the oxides, but you've got them in sprays. Now, Luke, this is something that took a long time to develop and get right. Yes, I mean, the oxide ink pads themselves were out a, a good couple of years before the sprays came out, yeah. and that's because... Tim wanted the sprays to do exactly the same as the oxide ink pads did. Mm -hmm. So it took the Ranger chemists quite a while to get it just, just right. right. Yeah. Um, and so we've, we've got a liquid form of our ink pads. Saying that, though, I'm going to quickly say some people think that you can spray onto your oxide pads to re-ink them, and they're yeah. not a re-inker, okay. just in case people do think that. I'm glad right. you did said that. Uh, you said that because, you know, logic dictates maybe yeah. you could, so thank you for that. Uh, okay, I'll tell you what we're going to do. And uh, again, I'm going to thank Lou for this because she's been incredibly organised. <laughs> I'm going to show you because they come in sets of pairs, but check this out. So what Lou has done, which I think is genius, we've got the two colours, so the two sets of pairs, but she's done it, uh, she showed each colour on white background. That's craft background, so craft card, and that's black. So you get to see same car, uh, same colour. So there is your abandoned coral on white, on craft card, and then on black. I mean, even on black looks beautiful. And this is your chipped sapphire, white, car, um, craft card, and then black. And then what Lou has done, same thing, but blended them. So this is showing them together, again, on white, uh, craft card, and then black. So. It's going to be the same for every board, so I explain. I'm not going to go through that each time, but now you get an idea. All right, let's have a little look. Here, this is another pairing, so the pick, uh, picked raspberry and your broken china. Beautiful colours. And I have to say, picked raspberry and broken china 
work so well together. So there we go, those are your two colors. And then if we look down here, you can see them blended. That is a very, very nice pairing. I like that a lot. Uh, coming up, we've got another good pairing for you. So sticking with color family here, uh, you've got your Mermaid Lagoon and your Evergreen Bow. So beautiful greens and blues. There you go, that's your green, that's your Evergreen Bow, and that's them blended. Then we have, now this is interesting because Lou was telling us in the previous hour, showing demonstration, do not be scared of your darker co co colors, but also pumice stone, really undervalued color because it allows you to get different tones from your existing shades as well. So mixing and matching, I mean, how good does that? That's got a bit of a nebula galaxy feel to it. That is very, very nice. Uh, over here, we have our barn door and our scattered straw, so bright, vivid colors. I mean, these are colors that we can all relate to, especially if you've had the pads before, you know how strong uh, these are and how they can be used. Love that. And there's them blended. Then we have our wild honey and old paper. So the old paper, as the name suggests, brilliant if you want to go for a vintage aged look. And then you've got that beautiful wild honey tones as well. Yeah, like that a lot. And then just got a couple more to share with you. This is your uh, milled lavender, great names, and your seedless preserve. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, another sort of galaxy feel, seeing galaxies. And finally, we have got our antique linen and our ground espresso. Now, ground espresso was another one. It's a really intense color, but don't be scared of it, especially mixing. And this is, and I'm right in saying, Lou, uh, you were explaining our previous hour, the thing with oxides and Tim Holtz in general, his sort of ethos, layer, layer, layer. Layer, layer, layer. Yeah. And, and the idea of the whole distress range is that you can use them to layer and, and create all your different backgrounds. Yeah. And it's important to him that, you, you know, You'd layer it how you want to see it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the oxides do do that as well. You can layer. And that effect, and they, mm. are a uh, they are a specialist effect uh, mm. sort of uh, ink that you're getting there. Right, just going to tell you, options, you're picking your pairs there. Twelve ninety nine at your price. You pick the set of two that works for you. 736-769, your item number. Uh, we're going to jump onto the website as we head to Lou for our first demonstration. There is lots more to see. So we've got some fantastic stencils on the show, and we'll be showing how they work and you need to see them because they're quite cool. Uh, we've also got some incredible stamps as well and have a look at that cracked leather paper. So it's a faux leather effect paper, which is so good for your journaling uh, there. So it's, it's very, very nice. You've also got your tags in there as well. So do explore at your leisure. But right now we're going to head to Lou for our first demo. Um, what are we going to be doing? Lou? I thought we're going to use old paper and wild honey. Wild honey is one of my favorites. Okay. But one of the things I wanted to show um, is the difference, what makes this the difference. So this is the pigment down here. Mm. And along the top here where the translucent bit is, is the dye. Oh. And it's the combining of the two that gives oh. us the distress sprays. That's nice then. A good shot from Chris, our director. <laughs> so you were also explaining um, the shaking here. Yeah. Uh, normally, when we get a spray sort of thing, you're encouraged to shake it from yeah. side to side. Yeah. And, and Tim Holtz was very honest and said, you know, life's too short. Mm. You know, you want to create. Just put a tissue on the top and just shake it as you want shake. to do it. Yeah. Give it a good um, old and, shake. You, and you can get it a good shake going. You're not, you're not scared to give it a good old shake? No. And then obviously anything that comes out just comes out on your tissue mm -hmm. and that's why you put the tissue on top so you, you're not wasting it keeping clean yeah yeah i have to say though all these tissues well, you could have a rag if you a wanted. rag i use tissues because then once they're all colored i will cover them with clear ink and embossing powder yeah. and you get another background yeah right so let's give them a quick shake so, um oh this is a, a good one from the team actually charlotte our producer mm -hmm. was saying i know you like to use tissue paper so rather than tissue if you want to use a, a tissue paper and then you're creating background I do so you can see. Mm. So I've just put it on the card. I do use tissue paper because then you've created a coloured, um, well, tissue, uh, well, rice paper. I had to think of the word. Yeah. So this is, this oh, is the wild nice. honey, oh. and it's just that wild. Oh no, that's intense. It's beautiful, but as it dies back, it goes slightly subtler. But yeah. you can see on the black how I'm getting some beautiful. Yeah. And then this is it. The old paper is another one that is got a lovely green undertone to it. Right. And you know, what impresses me, and we were discussing this in our previous hour, Lou, is even on black cardstock, you get such a vivid color. You do, and you can see, so you can get the difference there. Yeah, I like and, that. and you can see, now this is, I haven't oxidized any of this. I've just left it as is. Um, but we can then add some water. So I'm just gonna give it a quick blast. Okay. 
you can mm. wet your tags first, yep. but um, you know, spritz them with the water. But what will happen is your inks are more likely to blend yeah. a little bit more because we've obviously added another right. liquid to the mix. You're getting a lot of love for your quiet uh, heat tool from the team. <sighs> Listen, I, I know my last heat. I, th I think I, I did an embossing show. Yeah. And it was when you were going there and we were up there. Yeah. And mine was so loud. Poor old Janice, I think, must have ended up with a really bad sore throat by the end of the show. Screaming. <laughs> yeah. So, so that's just giving them a quick dry. Okay. And then that's it on the black. And suddenly oh, you've yeah. got... And the two complement. And yet on, on the cream card, they, they look really beautiful. Good, yeah. And it is. It's another colour. So if I wanted to now, let's grab... And I'm grabbing the same stencils, but it's just easier because it's right okay. beside me. And we have me. got these on the show. So uh, the gradient... Uh, grad Gradient dots, it comes with the gears. So I'm just going to put a bit of water through the stencil and I'm just going to let it sit there for the moment quickly. But what I am going to do is I'm just going to put a little bit of water. Sorry, I have to remember where the electrics are. I get paranoid about <laughs> where the electrics are. Yeah. And I'm just going to put that, this won't show that clearly, but I'm just going to put a little bit of the stamp okay. on top of there and I'm just going to let that sit for a so moment. We do have this stamp on the show. So let's grab another piece. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to put another tag on top because the water is going to pick up some of the, the oxide ink underneath. Water or any water product wants to find its way out. So why waste it? Let's create another background so from it. So that's your tapestry stamp and we do have it from uh, one of our options with the uh, stamps. We're just going to bring up the details. The tapestry stamps, you're getting a set of two stamps um, they're, they're very, very pretty. So just having a right, little look, yes. we can show you. There we go. Twenty-two uh, ninety-nine. Your stamp is anonymous. Brought to you by Tim Holtz and Ranger. So uh, just one option. We've also got Renaissance and we got Anatomy. So those are the three options. Uh, so Renaissance and then that's it. just spritzing water through on the stencil. So this is gradually will start on what we were talking about. All the different oxes. Organizations. And you'll yeah. get the, when that dries, as you can see from the top there, it's starting to go more chalky. Mm. So that is part. So the more water you add on, the chalkier the effect will actually be. And that was just picking, picking it up. Why waste it? Clean up. I think so we, put them there. What I like about the sprays, Lou, is I, I have sprays. Mm. And I think a lot of us do have uh, ink sprays. And a lot of good ink sprays on the market. There's only one oxide uh, ink spray, and that's the thing, the effects you can get with the oxides from Tim Holtz, and they are so distinctive. So if you like working with uh, oxides, or if you wanted to work with oxides and get those effects, working with, uh, obviously, a spritz gives different techniques that we can play with. Okay, now this is very, very subtle, the, the stamp detail is on there. I'm not sure I... Yes, you got yeah, it on the got yellow it. there. So that's like a marbling. It's like a marbling. So I've actually stamped, spritzed the stamp with some water, so actually, it's a great way of cleaning like your stamps. Swirl, yeah, I love that. Um, it's a cheap, yeah. you know, an easy way to clean your stamps. So let's just move that out of the way. Right. Now, another thing we can do, there, I'm going to prick a background that I've already done okay. to work on. So this one was the uh, seedless preserves and the, um, the violet, the milled lavenders. That's so, a beautiful, I remember we did this early on. And that's on the black. That looks so, do you know what it looks like? It looks like water um, dappled on glass. Mm. So we can still do, um, and I'm just going to do, let's give it a shake first to make okay. sure. So even though we've got this background, and as you were saying earlier, it's you know, about using layering techniques. Mm. So if I just take this and I'm just going to... The old drippy drippy. Drippy drippy. Because, well, you can. Now I can put another piece of card on top of that, mm. and I could lift that up and get like a ghost print. Mm. But what I thought would be really nice is I want to make that stand out to the background. So I'm just going to put some embossing powder on. Oh, okay. This is going to be good. So we've got the embossing powder. Because embossing powders just need a, a, a medium to stick to. Yeah. yeah. Um, an embossing ink is obviously a little bit better if you want finer detail. Yeah. We're not going for fine detail. <laughs> no. So this now is another way. So you, as you were saying about building up your different backgrounds on top, this is another way of doing it and creating all those different layers. And because I've gone for a clear embossing ink, what will happen is the intensity of the seedless preserve will mm. then pop through and we'll get a little bit of the, the black. Have you seen that turn yet? Yeah. So you can get different, different effects straight away. No, I love this. And I, I, I would never have thought 
to use my embossing powders in that way, so dripping the ink on and then just spraying over. I mean, it makes sense. I've just never done it. It's, but then I think the difference is we think of spray that all we need to do is just spray. Yeah. But they are a colour, aren't they? They're, they're, you can still do lots and lots of different techniques with them. Mm -hmm. Right. I've maybe did one or two splats too many, but never mind. No, I think it looks great. You never have too many splats. No, you can never. But to do a splat is easier. So you've got then, I've then got the contrast between the shine of the seedless preserve on an oxidised background. That is such a good background for that uh, I'm sure our viewers at home will agree with me I'm, you'd be desperate to use that wouldn't you yeah it's and it, it's and die cut a word that's it all and I do that's is it, sort of thing. stick a sentiment on there and you're pretty much done yeah so you think of all your backgrounds that you've, you've done and that you'd go mm, yeah. not too sure about so I'm, I've got black here only because I did them on black I wanted to show the difference of the different um, inks so I've, I've used a crackle on the white and I've used um, a gel medium on the black. So let's see, what colour shall we go for? Well, you know when you go when you have too much choice. Um, should we go for a little bit darker again or do you want to let's go for the black suit. Yeah. It's nice because it's a colour sometimes and, and it's understandable. Puppies. You might be a bit scared of the yeah. darker colours, but watch what Lou's gonna show you here. Please don't be scared of the dark suit, the ground uh, espresso because they can be so effective. Yeah I've gone for the black suit this time but they are. Um, I think we we do we get worried, don't we? We just think. So I'm just going to put the, the black soot. So as I said before, the black soot on the on a black card, suddenly when it, as it starts to dry, yeah. will go a little bit grey, which I think is wonderful. So I'm just going to grey that, grey, dry that quickly. Um, yeah. And you've already stamped to get the resist. Yeah. So I will, this where I've used the crackle paste, um, it will sit a little bit on top of the crackle paste, but where I've used like a gel medium on here, it, it will act like a resist. Mm. So a, your embossing powder acts like a resist, but if you've got a gel medium and a stencil, you can do exactly the same thing again. Lovely. So let's just take off away the excess there. And then if I take the pumice stone, okay, let's go for, oh, I won't get, let's go for dots again, only because it's at the top here. And then we just put it over the top. Nice. Yeah, oh, that's effective. So this is your pumice stone? Yeah, and your black soot together. Yeah. They are perfect playmates. It's the, the true contrast of the light and dark. And it, um, it does. And it's, it's got like a, um, a gold look to it. I don't want to use the word beige because that doesn't sound, because it's got a warmer feel to it. Yeah. But that's the two on there, so let's take that one off onto there, and then we'll wipe this one down. They look great, and the, the kind of feel I'm getting from all the techniques you're sharing, Lou, is these are really achievable. It doesn't yep. matter what level of crafter you are, you could get these home and be achieving what you're seeing right now. So then if I, I'm just going to rub some of that off. So now I've got the shininess, but the black card has suddenly, where I put the black soot down the middle, that has so gone good. grey. Yeah. So it, it's not black, it's gone that beautiful grey, and then with the other colour on top, I've got shades of grey, so it's not a cold anymore, it looks warmer, and then the, right. the same there, you've got, it's gone more, the, one complements the other by making it slightly lighter, and going inside all the crackle, oh, yeah. I've got the different layers of different colour on top. It's a mosaic now. That's, that is beautiful. So your dark really? colours, you don't have to be scary. There's something, I think, very elegant and classic mm. uh, with the darker colours, just that clarity and yeah. elegance of the black and the, the lighter shade. But, yeah, so th even though we've got darker on there, don't, don't be worried about the darker yeah. colours because they do complement each other. I'm nice. making backgrounds galore here. I love it, yeah. sort of thing. So what I also wanted to say was I'm going to get blending mat on here. Mm -hmm. Is Let's quickly grab a tag. Now, because they're a, um, sorry, I'm just going to put them back in their pairs, otherwise I lose what I'm doing. And uh, let's grab the abandoned coral for a moment. Nice but colour. You can still do lots of different things with them. So if I've sprayed on a little bit on here, and I grab a paintbrush, I, you can still, 
you know, you can still paint, so you could do a really... Oh, that's nice, a bit of a sunset. So I can do the soft brush effect, yeah. preferably with a, without a tag with a, that I've picked up. So then if I get the, the chipped sapphire, yeah. I can put that over the top. And I can do exactly the same again. Oh yeah, I love that. So at the moment, Lou, the team is seeing a man walking along a beach. Oh yes, in, I can see breeze. that now. Actually, it looks like he's walking against the wind. Yes. Sort of. So I've got that there. So you can you can use your sprays. You don't have to use your sprays as a spray. You can do that. Now I've got all this. I'm trying to think of a word yeah. for it. So if I put a little bit of water on. Right. You can still pick up the colour, and because I've got the water, when it dries, it will pick up some of the... Um, oh, that's the effects. You get those sort of beautiful markings. So now I can yeah, get... that's nice. Lou, um, we're just going to take a quick look at your mic. Oh, okay. I'm going to you the mic, if that's okay. I'm going to have a quick recap. We're going to sort out Lou's mic, and then we'll get back to our demonstrations really busy for the sprays and the thing is what you get with the oxides is so um, unique the kind of effects and you've got beautiful pairings here so you might have sprays at home but do you have any oxide sprays if you do you already will odds are love them and maybe you're uh, looking at investing in different color combinations great or this might be your first step in getting some distressed oxides uh, what i'll do uh oh i don't know what the favorite might is it going to be here the picked uh, raspberry yeah, thought so. It's my favourite too. Okay, so the team will ask me which was the uh, which is the favourite. I'm going to be quick here, just for anyone. I know we've got new viewers joining us every time. Lou, I think, has done such a good job with these uh, boards. So that's your colour on white cardstock, and that's on craft card. That's black cardstock. The two colourways, and then at the bottom, it's the blended uh, option. So you can see them both blended together. So there is your chip sapphire and your abandoned coral. But you see the effects you get with the oxides. This is the most popular colour option at the moment. It's my favourite too. So you've got your picked raspberry and your broken china. Lovely, bright, vibrant colours, but come on, look at them blended. Stunning. Uh, then we have our, this is your Mermaid Lagoon and your Evergreen Bow, which you can see there. I mean, even on that's black cardstock. The intensity is ridiculous. That shows the coverage uh, that you're getting here. This is your pumice stone and your black soot. Now, I was actually really impressed with the pumice stone and black soot. I think as a color combo and uh, Lou working with the stencils, it's such an elegant option. So if you want to create a card uh, that's quite elegant, if you want to create a card, dare I say, if you struggle to create maybe more masculine uh, feature cards, that's a really good option to have. I'm not saying you can't use it for everyone. I'm just saying sometimes masculine cards we struggle with. Uh, this is your barn door and your scattered straw. Uh, nice, bright, vivid colors coming through. But look at this is what you get with the oxides. It's that wonderful, special effect. It's kind of cellular in the way it works, that oxidization. Then your wild honey and your old paper. Another really engaging color combination. Just a couple more to share. This is your milled lavender, your seedless preserves, which is that see, I love that. And the seedless preserve and then your milled lavender. Nice color, color combo. And finally, antique linen and a ground espresso. So those are all your options with regard to uh, the Distress Oxides. If you do want to place them into your basket, come in sets of pairs. So you're just picking your favorite pair for $12.99. 736-769, your item number. Uh, got some stencils for you. These are nice. Uh, we're going to start here. Uh, again, the only way to really appreciate how good these stencils are is to see them. Having a look. See, now look at that. The gradient dot is so effective to the eye with the oxides. And I love uh, Lou's use of uh, color there as well. And then we have the gears too. Lou, can you remember what colors you used on that? They are actually the Distress inks that we've ah, got. So that okay. would be the Dusty the Concord set. and the Pick. Yeah. Yeah. So there we go. Lovely. Uh, we'll just pop the inks because we have got inks, uh, little mini inks, sets of four at the bottom of your screen. There's a couple of choices there. Got to talk to you about these. Uh, oh, just to give you your item number, uh, if you do want to go for your first option, it's 1499-066-019. Just want to show you here. Now, it's important to get your head around how these work because they're not just a plain stencil. Uh, obviously, you've got that stencil detail, but in between, you'll see you've kind of got 
um, an etched engraving of the design it's really important because what that allows you to do you're going to line that up so your stencil through here and then you'll move the stencil so what you've just colored through is then masked here and that allows you to achieve effects like this the same principle works for both of the uh, stencils the honeycomb uh, and the uh, shifter plus but do you see how you're able to build up? And that can be as big, you can extend that as long as you like. $14.99 your price, $159.372 your item number. Okay, now we've got the crack leather papers. This is nice. Uh, so crack leather paper, speciality paper, uh, good weight to it, but it's, it's all about the effect. It looks like if you've ever picked up um, an old leather bound book, you know the ones you can see like reds and greens you sort of find in the library? That is the kind of effect you can achieve with the paper. So imagine that with your inks and your sprays. Oh, imagine that with your sprays. Uh, $18.99 is your price. You're not only getting the leather paper, you're also getting the tags as well. So you can see that there. So you're getting 10 of each, $18.99 your price, 766-081, your item number. Uh, Lou, I don't know, at some point this hour, if we could see the sprays on the leather paper. We'll go next. Brilliant, Lou's on it. Uh, okay, so that's coming up. Now we've got the stamps. Options, three uh, options to choose from. But what you are getting, I think this is a very good price, considering uh, it is your uh, collection by Tim Holtz, so Stamp is Anonymous. You've got your anatomy, which we're seeing here. There's your anatomy. Down here, we've got our tapestry, and then we have our Renaissance, which is here. So those are your three choices. I mean, big stamps, they are red rubber. I'll just turn this around. You can see beautifully etched. I mean, look at the detail that you're getting here. Fact is, it's, it's Ranger Tim Holtz, so you know you're getting absolute quality going through. I'm going to turn them all around so you can just see what they all look like. So there we go. Those are your choices. Uh, you've got anatomy, there's your tapestry, or your renaissance. All right, one final option to share before we head back to Lou. There we go. Uh, $22.99 your price, That's 697 386 your item number there. And then finally, we have got our examination for you. Let's have a little look here. So this is quirky, there's a lot going on. You've got the poison, the little poison stamp, I think could be quite fun. They're creating like an apo apothecary. Uh, $30.99 is your price there. Stick it, yeah, stick it on the little bottle. There we go. Uh, but look at the look at the size of that. That is a large red rubber stamp. So it's a you have got. If I just show you here, they do they are individual. You can see, or you can use it as a whole if you want. Okay, details on your screen there. Uh, three three zero four hundred your item number thirty ninety nine your price. Uh, what we're going to do is just tell you a little bit about seven day savers as we head back to Lou. So seven day savers have we've got some good ones that work with the sprays as well. So we've got ATC card collection for you for nine ninety. Uh, we've also got the Crochet Now magazine trio issues. Uh, that's very good. If you love your crochet, it's a good one to get. Uh, you've got scissors in there. The Velcro's nice too. So having a look at that Velcro, uh, it's very good. And then you've got what else have we got in there? Uh, we still got LeBlanc. Oh, those transfers are amazing. The wool transfers are very, very, very good. They really are. Uh, and then we've got embossable film in the mix too. So lots to discover. Seven day savers. You can find them all on our website. Please do have a little look. Okay, enough from me. We're going to head back to Lou. Lou, what are we going to do next? Oh, I'm just looking at the colours going, mm, which colours, mm -hmm. which colours, which colours? Right, let's do... Oh, I'm trying to think what we haven't really looked at. Um, I want to go nice and bright, so I'm going to go back to the seedless preserves for the moment. Okay. If you, I'm just thinking, if you wanted to create, with the leather paper, an aged leather look, what, what choice would you go for? If I was going to do the leather paper after I did it, to be quite... Um, mm, do you know what? You could do anything. Now you've we'll said do that. the ground walnut. Would that, would that do it? Yeah, the, what, the espresso. Yeah, sorry. Okay. That's it, not ground walnut. Yeah, ground Okay, espresso. so we've, um, that's the black soot. That's the espresso, which I put here. I did pick up in the first place. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the espresso with the antique linen. And then what we do is we can sprinkle embossing powder on it and let it dry that way, oh, or nice. put embossing powder on the yeah. top. Okay. But we'll do. And that would then yeah, age it even nice. more. Right, so if we do. So this is the Ground Espresso. I love this colour. And we've got that. And it, I love it because it just sits there and goes in between everything. So let's get the antique linen on top. Mm -hmm. And we'll cover it. 
So you can carry on, so we'll, we'll keep building this up. So the nearer I get, I can break up some of the colour. And the more liquid you put on top of each other, obviously they're going to blend. Yeah. So we'll just give that a quick blast and then we'll add some more colour on top. Mm -hmm. I will put some embossing powder, but I won't cover the whole of an A4 sheet because I think we'd be here for a wee while. Very nice. <laughs> I will just do a portion. Yeah. So we've got, so as we were saying, the darker colours don't have to be scary. Um, I'll lift it up in a moment and you can see that it creates a beautiful shadow for um, the antique linen to work yeah. on. And where I've sprayed the antique linen directly on top, I've got those beautiful... Yeah, it creates that wonderful shadow Just a effect. bit like a coffee stain as well, um, a mug stain on there. So you can see, fr from if you look, it's suddenly changed. It's not quite as dark. Um, so you, you can, and you can see that. Oh, that's brilliant. Thank you. Mm. But you can see it's gone within the cracked paper. So yeah. let's add a little bit more detail to it quickly, and we can go mm -hmm. over. So I'm just going to... I won't move my piece of paper, I'll just spray in. So you can carry on building up your layers. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's effective, wow. And we can keep going on top. I like the, the way the colour just seeps um, into the design of the paper, the cracks of the paper. So, and, um, but you've still got the lighter because of the oxidisation showing through as well. Now, I would normally clean my stencil, but you know what? You know, you go, why? So let's then go over, and then I'm going to get a blend straight away where I've got the two colours. Oh, yeah. So I've got another different colour now, all together, and this will be slightly lighter again. Oh. So let's just move the lid out there. And I wouldn't waste that. That will go in my book. I'll just put it underneath right. there for the moment. Lou, uh, we're just going to slight your mic, we're still having okay. a few issues. So what we're going to do is tell you a little bit about freedom, sort out Lou's mic, and then I promise we'll continue this demonstration. So here we go. Have you heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Achanda Freedom Members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with Achanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888 and join Achanda Freedom today little bit about freedom. Did you manage to catch uh, Abs and All and Create had a show a little earlier on and we launched our weekend well and we've actually got four days of uh, celebrations with All and Create so do stick around for that. The only reason I mention it is there's a big bundle uh, which features everything. You've got two monthly mega deals and the weekend wow in one bundle. It's a complete range. Uh, if you do go for that bundle, you're better off becoming a Freedom member. You're actually saving £15. So uh, a lot of occasions here at Hochanda will say we've got an, uh, a product where it's a why not deal. And by that we mean you will be better off getting Freedom membership for 5 dollars but you're saving more uh, there. And what I would say is enjoy Freedom membership for a month. Maybe you've just got Freedom membership from the earlier show with All and Create and now you're looking to enjoy the fact that you don't pay anything for your PNP. So you see that 395 if you're a Freedom member, forget it. I've been a Freedom member since I joined Ochanda. I love the fact whatever I buy, I never worry about the PNP. And you also get exclusive member discounts as well, so do look out for those. All right, how are we getting on, Lou? We're fine. Right, so that's using all the different layering now and letting each other sit on top of each other. Well, and nice. when you think about, yeah. when we look at the colour that we see that the ground espresso is, it's not quite as scary. Yeah. And, and it works in different ways. Now, what I thought would be nice is if we grab the walnut stain ink that we've got on. Okay. And I was going to grab a stamp or two. So mixing the two. Yep. So I'm just going to go for. I am going to go for that script. You know, when you think, what shall I use? One or two there. Right. So I've just thought what we could do is now we were saying that by putting the oxides first, and then we can use our um, distresses. Because the distress is translucent, it will stand out, but it will also blend in at the same time. So if I start building up mm -hmm. 
the wording in different places and it creates a subtle look and a layering and I'll Lovely. And you're saying Lou, I mean you're a crafter through and through and you <laughs> you know these things. So the price we got for the stamps and with Tim Holtz yeah. You know what you're getting a premium product, and you can pay a premium price for it. I think our twenty two ninety nine is actually a really good price for it. It is. It's a very, very good price. Yeah. It looks so. I've just done some subtle. That was just you know with the walnut stain. So you can see. So you can go over with your distress. Oh, that's nice. Inks, and because they are translucent, you can still see um, the colours behind. So if I went for. Um, let's go for something bigger. I'm going to go for the pink raspberry. I know I'm jumping then from different mm -hmm. sets. Now, I wouldn't normally put a bone with, but it's the first one I grabbed. So you can use your other colours as well. I'm just hoping this stamp is clean now. You know, mm. so if I can put that, I'm just going to put that down there. Like and that's the... There the pick raspberry so you can but because it is translucent it will pick up the darker shading underneath so we can see all the dis the oxide yeah. little dots and absolutely everything that like that of color actually works quite well it does doesn't it um, so, so your distress inks are work brilliantly on top of your oxides and that will actually create the backgrounds um, as well so if I grab the really dirty stencil mm -hmm. and I'm just gonna grab a blending Block, and I was really good and put all of them underneath. <laughs> and I, I've got the pick raspberry out. So you can still do with your distress inks on top and they will still stand out. But because they are translucent, you'll see the shadowing of the oxide behind. Oh, that's nice. It's a really nice stencil and with the inks as well. Yeah, it looks it looks wonderful. So you could carry on building and, and with the cracked leather as well, as you were saying, it's going into all the different things. Now if you covered that, build this up in more layers and then with a layer of embossing powder on top yeah. or even a coating of gel medium, leave right. it and then you would make a really cool Brilliant. book cover yeah. as well sort of thing. Lou, right. we've had uh, a few people asking about this sprays. I think they've just uh, joined us. So uh, I tell you what, I don't know if Lou can maybe show us some uh, sprays. If you want to see any particular colours as well, uh, do let us know. So if there's any particular colour combinations, because we do come in sets of two, do get in touch and let us know which you would like to see. But we're going to try and play with as many as we can uh, this hour, and Lou's got some great demos. <laughs> I'm trying. You know, you just go trying to do... Let's move that out of the way, yeah. though, because we don't need that. So I've got um, different mediums make the sprays work in different ways. So this is a piece of um, chipboard. Yeah. So it's quite porous, which means that you might not have the same longevity as you would on, like, a, a watercolour. This distressed watercolour card. Would you gesso, then, or would you do anything to it? You can. You can do gesso. I've got a piece ready for the gesso on okay. to show yeah. as well. It's very organised. Um, it's because it was seven o'clock in the morning, if I'm being honest, you know, when you go, I don't know if I can think at that time of the morning, <laughs> so, <laughs> if I'm being honest. So, right, so I've got here the um, barn door, and I'm going to go, so I can go on the, the top. So this is like a craft, and I love this colour, I think it's a... Uh, I mean, that, just on the porous surface of the chipboard, barn door, you've got to love it. So you can see on, on the watercolour card, mm -hmm. it's sitting a little bit longer. Yeah. Whereas it's starting to sink in a little bit more there. Mm. So if I quickly, if you dry in between, it means you um, have Set a little it. bit more control of your blending. Yeah. If you're not worried about that, just put the whole lot on at the same time and just see what happens. So I'll just give that a little bit of a blast. Because part of the magic of it is actually seeing the colours blend. Yeah. And you don't get a muddying with the oxides as opposed to the... And that's the difference between inks and uh, oxides. Am I right in saying Yeah. I'd also, yes, it is. Because um, they layer on top of each other. Yeah. Um, they do blend. So you, obviously if you pick a green and a red, you might end up with a brown. But then yeah. if that's what you're looking for... So I've now really soaked them, as you can see there. Hmm. And they will... I'm going to put a little bit... And then if I just grab, I'm just going to grab a piece of card. And then I can do a ghosting technique. So I could let that dry, or I can do a ghosting technique, which means I can just put that on top. Uh, 
and then I've got that background. Oh, yes. And I've got that background That's as well. A bit of modern art. So let that dry. And you can see the oxidization is starting to come where it's going chalkier and yeah. cleaner. But if I spritz that with the more water you add, the more oxidization you get. So mm -hmm. I'm running out of space. So we've got this one here. And I'm going to let this one dry naturally. But as you can see, where it's slightly more porous, it's taking in and the colours are reacting beautifully and because of the surface it's on it's going a little bit more mottled yeah. compared to the watercolour card. Yeah we like that, yeah. So we can do it that way. Uh -huh. Right so that's that colours there. Now what I have done is this is um, clay, mm. I was trying to think what it is then, and I've just covered it in a layer of gesso because you were saying about the gessos and let's go for the pink raspberry. Oh yeah and the broken china. Now, I'm just going to put loads of colours on this. If I didn't like it, I would just Jeffrey Gesso over okay. it. Yeah. You know, you just go... Gesso's a crafter's friend. Yeah. So if I'm going to... So this is Gesso. So it will work over the Gesso. And we'll just go down like that. Let's get the broken china. Uh -huh. So, uh, pick raspberry and broken china, very yep. popular option with regards to pairs of the oxide. Now, where they are meeting, we're getting a little bit of a... Yeah, purple coming through. Yep. Yeah. Now, if I think I've gone too much, now it's too purple and I can't see the picked raspberry, mm -hmm. I can spray over the top and create... And I can bring more of the picked raspberry back. So, we can do that way. We could then... If we wanted to do, whilst this is still wet, hmm. I will try and bring it towards me. I can now add my water to it and it will create the drip effect. But when it dries, I will get all the oxidisation from where they've done. So let's have a look. Let's go down there. So it does work on the gesso. Hmm. And we got there. So I'm going to grab a bit of a cloth. I don't want too much there. I quite like the mottling effect. Um, it will dry exactly, I mean, I've put a lot on here. So the, the two colours there have made that beautiful purple. And this is going with a layer of the gesso on top. So you can take all your um, different MDF pieces, gesso them beforehand. I mean, even as we've shown on the black card, even gesso with um, black gesso. Oh, and yeah. choose some of the colours that go. Lou, this looks great. And seeing the two together, my goodness, that works so well. So there's the two over there, yeah. and I love the fact that it's now going where we've added lots of water and lots of um, spray. Yeah, we're getting more of a. Um, you can see the oxidation. You're getting more of the the chalky effect yeah. coming through. But now, if I wanted to add a contrast, I know I'm mixing a colour now. But if I took the scattered straw, yeah. And I wanted to add a little bit of the green. This is what I mean about shaking it up and it gets all along there. It's just mm. a waste of ink, really. I can add another colour on. And because I've mixed the yellow in, I'm now getting a little bit of a green yeah, effect too. going on. Yeah. So you can use your other colours and you can actually build them up. And that's, you know... Ah, oh, I quite like that actually now. That looks fantastic. <laughs> and then what I thought would be nice, I'm just going to grab my mat because it's easier. So if we wanted to add a little bit of definition to this, you, I'm going to get the um, ground espresso again. Okay. And I just want to put a little bit on my mat here. And I've just got a blending tool. And I'm just going to put it in because now I can actually go around the edges. As we're doing this, we've had a lovely email in. Uh, have we got a name for this? Sally, thank you, that's very sweet of you. She's saying some exquisite camera work today. Please thank the crew. Sally, that's a really nice email. It means a lot to the team, so thank you. And I have to say, because obviously you're seeing myself and Lou here, but uh, for Hochanda to exist, we've got a whole team who work very, very hard. So uh, we appreciate that. Thank you, Sally. So I can build that up there. I'm just looking for, what is it? That's what I was looking for. So now I can knock. So I can use a blending tool with my sprays. You don't just have to use an ink pad. Yeah. So I can add a shadow around the outside. Right. So that's just quickly coloured 
you know, so that this is your clay paper and just with a, the gesso on the top. Yeah. And, and that's just really, really, really quickly coloured. But it shows you, as it's starting to dry, you can start seeing where all the oxidisation is coming in, where there was a lot more water and a lot more ink. Mm. But you've got all those gradiated colours as well. I'm really impressed by that, Lou. And actually seeing it with the naked eye, it's even more intense. And it's just the nature of... Um, of TV. That to me is something so achievable. It is, and it will grow and it will get slightly lighter. Um, I could knock back the colour now because it's a little bit wet in places. This is when you could bring in your embossing powders, you could add sprinkle embossing powders on top. And again, it's your layering yeah. that we were talking about. Well, you've that got just... such beautiful colours. If I was at home doing this now, I think I'd just finish it off maybe. Uh, with some gilding wax, pick up the peaks Ooh. and then just leave it because it looks yeah, great. Yeah, that would look actually nice. Um, yeah, a nice... I'm not sure which colour gilding wax I'd go for now. I think a silver maybe or a... Choices. Mm. Silver, mm. gold. But that would, you know, so if you've got... But that would go for your journals as well. Perfect. If you gessoed a page, uh -huh. you could still spray on top of it yeah. and it will work on, you know, lots of different ways. Right. So, so what do you like to show us next, please? I'm just going to grab a background. Now, this was the same espresso that we used earlier. Now I've got all this still on my sponge and if you don't want to spray through so I'm just going to grab, I'll just grab this one just to put on now the this top. This is nice to actually show how the stencil works because I think it's quite clever. So and I'm going to use up what ink I've got and I'm, if, I, if I'm, I have to get a, another background I will do to show you a little bit more. Okay. So that's the stencil now yeah. so I can use so I'm using a spray, but with it a sponge, so you can, okay. you can create the techniques. On the stencil, now it's dirty, you're going to see. You get the, the little parts here, and all you do with them is you find where you've already got your coloured part, and you can see them through, and that will then create another repeat pattern through. So I'm just going to use up this ink. Mm -hmm. This thing, you need to see the stencil in action to appreciate how clever the design is. Because so now that's transformed it. It looks like a really full. But if you wanted to obviously play with your colours and contrast... You, you could do. Um, it was just because like, I'd already had that background. Yeah, of course. Um, I thought it was easy to do that way. We've got an example here I can show you. But same technique. Uh, and remember, you're getting a, a pair of stencils here. So you've got the beautiful um, hexagon and you've also got honeycomb, I should say, sorry. Uh, and then you've got your uh, shifter plus. There you go. Brilliant. So I'm just clear, cleaning up as I go along. So, so if we bring in these are the backgrounds we did um, about earlier. Six minutes, Lou. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, okay. you know when you just go. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and I just, so we've got this backgrounds here, and as we were saying, you know, you, we can stamp on it. So mm. we've got the beautiful set of. Let's grab the salty ocean because that will be nice contrast. And I'm just going to grab this skull for now. I'm dropping things. And I just want, so we've got all of this on top. So I'm just going to stamp the skull image. Okay. And I'm just going to put it on the top there. So this is our Distress Ink. Nice. Which sits on the top and sits there beautifully. But we can still carry on distressing. So I could sit there and put a little bit of water on. And I can blend the distress ink will still move and the oxide will react as well. So you can carry on with your distress layering. So I'm just moving it so I get the drops. That, for the actual theme, obviously being the skull, <laughs> that is very effective, Lou. So I can now, where I've put the water here, I've reactivated the distress, so that will now react. I've reacted the distress ink on uh -huh. top. So that will react. And if it was wet again, we could put the embossing powders on top again. Yeah. So we've got, so the, the distress is now reacting. So I've got a green, more of a green here. Mm -hmm. But it's easier if you do your oxide background first and then do your distress. Yeah. So, that, so you can, you know, mix and match everything that we've got on the show now. Okay. You know, to go on top of each other and, and work alongside each other. Nice. <laughs> so, right, I, you know, when you've got so many backgrounds, it's like, oh, what shall I do next? What shall I do next? Right, I've got this, this one, which is the similar colour, this mop up. But I thought we'd do the, the hex a little bit. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to use a clean blending sponge. I have one or two. 
And because this is an oxide background, what I thought we'd do is let's grab a different colour. I'm going to go for the abandoned coral, mm. which is with the blue. Okay. And I'm going to do exactly the same, but because it's oxide now on oxide, we'll get a different look again. So if you don't... This just gives you a little bit more chance to play with your stencils um, and still get the oxide layering on top. So we'll go that way. Because I know not everybody... Sometimes you want a little bit more control over your project. So if I pull that back up there now, so I've got the, this will now react on top of each other and gradually the colours will build. And it, if I put water on top, I will get all the oxidisation again yeah. and again and again. And I could carry on building that and stamp on top of that and spray on top of it. Right. You know, so there's so many different, different ways. ways. We can use it. And I have to say, as stencils go, they're incredibly versatile. Yeah. And then I've still got some on here, so why not... And all that will happen is, you instead of getting the, the crisp edging that we're used to, you'll get a lovely, subtle, um, oxidised edging. Yeah. So oh, I can yeah. actually do that. So I've edged it all around, and that was just by using a blending foam. And your blending foams you can wash. Cool. And you can keep reusing and reusing and reusing. I sure it's nice, Lou. It's just the same. We're all, all saying it's how much you've done in one hour. Uh, all these techniques, so and that's the whole point of Ranger. It is about techniques. Lou's beaten us. Uh, time's beaten us, Lou. I should oh, say. Oh, it? Oh, sorry. Uh, no, it's okay. <laughs> thank you so much. Have you had fun? Yeah, I love it. Love Good. it. Uh, Lou, thank you so no, much. You. I hope you enjoyed this hour. Uh, and this kind of sums up why I, I believe Ho Chandra is such a special place because we do invest so much importance on the demonstrations because it's one thing to have the sprays, but we want to arm you with that knowledge to go on and get the most out of them. Tim Holtz is a huge advocate. We know he's a, a massive name in the world of craft, and for good reason, because he really does bring such innovation in his products. So what you're getting here is your distressed oxides. Now, you might traditionally know the distressed oxides uh, in their ink pad form, but here you're getting them as a spray pad, a uh, spray bottle. So what that affords is uh, a lot more versatility with regard to techniques. Uh, we'll just show you. Um, we'll go through the options here. And it's worth seeing. So that's your abandoned coral. Then you have your chipped sapphire. And down here, we've got them uh, mixed. Uh, that's on white card. That's your, um, your craft card and then your black card stock. So that's going to be for all the options I show. Over here, we have our picked raspberry and our broken china. And then mixed down there. Beautiful combination. Now that's actually been uh, the most popular option. Then we've got, now this is nice colorways. So you've got your uh, mermaid lagoon and your evergreen bow. But blend really nice together because you've got your blue, your green, and obviously look at that. It's a great for your skies and your seas. I think this is a really classic combination and watching Lou um, demonstrate today really opened up my eyes. So you've got your pumice stone and your black soot. Don't be scared of the black soot and how good does that look? Then we have down here our uh, barn door and our scattered straw, another really nice color combination. Now we have our wild honey and our old paper, so if you want to go a bit more vintage and distressed. Then we have our milled lavender and seedless preserve. Beautiful combo. And last, but certainly not least, our antique linen and our ground espresso. So those are all your options. Do make sure to check out your baskets and get ahead and have a look on the website. Now, we have got the mini ink pads as well. They come in sets of four, uh, so you've got two options to choose from with those. Having a look, uh, that's your first option with your uh, walnut stain there, your uh, dusty concord, uh, shabby shutters, and your picked, uh, picked raspberry. And then this is your second uh, option as well. Uh, okay, thank you so much. Big thank you to Lou as well. Thank, thank you. you, Lou. Hope you've enjoyed the hour. We've got plenty more, though, coming up, so don't go anywhere. More around the corner. Uh, the Pooge is back with the one-day special from Stamperian. It's a goodie. After that, speaking of goodie, we got our weekend wow with abs and all and create. And if that's not enough, Oakwood will be back with their garden creatures. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family-run business with a great heritage. 
The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Echander Shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the Studio Light Shows on Echanda. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we're honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, my name is Blanche Siegmann. I'm the owner of the company La Blanche. The company La Blanche is a crafting company located in Germany. For over 20 years, I'm designing and selling stamps, paper crafting products and home decoration. As a passionate crafter myself, I make sure all our products are of highest quality and easy to use. We produce a whole range of products. We produce paper products. We have also shrink sleeves for your jars, glasses. We have home decoration products, paints and wall decals. Everything, the whole range of crafting we produce for you. I hope you enjoy watching us at Hochanda and crafting with La Blanche. Hi, I'm Lucy from Sweet Poppy Stencils, the Craft Station Limited. We're a craft retailer and we specialise in stainless steel stencils. Our stencils are manufactured in metal. Uh, this allows us to have designs that are intricate. We also have new products coming on board. Um, our craft bonds, our uh, pole drops and acrylic paints are joining us. We've recently joined Hachanda and we're really excited. This allows us to demonstrate and show our products. Um, we know customers like seeing um, the demonstrations. So make sure you tune in and don't miss the Sweet Poppy shows on Hochanda. Hi, my name's Mel and I'm from Crafty Devils down in Devon. We are a family run business and we've been established for about 16 years now. We're known for our MDF products and our mediums. All of our MDF products are produced in Devon in the UK and we have a wide variety of products to inspire you. If you watch Hachanda, you'll see us put together and decorate our designs to inspire you so that you can make your own crafting projects. So make sure you tune in to all our Crafty Devil shows on Hachanda. Afternoon. Now you can see me smiling, big smile, because well, uh, <laughs> it's a fabulous one day, especially it's from Sampiria, and is this collection of under the sea beautiful imagery, of course, in collaboration with Anthony's uh, Zalinakis, I think that's called. I mean, that's that's <laughs> not not sure if that's actually the correct way to pronounce it, but I know how to pronounce the the next uh, well, the guests that we have got here. <laughs> she needs no introduction, but her name is Leonie Pujol. Hola, 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 hola. Um, 
Hello, hello and yes welcome oh, uh, lovely to have your company so pleased to have another stamp here one day special um we were chatting about them actually before uh, we were doing a, a a thing i can't remember yeah. anyway um and they were founded in 1995 yes. um they brought out stamps stencils paints but they brought out rice paper and they were the first company to print on mulberry paper Absolutely. um and the thing is with the the rice paper as with all the products you know stamp area really like to to really um, try and bring new techniques, but try and bring quality. I mean, they are an Italian brand, so obviously, you know, design is premium yeah. and that you can tell they've got some brilliant designers under their umbrella now which means you get all sorts of different looks Antony Springs really is into grunge is into but it's grunge and fantasy and so mechanical so steampunk it's just such a beautiful um, collection and it's yeah. quite within the whole collection there's so many elements because there are beautiful elements as well as that kind of mechanical look I, absolutely adore it and we don't even though it's one day special you've never time to see everything because there's so much you can do with everything we've got on the counter it is, isn't it? before we get into deals uh, let me let you well let me let, let you know <laughs> <laughs> i don't think that's very background but those paints that leone was using at 8 a.m the paints that they did sell out last night we managed to get some more and not always is the case but this time we have managed so if you want them you can have them there is extended delivery of course it is um, just by one, one uh, so it's going to be just 15 days uh, of extended delivery, just one extra more day. Uh, it will be dispatched from the 5th of March. £13 saving, £16.94 is the price for all six of them. Leona loves them, you are going to love them. 688227 is the item number. I just wanted to mention that uh, first thing. Right, the one day is special. Under the sea, we are getting a paper pad here of 12 by 12. Now, we do have individuals of the 12 by 12 paper and the stamps on their own however if you wanted to go for basically if you go for the one day special you are getting the 12 by 12 the stamps and the a by a papers and you are not are only paying one pound is it uh, one pound 80 49 for the eight by eight papers that's how it works so it makes sense to go for the one day special but look at that artwork Whenever we think, uh, like, like uh, Leone was saying, Estampria had this incredible design that is elaborate, is incredible, detail, uh, it's intricate, but it's also relevant. Every single element mm. and every single layer yeah. brings something. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing random. You know, everything it's been thought about. The designs are thought about, um, so they won't they won't give you that paper and then just stick a random clock on it. Do you know what I mean? It all works. The the layering is beautifully done. Um, the written out. I love that you can get the 12 by 12 pad separately because yeah. I find you, it, if you've only got, because you only get one of each sheet, so it means you get a little bit precious yes, and you don't want to cut them up because there's so much. You know, every single paper gives you so many elements and they're just a joy to work with. I love the colour palette of this one as well. I that rusty that. colour palette is just gorgeous. And the paints match the colour palette of this paper beautifully i mean they have oh my gosh they've put these together wonderfully because it all it works you Absolutely know you, you, yeah highly recommend these they're, they're so cool as well they are incredibly cool and one of the things i adore about this collection is the fact that is um, I would think genderless, yes. like it's gen non-gender specific. Yeah. So then you can bring it in and make it very pretty if you wanted to. You could bring flowers if you wanted. Yes. Uh, now, if you wanted to go into more kind of rusting, you could do as well. 50% of the stock has gone. If you want to grab yours, do check out your baskets. Then we are getting the stamps in here as well. And you can see the large size. Now, if you wanted the stamps on their own, you can do that. The details are at the bottom of the screen. But most of you, of course, want to go for the full collection or uh, or adding an extra paper pad. But look at the detail of that amazing detail. Right, uh, we are approaching 20% of the stock of the stamps on their own. Again, very busy. If that's all you want, the stamps, you can have them. And then, of course, the 8x8 eight eight paper pad. I'm not going to show every single page because you are getting exactly the same patterns. However, reduced in side, size, so that means that you will have... Do you think like this? Do you think, Leonie, that you have got like 
twice as many, but different mm. possibilities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It means when I've got uh, my 12 by 12 and an 8 by 8, I'm not quite as precious with my 12 yes. by 12 because I know I've got some more paper. So it means that I, I don't get quite as, oh, I can't cut into it because it's like, oh, I've got extra. It's okay. And I love that it gives you different possibilities. Absolutely. So, you know, it obviously because your image sizes are different, it means you'll use them in different ways. Like these, if you're just using these for um, for your books, you know, yeah. if you're making a, a memory album out of these, they're absolutely perfect. Absolutely. I would highly recommend, if you're doing a memory book, I would highly recommend getting more than one pad because then you'll use both sides. I think it was... Um, Oh, I've forgotten his name, who emailed in the picture. Uh, Paul. Paul. Paul used them for the a book, and honestly, the way you use the papers is exactly the way I'd use a paper, because he split it so you could see the whole image, and it makes you do that. Papers like this, they make you look into the paper to see how to maximise every single one of those images. And I do need to say as well, that stamp, I've used that in the art journal there, that stamp is a big stamp. I mean, you can really, um, it, it takes, a, a, it dominates that page. You know, isn't it beautiful? It's such a beautiful, beautiful stamp is that one. And that's an A4 spread. Wow. You know, well, it's a double page spread. Yeah. But she's the one who takes the, you know, that's where your eye's drawn to. And when you turn over, yeah, I've done her again. And when you've done it, because that was the demo one. Wow, but colored her in differently. Love that. That's the stamp. Isn't that phenomenal? Yeah. And it looks bigger there, doesn't it, on the one yeah. with the purple hair? But uh, have I cut one out? No, it's a stamp. I, see, I'm not trusting myself now. And I did stamp it, I know, but um, I yeah, I think it's because of the, the way that you have position and the gears on the back. But that's something that you can do and make them look a little bit bigger if mm -hmm. that's what you wanted. Right, the one that's special, 50% uh, of the stock has gone 447858 with a £5 saving, £30 and £47. It will be dispatched from the 4th of March. Of course, accounting for that. Uh, you know, yeah, it's it's a foreign company. It's a, a very chic company. Another thing we have got back on stock. Not only the Spain's remember very busy for those ones. If you want them, uh, do check out your baskets for that. Is the rice paper. Now this is a set of four. You are getting two A3 and two A4s. Now, you mentioned, Leonie, that it was uh, Samperio was the first company mm -hmm. to print onto rice mulberry paper. Yeah. They haven't. I mean, even now. They still are another level. Yeah, they absolutely are. I mean, they're just beautiful. There's a lot of really gorgeous rice paper out there now, but, but Stamperia, oh man, I love working with those rice papers. And rice paper, you know, you could put that on fabric. You use the right adhesive. You can put that on a bag that you, they, you then wash. Wow. You know, I mean, there's so much you can do with rice paper. Um, I think it'll be the last hour that I start to really play with rice paper. But um, it can be the simplest thing to work with or you can really go for it and it's just the design again is exquisite you it know is. they it all makes sense it's edge to edge so they really fill that space but it's just beautiful beautiful and I love this uh, little collection I would call it a little bit because I would multiply it to be yeah, honest yeah, yeah. I would go for two and you have two of each uh, because it has both in the A3 and the A4 has like what we call a background right and yes. then ones that are more feature ones absolutely um, which are like allows us to be a little bit more creative if we want to we don't need to uh, I love this box that you have made uh, you know you have got it here I will return it don't worry but <laughs> we just wanted to show how glorious just attached to one side it's yes just, just and so that I mean yeah you don't need to return I won't be working on that this hour <laughs> but the lovely thing with that that is ridiculously easy that's literally just putting rice paper on a box and look how good it looks I mean use rice paper for furniture Absolutely. It would look stunning on furniture. You know, if you're upcycling something, rice paper is absolutely something that you'd be able to use. It's just so, so stunning. Absolutely. Uh, 104382 is your item number. Just 1196, hence why I suggest multivine. Just because I know that... If they're so objective, you know, rice paper is something that even if you use something that you don't do often, like I don't do often, but whenever I have to, you know, use rice paper, it becomes addiction. It becomes like you cannot. So, uh, talking about rice paper, we also have got rice paper in this bundle, and you can see it here, the design. Uh, but this is from the Vagvan collection. It's also from Antonis, uh, but this one is, uh, obviously, you can see you can mix it and match. This bundle includes an stencil, which, uh, like Leone was saying, it's just such a beautiful one. 
drawing because it's like a story and then you have the frame and then you have got those lines those dots and the wing now very busy for this bundle because um you know it's, you're seeing the value you're seeing what you are getting 40 percent of the stock already gone what I love about it is not only you are getting the stencil, but you are also getting the laser uh, gray board gears. There's so many elements, and yeah, Leonie was yeah. showing us how you see, see this image and you think, oh, it's just one. But you have the frame, the inner frame, then you have got the border, and then you have got the gear, then you have got the center. I mean, there is so many elements in there. It's A4, and you're getting the A3 rice paper. Lots of ways to use with the grey board, isn't there, Leonie? Oh, yeah, they're brilliant. And I did finish my, um, my frame as well with the lights. And that, I mean, there's so much you can do with those. Um, and what I love about them, you know, because it is um, grey board, the embossing powder looks good on it. You know, it all looks good on it. That stencil, I must admit, I haven't used this one yet in any of the demos, but I love this. I'm going to read it to you again because it says, um, it says, once you have tasted flight, you will forever walk the earth with your eyes turned skywards for there you have been and there you will always long to return i love that yeah. isn't that quite fabulous um it's such a beautiful beautiful stencil i, I really like that pack again everything matches as well everything Absolutely. goes and this is why you want to check out your baskets isn't it because you know once that you have it you can mix it up with whatever you have and whatever you are going to have 486310 is your item number talking about checking out their baskets uh, check out your baskets if, especially if you want your paint set are approaching 50 percent of the stock of the real stock they did sell out last night. We managed to get some, but it, they're not going to last long, are they? Uh, 13 pounds saving. You're just paying 16 pounds and 94 pence. All six of them, 688227, makes perfectly with the under the sea uh, beautiful papers as well as Bhagavan. Then uh, we talked about this in the previous hour. Uh, stone paper. Uh, I believe it's going to be one of your demos, isn't yes. it? Yes. This is well cool stuff. Um, stone paper. Yeah, it's yonks ago that I saw Stampiri stone paper. Yeah. Before I saw anything similar anywhere else, to be honest. Um, this is it. It's a product that you can't rip, you can't tear, but you can cut. Okay. You can wash it. You can Amazing. put it in the washing machine. You can stitch it. So um, please, please do look up Stampira's um, help and advice because um, the bags that are made from this are incredible. Wow. Proper functional bags. Uh, but it's such cool stuff because like a canvas, so anything you can do on your canvas, you can do it on stone paper, right. which means, you know, with obviously with fabric, because it's so fibrous, trying to stamp on it, you might not get a clear image. You know, putting your paints in, they're going to sink in, they're going to spread. With this, you're going to get an absolute pristine image if you stamp on it. You're going to be able to put all your spritzers, your inks, all of that is going to look good on it, but then if you seal it, you're able to wash it, you're able to put it through your sewing machine. It's really cool stuff absolutely and and the fact well you, we are going to see you demonstrate it because it's better than anything else uh, that i can say <laughs> chair 99 is your price 858-855 is your item number 284s 1a3 uh lots of different things that you can do with that as is with the next bundle yeah. from vagabond and uh, the collection uh sir vagabond i, can, I, I removed the title how rude mm. of me <laughs> sir vagabond a uh, very very limited of this bundle you are getting the chipboard you're getting the a by a paper as well as the molds and I adore these molds they are also some of them really large uh, and it's, it's one of those molds that you can cut into uh, just kind of changing maybe if you just wanted to have the train aspect or the if you wanted to use the kind of is it a it looks it reminds me of the is it Nautilus Nautilus the the uh, um, submarine in the Jules Byrne uh, oh Nautilus no, uh, how is Primus? Nautilus, Nautilus. I, my pronunciation is wrong. Uh, right. <laughs> Thank goodness for Marcus. He is like the fountain of knowledge. <laughs> Producer Katie was like, no, it's not like. <laughs> anyway, uh, right. 
We all have got our strengths of knowledge. Uh, I'm sure there is. Uh, you know. uh, right, so you we have as well the chipboard, um, and we have got it's 15 by 30 centimeters, so you have got all these different pieces ready to go. But of course, it is also the amazing mold and the 8 by 8. Remember, absolutely uh, limited stock, so please, but I say absolutely, it's like very limited stock. Grab it while you can by checking out your baskets. For 17 pounds and 47 pence is your price, 997. 376 is your item number. Then, to go with our but more uh, serve bag event, uh, we have well, another bundle. This one doesn't include the mold, but it does include more of the chipboard pieces in here. Again, you can use it on its own or in combination with everything that we have seen on the show to add that extra layer of detail and that extra layer of definition. 14 pounds and 47 pence is your price. 553-190 is your item number. That, of course, is Sir Francis Vagabond, but you can mix and match with whatever other collection from Estampedia you have got from Antonis and even some others. And this is the beauty of crafting. Now, those paints that we have in free stock, incredibly busy. Please do check out your baskets if you want them. You are getting uh, six uh, beautiful colors in there. India turquoise, ivory, brick red, gray, petroleum green, and corn. They are colors that they are being put together to coordinate with Antonis collections. So it's absolutely absolutely perfection. 59 mil in each of those bottles. You are saving 13 pounds and you are just paying 16 pounds and 94 pence. We'll grab yours. 688-227 is the item number. Now, uh, those are stamps as well. So if you wanted to go for the stamp, uh, you know, from the lady from, uh, you know, under the sea, a quarter of the stock of the lady on its own has gone. 16 pounds and 99 pence is your price. Uh, right. And it is a really lovely, uh, about seven inches in height, I would say. So it is a significant uh, stamp. And of course, you have got all the other elements as well. Right. Leone, are you ready? I am ready. Then take it away. Okay. Storm paper. Now, storm paper as I said it's amazing because it's one of those products that you can do so many things with what I've done here is so I've taken the big sheet because obviously you're getting that big sheet I've I've already folded it so I've put my little creases there and you can see there and I've put my crease there and I've cut it ready because it's gonna fit my iPad I'm not putting my iPad in it because that's wet paint and I, although this is utterly abused but I'm not gonna put my iPad in this time so it's gonna fit my iPad so I want to create an iPad cover I'm gonna move that out of the way because I know myself too well <laughs> yeah. Literally, yeah. Uh, my paint, my my phone's covered in paint. My iPad gets paint all the time. Now, you could saw this. Um, I'm not going to because it's live TV and I don't so. But you could saw this. You could glue it. Obviously, with an iPad cover, really your best sewing it because obviously it's going to hold. I mean, you could absolutely hand stitch it, which I I do. If it were me, really, I do. You can sew it before you decorate it, or of course you can sew it afterwards. I've already started to put um, decorating the inside, but I am going to decorate the outside as well. I've then created a flap that's going to go over the top, so I'll be able to open that to get in my iPad. Now, before I do this, let me show you a few techniques with it, with some of the scraps that have come off, because obviously there's loads of stuff we can do with this. So, for starters, I said about stamping, okay? So, if I was to take my, one of my stamps, so I'll take her. Yeah, she's right gorgeous. There. Oh, Sir Vagabond with the molds uh, is a technical sellout. You know the A, uh, the eight by eights, the stamps, uh, no, no stamps. Um chipboard and mold now it is technical sellout if you have it on your baskets the item number is on the screen please check out your baskets otherwise you might miss out we will let you know if any bounce back sorry about that Leonie. that's okay i shall re-ink so um with this so stamping okay so with your stamp have a look how beautiful this is so i'm just squidging her on yeah. like that now <sighs> Now, crisp images. So you will get, even on this one, you will get beautiful crisp images. So if I just bring some of these as well, just to bring some of those in. And I don't want to touch these properly because this is kind of a background. This is mixing up the lady stamp with, of course, the um, 
the other stamp that we've got on the show. But I just love that. I love that. And that is so quick. I don't know if you can see that blue. Yeah, I can But it's see it, so yeah. beautiful. It's so quick, easy, and ridiculously, ridiculously gorgeous. If I just take that C one as well. I love this. This was a quick background. I was showing you just how to use and then before you know it, you just I just get carried away. Um, I have got a question. Yes. You're, you're stamping onto uh, the stone paper, but could yeah. you use pieces of rice paper as well into it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Onto the the stone paper. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're going to be doing that because yeah, you can use anything. So stamping on it, absolutely perfect. And then this is uh, again one of the differences between this and fabric. That is going to be pristine. You know, you see it pristine. Um, we can. So if I take, a, I'll take a bigger bit because I'm being really tired. <laughs> Right there, I know. <laughs> but I will show you just quickly. So obviously stone paper, you can also die cut. Yeah. So if you die cut it, you can then shape stone paper. So say I, um, let's twist it. And look, look, I mean, you can do all sorts with it. But if I then pop it round here. So this might be um, this might be a flower petal. Oh, you know because you can die cut it. Think about all the different die cuts that you could achieve. So if I just hold that there, like so, yeah. get my heat gun. So the it. heat will. So it'll hold its shape when you heat it. Obviously, I'm letting it move a bit. I am rushing on. Do apologise. There's loads I want to do in this hour, so it means I end up rushing. So heat it, and then it will hold its shape. I mean, it's already holding its shape. But if you die cut, imagine all the different things you can do with this. Flowers, beautiful foliage, and they will then, you'll be able to shape them. So it means you'll be able to do so many different um, things with it. And of course, it will bind back. So it will hold its shape. Sorry, up there. So it'll hold. OK, so that's one of the things you can do. I won't be too tight with those ones. The next thing, I'll just um, yeah. cut a length of it. I, um, lo we, I love, love this. And I like that it's getting busy as well. Yeah, we are very, very, very busy talking about busy. Please do check out your baskets if you have them and your baskets. Otherwise, you might miss out. OK, so obviously paint. Of course you can paint on it. But what about, what about, let's put, first of all, let's put, in fact, let's use that other, have we still got this or has it sold out? The stencils. Yeah, that beautiful stencil. Yeah, Good, because I really like this. And I haven't used this yet. So, oh, have I got, I haven't got black. Do you know what? I really would have liked some um, black paste, but I haven't got it. So let's use a white. So I am using the cream paste. We have got the cream paste on the show. Your cream paste is another incredible product. If you put it in the flexi moulds, then um, once it's dry, it's seriously flexible. But you can also, with your cream paste, put a skin of cream paste on um, on a mat, so you know, on your heat resistant craft mat, allow it to dry, but then you can die cut it. Now that, it, I, oh, I've moved that, so I'm not going to get it perfect. I think that is wonderful. The fact that you can then die cut it, and it's very, very flexible. So that means when you're using it for, you know, for for um, your mixed media, you can create some really cool effects. Oh. And oh, that is so gorgeous. I moved it, but I can still read it, which looks yeah. good as ever as ever cleaning your stencil off you never don't um especially with this because it's such a detailed stencil so if you get a brush and i'll oh, just this is just on regular cardstock now because i'm only cleaning my stencil i'm cleaning my stencil with a hard brush well hardish and this means i can scrub the stencil so it cleans it, but at the same time as cleaning it and getting all that detail, it's going to give me a gorgeous print. <gasps> and so it's cleaning. Love I love this because it's just a really good way of using the stuff that's left on your stencil, but not losing the, you know, not ruining your stencil as well. So it's a really good way of using that. 
Okay, so let's bring this back. Now, the thing is with this, it's flexible. So if you are stenciling on a bag that you're using all the time, um, you don't need to worry about your cream paste cracking. You know, if you use something like uh, crackle paste, you'd worry about it cracking. Cream paste, it's got that flexibility, so it means you don't worry about it at all. And if I just show you, where did my, well, I'm heat setting. Not sure I've put my cream paste. But yeah, it's an incredible product. It does sell out time after time. Do you need to do a quick recap yes, while I, I'm I doing the do boring that, bit? If that's okay. Uh, remember to check out your baskets if you have got uh, the, I think there is a technical sellout or still on the, the mold. Um, the bag of ones. Uh, uh, now, the other thing is the pants that we had uh, very busy on the show as well. Please do check out your baskets. We are, uh, sorry? 50% of the stock of their paints as well gone. So please do check out your baskets as well as their one day special, of course. That's the one that the stamps, uh, Leonie was using the stamps. Everything mixes and matches, everything works together. And remember, you are getting 12 by 12 papers, 8 by 8, and the beautiful lady stamp. Are you ready? Oh, the, the lady ready. stamp. 50% of the stock has gone of the lady a stamp on its own. Right, uh, Leone, um Okay, so um, so that's your, your stone paper. That's the, obviously I've dried it with a heat gun, so it's just gonna be the top that's dry. So you do have to be careful with that. Normally you'd let it dry properly, but let's pop on, let's use some of those gorgeous, gorgeous Ooh, paints. Yes. Cause these are just so nice. The colors are exquisite. And if I show you, so you've got the turquoise, you've got that wonderful yellow, the beautiful gray. You've then got that really gorgeous dark green there. You've also got the wonderful cream. And then, oh, look how it piles up Ooh, wonderfully. And that, that is beautiful. So you've got there, yep. you've got rust, you've got um, your your um, thingy. What's, yeah. What am uh, I thinking turquoise. of? Yeah, Perfect. patina. patina. Um, so you've got so many different looks just there. It's absolutely stunning. Do we get um, the, I can't remember if we get the gold in that selection. Is, uh, it, is you, it just the six? You get a corn. I can't. So you get mm. India, turquoise, ivory, brick red, grey, petroleum green and corn. Corn. Oh, I think the yellow's the corn, isn't it? So it's yeah. the one that I showed. So we do get six, yeah. don't yeah. we? Six, yeah. Super. Um, and yeah, they're absolutely beautiful. Okay, stone paper again. So I've already done my stencil. Putting the paint on, I'm adding a little bit of water to the paint so it's um, watered down. And you can see now with your stone paper, the wonderful thing is with this, you can put so much paint on it. It is going to take it. So if I put one layer of paint first of all, just give it a very, very quick blast with the heat gun. Right, so. oh, yeah. By the way, we have had lovely like. images sent in from uh, from Paul, Tina, and also Ian. I will try to show them if we can at some point. Uh, right. So next, okay. pop another layer. And I mean, oh, these work so well together. They're absolutely stunning. So popping that over there as well. See, as soon as you start mixing those paints, don't they work well together? They're just you, gorgeous. I, can I ask, is the brush a little bit wet or? This one isn't moist? now, this is a dry brush. Okay. But just bring in those paints over. Wow. How gorgeous do those look? And I love this, I love this. When it starts to, you know, you've got that mottled surface, it just looks so gorgeous. I'm gonna spritz over the top of this as well. This is actually Lindy's Gang. Uh, we haven't yet got the spritzers oh, from um, Stampier, but hopefully we'll get those yeah. as well eventually. But look how good the layers, it takes all the layers. I mean, already I love that. I'm going to let that dry naturally because I love it dry naturally. But already I absolutely adore that. Now, the other thing obviously you can do with your stone paper is scrunch it. So, if I just get one more piece, there's it is. Jinka, 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 because I've already done a piece that um, is ready to go. Pop that there else I'll forget where I've put it. Put that there so I don't forget where I've put it. So you can really scrunch it. Like you can do with your normal paper, but obviously with this, it ain't going to tear. It's not going to rip. So it means that, you know, it holds that beautiful, um, that beautiful, 
that beautiful sort of texture that you're putting in there. And then all your paints you can put, all your gorgeous colour on. It just looks so effective. So now if I get, um, ooh, what colour, let's put that beautiful dark green on there. So if I just pop a little bit of the dark green, I'll pop a little bit of the cream as well. Remember, this is just me playing, not doing anything particular, just playing. Let's go in with finger painting because it's fun. And I like the way you can mix the colours. And it saves washing a brush. Uh, now, two-thirds of the paints have has gone already. It's the paints that Leon is currently using. Uh, they did sell out once. We managed to get more in stock, but now two-thirds of the stock gone. Uh, details at the bottom of the screen. You are getting six beautiful colours, 688. 227 is your item number. It's saving £13, actually. Oh, they're so nice. They're really rich and creamy mm. and beautiful. I'm so pleased. If you manage to get, I think we've only had with the Allegro paints yeah. in the past, I think we've only had the metallics. Yeah. So now we're really extending the family because yeah. Stampiri have got a massive range of paints. So now, thankfully, with um, we're bringing more and more colours in. So every time we have a Stampiri show, you'll be able to get more and more colours. So I'm just setting the paint. They're an acrylic paint, so it sets really quickly. We had a question yesterday, will we be able to use them on our um, uh, gel plate? Absolutely, yeah. acrylic paint, so you'll definitely be able to do that. Look how dark that green is. Absolutely. That is such a good green. And that's got a bit of cream in as well there, yeah. but it's still absolutely beautiful. And look how flexible that still is. I mean, it's such good, it's such a good product. But then, if I go over the top now, let's have a little see. Let's do a little bit of that one. And I'm just going for it again, just playing with colour because I am only playing. So then, bring this one, dry brush this one over. Okay, yeah. That's gorgeous. And you can see the texture of that coming through. And it is when you dry brush a little bit, a oh, little bit at a time, it's going in really heavy. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, the water, you know, leaves a lot of damage to the rust. That's Absolutely. the beauty of it. You know, so. It's just all rusty. And just if, happened. If, if you really, I mean, I think it looks lovely, but if it had done too much, could yeah. you do another cover? Yeah. I mean, that's it. The, the one I were doing, the one I'm actually using, it's got so many layers it's ridiculous because I kept when you get new paints you want to check test them all so you end up going oh I wonder what that looks like oh I wonder and before you know it you've got about 12 layers on one piece of paper but it works I mean this is just gorgeous with that wonderful green underneath it just looks fabulous it's so nice that's the one I've done for my book so it's got my stencil on and literally it's a wonder that I ain't crusty. It's got yeah, so exactly. many layers on it, it's ridiculous. Then I didn't know which side to use, so I am going to use that side, but I love it. And I put uh, glue on that to make it resist, and oh, there's so much you can do. So that's just a taste for your stone paper. You know, you could do so many extra things, but let's get playing with this. So this is where we're going. Um, obviously uh, your rice paper, of course you can use your rice paper. Where I'm going with this, okay, that is going to be there like so and I'm going to cut it down and I'll just show you my layers. That is from your one day special because I really like that. Mm. So that one's going there like so. This is one of your moulds. Now that's one of those beautiful silicone moulds with all the gorgeous cogs on it. That is amazing. And that's such a big piece. The reason I'm using that for the flap, because it'll help weight it down. Okay. I am going to put a magnet anyway, but that on the actual flap of the, yeah. the um, iPad cover, I'll keep that close because that is heavy. I've made it out of resin, so yeah. that's really heavy. So that's going to be the outside. Um, that's where I'm going with that. Oh, and then <laughs> I've got one of those acetate oh. pieces. I'm using that because it, it's just beautiful and yeah. I want to. So I'm actually having that under the flap so it's coming out a little bit like this like that so that will come out underneath and then when you open it up dink 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 that's going to be there but then the magnet has to attach to something these unfortunately are from sir vagabond because i think all the all the collections work together yes they do. i just think everything works so i want to do 
I don't know how to do that. I did. I might not put that one on. I was just being greedy. But Ooh, I might I like pop that. it underneath, actually. Yeah, I definitely. Yeah, like that, that looks cool. Yeah. So I'll faff about with that. Because I am going to faff about with that when you're not watching me. So that's kind of where I'm going with that, which I just think already looks beautiful. What I'll do before I let you recap is yep. just show you the next step before I do any of that. Oh, because good. obviously rice paper. So then I'll get started on my rice paper and then you can go. So <laughs> I want to mix it up. I want to use, I love the Vagabond rice paper. This is your big um, A3 rice paper. You can, when you're checking out your basket, you have got the options to actually get the rice paper on their own. So you could do that. But I think because that goes, the colour palette is going to go with my under the sea. You know, it just works. So I'm absolutely going with the rice paper. Before you put your rice paper on, and I'm just going to open this up, so, because I'm putting rice paper on here, I'm going to keep it mainly cream because um, the rice, the actual stone paper colour, because obviously my rice paper over the top of that is going to look beautiful. But I'm just going to add a tiny bit of blue because the blue you will see. So you're going to see under the rice paper because that's the beauty of the rice paper. You see under it. So if I just add a tiny bit of blue and I just want this around here oh my gosh the paints the, yeah mm. very busy for those ones uh limited stock if you want them please grab them by checking out those baskets i'm not surprised they're absolutely beautiful now look i'm doing this on the actual fold of the rice paper so this means when i fold it over i'm just going to see a bit now what i love about this i've got a dirty brush as well which is why it's not just pure blue but i quite like that i'm only going to see a touch of this under the rice paper but the lovely thing is it'll give you that that sort of um the shadow but it's already creating your border it's already creating that really nice um edging so just going around the edge like so i'm not bothered about it being perfect at all because i'm putting rice paper over the top of this so so don't worry about it being perfect okay oh. let me just blend that a little bit more as well like this and just coming around like so okay so rice paper next i'd go around my edges but i'll do that in a minute um, and then so just decide what you want to do with your rice paper where you want the rice paper the other one I absolutely adore is that 12 by 12 one that one's really nice as well oh. this this works so well because I could do the full thing you know so you've got so much choice 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 thing is I'm putting this on because uh, well because I want to so I'm going for this one so I'm actually gonna go about oh paint Powerful of that wet paint, Leone, not to self. So I'm actually going to go there and I'm going to glue it on and then I'm going to take out this here, okay? So to put it on, and I'm just going to move that paint first of all. I'll put it on here so I'm not wasting it. Okay, so your rice paper, what you want to, and there's loads of different mediums to put it on with. Um, Stamperia do a mixed media glue, which is amazing. I love the Collar Gel, however. Collar Gel, we have sold out of this time and time and time again. We have got it in stock today. You're getting two tubs of your Collar Gel. And what I love about this, it dries completely matte. Um, it's clear when you get yours if yours isn't clear don't worry it's the temperature that it's um because it's been really cold recently hasn't it and it went creamy did the glue but it's absolutely fine so if yours has gone creamy it hasn't gone off it's just reacting to temperature uh but you should it will go crystal clear once it warms up again i didn't know that you know really? and a lady emailed in and because yeah. we were like oh it's gone a different color because it had been yeah. delivered here and it like, oh, oh, but yeah, lady emailed in and went, no, don't worry, it's temperature. Isn't that for, well, I suppose that's the thing, isn't it? The well, things chemistry, react. Isn't it? We all react with those temperatures. <laughs> so <laughs> we yeah, all go a bit cloudy. Yeah. <laughs> so putting your glue on, first of all, like so. And remember, this dries absolutely crystal clear. Okay. And then popping my rice paper on. 
what I do love about this as well is the fact that you've got, as you can see, you've got that wonderful, um, if it goes wrong, you can move it. So I'm going there. Now, I'm not bothered about it being really smooth. You, it, obviously, if you want it really, really smooth, then you can do that. But I kind of like a bit of texture. I mean, I haven't got much texture in there, but I actually like a lot of texture in mine. And then once you've put it on, you're just going to put the glue over the top. This seals it. This will help get rid of... I haven't put any glue under that. This will help get rid of any air bubbles. So um, that the thing is with rice paper, because it is such um, um, a thin product, when you're working, you kind of get rid of the, right, the air bubbles kind of naturally anyway, I found. But look, so as you're working now, just bringing this on, hold on a minute, drag that out a bit. And I find it quite a strong adhesive as well, um, a strong paper. Obviously, this adhesive isn't to, um, don't pull too much. Some of these, it's gone a bit thicker because it's the end of the pot. Yeah. Like when you first get it, it's not quite as thick, but that works anyway. Now, while I'm gluing this, can you see, can you see under, as I put the glue yeah. on, you start to see the shadow. Absolutely. And I really like that because it just, it just looks really effective. Right, well, I glue this on. Do yeah. you want to do um, yes, any what's it do, Yes, yeah, thank you, Leonie. Uh, yes, we need to give you some updates. The first update that we have for you is that the paints now have technically sold out, which means that if you have it in your baskets and you check out right now, you will get them. Otherwise, you will miss out. We will let you know if any bounce back. Remember that the baskets auto refresh every 10 minutes. So, yes, we know it's, it's a little bit rude, but it's not rude for the people who want it and want to check out right now so hence uh, you know check out your baskets now the one that is special of course is glorious it's been incredibly popular now why is so popular is I think the color palette one of them the color palette with this beautiful uh, patina blues and kind of rusty reds and ochres coming through but of course you have the artwork from Antonis um, which is that gorgeous a steampunk there is some something about how can i say it? um there is something romantic about the steampunk that he does <laughs> because there is something quite not is not gender specific so it means that you can bring in flowers and elements like that or you can make it really kind of industrial so it has that kind of I don't know, the colorways, the shape in here, you can see it. It's not necessarily harsh. It, you make it as hard as you want it. You make it as industrial as you want. I love that you get blueprints from submarines. I was saying after the show that the early on, my sister and her husband are uh, oceanographers. And last time, uh, uh, you know, um, Simon, my brother-in-law, showed me and him and his uh, colleague all these, you know, you know utensils that nowadays they are using to to measure the sea and they are very similar actually uh, they are slick on the outside but the inside they have got all this nautical equipment but this is the origin and i love that kind of looking back and looking to the future if you are into you know that kind of preserving the, the 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 planet there is something very important about the oceans and i think this is why this collection really speaks to me the seahorse which that mechanical yet of course the animal itself is magical isn't it those creatures as well and I love as well that the fact that you, we are talking about rust and beautiful textures that depict the, pa the times the pass of time the kind of how things like kind of well and I just think this is such a poetic way of looking at papers when you look into all the details that are featured in here now remember that uh, you know will be dispatched from the 4th of March the one day special you are getting the 12 by 12 and you're getting the same designs but string down to 8 by eight like Leone was saying at the beginning it means that you kind of feel more comfortable about cutting into them and you have also the ability to you know when you're starting a project and you're thinking oh, I love that seahorse I'm gonna start with a larger one and then your frame is a little bit too small or vice versa then is how it kind of works now we have also in the one day special the, the stamps in their own which is uh, the stamps in here which is lady if you wanted to go for the stamps on their own we still have got them as well details at the bottom of the screen for those one fifty percent of the stamps on their own right we have if you want to go for the one day special you have a five pound saving 
nine four four seven eight five eight is your item number. If you want to be like Ian, Ian, by the way, is one of our viewers that has got these previously his collection and has purchased some of them and created beautiful pieces like the glorious, um, you know, the Casley Amores as well. If you want to be like Paul, that sent in that memory book. Or if you want to be like Tina, that sent out even more beautiful images. Well, you can by checking out your baskets for the one day special. Uh, you can see in here that different elements that Leone has created throughout. There is so many possibilities. The choice is yours on how to go. And if you wanted to go for another extra of the paper pads, the 12 by 12, you still can do that as well. Right, you can see there, there, that is Leone that did that one beautiful. We have got those Im viewer images. Uh, can we show them? Here we have uh, from Ian. Uh, you can see that. Uh, that's the molds that it sold out last night, by the way. Then we have, oh, look. Ian made that brooch that I wear very often as well. So they can be brooches that you can then wear as well into your day to day. And then we have, oh, you can see them all together. Ah, and it has got LED lights as well. And then you can see them uh, there, ooh, with Neptune as well in there. And uh, we have, ooh, the next one, let's see. Oh, this is your that's present. Yeah, that's mine. Yeah. <laughs> I should have worn my brooch today, Ian. I wear all the time in Dragonfly. I get so many compliments. So very much, uh, very, very th many thanks to you, um, Ian, for sending those images very and those nice. presses. And I love, I love the um, the mold. I, the mold. I, I, oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah it's absolutely. beautiful. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a good present, is that Ian? Thank you. <laughs> right, and of course we have. Oh look, I love that with acetate the card. So you have got that floatiness uh, there as well. I love an acetate card. It's one of my favorite favorites. And then you have those elements. Is this from? Oh, this wow. is from Jane sending that. I oh, know Stephen. Stephen has sent that. Oh, uh, I love the big I love that. Oh, yeah. that's gorgeous. Uh, that would look good on my book that I'm doing absolutely. now. Absolutely. Uh, thank you so much, everybody who has sent them images. Uh, Paul and, and Tina sent them early this morning. Jane for that acetate card. Ian for those molds. And, of course, Steve for the last image that we've seen. Right. It's great to see what people do then once they did get them home as yeah, well. Yeah, it really is. I think I've just eaten some glue. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's what you do. <laughs> now that explains I'll so many tell things. You. I'm in a right mess. Right, so what I'm going to do is next, I'm letting that dry. I'll show you what it looks like. See, when you fold it back, obviously this all needs to be <gasps> but, but, and that's folded. That? It's still a bit wet. I tried to dry it, but it's still a bit wet. But how cool is that going to look already? Isn't that just beautiful? Oh, I love it. That's just a bit of rice paper. Honestly, oh. rice paper is like one of the best things since sliced bread. And I Sorry. like bread, but yeah. that is, that's really good. I mean, I love bread. I love you bread. You love bread. You and I could eat the rest of our lives. Yeah, we just could bread. just have bread. Just bread. I came on from shop the other day and I had... Um, I had uh, some a, ba a bag of croissants. I live on my own. I had a full bag of croissants. I had a full fruit loaf and two sourdough um, bread rolls. Yeah. And That's just for me. That was one shot for me. I mean... And you are this skinny. And I, mean, I wonder I why my jeans aren't fitting. It's like, that shop, Leone, <laughs> that shop. It is a winter. I think it's the mm. gin has just run with the cold. It, yeah, it is. That's what it it's is. The cold. It's the cold. It's going to be fine in the summer. My jeans will go exactly. back to normal. Exactly. They expand in the summer. Oh. But anyway, I love bread. Uh, but I like I like rice paper as much as bread. So there Which you go. Is, yeah. Right now, I did actually. I've gone and changed my mind because I did actually put a white gesso on this. But I just thought, you know what? It's going to look better with black because this is one of those molds. Now those molds are in incredible they're um they're really really beautiful i've got another demonstration this afternoon um at the last chance to with the mold because um there's so much you can do with them and uh, again they all match you know i'm using the the um the wonderful wonderful sir vagabond 
uh, rice paper, but then the mould from the under the sea collection obviously is going to go because we've still got the clocks and the cogs, you know, everything mixes and matches. Now, they are very deep moulds, so what I'm doing, as you can see, is really getting into the, the nooks and the crannies. I'm also, with this, remember to go around your edges. Because it's going on um, my wallet, it means I don't want to see any white bits on my edges. There's no way I'm going to be finishing this demonstration. Is I must admit, none of the demonstrations I've managed to finish in an hour. So but you, you have finished between the shows. But so I've finished fine. between the shows. So just fill in this in. Like this, you can't suppress creativity, Katie oh, you, said. Oh, you, oh, uh, <laughs> Indeed, you can't love. Do you have quite a saying, or is it is it in Spanish? Now I get confused if it's in Spanish or English, saying that you cannot purge borders Baby to in your the corner. creativity. <laughs> what, what? No, you cannot purge um, barriers to creativity. I think it's Spanish. Maybe. Yeah. Well, you can have that. It's like, uh, <laughs> no se pueden poner puertas a la creatividad. Uh, oh, doors yeah. to creativity. Mm. Good one. Mm -hmm. And it's true. True story. Yeah, absolutely. True that Spaniard. <laughs> <laughs> um, when you come to dry it, that's when you notice all your white bits. I'm not going to worry about that for now. So, again, the detail. Phenomenal. I have used resin with this. I adore using resin with these moulds because I love resin because when you're, you're waiting for it to dry, it's that, uh, you know, the day after when you go and look at them all and it's dead exciting getting them all out the moulds, it's really satisfying. Okay, paints. So, I'm of course going on to um, my Servagabond, but I can add loads of colours because it's going on to this and then it's going on to this so obviously my paints i do apologize they've gone but these are going to work with this so it means i can now start layering your molds are fantastic for layering all your gorgeous colors i'm tempted to use dark green again but i know i haven't got much time so three and a half minutes so i'm just going to pop out a little bit of paint i'm also going to use this was in a previous one sadly um, i'm going to use a coat the bronze actually so i am going to use a bronze as well i'm only putting a little bit of the paints out because i do get a bit precious i'm going to use that gray as well okay like so and then let's start layering so just adding that paint a little bit at a time and what I do adore about this is just building up those colours and seeing the details spring to life. I just think it looks fabulous. You don't need it to be um, a solid colour either. You know, if you just sort of stippling the colour in, yeah. it can look really cool. Obviously, it's better if you let the colours dry in between because otherwise I am, rather than getting that really good stippled effect, I am going to get a bit more of a... You know, they're going to melt, to, yeah, blend together a bit, which I don't want. When you're trying to get that, that lovely sort of rusty look, you want the colours to stipple on top of each other. When you get the, the blend, the two, the two, you know, blended, <laughs> obviously. Um, so, but look at that blue on there. I mean, aren't they gorgeous? And it is, I mean, this is ridiculously simple. It's quite nice leaving some of the darker areas as well. I do so not trying to work your way into the, the sort of darker areas. I think that looks quite effective. It but gives now, it some depth. Yes, definitely. Yeah, not Just bad. stipple, stipple. I, I mean, obviously I haven't finished, but I'm going to blast it. So Because my colours are blending too much, so I am going to blast it in between. And you'd either do that or you'd just let it dry naturally. Have a few of these on the go. So, you know, you've got like three or four different moulded things on the go and you'll be able to, to build it up and use all your, your paints. And by the time you come back round, it will have dried anyway. Mm -hmm. But, oh, doesn't it look good? Absolutely. And when you just... That red is fabulous. If you did manage to get them, that red is just fabulous. Because it just... It's so rusty. It's ridiculous. It Bring in some more of that red. <gasps> I love that. Isn't that a gorgeous image? <laughs> It's funny because it's, you, you you take it out of the mould, it's it's good, but it's kind of mm. a piece of resin. Then covered in black, it's adding some darkness. And then you started adding all those colours and yeah. suddenly it becomes a real old element. Yeah. 
It's ace. It's ace. And anybody can do this. I'm stippling a bit of paint on it. You know, the image is the thing that makes this special. But, um, yeah, beautiful. I'm not going to finish this. I'm going to okay. stand here and play for another oh, well, three hours. Thank you so much, Leona. It's always a joy to see you. Even 14 years that we have known each other, I enjoy every single time that I see a Leona so Craft Day. I don't know, but it's just like, for me, it's like I'm privileged and I know it. But so are you. You can rewatch a Leona for up to 60 days on the website on Rewind. So you can craft. If you check out your baskets, you will get it. And you can craft alongside Leona. Uh, thank you so much, Leona. Thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow, but stay tuned here at her channel for more inspiration. Well, that inspiration in the form of apps and that amazing weekend wow from Alan Create. Then we have got Oddwood Our Garden Creatures and then a three quilter straight in post. Have you heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Hachanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a Chanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away, or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888, and join her Chanda Freedom today. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we're honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hello, I'm Carol. And I'm Hayley. And together we are the Dreamies. Dreamies have been around for 11 years now. We started with CD-ROMs, we've developed into stamps, paper pads, dies. We've now got the Dinky Inkies range as well, so we've got so much to bring to you at Hachanda. We design everything in-house and we manufacture in the UK. We produce tutorials to inspire you to get the most from our products. On the Dreamy Shows, we hope to further inspire you with all the techniques and tips that we can offer, hopefully getting you to use all of your inks, your flower making techniques, and really build on all the skills you probably already have. Make sure you join us for the Dreamy Shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Bev. Hi, I'm Sam. And we're from Be Crafty. Be Crafty is a family-run company. Sam is my sister. And we love bringing brand new products to Hachanda. We manufacture and design all our own ranges of stamps, inkables, MDF, lots and lots of inspiration that we love to bring and share with you. If you tune in to Hachanda to join us, you'll see that mine and Bev's style are totally different. But what that does is it brings you lots of styles and techniques that you can include in your crafting too. Our ranges are increasing all the time with the lovely hand-drawn images that Sam and myself are trying to bring to you, plus the fantastic new designs that we like to bring in the inkables, in the dinkables and the MDF as well. So you can use them across all different sorts of crafts and bring the best we can to a Chanda too. So make sure you don't miss the Bee Crafty shows on the Chanda. Hi, I'm Emma, the Cricut Demonstrator here on Hochanda. Cricut is a range of tools, machines and accessories that allow you to work with hundreds of materials. I love Cricut because it allows me to take craft projects I have in my head and make them a reality. 
You can customize and personalize your paper craft projects, your home decor, clothing. You can work with iron on vinyl, paper, card, wood, fabrics. The possibilities are endless. On the shows on Hochanda, I hope I can inspire you with ideas to help you become your creative best with cricket. So make sure you don't miss the cricket shows on Hochanda. Hello everybody and welcome. So we have our second look at the weekend. Wow, this is going to be a really special weekend for All in Crate and I know there are so many All in Crate fans out there. So what we're doing through across the weekend, so for the next four days effectively, long weekend for us, um, we're going to offer you a two monthly mega deals. So one's launching at six with Tracy today, one's going to launch on uh, Sunday at six with Leone and right now, well earlier on we launched our weekend wow. But what we've done is put all three together. So the Weekend Wow, the two monthly mega deals into a complete collection. It is the mega collection that you're seeing on your screen right now. Now, this is a monthly mega deal. You're not saving 15 pounds. I want to put this into context because with each of the collections, you're going to be saving five pounds. It's already factored in. So that's another 15 pounds. Then you're getting a further 15 pounds saving that you can see, so 30 pounds saving. And then on top of that, you've got a freedom discount. Then on top of that, you're going to get gifts worth. Look, all you need to know from this is your, please, firstly, two things, and this is really important. A lot of you, and we were so busy for the monthly mega deal. If you're going to go for the monthly mega deal, please become a freedom member. I'm saving you money. I know freedom membership does cost £5.97, but as a freedom member, you're saving £15. So you've more than covered your freedom membership. Enjoy freedom membership for a month. Opt out at the end of the month if you wish. So please become a freedom member. I don't want anyone paying full price. You'll save money as a freedom member. Your first flexi payment as a freedom member is 53.35. And here's the thing. You're getting the complete collection, which we're going to look at in a moment. You are going to be saving £73.07. £73.07. Uh, you've got free gifts in here, which we'll get to. You're getting the complete collection. I mean, the complete collection, excluding the free gift, Abs was saying, at the regular retail price, and normally what all the crate would sell this for, uh, is £207. And that doesn't even factor in the free gift. Uh, well, I've talked a lot, and I need to speak. I uh, need to introduce you rather to the man at the moment. Abs, how are you doing? I'm very good, thank you. How are you doing? You're looking, you are. You have to be said probably the funkiest member <laughs> or guest that ever comes to Hochanda. It's between you. Well, uh, Leonie's not a guest. She's obviously a presenter here. But you and Leon, Leonie are on par in your <laughs> funkiness. How are you doing Thank though? You. Did you enjoy the show earlier? I did. I really enjoyed it. We had a very busy show and I love the show. I love the after show and I checked my social media as well. And um, thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for tuning in, for supporting the shows and everything. And I hope you enjoyed the demo and you still, remember, you still have 14 shows <laughs> this 14. next four days. We cannot wait. And actually that's a really good point because if you do go for the mega bundle, that's everything, the complete collection, we're going to be doing shows featuring the Weekend Wow um, and the two monthly mega deals. So you've got Tracy this evening launching at 6, you've got Leone on Sunday launching at 6. So everything you're seeing here will be demonstrated and you're going to have a lot of inspirations to draw from. Abs, we're approaching a third of the stock of the monthly, and that's the thing, the oh, wow. monthly mega deal with the mega collection. Please become a Freedom member. For you, Abs, what is it about this collection? Because I know you're in particular really excited about everything on show here. Absolutely. For me, it's all about the variety of designs that you have in there. So you have um, the variety of designs and of size. You have the different themes going on and everything works very well together. And then every bundle works very well together. You have, um, I'd say, um, illustrative designs, you have quirky designs, you have intricate design as well, you have the whimsical of Janet Klein, um, is a complete full bundle for me. That's a 
proper makeup on them to have all the styles so if you don't want to do always the same thing if you want something different if you want something to keep um, um it depends on the mood depends on the day depends on the occasions so this makeup bundle is perfect for you well, and the reason why we did this makeup bundle i said this yesterday on my instagram live we noticed in the past before we do in the makeup bundle we used to do cam two ods's one weekend wow or three ods's and then we noticed a lot of people were buying from all the shows and when we were doing the orders we noticed that a lot a lot that's how we come the the idea of doing a mega bundle for um, those who like um, a bit of everything. <laughs> I'll pick those up in a second. Um, but you you raise a really good point, Abs, because you're saying like the the mix of what you're getting within the bundle. We've got quirky, and let me show you quirky. This you're going to love this. I, I know you're going to love this. Uh, and our phone lines are getting busy. Do you know, we had such a busy launch with the Weekend Wow earlier on at Abs that it actually broke our phone lines. Look at the characters. And this is something that we've come to associate now with All and Create. What? These are characters. Come on, look at the characters. You're getting these characters uh, in the mix. Or how about a starlet to go with the lads there? So you've got the starlet. Then we've got, let me just pop that down, a full scene, so there's our character, all of this, and I'm going to show you great inspiration in a second, <laughs> come on, you've got an artist that we can all recognise, <clears throat> we've got teddies in there as well, let me show you this, let me show you this, how about that, everything you're seeing there is included in the bundle. Okay, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to have to have a look at the uh, stamps and show you everything that you are getting. So uh, you have got the Weekend Wow, which is here. This is your Weekend Wow. Uh, sorry, Weekend Wow, which is here. So you're seeing that going through. I mean, the amount of elements. That's the Wow. So if you want to get that by itself, it's forty nine ninety seven. Now, bear in mind, if you are a Freedom member and you go for your mega uh, collection, you are saving, you're saving 73 pounds and seven pence, and you're only paying a few pounds more than that 49.97 for your first flexi payment. So three pounds 38 more. All right, so there's your weekend wow. Let me just pick this up. I want to just really want you to, um, and we will be getting to abs shortly, so don't worry. But look at everything that you're getting in the mix. So beautiful, beautiful layered collage images just waiting to be brought to life. Okay, so that's cool. That's, I mean, that is a full A4 stamp sheet. Then you've got here more beautiful imagery that will just work. Design, you can see how the Weekend Wow has been so beautifully designed to coordinate. And if that's not enough, you're also getting this set's really good. Abs was playing with this earlier on. It's a great um, finishing touch to a piece. Okay, so that's your Weekend Wow. Then characters. Now have a look down here at the characters that you're going to be getting. That is going to be a monthly mega deal that we're launching at 6 o'clock on Sunday with Leone. So loads of characters. You've got your starlet there. You've got the boys going through the TV, Dali, all those characters in the mix. So there is your, um, that's going to be a monthly mega deal launched at 6 o'clock on Sunday if you want to see uh, inspirations there. Then over here, the six inspirations that you are seeing, this is your monthly mega deal that's launching at 6 today with Tracy. So you've got the pheasant. This is awesome. The alphabet is great and I know that uh, Tracy is a real fan so you can just see that there and then you've got so all of those and up here we've got more let me just show you all of those so that's what's launching today at six but then we've got as part of the complete collection the monthly mega deal collection uh, you are getting two bonus stamps. So these are just a, a free gift with purchase. Everybody's going to be getting these. So you've got your stamps and then you've got your washi included as well. Your all in create washi tape. So that is the complete collection. It is something to get excited about. Just imagine and so many people have got on board considering that it's meant to last a full month and we're approaching a third of the stock. That gives you an indication of how busy we were uh, earlier on. A third... <laughs> We're no longer approaching a third of the stock. A third of the stock has gone. We are busy. Uh, there's so much more, though, to take a look at. Shop by brand, have a look at the website, and see everything on the show. There are a lot more uh, to discover. So if you want to get washy, you've got washy there. Uh, got more stamps. 
as well. So have a little look. And that's the thing with All in Create. You can shop by brand, and there's lots to discover. The acrylic blocks are back in stock, and, and so many people have been emailing in. Uh, the acrylic box, the A4 and the border, have been out of stock for a year. So they're finally back in stock. Lots more stamps. There's pick and mixes on there as well. Uh, okay, I think it's enough from me. What we're going to do is head to ABS for our first demonstration. Um, ABS, what are we going to be doing? So what we're going to do today, <laughs> this hour, so what are we going to do tonight? Uh, not tonight, this hour at 1 p.m. <laughs> it's still early for the night. Um, we're going to do a small journal, yeah. and then we're going to create it um, from one piece. I've done it in the past using one piece of A4, but I want to do it a little slightly different today. And also I want to um, obviously use the um, the baby, which is the um, the Weekend Wow bundle, and show you how to go to a different theme, different style, and different colors. Okay. So the background, I want to start creating it with jelly plates. So I have mm. here my A4 jelly plates. I have some acrylic paint here. Brayer, we have plenty of stencils on the show today, so I'll be using um, a mix of stencils from the show. So I'm going to start with some colors. So I want to start with the first layer. So I'm going to go with some blue. Now actually I'm going with the green. Okay. It's rude not to start with my favorite color. <laughs> Green's your favorite color? Oh yeah. yeah. Oops. You can see, you're down to the end of the tube. <laughs> and that's tube number, I don't know. <laughs> I keep buying tube green. Of many. To be fair, whenever I go to buy a new colors of paint, I have to pick a green as well. Yeah. Which is silly, but I like yeah. it. So, um, so here what I'm doing is just like a thin layer of paint. Let me grab that piece of paper that I did this morning to... Um, get rid of all the excess of the paint. I have a lovely email in from Henning, uh, just saying how inspiration all these, uh, well, what an inspirational collection these are, and absolutely love them. Thank you so much for emailing in. Thank you so much that. for emailing. Do you know, it, I, I said this at the start of the show, Abs, but all in Create, and I've seen how, as a brand, you've really grown, but it, it's a sense of community, and so absolutely. many people have embraced all in Create, Al, and you've got a fantastic uh, fan club out there. Thank you. And especially that four years ago when I did my first show, you presented it. I know, I remember it. Yeah, we worked together, we were there on that yeah. set. <laughs> we did our first show. Yeah. This is your cir circles, uh, sorry, your dots. Uh, yeah, collection. I'm using here the, lo the totally dotty, this one. Yeah. So I just layer of paint. I'm just going to uh, get rid of that excess mm -hmm. of the first layer. What well, I think makes one create so special, Ed, your enthusiasm, how you really have brought together such a talented mixture of designers from across the world. You've got some incredible designers working with you. I'm so and proud to be working bring, with you. <laughs> oh, it, it's such a fab, you can see the designs that come in. And everything that you bring is also so original too. And yeah. It's just the perfect combination. Thank you. And I'm really proud to be working with this team and I'm really proud they still part of the team and we are working together and everything. Okay, so this is just a first layer, okay. just to get um, that excess of paint. So we have all the, a nice layer. If I move it like this, you can maybe see those circles. You can see them? Yeah. Oh, yeah, maybe this shows even better. That's the first one. That's only one layer. Yeah. And um, then you leave that one to the top. So I keep taking the excess of the paint. Move into another color mm -hmm. and add in a little bit of um, yellow. Now, I've noticed that you keep your jelly plate on your A4 acrylic block. Yeah, I have a second acrylic block just for jelly plate, oh. and it's always there. It's so easy for me to work on it, to, to transport it, but also to use it sometimes for, um, to use it sometimes as for stamping, to just pull print on the section that I want, because it's flexible. Yeah. So it makes my job makes really, really difference. easy. Abs, tell me, what kind of response, because throughout the year now, we have got the A4 acrylic block and the border back in stock. 30% of the stock's gone for those. Oh, wow. Tell already. me about the emails you received over the last year, people desperate to get hold of this, because it's been out of stock for a year. Yeah, um, so um, I think a lady <laughs> put a comment on social media correcting me. It, yeah, it's been out of, when I said out of stock of year, it's been out of stock of year. I meant the last time we got hold of a stock was a year ago. Mm. So obviously it lasts a little bit more than a year after that. Yeah. But since then we couldn't, especially with the COVID and everything, yeah. we couldn't get any more till this month, so we were really lucky to have um, stocking back. And in the meantime, we the amount of emails and messages that we got from people asking us, like, um, where can we get it? Because I saw me using it, I saw the design team using it, and they want to get hold of it, but we were saying, like, we just waited for more stock, but there's nothing there. There was a world shortage of acrylic, because they were used for, obviously, dividers. Yeah, the COVID screens. protecting screens, yeah. or whatever they call them. You put, you put your order in. 
wait even for the was event was back in stock. Yeah. I said so when it's back in stock I'll be the when first. Be first. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I'm um, using another stencil here. Uh -huh. I think it's called um is that one of the components or is it um yeah, that is components. It's a bundle of four, and we're just going to flash the details there. Uh, 1996 is your price, saving eight pounds. And what we'll do throughout the show, anything Abs is using, we will flash the details for you. Oh, so no, do it's... keep a lookout if, in case you want to add it to your basket. So basically, what I'm doing here, maybe we not see that much design. Now I'm building layers, and each time with a different color. So when we do the, pr the full print at the end, it will really look um, really, really good. Cool. So um, a bit of blue. And nice. I put too much. I'm not going to waste that one, so I'm just going to put it somewhere else, for instance, here. Okay. And the thing with jelly plates, the more you use them, the better they get. You Absolutely, kind of season yeah. them. You need to use them. And don't be scared if they get a bit mucky, because you want those layers. Because sometimes the first print, second print are not the best. Mm -hmm. And they say, like, oh, yeah, it's like happened to me in the past. When I tried it the first time, I said, no, it's not working. It's not for me. And I nearly gave up. No. It's like and then one day I had to, and few, like a month ago or a year ago, I said like, oh, let me give you some other girl. I watched um, a very talented lady called Birgit, um, she's from Netherlands, and I said like, oh, I want to give it a go again. Yeah, yeah. And then I started using it again, and since then I never thought of I can't say a jelly plate is like a wok in the sense that the more you season it and use it, the better it is. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm now using here the, um, the other stencils that we have also in the shelves. They have numbers and letters, there's nice ones by B. Pasha. Nice. And doing um, oh, maybe this one here okay. from the same bundle that I just used. That's mm. perfect. And then get in my piece of paper and oh. try to remove and all that. I like that. how you're able to use so many different things in one design. They all work beautifully together. Yeah. So that's just the negative. It's already beautiful. So I'm just okay, trying to get rid of all this excess of paint. Okay. That is perfect. Beautiful. You can see. You've got see. the details here if you want to get hold of those. So your spiral check, uh, your digits uh, gear, yeah. and your digits check. Wheeled in. Nice layers. Okay, um, I'm going to go with a little bit of contrast now. I'm using magenta. Mm. You may say, ooh. Well, I think that? that would go well, the magenta would be. It would yeah. go really well. But also don't forget that um, this time, this print at the end, we're going to fold it to make a mini book. Oh, okay. So it would be uh, nice to have a continuity of colours and mm. patterns. We don't need one p big pattern. We only need a lot of texture and a nice, interesting patterns and things, yeah. ha uh, things happening. So that's what we want out of this uh, main print. So even if you go with like this, like different colours, um, different, um, I'd say, mm different sections and everything, don't worry. So now I'm going to do, I'm going to use some stamps to make it even more interesting. For example, I'm going to go with the, um, we have that reversed one that we used before, mainly for jelly plates, and we have the Tracy Evans. Those two, I keep using them because I really, really love them. I think I have a lot of paint here, so I'm just going to remove a little bit so we can have a nice print. Let me do the numbers here. Well, nice. And the letters, sorry, the... I think it's called Numerator, this stamp set by Tracy Evans. Yeah. So I'm just making sure I have a nice print. Yeah. yeah. And if there's anything else, I'm going to wash it later. And then here, I'm going to do the same thing with the other stamp sets. There's also our on the shows. Uh, on the uh, show, sorry. Yeah. Shelley's emailed shows. in saying, well done, Abs. Fantastic new designs. Uh, thank you so much, Shelley. Thank you. I appreciate that. And thank you to everyone who's been emailing in. If you do want to email in, if you've got any questions for abs, if you just want to congratulate all and create, uh, do feel free to get in touch, studio at hochanda.com. We love hearing from you. Oh, I'm really liking that one. I think I'm going to stop here because, you know me, with Joy okay. Plate, I can go for 3,000 layers <laughs> easily. <laughs> and to be fair, the more, if you have, well, of course, at home you have more time, so the more you so add, the more interesting print you have at the end. So now what I'm going to do, I did a very thin layer, so I don't need, um, I don't need to um, leave it to dry, it's already, it's already dry. So all I'm going to do is just a little bit of white. I'm not going to put that much. Can you see, like, small, small amount of white? Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm going to bring Briar, that's big, so we can do all in one go. Let me first just grab um, a piece of cardstock to put the prints on. And then all I'm doing is make sure I cover all that, pla all the plates to make yeah. a nice print. If you think you have a lot of white, 
just can remove all the excess. Yeah. So we want a very, very thin layer. We don't want a thick layer. I think mm -hmm. that is perfect now. Okay, I'm excited to see this. Put. Give it a good rub. Mm -hmm. Would you ever use your brayer on the back? Sorry? Would you ever yeah, use your brayer? Yeah, you can. Mm -hmm. help you. And the good thing, because we have the acrylic block, look. Opa, that is and you can see already what you have in. Can you uh, see? You can yes. see already. That is actually, yeah, I love it. I'm already loving this one, especially that mm. I'm going to fold the mini later. So I know this one will be a nice section. So you can also give it a fold. And just like stamp, as I said before, what you do, just hold it and... Give it a flex. Yeah. So that's also a good thing about um, using the, um, the acrylic box. So let's see now. I think I'm in love with these prints. Oh, yes. I think I'm in love. Oh, even that small section with that pink. Let's see, maybe if I turn it this way, where there's less light, you can see the... Um, and that looks awesome. And as I said, I did not work, I did not add so many layers. I did not like try to balance the colors as usually I do. Usually I just balance the colors, try to get rid of those lines yeah. and make sure everything is bending. But I don't need it today because it's not it's one piece at the end. It's going yeah. to be a mini book. That's okay. why I just went for this covers. And usually, um, as I said, it takes my time, add more layers. Okay, so let's put that aside. Okay. Also, the other thing I usually do when I do these mini books is the first thing I do, start folding, folding, yeah. and then um, start stamping and decorating the pages. But today, because I don't want to fold first, I want to stamp all my images, yeah. and then do at the end fold them. And the reason why, because I know that, for example, I fold here, and if one image, let's say, um, I don't know, um, the pumpkin is a little bit larger, it's not easy to get a nice print when you have the folding lines in the middle. Yeah. So for stamp now, and then do. I'm just going to keep in mind, so I know that at the end, when I fold everything, so if I stamp an image here, mm -hmm. in this half of the page, yeah. I need to turn the other one and stamp this side. Because if you do them the same way, one of them will be upside down later. Oh, okay. So stamp. Yeah. Eventually, this is the, the, the half of the page. Stamp yeah. this way, yeah. this side, and then do it. I'm going to show you anyway. Okay, yeah, we'll see. So, um, let me bring some stamps from the... Um, and I think the, the real joy of whichever, look, whichever option you go for, because you can just go for the weekend wow, and you've got so much to play with. Go for the mega collection, you get everything to play with, and you also get maximum value for money. Uh, Rachel emailed back in. Oh, and she emailed in this morning. Does, she was who discovered you this morning. Oh, so, hi, Rachel. Hello, uh, my friend. <laughs> do you know what? She's saying don't throw away anything from the show because uh, she'd love to frame it. Ah, uh, bless well, there you. There we go. We have to hang on. You never uh, know, because sometimes you. you do just to give away. Thank you, Rachel. Okay, so, um, as in a good layer of ink here. I start with the pumpkin. Okay. And what I like about this one, because um, when I stamp here, I don't know exactly where the folding lines will be. Yeah. So even if later when I fold, the image will be half in that page and the rest in the other page, that would make my journal more interesting, and that's what yeah. I like. Now, so. Kim's emailed in. She's loving the show. Uh, she's interested in what jelly plate you use and what size. I'm using the Jelly Art plates, mm -hmm. and I'm using is this one is the eight by ten inches, I okay. think, I believe. It's slightly smaller than A4, but we call it the A4 because yeah. it's like only tiny bits. And it's <laughs> but perfect uh, for you, the um, and the it's perfect for acrylic blocks yeah. as well. Yeah. Uh, she's really enjoying watching and loves the collection, by the way, as well. Ah, uh, thank uh, you. You can find jelly plates on our website, so if you just type in jelly art, you'll be able to hopefully find those uh, gel plates there. Okay, so that's the first oh, image, and good. it's perfect. That's and even strong. that, the background is very rich in colors and patterns, but the image still pops. Yeah. And this is like, just this image like this. I imagine later on when I put all, um, the one that I fussy cut before and make it even pop even more, can you see? Uh, you can add colors later Lovely. and everything. So that's the first image. Now, Let's within do. the veggie collection, there was one particular sentiment that made you giggle. Oh, the fruit one, yeah. the apple. Yeah, I love it. Do you want to read it? So it was um, an was apple it? a day keeps everyone away if you throw it hard enough. Absolutely. That <laughs> just sums up the Pasha's humor as well. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. So I'm doing here the mushrooms now. Yeah. So I know already, because I've done this journal in the past many, many times, mm. so I'm going to fold, so this is, will be half of the journal. Right. Don't worry about the back, because they will be all stuck back to back later, mm. so you will not see all this of it. So I know that this one will be the half. 
So this is the first double page, yeah. and here the second one. So I'm going to stamp this section here, and then I'm going to turn my page and do the rest of the stamping. Okay. So that's why I'm not going to stamp right next to this one, but mm. I'm going to stamp a little bit towards the left to make sure I have um, a nice. But if you're at home and you want something perfect and you want more precise, what you can do is take a pencil mm. or a pen or anything, just mark the half of the page points, here yeah. and here. So you know this is one section, this yeah. is one, this is third, and this is the fourth one. Yeah. But for me, I don't measure, I don't Go with I. <laughs> I don't do all of that, I just do it. I like it when it's not measured, so I just enjoy it this way. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to do the mushrooms here. Right. So I don't press at all, I just keep put my hand, just make sure that the stamp is not moving and nothing is moving. And then I send all the pressure towards my stamp to get a nice print. And that's, I think that's nice about cuts. the acrylic, is yeah. you have got that flex. Because some Absolutely. of them are too thick, you wouldn't be able to do that. Yeah, you can't, if yeah. I like too thick. And that's the main reason why I did those um, uh, the slim ones, yeah. is because I was struggling in the past with um, a big stamp okay. set when I had the thick acrylic blocks. Especially if it's, if it's big, um, circle, whatever, easy, simple, basic yeah. shape, it's fine. But it's very intricate and rich in details. It's not easy to get no, crisp Especially print. larger stamps. It's where it goes, it's, where Absolutely. you go wrong is in the middle. With yeah, the, large the one. middle. Yeah. We always miss the, um, the middle, middle section. But having that flex, that's where you put the pressure on, is the middle. Yeah. So I did here the mushrooms. I did here. here the mushroom, you can sit quite well. The reason why, because of course, um, the background is really busy. Yeah. That's but okay. we had it already fast cut and ready. So when we pop that one on the top, it, it will pop. And the good thing, you can see all this texture around it. Yeah. So now what you do is you turn your page. And then you do the other two elements. Yeah. Do you want to choose for me the next two? Which veggie you want, or which fruit you want, or which? Yeah. Uh, sorry, I'm just getting an email in. Okay. Uh, this yeah, is no. from Nell, who's saying that she loves the collection, loves the new collection. Uh, she's only just discovered jelly plates then. She's going to be trying all these new techniques this weekend. Oh, she's going to have fun. So she's going to be trying everything that you're showing. She would have loads and yeah. loads of fun with jelly plates. She's saying thanks for the inspiration. Yeah. And Keep playing, keep trying, keep practicing. It's a fun journey and you're gonna have a lot of fun. I, I'm, I can guarantee that. And um, keep playing, keep changing stencils, stamps, colors. Follow yourself, because uh, I follow Abs on Instagram, and he does Instagram. You were doing it last night, Instagram. Yeah, right? I did Instagram last night. I did one also on, um, was it on Tuesday? And they all saved on my Instagram. So if you miss them, you can still watch them. Don't worry. So if you follow me on Autour de Moi Instagram, mm -hmm. if you can spell it, <laughs> A-U-T-O-U. Yeah. So it's my Instagram. Yeah. Um, you find all, even the previous Instagram that I did in the past, they all saved. That's very good. Not all of them, but mainly the previous ones. They all yeah. saved where I did many techniques and everything, but also, uh, next week, I think Tuesday, Wednesday, mm -hmm. Friday, at least those three days, I'm doing Instagram Live at 7 p.m. I'll be playing with the new collection. This one, Tracy's ones, uh, Jana Klein ones, I'll be using stamps, stencils, but also when I do um, Instagram uh, Lives, um, I like because not only we create, but we chat, we spend mm. a good evening together. It's, it's 7 p.m. Yeah, community. it's an amazing yeah. community. So please, um, if you're looking for inspiration, or if you want to join us and join the fine, it's 7 p.m. next week on, what did they say? Tuesday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Friday. Yeah. Okay, I did tomato here. Okay. I'm gonna do, um, I think in this page I can fit more. So I'm gonna do, actually I'm not gonna fit that much. Cause, I, oh, we did not do the carrots today. I did mm. not stem the carrots this morning. Let's do carrots. Okay. They've been using the same, but we forgot about the carrots. You I love the for carrots? The, for the carrots, I'm just gonna use the border one. Is enough. Good layer of inks. And I'm going to do the carrot somewhere in, maybe this way, towards a little bit of the center. So we have different one than the other one. So yeah. I'm just making sure I have a good print in there. So just lift in. But even if I miss part of it, that's why I said before, I'm going to color all of them and I'm going to stick, um, I'm going to stamp them on um, a piece of cardstock and then first I cut them. Oh, that's actually perfect. You see, I already have loads already done before, all different ones. 
so it may, I will drop easy. So this is for the stamp, this is the part for stamping the focal points. So we have here the focal points all stamped, we have the background down, now we start, it doesn't look like anything right now, be honest, <laughs> it looks like a huge mess. Yeah. No, it's, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, um, it's like background, stamped, upside down, uh, like images stamped upside down, but don't worry, you will see everything. Now what I'm going to do is, um, I'm bring that one aside. The first thing we need to do is start folding. So take that one, fold it in half. That is one, you see? We already did okay. the first one. And then open it and do the same thing the other way. I've done it in the past, but, but maybe some people did not watch the previous shows. So this is how I create an easy um, mini books with eight pages out of one piece of A4. So we did both sides half half and then we open it. We go do exactly the same for the first half page. We're going to do it again in half. Mm -hmm. It's basically you don't need to measure. You don't need to do anything. You don't have to have um, how to say anything. Just half the page and then do exactly the other half here. And you can start already see all the folding points there. Yeah. There you go. So you have, if you see, you have eight, and that's the eight pages you're going to have at the end. Okay. That's why I said before about this, you can have yeah. some. And now we're going to do, we're going to use a um, gelatin or trimmer or scissor, mm -hmm. and we're going to cut one line, two line, three line, and we keep the last one hanging. Okay. And that one, what we create the, um, at the end, um, with, to join the two parts together. Perfect. So that's not my trimmer, so we really hope the, uh, the blade works in that mm -hmm. one. <laughs> because I can't find mine and I use this one. So hopefully this one is working. If not, I'm going to just do it with a scissor quickly. It's not a problem at all. I have my scissors here. Okay. okay, let's do. So, one line, two, three, and we stop. You see, we're only doing three. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, it cuts really well. So that's good. So you see now? Yeah. Okay. And so then what you get trousers. to do, Fold one in, one out, one in, one out, and then do the same thing. One in, and then one out. Oops, where's the folding line here? Hang on, what did I do? Yeah, this way, sorry. And then in, out, and then... So when you fold all this together, just turn it this way. Mm -hmm. And then you can start to flip around. Uh, haha, awesome! and they're all stamped in the right way. Obviously, I did not stick the page now. And now I'm going to take my glue and all that back dirty one, we will not see it because it will be all... Put, we put, we're going to put the glue here, glue here, glue here, and okay. stick those two back to back. Yep. Put the glue here, stick those two back to back. Put the glue here, both sides, all double-sided, back to back. And then awesome. you have your small journal. And then now we can start decorating the pages. Amazing. Abs, I'm going to let you get set. Uh, you can glue that and get set for your next okay. yep. demonstration. We're going to talk about the uh, Mega Collection. Now, this is a monthly Mega deal. We're over a third of the stock, and this includes everything because we're having uh, a celebration over the weekend with All and Create. We've launched the Weekend Wow today. Uh, we're going to launch a monthly Mega deal tonight at 6 with Tracy, and then Sunday with Leone, we're going to launch uh, a second monthly Mega deal. But you're getting all three collections in one. And look, do you know, it's nice hearing the, the provenance and the story behind this, because Abs was saying previously when they've held special events here at Hochanda as a company, they might have two one-day specials, but they notice viewers were buying everything. So what All In Create have done as a company is giving you the option to buy everything, but giving you a further discount. And that's so important, because you wouldn't get that separately. So what you're getting here is a freedom price on top of the savings. I'm not going to break down all the savings for you. I'll just tell you, uh, gloss over the fact that you are saving as a Freedom member, and you, that's the best way to shop for this. If you're going for the complete bundle, you are saving a further £15 being a Freedom member as opposed to not. So please, everyone, become a Freedom member. Your first flexing, um well, actually, sorry, Freedom membership is £17.79 uh, extra. It's even better than I thought. Uh, you've got three flexi payments of 53 35 uh, as a Freedom member. First flexi payment, 53.35. That's only a few pounds more than our weekend wow. And you're getting everything here. Let me just show you. There are 146 stamps, but it's kind of a question of there is so much here, it's, it's hard to take it all in. So let me just show you. We're going to break down the collections now. You're getting everything here. This is the kind of thing, and Abs was describing how you've just got so much to draw from here. 
have a look. This is your Weekend Wow. The most beautiful designs coming through. There's a bit of a, a Victorian vintage vibe, botanical vibe coming in. There's a different take with the mushrooms. Is that upside down? It is. There we go. There's a different take with the mushrooms. Or look at this. How beautiful is that? Play with your color. Enjoy your color. Or if you wanted to go in a slightly different direction, I mean, that simple, elegant, but so effective. So that's using elements from your weekend wow. That's one star that you're getting in the collection. Now, let's say you gone to your craft room, you want to be a bit more quirky, a bit more fun. We got you covered. How does that tickle your fancy? Or do you recognize these two characters? Again, you're going to get these in the full collection. Uh, or maybe she looks familiar. Or how about this young man, do we all recognize him? Or how about this? So you get an idea, just quirky and fun. All right, so that's another aspect to the complete collection. But then if you wanted to go a bit more arty, we've got you covered as well, because you can do things like this. Again, everything found within this mega collection, which includes all three of the options that you're going to be seeing over the next few days. There's the pheasant going in there. Beautiful pheasant. Look at that strut. We've still got cute too. That's sweet. Well, how about this for a bit of mixed media? There is an awful lot going on in this collection. So what you are getting with the complete collection, you're getting the weekend wow, you're getting one monthly mega deal, you're getting the second monthly mega deal. And on top of that, you are getting free gifts worth £25.28. Uh, Let me just show you. You're going to get two stamps. I mean, come on, these stamps are awesome. And then, so two stamp sets, I should say. And you're also going to get some washi, all and crate washi in as well. So those are a bonus gift included in the complete collection. Just going to tell you, oh, we are really busy. Uh, we're approaching 40% of the stock. Take advantage of the Flexi payments. Please, please become a Freedom member. That's everything that you're going to get. I am excited for you thinking about this arriving in the door, the box. When you open it up, you start taking all the stamps out. Which ones are you going to play with first? That is, that's going to be the hardest thing. Uh, now, we've got the acrylic blocks, something else that's proven very busy this hour. So if you do want to get hold of your acrylic blocks, $21.98 is your price, and you're getting two of these. So you've got the border and the larger A4. Uh, it's interesting watching Abs working with the A4, and uh, he was using it with his jelly plate, so just as a mount on a jelly plate, and effectively turning his jelly plate into a stamp. We got more for you. We got a washi tape bundle. This is something that's become immensely popular. Um, All and Create have only really started doing it recently, bringing up washi. 11.25 your price. You've got your Eclipse, your Inspire, and your Ponder. 172.303 your item number. There is another bundle, more washi for you. 11.04 your price. This is your fragments, your Mother Nature, and your horticultural layers. 418.415 your item number there. And then. We've got our winged friends, fledgling, and our cut uh, tear and layer. So that's 596519, your item number. I've uh, got some stencils to show you. Uh, we were using these actually. Your digit te uh, checked and your digit gears and your spiral checked. 1397, your price. Saving £7, 533849, your item number. And then we have a set of four for you. So these are your nodes, your neurons, your inter connects and your components. Uh, 11, uh, sorry, 19 at 96 your price there, 78 pounds, 033099 your item number. And then we've got Mirror Set Trio. Now, uh, this is important, especially if you're using it with the jelly plate. These were designed to use with the jelly plate, especially having the mirrored uh, alphas in there, and you've got the bold alphas mini. Uh, 23.97 your price, saving seven pounds, 678717 your item number. We've got pick and mixers on the show at a great price. What I will say, I won't flick through them all. Please go onto our website if you can. Have a look on the website or use the uh, Hochanda app if you've got a smartphone or tablet and you'll be able to see all the options online. So look at the price. You're saving 20 pounds and you're choosing any three of these fantastic A5 stamp sets. There is so much to choose from with regard to uh, choice. You're absolutely spoiled. Look at this. So beautiful flower designs, and you've got uh, lovely layered images and collages. 
Yeah, oh, this is cool. Love that one. Just something different, it's quirky. The thing with All In Create as stamps, designs, you can look at an All In Create stamp from a mile away and know that is All In Create. It's so identifiable and distinctive. Okay, so those are some of your choices with regard to the A5. If you do want to pop them into your basket, saving 20 pounds, very popular. Do go online, see all the choices. Now we've got A4 set. You're saving 25 pounds, and look at the si look at the size of these. So effectively, you're saving the price of one uh, there. So so many beautiful designs. This, if you're going to invest in the A4, please consider the large acrylic blocks because having the flex, they do make a massive difference when working with these. They really do, and just watching abs working with them. So so much choice. Once again, I would advise going onto our website and just having a look at all the choices because you're picking any three and I want to make sure you pick your absolute fave but you are going to be spoiled for choice okay so those are your A4 uh, then we have our borders now you're choosing any five of your borders for uh, 948 255 your item number saving 25 pounds again 39.95 is your price and there is so much choice uh, these work, if you've gone for the acrylic blocks, again, you've got the border, so these would work extremely well. Yeah, we like these. Okay, what I would advise, have a look, oh, have a look um, at your own leisure, and you'll be able to see all the choices there. Uh, we're going to go back to abs for our next demonstration. What have we got at? Okay, definitely. So, I'm here with my journal. Let me show you. I was just trying to cut something quickly in the meantime. So, everything is now, um, where's the camera? I don't know which one the best one. Oh yeah, can you see? Everything is already um, stuck back to back yeah, and okay. it looks like a book now. So this is what you get. First page, you turn, you have second page, or yeah, this way, and then you turn, you have third page, and then you turn, you have a fourth page, and then you have this, um, the front and the back. You c if you want to keep it just as a small book like this, you can decorate the front and the back separately. Or what I want to do this time is um, because I have all those beautiful tags that I created on um, previous shows and on my Instagram lives and so many things and I'm in love with those tags using the stems that are on the show actually and so what you can do is you can take one of those tags let's say just take one for example just give me one and um, maybe that one green because it's my favorite color <laughs> mm -hmm. so maybe for example take that one and what you can do is um, that one would be one of your cover so what you do is put it here stick that one here and actually it's perfect size Mm. As you can see, and then you can do a same journal, the same concept with another piece of A4, and stick it here. Okay. So you have two, and then one, and then later, and then and keep like around a finger in between. So a journal here, small space, and a journal here, and then when you fold them, so you have those two, and then either you do it this way, and this one also can go around again. Mm. See what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And then you have a nice, and it closed very, very nice, and then you can put a ribbon or something, and inside you'll have your two journals. Or if okay. you want to go for more than two, you can go with a large tag, and then you can fit more than two inside, you can put a uh, mini. And if you want, um, for example, if your tags are slightly larger, the, this one is perfect, so we will not see anything. The journal will cover almost everything. But what you can do, you can do two tags, mm. stick them back to back, with a glue or double-sided or whatever you want. So even if when you put inside your journals, the gap in between everything, it's already, um, you don't see it because it's, um, uh, you don't see that white. You see nice patterns and nice everything. And the same for the large one. Take two back to back. So when you do your folding everything, you have a pattern both sides. Okay. Or, just, or just create a background on the back of your tag, yeah. if it's easy for you. Okay. So, so that's an idea of how I wanted to do the covers for these pages. So let me take just an, any page from this journal and let's start decorating. Okay, let's take this one. And actually it's good. We have um, some white space so I can show you how to do more uh, details. So as I said, this one at the end, I will um, stick that one here. I may stick it in two pieces, just to cut it a little bit here. So each time when we close the book, when we fold, we will have a nice print and we don't have um, to damage each time the print. Um, I think I have it already cut, it's not cut properly yet, but just an example to give you here, 
just the minute we put it there, it's already pop mm. with different colors. But the background still needs some work. Okay. Let's do the background. We have plenty, plenty of stems here during the show. We have the sentiments from the weekend wow, well, and we have all the backgrounds, nice stem sets. For example, that one is very really beautiful stem set. We have the hexagons to go with the hexagon stencils from the hexagons collection. We have, um, oh, that one is the A7 to go with the um, the one that I used for the background, the mirrored nice. one yeah, yeah. for jelly plates, because we have them in three different sizes, two A6, one mirrored, one normal, and the A7. And that A7, I think, would be very nice. I'm not going to step in black because I already have um, a lot of black hair, so I'm going to step in different colors. Okay. So I'm going to bring my um, permanent ink pads. So I have here the Versafine Claire. What color should I use? I'm going to use red. I have the blue, a little bit of blue here, so I'm definitely mm -hmm. going to use the blue. And um, yeah, I think that's. I have some blue here. A um, bit of yellow as well will be well. It will work well because we have some yellow, green, and blue. So there's two colors here to work with the colors I have and a little bit of red for the contrast because I like um, having some bold um, construct, uh, mm. contrast colors in there. Okay. Um, you can see here, I did not fold it properly. Can you see that one millimeter here? Oh, that's okay. <laughs> but Don't you worry. can just chop it with a scissor, it's not yeah. a problem at all. But we'll for me, I'm, I'm not bothered at all with that one. We'll forgive you for being on live TV. <laughs> okay, so let me take my um, borders step, uh, borders um, acrylic block, and let me start doing the background. Okay. Got 10 will... minutes out. Just okay, yeah, no problem. <laughs> So let me take um, this one first, is the small hexagon, and actually I don't need the border for this one because I just want some um, prints, I don't want the whole stem set, so let me just see if it's the right, it doesn't matter actually. Um, let me start with some yellow, to, um, so I'm just stamping, and let me do, it doesn't have to be yellow where the yellow is, so you just, uh, because it's, they all work together. Can you see that's just small details and they add a lot to your mm. background. That's what I like about um, when I start adding those small touches and all the small um, details. That's another one. I would love to hear from people if they, um, if they will um, try this mini book. Uh, if you please do this small mini books um, at home, please tag me on social media or just email me and let me know because I would love to see what, um, what your um, take look like. So now I have those numbers mm -hmm. and letters from the other bundles. So also I just want um, some of the print here. I don't mind if I go on the top for the pumpkins because at the end I'm going to stick another one on the top. So that's a good thing about this one. I don't need to mask it. I don't need to work around it. I just stamp whatever I want. So I'm just going to add maybe a bit stamp here. Nice. Just that bit. And the good thing also that I have as a finished touch here is the, um, the washi tapes that we have on the show. I'm going to yeah. use the washi tapes in a minute because the washi tapes really, really add a lot of interest and the nice mm. um, finishing touches. So you see, and I'm going to put that one here and then you can see the bleed around it. Because yeah. like this looks like a little bit messy and too busy, but then remember at the end we're going to stick those yeah. um, this to the top. Okay, so I use that one. Mm. Um, where I'm going to go now, I'm going to bring, um, I think it's too early to bring a little bit of contrast, so let me carry on working in my background. I have this, oh, the circles one. I want to use this one because this one, I think, it will go very nice with the circles that I have in the background. Mm. Sort of the same theme and yeah, stick it to okay. the same um, pattern. Okay, for that one, I may use a little bit of a green because we have the green and I will see where I'm going to put it. Or actually what you can do with this one, how many times did you say we have? Uh, seven and a half. Minutes. Seven and a half, that's perfect. I'm going to do some embossing. Instead of, instead of, of stamping in a green, I'm mm -hmm. going to do some um, hot embossing but with a green. And they have very, very nice green hair. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So that will add an interesting layer to my project. And the good thing about this one is I can pick exactly where I want embossing to be. I showed you before with a, pet, with a brush, I remove, all from, I remove all the powder from the sections that I don't want to have and that print. So, and I may do some of it here, actually next to the pumpkin so it would be here on this corner so that's what I want 
just to make sure I have. I don't mind if I went too far. I'm going to remove all that section that I don't need later with the brush. Oh. Ah, Sue's emailed in saying she's going to have a go at this book and what wonderful inspiration. Oh, so thank you for that. Oh, Sue, uh, do make sure to post. If you do have a go at the book, make sure to post your effort in. Uh, I know there's a group, so All and Crate Fanatics. Yes, do post there and also tag in Ho Chandra as well. So, Crafting with Ho Chandra because we would love to see. Yeah. So, yeah, All and Crate Fanatics is the best place to be, honestly, if you want inspiration with our product and everything and um, the design team share a lot of their project in there and um, but also our followers and customers they do share a lot a lot a lot of their project so you see here I have a lot I have a lot here the stickers is too big I don't need all of that I'm just gonna keep some so first of all I'm gonna remove all the excess with a bigger brush because I just want some and I think I removed too much now <laughs> because I was too <laughs> let me see if I can get more yeah that's the good thing is before it dries you can see so just gently I'm just going to remove some of the excess that is mm -hmm. fine and then what I'm going to do let me just before accidents happens well done good practice okay that's fine put my green aside and now I'm going to take another small brush and I'm just going to remove for example I don't want this circle so I'm just going to remove the powder from here. You see what I'm doing? Yeah. You've been a bit more focused on where you've got your bottom powder. Yeah. Nice and there. Maybe I want to keep just that one here. And a little bit of that one too. Okay. Because as I said, it's just to add small details, more interest at the end. Because we're going to put some washi tapes also with some wording. That is fine. I, if I'm home, I would take more time and I would do it properly, like remove all the excess between and stay. But I just want to show you that's another easy way um, to create more um, interest in your background. And this, I think, where, is it? where did they put it? This one is an amazing stem set. I really, really, really like it. That one, um, the A6. Mm. And it goes very well with the stencils that we have here on the show and with... Actually, circles work with everything. I really sure. think yeah, circles would work with everything. Yeah. I agree with that. So I'm just working here. Mm -hmm. And you see now how they start to come in? Yeah. yeah. Together. Nice. Beautiful layers of detail that you've got there Thanks. with the stamp and then the embossing. Yeah, Once nice. again, remember that it looks a bit busy, but remember we're going to have this one here on the top. See so you now how it looks like very, very yeah. nice with that one next to it. And then we're going to have some washi tape here for sentiment. And even this one, this is all black and white, but we're going to have it colored here. Oh, yeah. So that orange it, will really nice. work very that's well with one. that blue. I just need to bring a little bit of that green this side just to have continuity and a bit of a blue, just a tiny bit. Okay. So later. You've um, got, you got about three minutes. Okay, so this is what I did here. So I did that, I did a embossing. Now I'm going to just do a few small details with um, contrast colors. I need a little bit of red, but before that, let me pick first what sentiments and how, how was the length of it I'm going to use here. So we have a load of stuff. This is for background I'm going to use, but we have those two washi tapes. I call them a must for me because they have a beautiful, beautiful words. As you can see, they have fan, mm. shine, leave. Um, imagination, journey, believe, like loads and loads of words. So you just pick the word that you want. For example, yeah. I want um, maybe shine, maybe leave, maybe journey, or maybe if I want to go with um, bit bigger, you have possible, you have make. I'm going to go with make, actually. We've got details for your washi at the bottom of your screen. There's lots of different options. Uh, there's actually four different options for the washi. So do have a little look. Uh, there on the uh, to the right of your screen, you see the one that um, Abs is using right now. So uh, do have a little explore. And when you cut the word, if it's in the center, do not waste this one. Just put it back on the um, just put it back on your roll, so yeah. on your washer roll. So do not waste it, and then you can use it later. Same thing with this one. Let me just before um, it lose the thickness. Yeah, look after your washes. And then what I do, um, because it's large, I always do, I'm going to come and tear, because I don't like with the scissor. I don't like when it's perfect. I like when I, it looks like I've been tearing this bit and do exactly the same thing here. I don't like to have that straight line. And then have, and this one, I'm not going to waste it. Can you see what I'm going to do with it? I'm just going to stick it here somewhere, kind of framing my work. Nice. See that yeah, black nice. line there? I'm going to put another one in there. So, yeah, 
Those washi tapes are amazing. And this is um, this washi tape is out from first first ever release that we launched um, last year in August for the mm -hmm. Hochenda birthday. Yeah. And they were so popular, so successful. I think the first really one. I know Leon is falling in love with them. Yeah, and it's like what the kind of washi tape that you keep using, using and using and using, and they wear, go with any sort of project. So about a minute, abs. Oh, about a minute. So okay, I'm just gonna stick. So my make will be here. All I did that just to see where it would be. Let's say it's just gonna be here. I'm not gonna stick it properly, just for later. I just wanna add small details, maybe of colors, and then I'm gonna add the um the red. Is it early for the red, maybe? So I'm going to go with the green. Sorry, I lost it all now. I was going to say the minute. <laughs> Let me put first the green here. As I said, I'm going to bring a little bit of green. So I'm using the hexagon. Those small um, shapes that we used before, uh, with the, mm -hmm. they, goes with, they come with the stencil sewing bundles. They are really, really, really handy. And they're so easy to use. And they go with everything you have um, in your stash. Got to start Let wrapping me. things up on Fred Abs. Quick, quick. Quick, 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 quick. Let's do a little bit here. Yeah. You see that green? And maybe a few details in here. Green, so we bring in that green, yeah, together. Oh, yeah. So this one we go here, probably. We're going to add a little bit of red contrast in there. Add more splatters, add more details. And that's one of the pages ready. Hey. You did the same thing for the other page. I will show you later the finished one. Thank you so much. So, Abs, you're going to be back tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow, yeah. 7 a.m. and 10 a.m. Brilliant. I look forward to uh, working with you tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining us. So, things to remember. Uh, Tracy is going to be launching a monthly mega deal uh, featuring this set here. When it comes to the complete collection, though, you get everything. 40% of the stock's gone. Please become a Freedom member if you are going for that complete because you are saving money. Thank you. Oh, we got a lovely hour ahead with Oakwood Garden Creatures and good to see Derek back as well. After that, we got Quilters Trading Post and then Stamperia One Day Special. That is a phenomenal afternoon here at Hochanda. Sit back and enjoy. Hi there, my name's Leona. I'm a presenter, a guest and a crafter here at Achanda. I got into crafting years ago, ever since I've been crafting since I was a child and I absolutely love it. I love my job, I love the presenting side because I get to meet loads of really inspirational people and that's just the beauty of this. There's always something new to learn, there's always something that you want to get into, it's fabulous. My Let Leone Lou show on Achanda is also fantastic. It's my weekly highlight. I get to work with loads of really cool brands, loads of fantastic products, and again, I'm always learning. And I do get loads of wonderful viewers getting in touch as well, which is obviously a highlight of our job. I hope you can join me on my Let Leone Lou shows every Wednesday, 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. My name's Catherine Sturrock and I bring to a chander my company Character Crafts. Character Crafts brings to you our laser cut designs. Each design is designed by myself. We cut them on the laser machines here in Doncaster and bring the products to you at home. Character Crafts is suitable for all ages and all abilities. So I hope that I can inspire you and help you along with your crafting. I'd like to show you how to use different paint techniques and different techniques to bring the characters alive and use various mediums to decorate um, and I also use air dry clay for decorating with the flowers. So make sure you look out for the character craft shows on Achanda. I hope to see you soon. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we're honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. 
Hi, I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly, and we're really excited to still be working with you guys here on Hachanda. We were there from the very, very beginning, and we're still bringing you lots of really exciting soft crafts. We design and manufacture all of our kits and all of our fabrics here in the UK and we love bringing them to you. So if you're an experienced sewer or you're just starting out in soft crafts and sewing, join us. There's tips and fabrics for everybody. Make sure you don't miss our shows and come and craft yourself silly on Hajanda. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dies that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders. We have decorative dies, we have coloring daubers, we have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping molds, where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers, which are absolutely stunning. So I hope you can join Heartfelt Creations here on the Chanda. Welcome everyone, lovely to have your company on this Friday afternoon, Friday, it's the weekend everyone, hooray, 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 I know every day feels like the same but we can still celebrate the fact that we are getting into a fabulous weekend and we've got a brilliant, brilliant hour ahead because look who's back, Karen Keats. How Hello. are you, my darling? I'm all right, my darling. How lovely to work with you. I know, it's been a long time and it feels like years and we've not had the chance. But we see eye to eye, don't we? We do. <laughs> Absolutely, we do. Go on, give us one of those phrases about us being slightly shorter. Oh, if anybody says you're small, small you say your diamonds aren't big as bricks. Absolutely. And if they're being nasty, you turn around and you say, well, they don't make the most poisonous bottle in the biggest uh, poison. Lethal poison in the oh, smallest of bottles. That's true, yes. The smaller, the more lethal. It is. <coughs> That's worth knowing, so watch yourselves. Uh, right, OK, well, let's go from um, poisoned to the most beautiful, cute garden creatures, shall Absolute. we? I don't know how you square that circle, but um, we've got a lovely, lovely collection here. Um, come along just at the right time as well, just where we need cheering up, bit of colour in our lives, and, and creatures that we love. Definitely, definitely. It's part of the wings and things. They've named it garden creatures because it's the ladybird and the snail, but yeah. it's part of the full wings and things collection that we've been bringing to you for the past few months. But it's it's cute, it's quite realistic, it's not over-realistic, but it's bright, it's big, it's bold, and it's easy to craft with. And if, you, if you're wanting to get children crafting, that was my that was it. my first thought with this, Karen. Actually, is that that this is the kind of thing that you could buy the set. The set. Oh, my teeth nearly fell out. Then you could buy. They are my own, and they are stuck <laughs> in. They're still the original. Um, but you could buy this whole set, and you could have lots of fun at the same time as the kids getting involved as well, because the colour possibilities here are wild as well. Certainly, but don't forget we're doing everything in rainbows now, so it's rainbow, yeah. rainbow snails, everything else. I was talking to one of the design team and she says, what have you done? I says, I've gone quite traditional. Yeah. And she says, I don't want to go traditional, I want to go bright and vibrant yeah. and funky. Yeah. And, and yeah, they're, they're, they're amazing. And I've just realised I've got the same colour shirt on. You have? I didn't realise that. Was that coincidence that. or was yeah. that just... I've only just realised now. Subliminally it was, in the back yes, of my Because I was what, looking at them and I was thinking, oh, right, okay, but you've come in Ladybird colours today. No, I didn't do it on purpose. It wasn't intentional. It's probably the only one that was ironed. <laughs> <laughs> But, but I guess you've been working on prepping this show for quite oh, a while, so I've Red and Black has been there. Constantly in the craft room and yeah. yet not producing anything, just cutting out and seeing how the configuration's going together and playing together. And I was saying to Paul this morning, I've yeah. ended up with a nest. Yeah. And 
I, I wasn't working on anything. I was just having fun. We're just loving it. Out. it. Yeah. We've yeah. just had a lovely message from Jude, who says, some of us grow to perfection sooner than others. So there we go. You see? Some of us were last in queue when it came to legs. <laughs> yeah. Ab <laughs> absolutely. Anyway, right, let's go through this set then, shall we? Of your gorgeous garden creatures. Uh, because in this set, of course, this is the biggest bundle with the biggest saving there. Um, saving you if you're a Freedom member. They've got a Freedom price as well, which is brilliant. Saving £15. Everyone saving £10 at least on this. So it's a why not, definitely, isn't it, really? If you want to become a Freedom member, this one. Um, so you're going to get the stamps, you're going to get the dies, and you're going to get the stencils. So everything you see along the top row there is all yours for that 49.95 I think it was was it yes so or you can split that down into two flexes which I would definitely definitely do um, which is really really lovely um, let me just show you the boards for the die cuts because then you'll see their versatility um, because they are they are brilliant I love them absolutely love them so you've got the large and you've got the small as well. I love the detail in their legs as well. I think it's really, really good. Um, so you've got the solid and, of course, you've got the detailed one as well. You've got the smaller one as well, which is brilliant. Love, love, love that. Only two pieces to paper piece that together. Perfect. <laughs> and let me show you the other one as well, which is, um, is it Sydney the snail? It's Sydney the snail. Sydney, Sydney the snail. with a Y. Which, which makes him very grand. It does, yes, yes. Not, not many snails get a name, do they? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> which is lovely. And you could definitely go your rainbow um, vibe around the shell there, couldn't definitely. you? Definitely. And both on both of them, even even the top one. So the, the little intricate die cut one, you can pop it onto the backing plate and then do the colourings in between. Let me show you a couple of samples as well while we're here as well, because I love this. Um, look. Look at how adorable that is. Look at how that matches you perfectly. You could wear this as a necklace, Karen, today, couldn't you? Uh, this <laughs> Do you think you want something around my neck to shut me up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I wasn't thinking about it going over your head, actually. But now you come to mention it, let's try. Um, it's brilliant, isn't it? I just, I love the colours. I think they're just brilliant. And again, even bringing in um, one of those ladybirds monochrome into something like a, a gardening journal what a brilliant brilliant idea um i love it yes it does look a little bit more beakley like there doesn't it it does but uh, sam's done that and when you open it up and flick it through she's done it so that the little the little ladybirds oh move yes they're, they're wandering slightly. they're wandering down and they're wandering the pages how clever yeah Oh, brilliant. Sam, genius. That is brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. That's a really, really nice way yeah. just to jazz up a journal, isn't it? It's uh, a start on a journal, isn't it, for a yeah. child to, to encourage children to do journaling and yes. what they've seen in the countryside and, yes. and, and when and, they've been on the travels. And also, maybe, um, when shall I? When did I plant so-and-so seed and what did it turn into and here's pictures of its progress and all of that kind of thing. Absolutely. Because yes, we've all definitely. moved on, haven't we, from growing cress on a bit of kitchen roll, haven't we? Uh, People are I a don't bit more... know. That's still still one of the old favourites. Oh, it's great, isn't it? It's yeah. lovely to do. Oh, look. Where's this ribbon come from? It's one little Sam have had from her stash. Oh, I love it. I love that. Or she's had it printed especially. But uh, absolutely beautiful. You, you can't beat a bit of black and red, can you? Yeah, it's wonderful. I love it. Let me just find another snail sample just very, very quickly before we move on. Ta-da! Look at that. How cheerful is that? Look at the Stick colour that in, in a frame that. somewhere yeah. in the potting shed. In Granddad's potting shed, that'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Um, 01013 is your item number cut, then. That cut is... them out in vinyl and put them onto your potting your pots. Oh, you could, couldn't you? Yes. Yes, of course. Then you can get that. them to go around corners, couldn't you? Uh, amazing. Corners, bends. 01013 is your item number then. Um, Two flexes, remember, of 2248, um, which is really, really good. You're making savings whether you are or you are not a Freedom member, but this is another one, uh, another why not to become a Freedom member. Love the fact that you've got all the stamps and all the dies there as well. They're just great fun, aren't they? 010113. Right, let's move on and show you what else that we've got on the show as well, because there is lots. There is lots. Um, let's do butterflies now. Let's do butterfly frames. I love the fact, I don't think I've ever seen a more packed die set um, than this one. Do you know what I mean? Like, it, there's so much to it. It's almost like a set of nesting dies, and then you've got the butterfly in there. You've kind of got, it's kind of like a three for one, isn't it, really? Because you've got border dies in there, you've got nesting dies in there, you've got everything that's going to work so beautifully together. Certainly, yes, yeah. 
bit of a bargain. Decent size. It's an A5 size. It's not a small size. It's not the small A6. It's A5. You've got a, a beautiful frame there. All you would need to do is got a little in a cutout. Put the frame on, uh, on some backing paper, put the frame on, put a little sentiment in and put one of the little butterflies on. You've got quick greetings. You've got the borders at the bottom. They, they, um, they cut out as one, but you can match them up and make them go further as long as you want to. Yeah. And then you've got a little like a broader angle, a smaller frame that doesn't cut anything, that doesn't cut the centre out. But you've got the frames, the three frames there, the nesting frames, to cut the centres out if you want to, or to mat them there. Broderie anglais, get you. Well, I was at the age where you used to wear those little skirts with the broader anglais coming down at the bottom. Oh, You'll not remember. Okay. Oh, You'll I'm, not remember, you're they, too young. They passed me by somehow, don't know why. <laughs> you would probably made, wasn't born. <laughs> would have made a nice trim at, at, the, at the bottom of, uh, of my turned up trousers, which I tried to turn up myself. Always had to turn them up myself for being so short, but there you go, never mind. I had to start making my own clothes because even when I bought five foot two and under, I had to take those up. Did you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, bless you. It's one of those things, isn't it? But that leaves us with plenty of scraps for other things, doesn't it? 6184, so it's like extra free stuff, isn't it, from the clothing stores. 618480 is your item number there. That's such a bumper bundle, isn't it, for 12 99 It's really, really good. Right, let's move on to Duncan. Duncan is the dragonfly. If you've had a, ever had a dragonfly um, fly up to your nose and kind of there looking at you, almost like hummingbird-like, it's the most beautiful moment. It really, really is. And I think the expression and the detail in Duncan is really quite sweet because colour-wise, you can really go to town here, Karen. You can do anything that you want. And um, there is a stamp to match that, so and all the markings on the stamp match the die. They cut out perfectly. But... When, they, when they're fluttering, you get all the iridis iridescence. Yeah. There was indigo blue on yesterday with their luscious. Yes. Cut paint with those, paint with oh, and they're absolutely stunning. Yeah, great to get your uh, your iridescent embossing powders and things like that out, isn't it, for something like this? Or, you know, do the background of the die cut in a vellum and something like that, just really, really go go crazy with it and Certainly. then light it from behind yeah. for the evening. Oh, there's so many ideas. And don't forget, they are symmetrical, so if you cut more than one out and put them, score down the centre and cut them out, you can make them into a 3D. Ah, yeah. 3Ds. Love it, love it, love it. You could do the same thing with the dragonfly uh, as, uh, was it Sam did with the journal as well? You could have it sort of flying through different pages, couldn't you? Now, we've got the matching stamp set as well uh, for Duncan. So here it is, because you kind of got to, you know, if you've got one, you kind of got to have the other. And actually, I love the fact, actually, there's lots of open detail here. So you've got two different sized Duncans, Duncan and his little pal. Um, and, you, and you've also got a little, um, you've got a little flower there as well, which is quite nice. So you can put it in lots and lots of different scenarios. Put it near water, because they love water, don't they, dragonflies? Yes. Yeah. They Try and be it. in a swimming pool in America when they're coming in that big. Oh, really? <laughs> they're really big in America, yeah. yeah Actually, you've just reminded me. You over water and you swim in when you're in swimming pools. Oh, amazing. You just reminded me that one of, the, one of the two times I've been to India, I went to a big fort one day, uh, and, and they must have all just had a really, really good time. and. There were, because well, there were lots of them, so they must have been having happy times. Um, but there was like swarms of them around, just going around and around and around, all different colours they are. But the colours were amazing, weren't they? Yes. They're all iridescent, the, yeah, the wings completely. are so fine. A bit terrifying, because there were lots of them, but, um, <laughs> but it was very, very beautiful. Uh, 175139, your item number then, just £11.99. Uh, let's do stencils now. Love this. Listen, if you're going for the main bundle with um, with uh, Duncan and Sydney, Duncan, Lucy, 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 and Lucy Ladybird, Lucy Sydney Ladybird. We forgot to talk about Lucy, didn't we? So if you're going for Lucy and Sydney, the Ladybird and the Snail, um, you kind of definitely need at least this stencil. The good thing is it comes with this one as well. Now butterflies, butterflies are in it. So I have learnt that in the in the card making world. A butterfly always covers a multitude of sins because everyone loves them as well. They just fit into so many different scenarios. But to have a whole... Now, what's the collective for butterflies? Kaleidoscope. Co thank you very much. It is. You have got a kaleidoscope there in that stencil. So that also, I guess, allows us to go all mixed media on this as well, doesn't it? Oh, yes. The stencils are a, a rather thick... A th Thick basis. Yeah. We put um, embossing paste through them. I've, yeah. I've uh, put um, 
embossing ink and emboss through them. They're great, Essentials actually. not just for putting ink through, but I'll they be really doing a couple are. of techniques with them as a demo later on. Yeah, yeah. they really are substantial because quite yeah. often with stencils, they're, they're, they're quite more, you know... It's, a, it's the thickness. The thicker yeah. that they are, the more the, the, the thicker the stuff that you can put through them. But they're still not too thick to... to to, to, to stencil with inks, but I paint through them. I put them through my die cutting machine, and I'll, I'll do a few. I'm going to be doing a few backgrounds with them and show a couple of tricks that I that I get up to. Thicker the better. That's why I'm still on telly. Uh, <laughs> right, and finally, <laughs> Esther, we've got a happy hour in this hour as well. Oh, we've waited 30 minutes to tell you. I'm so sorry, but listen, it'll be, it'll be fine. Just be in there as quick as you possibly can. Uh, so we have got a grunge cover a card stamp. Um, love this. What's the kind of effect it's going to give me, Karen? It's going to make a grunge background. If you turn it round, if you turn the packaging round, you'll be able to see the way that it grunges. That's uh, the way that it stamps. Awesome. Absolutely gorgeous. When you can't think of a background or you just want to do quick, easy techniques, just Cover it all with one ink, pop it on, you put a sentiment or something in the middle, a dragonfly, a ladybird, you've, you've got exactly what you want. Use it down the edges of your journals, into your journals, it's just a to go for, go to stamp. I have this stamp and it's one that I go to, I have a, a pile of, of stamps that uh, I go to and whenever I'm making backgrounds that's it, they go, it's one of those that I go to all the time. Can I ask a quick silly question? Because uh, I've got that kind of f silly face, so I need to ask silly questions. Um, we were watching abs in a jelly plate earlier. Could you go over uh, with a brayer with your inks in the same way as you would with this, and then and then go for it that way, or yeah, would you just certainly. be inking it up? You can you can do you can do that with rubber stamps. It's a deep rubber stamp. Yeah. It's got a nice cushioning. You can uh, put heat in, uh, you can put it into heat embossing. You know, melted heat embossing powders. They're very very hard wearing, but yes, you can. Put the ink on with a sponge, you can put them on with a brayer, you can do two or three colours and blend them on, and you'd have a, an ombre of, of, uh, of grunge. Oh, we've had broderie ombre and ombre and all sorts. This is brilliant. It's a very exotic show, this, isn't it? So grab that. It's a happy hour. 33% saving right now, but only until the end of the hour. 158351. Throw it in your basket. And while you're on the website, have a look at these, because there's lots more to offer as well. So we've got individuals of everything that we have seen. Our garden creatures are Lucy, Lucy, Lucy Ladybird, and Sydney Snail, and Duncan Dragonfly. You have to keep track of all the characters in this show as well, you know. And I'm Derek, and Karen's Karen. We have also got cardstock on the show as well, which goes beautifully with the Garden Creatures collection. There's all sorts in there as well. Craft glue. Uh, you've got the stencils individually there and all of the stamps as well. So go and have a little rummage round while you're getting everything into your basket. And... Go crazy, why don't you? It's Friday, it's the weekend. If you can't treat yourself, who can you treat? Um, or, uh, remember, if you don't do the web at all, just give us a quick call, 01733602000. So, Karen, my love, I'm thinking we might be talking ladybirds first. We're talking we? both of them. Both? What we're going to do is I'm going to um, show you how to, get your, how to be able to line your stamping up much, much easier. There are certain ways that you can line your stamp up because the stamp matches the die, so you might find it difficult to cut out afterwards. So I'm just doing a couple of quick techniques. Brilliant. So I've got, um, I'm doing it onto my Stamp Perfect, which is an 8x8, so I've cut a sheet of paper down to 8x8, stuck it down with tape, and I'm going to pop this through the die cutting machine just to show you how they, they'll cut out two of them together. Fingers crossed that two will get together, Will, and not be asking too much of the uh, the machine. Is that right? I've not broke it. No, no, it's all right. <laughs> I, 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 once I, went on air, I once went on air and bro uh, broke a, uh, a plate. plate in three places. Yeah, three places? Yes. Oh, well done. That takes some so every doing, time, it? Every time it cracks, it's like, ooh. I know. Yeah. Well renowned for my breaking of, of plates. So we've got that there where it's taken out and you can see where it's chafered. These two I will be using in one second. Get that out of the way. Switch off the machine, don't waste electric. And then I'm going to pop it into, into the Stamp Perfect. So I've got four <coughs> magnets here. So I'm mm. going to put the, put the magnets down and hopefully that that will keep together 
and make sure it stays the same way. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get my stamps, which look, I did say this morning that your uh, Duncan is just over round about That's three and Sydney. three quarters. Near yeah, Sydney's three and three quarters. The snail begins with the su, 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 snail. <laughs> so for snail, Sydney. <laughs> It's like going back to the days of ITV schools, isn't it? With the <laughs> clock going round before the show starts. Very Which good. window do you want to go through, Derek? Well, who, who knows? We've got quite a choice in it. Well, not, not in this set, because we're in the manor at the moment. I see no windows here. Yeah. Not which one do are we looking through? Which one do you want to go through? Oh, through the square window. <laughs> yeah, I do remember that. Yeah. And Big Ted. So I'm, I'm just popping these into into there, and you can see I'm putting them in exactly where I've cut out, and then going to press down. So I know now, as long as that stays in that same position, that will fit onto there. So the two bits that I've taken off. Um, oh, so you're just going to almost like paper piece them back in and then stamp them, are you? I'm going to paste, paper piece them back in and then stamp them. And I'm trying not to bang on the new desk. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, I suppose that's the thing now, isn't yeah, it? Yes, we've yeah, got, it is. We have new footage. I you just might went not ahead have noticed and did it this home. morning and Paula says, and don't break the new desk. And I thought, oh. Yeah. <gasps> yeah, there's no there's no making an inky mess on it. This is no, or banging your no, dies on it. No, no. Or, or you'll, you'll have, I'll you'll be, have, I'll, I'll have frisbee some, to deal with. I'll have them all after me, won't I? Here we go. Here's my pokey tool. But at I least, look, it's a good height for you because we were we were deciding whether you needed your, I your box. I felt a little bit a, a little bit seasick up. I, was, yeah. I had the thing on earlier and I felt a little bit seasick. Yeah. So we I had a box for Karen. So we had a box for me and I felt a little bit like, whoa, I'm going to fall off this. Mm -hmm. So you can see here it's fitted in absolutely perfect. And any other die cuts you're going to be cutting and they will fit in perfectly as well. Well organised, Karen, my inks down here. I love this new desk, I can reach everything. So I normally put things, we have drawers, and I put things in drawers. And then, unless I put a label on it, I forget which drawer it's in, so yes. I spend most time going up and down the drawers to try and find things. I'm going to stamp both of them at the same time, which you don't normally do on stamps this size. But because I've cut them out of the same piece of paper, Yeah. I'm going to do gonna it. You're going to go for it because you're confident for it. enough. But if it doesn't stamp with a stamp press, you've got a second chance, haven't you? You have. You've always got second chances. Talk me through where you craft at home, um, Karen. How much of your life at home does it take over? Oh, I'm, I'm guessing the whole, the whole, every, there's a bit in every room, is there? Including the bathroom. <laughs> bathroom? Yes. You've been crafting in the bar. I, I, well, I've got, I, I do all sorts everywhere. I have to use my bathroom to wash all my stencils and oh, everything else. Oh, I see, right. Yeah. So there you can see. It's all over the house. I have my son say, Mum, can you move this so I can get in this room? Mum, can I do that? <laughs> but, so, and I always say, yeah, well, it's my house, isn't it? So, Is anyone else crafty in your house? There's only, there's only me and my son there. And he's a lorry driver, so he's out. Oh, so he hasn't got he hasn't got time to be. Uh... It, it, no, no. When he got to twelve year old, yeah, it's really funny. When he got to twelve, he said to me, "Mummy, can I be a real? Can I be a normal boy?" And I said, "What do you mean?" He says, "Can I have a, a bought card instead of a handmade one?" And he's nearly oh. twenty three now. <laughs> oh. So there we go. And can you see? All right, I could have gone back in over them, and that's how they stamp up absolutely perfectly. That's how we, we get them to stamp up. Lovely. And then we can do some watercolouring on them. So this is uh, this is some super smooth that I've got from Jelly Bean. It's a 240. Um, you can colour them exactly how you want to colour them. Uh -huh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to colour them. Let's do it with that one. I've got some cuts. Some, uh, I did have some. I've got it. Oh, that, just, just very, very quickly yep, while you're, you while do you're that doing while that. I get this paint well, ready. I, I just wanted to mention, because we've got a seven day saver, which is all of these tool goodies here. So you get a paper trimmer, uh, there's a craft knife um, in there, which is a soft handle one. You get a two piece bone folder set and uh, an acrylic ruler there as well, which is really, really good, uh, which has got a metal edge to it, which is really, really good, so you won't be cutting into it and, and misshaping it in the future. Um, all of those. Oh, look at that, Karen. All of that. 
for £12.46. Now, normally a trimmer on its own, this is an oakwood trimmer as well, um, a trimmer like that on its own, retail, what would you expect to pay? Depends on the brand and everything else, doesn't it? But it might be the price of the whole seven-day saver or more for just a trimmer like that on its own. So to get a bone folder as well, I must get a bone folder because I, I, I keep using, you know, things that aren't bone folders like fingers. Um, and nail and then end up with a groove in them. Uh, if you use your nail, you can end up with a groove in your oh, nails. Yeah. Well, that's what it is. Right, that makes sense now. Uh, 748, wonder what that was. Thanks, Karen. <laughs> You're like a life teacher. 748 435 is your item number. All of those for just £12.46. Now, remember, that's the seven day saver, so it's while stocks last, and it will disappear on Sunday morning at 7.59 a.m. And you'll still be asleep then, I'm sure. So make sure you get it now as quickly as you can. There are some other lovely seven-day savers as well. You can check those out on the website. Remember, they change every Sunday morning at 8 o'clock. Meanwhile, back at the colour station. So, well, I, I, um, I demonstrate for Oakwood Archer, so I have got all those tools and use them constantly. I've got uh, all my pokey tools and my knives and everything else. I'm quite lucky that to, I get them with uh, with uh, with demonstrating for him. I tell you the knife I use the most, the one with the little swivelly blade at the end. I'm no good with them. I'm, I'm getting there. It's you a bit getting difficult there? Going round corners. You is it, is that the gyro them. cut? No, it's it's not. It's one with a tiny tiny um, blade on a swivel. Yeah. I do need to get a gyro cut as well because that's the one that essentially you can just draw with. Unfortunately, Karen, I can't draw. <laughs> That's the only drawback to that. <laughs> Apart from that, be perfect. It's, uh, it depends on the thickness of the card that you cut in as well. That's very true. Yes. yes. Yeah. You've got. It, you. I'll be, I will be totally honest with you, Derek. It's not just one pair of scissors. It's not just one knife. You have different oh, jobs, different listen, tools I, that you I need. I know that every time I see the next thing, that I do have to have it. It's funny because before coming along to any kind of channel like this. I would be deriding my mother for having 16 pairs of scissors in her craft room, and I'd be saying, well, what, what, surely just like a big pair and a small pair, is that is that not it? Now I get it no. completely. No, you've got to have some for fabric, some for ribbons, some for your tape. Yeah. You have to have some that are going to cut out delicate things, some now that when do I, when cut I go long down for things. a visit, because she lives a long way away, she lives down in Kent, so when I go for a visit, I'm like, oh, actually, um, I try and do the, oh, actually, I might need to borrow those. And do you not and then give try them and back? sneak them back to Yorkshire. I do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what mums are for, aren't Yeah, of course, absolutely. <laughs> Karen, absolutely. have you seen my thing? No. no. You used it last. Yeah. No, no, no. Not well, not so you can see how easily that they can watercolour. However, you know, if you've got them, you, we've got the vibrant colours, but we've mm. got the watercolours there, and that's how quickly and beautifully they will watercolour up. Aren't they sweet? The now, sweets. you could, you could with, the, with the ladybird, because of, because of the way that die cut is built, so to speak, you could turn that into a totally black beetle if you, would, if you wanted to, couldn't oh, you? Oh, certainly you can have that into a black beetle. What you would need to probably do is, um, is um, put some white on it just to give it some... Reflection, yes. you know, to 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 well, I'm thinking some, some sparkly and purples and gold sort of embossing powders oh, as well, just definitely. give it some shimmer. Give it some shimmer. Give it. Do, you decorate it how you want. You make yeah. it what you want. Yeah. This morning, what we did is we got a snail this morning, and we cut it, cut cut the bit off, and you've got a shell. You know, the is it a corner con? Uh, one of those that you conch put, apparently. Conch that you put. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Emily. Yeah, <laughs> and then we'll do. We'll, we'll just quickly do that right now, and we just cut. Oh, and what? And, and Emily said, "What's what's left becomes a slug instead of a snail." Yeah, look, yeah, yeah, look. We're just doing it now. So you've got your snail there. You just take off that nice, neat, neat little oh, bit. Oh, the salt jar? And then you've got. Don't do that at home. A slug. Just ignore me. So don't, you can have a, you can Karen, have a nice listen. little slug there. Lovely. And then what you could do is you could take them, do it in black, and you could put him a black bit. A black. Ooh, a that's black. not a bad idea, Webster. Actually, Webster's just suggested that you take the wings from Duncan, and you put them onto the slug, and see what happens. Then you've created a sort of fantasy creature. What would we call that? Uh, a a slug drive. 
slugs, right? Yeah. Well, that's what they do with dogs, isn't it? They can, they, they'll put half for one name with another half with another. Oh, yeah, they or, do. Or, 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 or oh, I'm going to say a drug. And <laughs> 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 Don't forget that one. Forget that one. Wonderful. <laughs> Blimey. Um, yeah, things you never expected from uh, a butterfly and a snail. <laughs> so innocent, isn't it? So innocent. So uh, then. Do you want to go down, or I'm ready for the next demo? That yeah. was just to show you how to, yeah. to stamp them and I'm cut still them out. Take, I'm still taking in the last two minutes, but uh, right, focus, <laughs> everyone. Right, okay. Here is the big bundle, uh, which is brilliant. Now, this is going to give you uh, Sydney the snail and Lucy the ladybird. Got it into my head now. You get the dies and you get the stamps. And also, you get two amazing stencils. In fact, we whizzed past the stencils without really talking about them the first time around, didn't we, really? That was probably my fault, to be honest. We were probably too busy yakking away about something completely different, uh, like life itself, maybe. So you've one stencil here, which is a wood grain, um, just perfect. And actually, wood grain could be meandering little streams. It could be... It could be tightly packed roses there you can interpret that stencil in quite a few different ways actually i think um and then you've got the leafy stencil which is lovely because again the leaves aren't necessarily identifiable to one tree do you know what i mean it's um it's something that could be um, many, many different things. Excuse me one moment. I'll be back in just a second. I know you've nowhere else to go, but... Uh, right, let me show you some samples. Because actually, I've got a little embroidery sample here of um, Lucy. That's quite cute, isn't it? So was that just stamped out onto the... Um... Stamped onto the fabric, and then Samantha sat there and hand-sewed sewed it to all the way around, and she's uh, satin-stitched it, and then put some leaves on to match it. That's lovely. Absolutely stunning. Sam, that's gorgeous. I love that. And there, and there is a little Lucy, as a little. Oh, it's a little Diddy mini card. Oh, that's clever, isn't it? Yes, where you've just die cut it in yep. a certain way. Yeah. If you way. rewind, we did that at. Oh, uh, okay. At so you can see that on the show with Paula this morning. Yes. Um, at ten o'clock, was it? It was ten o'clock. Ten o'clock. I had at least one eye open by then. Um, here's another one from Sam. Love that. She's done that onto a canvas board, is that? She has. She's Beautiful. done spritzing and she's taken some love arts from a normal shape. I love what she's done with the loose hair. She's put love arts over the dots. Oh, yeah, Over look. the spots, so... Beautiful. Sorry, I was just looking for a Duncan. There we go. No, not Duncan. It's Sydney. Snail begins with a s Emily. <laughs> for heaven's sake, how many times have we had this conversation? Um, <laughs> My dizziness does catch. <laughs> Actually, snail and slug, luckily, both start with us, which is really, really good to know. That's nice, isn't it? Um, that's um, by Carolyn, and that's beautiful. And she's put a couple of Duncans in with a Sydney. Dinky just to Duncan. Dinky Duncans, Dinky yeah. Dinky Duncans. Well, I guess they would fly around. Actually, um, Sydney looks very, very um, interested in what Duncan's little pals are up to. And there's another. Slow down. Oh, happy retirement. Oh. You've Sam, got all sorts of sentiments to it, yeah, can't you? Yeah, it's brilliant. Sam, will you save that card for about three weeks and that'll apply for me? Um, and then we've got... Oh, this is quite cute, isn't it? So this is using the leaf and the, um, the woodland stencil from the bundle as well. And if you feel the leaf, it's, if, if you look at the back of it, it tells you which way to use it. Turn the card the other way with the arrow to the top. There's an arrow on the back of it. Oh, yeah. Onwards and upwards. Oh, we see. I feel the leaves. Look, 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 it did, look. <laughs> <laughs> the snail is going up the tree. <laughs> I should probably just go home right now. <laughs> bye, bye now. Happy retirement. I'll take the retirement card now, Sam, thanks. Uh, it's probably best. Anyway, the entire bundle, which is the stencils, the stamps, and the dies there, forty nine ninety five, does have a freedom price on it as well. <laughs> it also has uh, flexi uh, buys on them as well, which is brilliant. Let me just remind you of the happy hour, which is the grunge stamp. Uh, which is very, very nice indeed. Remember, this deal is only good for the next 28 minutes exactly now, because it's just turned 2.32. Um, hoping that clock agrees. Oh, no, it's not. It's not a clock, that is it. It's just a little sting thing, isn't it? Oh, will it? Will it say? Oh, look, I was roughly right. It was about 12 seconds ago I said it. Uh, so there is your grunge stamp. Brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. It's a red rubber stamp, of course, as well. And that's the kind of effect that it will um, create for you there as well. 
beautiful. Nine ninety nine saving five pounds on that one. One five eight three five one. Oh, I love this. It's such a bizarre show. So it's 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 turning out completely different than I actually in expected, and I am loving every second of it. I hope you are as well. Right, Karen, for your next trick. For my next trick. <laughs> so I've changed it up a little bit because we were talking about the stencils. Okay. And I'm going to make my own background and show you. I'm going to. I'm actually going to do something with some baby wipes and some <laughs> some paint. Oh, they I are biodegradable. <laughs> I was very impressed think. yesterday. I went somewhere and I two days ago and I looked was looking at baby wipes and I'm thinking, oh, what do I do? And then they were biodegradable and I thought, yes, they're going in my basket. Yes, it's good. It's good to do that now as well. And it wasn't. I didn't have to sort of send off for them or anything. It was just at a cor the corner shop. Now, when I finish with these, uh, I will. I will just carry on using them. So. Okay. Um, what are the paints you're using there? It's, water. It's, it's the the Acrylic. water. The Ranger Dilutions. So okay. We've had we have Ranger here. But we it's, do. Uh, it's Dilutions, and I'm just painting. Oh, that's a nice I was method, doing this it? about three, two, three years ago at, yeah. uh, at craft shows, and I was doing it with what we with glitter inks, and then I forgot about it. Yeah, you forget about things, and then yeah. I, and then I saw somebody do it the other uh, the other day, and I thought, oh yeah, I've not done that for ages. I am not worried in one slightest how this looks. Not worried at all. I'm not trying to to make any kind of pattern or anything else. I'm just yeah. getting colour onto... I'm liking the idea of this technique. Does it have to be a wet wipe that you do it with? Is, you do it with wet kitchen roll, for instance? Well, ke wet kitchen roll so would... It fall apart. It fall right. apart. Well, um, it, and I've tried these off a little though, bit. That, that claim not to fall apart though, oh, aren't they? So you could try, I suppose. I suppose so, but I wouldn't... I, I'm not a lover of... I, I didn't... I never thought about that. Yeah. And you can see here, I'm just using, I'm mixing it up and Webster's I am not... suggesting, could we try this technique by just wearing, wearing uh, washing up rubber gloves? Could you that, can do that. that Webster, you can do that. You get well, a nice texture from that, from the little dimples that are on the fingertips, Yeah, look, you? Webster, that's it. <laughs> Get your Dude, fingers in ideas it. coming from every which way, Oh, isn't I finger today? paint a lot. I do a lot of finger painting. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Uh, when we do crafting together with all brands, I've been... Obviously, I, I, I'm good friends with Dolly. Yeah. And uh, I used to be very restricted in myself, but I've started, like, just letting go. And I'm doing stuff like this. So this is wet. Uh -huh. I'm going to put that to one side and bring one out that's dry. Okay. And the reason back being is I want it to dry at least a couple of hours. So there's one I did earlier because the water will still be soaking into it. Yes. So then I'm so going to. You won't to, force it dry. Just leave I'm it. I'm not going to force yeah, it dry. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. no. You do. You do loads of in one go. Yeah. As you can see, I've got a, I've got a great big pile of them, under here, and I've got this here as well. I'm going to get my daubers now, and I am going to get my stencil that I have put on top somewhere. What have I done with my stencil? They're, they're in the top there, darling. No, I got them out readily. Oh, did you? Oh, right, OK. <laughs> I got them out readily, Oh, Derek. the dirty ones. So, <laughs> She's used yes, these ones. Yes, I've got dirty stencils. It's all right. So then perhaps a little bit... No one bit cleans their stencils anyway, do they? Um, I do, I do clean stencils. They're clean. <laughs> They've been cleaned. Oh, okay. But they have paint on Must them. They have all then. sorts on it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, just <laughs> as long as you don't, as long as you don't leave um, texture paste onto it, yeah. you should be okay. Yeah. So, and I've got three daubers, three with different colours in. I know that's my darkest. That's my light. And with them being a water-based paint, I do know that uh, they're, they're not going to go hard. And I'm not using too many, too much paint on there. Mm -hmm. And just go around. Is this the same paint, Karen? You using exactly before? the same yeah. paint on the top. It's the Ranger. It's the Ranger one. You can use acrylics. You can use whatever you've got. Yeah. You could use the um, that's crafty. You could use um, indigo blues. You can mix, mix your own. If, you, if you're using acrylics, you would need to clean those off the stencils as quickly as you... You just uh, really you, you either let it dry or, yeah. or uh, oh, well, it clean just them. Off, then. Well, yes, yeah. yeah. Uh, we would, I talked to Paula about it the, the other day, and you uh, stick them in the dishwasher. Um, Cheryl 
all I've made designs stencils. Team, she, she sticks this uh, I mean the dishwasher stencils yes so but they're not but damaged. she doesn't put them in with anything else. I've got to let you know that she doesn't put them in with the just, pots. Just the <laughs> just stencils. The stencils. Yes. Oh, so they're, so they're strong enough to be able to take that kind of heat in the dishwasher, are they? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't expect that you'd yeah. be able to. Yeah. When when because obviously we don't get we don't clean any when we when we're on on uh, on you know. Yeah. on the show and what we will do is we'll, we'll probably end up dirty but can you see i'm doing <laughs> diff different ones <laughs> and i always take, it, it take mine to uh, to cheryl's and leave them there a couple of days and then what she'll do is she'll she'll clean them up for me if i've got oh, anything okay. on them well i don't have a dishwasher so oh, okay so you have a cheryl in your life i've got a cheryl in my life. okay <laughs> yeah because because actually emily was just suggesting <laughs> Which is fine in your case now because it's not your dishwasher, but uh, <laughs> that actually, like, there's quite a few litres of water. Like, if, unless you've got a lot of stencils, it might be a little bit wasteful. Well, in I terms don't think of Cheryl like, keeps them all out of doors. You don't use them just for one. Yeah. Yeah. But that's as much as I'm cleaning mine because it's not. Uh, if, if you get texture on them, texture paste, they stop your stencils working so well, but. I'm, I'm not so worried. And then what I have done is I've got that so far, so that's now needs to dry. But I've got plenty of stuff onto my sponge, so I'm just going to use. You would normally use this paint up, and then I'm making a different background as well. And I can put different things in. So it's just a just to use it up off off out all your all your stuff. I'm not clean, oh, cleaning that. Oh, okay, yes, that. that's second generation. That's second yeah. generation. Yeah, lovely. So here we go. What we have got now is one that I've done previously. And I've just kept it onto an A5. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to go and match it back up. So if you can see there, that's matching it back up to how I've put it in. Because I want, a, I want a, a stencil, I, I want an embossed one. This is now, I'm leaving it to dry. And this is why it's going into the, uh, I've left it to dry so long because it's going to go into my die cutting machine. Oh, right, yes, of course, of course, because um, stencils all have a double life, don't they, in terms of being able the, to emboss? Yes, yes. Whether, whether you've stenciled through and, and done the design or not, even if it was a plain piece of paper, you'd still get the impression of the stencil. You, you do get the impression of the stencil. Paper. But d you don't have to have a die cutting machine to do it. You can do this by hand. And if you you've have. got a rubber mat, I'll get you another one out and I'll show you another one that you can do. Oh, okay. So we're popping that through with the mat. That by hand. So the mat is going behind the paper yeah. and we'll push the paper through the stencil. Ah, uh, okay. Right, yes. Yeah. We once, had, we once had a discussion and we were sponge. about 50 different tries where we did it and we couldn't yeah. remember how to do it. So it's how sponge, to do it. paper, stencil. Yeah. Yeah, put the B plate on, not the C plate. And then each machine works differently. Yeah. About what you pop through. Let's see if that one, that's it. I'm, I'm liking, it I'm liking that machine. I've seen that machine a couple of times. Actually. I'm liking it because it's, cause it's so cool. It is gorgeous, isn't it? It means that you can have that sneaky craft yeah. in the middle of the night without sounding like a, drug, a juggernaut striding through. I don't have that problem. <laughs> I can be as noisy as yeah. I want. Yeah, I guess you can, actually. Yeah. yeah, I don't have that problem. And then you take the tape off. You can see through there that it's done that, and now I've got oh. these leaves. So I've got awesome. an embossed background. And you didn't have to moisturise the paper. I don't mean moisturise. I didn't that's not have to word. wet the paper yes, wet. or Thank anything you, else. Word. No, I didn't have to wet the <laughs> moisturise. Wet, wet the, wet I'm the paper. I'm just going to rub a bit of baby oil on it first. <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. My, my, the brain knew what it meant, but the the, the mouth said something completely different. <laughs> so we've got <laughs> we've got one here. No baby just, oil required. And I'm just going to to <laughs> pop that one on. So we said what we would do is um, we're going to emboss through the. You can. Well, let's have a quick look. No, we'll, we'll deboss it. We'll deboss it. We're going to pop that way. We'll do that. So we're going to pop that through there, and oh. then you get a rubber mat. And you, have you seen where they do the um, pergamano? Yes, I yeah, was on well, a Pergamano show with Paul yesterday. Yeah, well, you just pop in to, to, and follow the stencil around yourself. Oh. So if you haven't got a machine, just just follow the stencil. If you've got a light box, it's a lot easier. Karen, do you want, uh, do you want an idea from our Catherine? Present yeah. Catherine. Hiya, Catherine. 
about cleaning stencils with, without having to um, without having to do a full cycle of dishwashing just to clean a couple of stencils. Yeah, go she on. says what you do is you dissolve a dishwasher tablet in just a bowl of water and then put your stencils in and that cleans the stencils. Well, I can do that on my own. Exactly. Cheryl, you'd be left off, let off hook. You don't need I a Cheryl. I can do that on my own. There I don't need a Cheryl. Fantastic. Thank you, Catherine. That's Thank brilliant. Thank you, Catherine. That's, does, it work, does it work for stamps as well? I mean, I would imagine it would the same kind of principle. Well, it? stamps, you don't always have to clean, do you? The only time that you really... It, it's desirable that you clean is when you use the stays on, which is a... Yeah. Um, a permanent, permanent yeah. one. Um, stamps don't get armed if you leave the. I know, but you know when you're putting you're putting one stamp that you've used out of a stamp set back on its carrier sheet, and it just just that mismatch between the one that you've used and the and the other pristine ones. I, I realise it's a little bit of an OCD thing, but I'm. It's in the same thing as. If you've got a die cut with like 150 pieces that need poking out, I will want to do every one of those individually. I don't oh, want to Derek, one of those no, you don't tools. clean the one stamp, you use the other, all the others in the set and make them match. That's true, yeah, that's probably the thing to do, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. And that one as well, okay. you can see how that embosses. Yes. Yeah, so you've now got a nice little background there. And then all you would need to do with that is when you get all your little bits together you just put your put your things on and you've got a 3d background the other uh, thing yeah. that i did do with this one is i put um slap it all thick through it and put some brush rows onto it uh -huh. this is the other stencil yes and, the wood one. and then took it off and then i've done with brown ink Mm -hmm. So that's now a wood grain, that's and awesome. that does look like a wood grain. Doesn't yeah, it? that's very safari looking. I yeah. quite like that. Then I've done it with um, white texture paste and put brush rows in, and then I've done another slap it all with with brush rows. Slap it all. Uh, yes, it's from Indigo Blue. It's a it's a clear texture, a thick. Slap it on. It's called. Slap apparently. it on. Slap it oh, on. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah slap, slap it, it on. on. Sorry. No, no, I have heard of it now. <laughs> I thought it was something I'd missed. So slap it on. Yes, you'll find it if you look at it's probably Indigo what Blue. I'm thinking if you back shot my brain. Mind. <laughs> and, slap it on. Slap it and around. And then you, you can <laughs> start. <it> you can <laughs> start cutting these out, these leaves just out. Just search slap on the website. You'll find That's, it. See what just comes search up. Search Indigo Blue or clear te clear texture paste. This, I just wanted to show there was a difference between a white texture paste and a clear texture paste. And then here we go. It works, by the way. Um, Emily's just checked. So if you go onto our website and just, just search the single word slap on its own, it'll be the first thing that comes up. <laughs> slap it on. As long as you go into the right website. Yes, make sure it's hochanda.com. Sure I, good... I can't be responsible for the content of any other website but hochanda.com. And what I did is I've now gone down and I've got loads of leaves. So what I could do on my tree is start building That's some so nice. leaves up. That effect on the leaves is so, so nice, isn't it? But you can cut the... Because it's a stencil doesn't mean that you can't cut them out. Mm -hmm. And then I can put a ladybird on there, stick it on a bit of black card. Let's have a... From what we've got today. And I know you would, Matt and Larry, but there you go. Love it. Uh, talking of that card, shall I just show you? Because we've got two different options, actually, haven't we? We've got the, um, we've got the black, red and yellow, which is your, uh, your planes. 270 GSM, so you get 15 of each colour, 45 in total, for 9 99 And they are perfect for working with your, hang on, let me think about it, Lucy's and your Sydney's. And your Duncan's probably as well. It would it would work. And of course, you've got some lovely black cardstock there at 270 GSM for matting and layering as well, if you like. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And there's another paper option, is there not? We've got some pearly card, haven't we? Which would be great for your leaves. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Now look, I don't know whether you'll see. Can you see that almost like rose gold shimmer from that pink? That's awesome, isn't it? So you've got the red, the silver, and the rose and let me just bring the red forward just so you can see the shimmer and the texture on that it really is passionate 
poppy red, isn't it? That would work for uh, Lucy as well perfectly, wouldn't it? So, 300 GSM this time, single sided, you get 12 sheets of each. Again, 9.99, Lovely. Right, Karen, we've got seven minutes. We've got seven minutes. What can you teach us about life itself in seven minutes? <laughs> <laughs> Don't get up some mornings. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a bad little lesson, actually. I'm yeah. liking this, by the way. I'm just going to show you one of the um, samples here. This is another one from Sam, and this is a Duncan. No, it's not. It's a Sydney. <laughs> How many times today? Um, and it's uh, it's quite apt as well. A little easel card for for moving home because quite a lot of people are still uh, unbelievably i can't believe how many people are buying and selling and moving and whatever with with all that's going on but i guess there's no day like today is there well he's with it going um on mine isn't it yeah or do you think everyone's just like oh well you know i'm bored now i'm, I'm gonna sell my house and buy another well you know, that's I've, what it I've is, got just another year boredom. of lockdown so i might as well refurb another house Oh, oh <laughs> I've done add everything to your portfolio. That I can, I've done everything I can in this one. I might as well um, do an, do another one. That's refurb, not a bad refurb idea, is another, it? another house, yeah. That's not a bad idea at all, is it? No, not a bad idea only at all. Is, only one issue with that, and that's... Uh, Affording to pay for it. Apart from that, you know, <laughs> wonderful idea. Right, what are we doing now? Well, we're going to go along the same lines, but we've got... I'm, I'm going to do a box, going to make a box, but I've got the spotted one. And I'm going to do it with, I'm, I'm going to do it with some gesso. So we get some black gesso and I'm going to make it suit the ladybird and just a quick gift box. Oh cool, that's a good idea. Just a quick gift box. So I've cut, look, cut the, the, the gift box out uh -huh. and don't put too much paint on. You don't want too much because it'll seep underneath. And you would say that that would probably be way, way fine and just... The gesso works really, really nice with the spots because you get absolute dark spots yeah. through through the stencil. Ink, I found that I kept having to go back in and do more ink and do more ink. Right. And then I've started using just, just straight gesso. And still with the blending tool on the gesso then, you would still do the same kind of technique as if that were ink, so you're rolling it around oh, in circles. Oh, definitely, yeah, definitely. I guess the yeah. temptation would be to sort of job it down as if it were an ink if dog's well, the right word yeah yeah you can dob oh, it i'm still so, I, I just i go for it if i see it underneath i'll just uh, it's a piece of card at the end of the day derek i don't worry go for it don't worry i've been crafting too many years to worry about a piece of card <laughs> yeah yeah you know you you know yeah. you're a craftaholic when you when you some 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 just looks and you get, you know, you get a new toy and he just looks and shakes his head. Yeah. When, you know, well, Mum, you've got one of them. Yeah, but this is a new one. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. Well, I think you can, always, you can always judge how dedicated a crafter is by the state of the floor underneath the main desk where they craft. Now, if it's an What's absolute... Floor? Yeah, exactly. If it's an absolute <laughs> tip and you can't see the floor, uh, and you can always see opportunities uh, on the floor, then I think that's a good thing, isn't it? Derek, you have no idea what, what gold, gold dust is down there. Absolutely, yeah. Because you might go to clean it, or one day you'll clean it up, and you'll look through there, yeah. and you'll probably find about three or four dice. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, then yeah, you'll yeah. find some shapes that you've cut out, cut out wrong, and you yeah. go, then you start picking it up and you yeah. start working it round. Well, I have to say, because I'm still a baby steps crafter, so I've been crafting for about mm, four, five, six months, maybe some now. Yeah. And um, I vacuumed under my desk for the first time in all that time last week. And you know what? I've done the vacuuming, um, but I'm loath now to actually empty the vacuum cleaner just in case. Just in case. Just in case something just, just in case. vital is still there. Ridiculous, isn't it? I've certainly cut this wrong. Bear with. I've measured totally wrong. This is what you get for pre prepping pre 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 a book up, a box up. There we go. It's a good job I can see by eye, isn't it? It is. <laughs> that one's just slightly out. Do bear with. I'm so sorry. I like them too much, and I have cut them totally, totally wrong. That's all right. So this is looking more like a ladybird 
Uh, we've got the, the uh, details for the stencils are on the details right now. Remember this too, so you get the dotty one and you get the kaleidoscope of butterflies. And don't forget you can draw draw into them. I'll bring the I'll bring something just something up just to show you what I have been doing with my stencils. You normally put a lot more glue on than I'm doing here, Derek, yeah. but I'm just quickly going through it because I just want to show you how. What, to... what glue do you use to construct your boxes? I have got Orchid Archer. Right. I've got John Next Door's yeah. um, tool to pop it in and I water the Orchid Archer one down because it's got to go through that fine nozzle right. and as, as, it, as it comes out naturally it's a little bit too thick yeah. for that so I use the uh, just water it down a little bit yeah. but it's going a lot further because uh, I kept asking Stuart, Stuart can I have some more glue, Stuart can I have some more glue yeah. and I filled this up uh, beginning of the year and I've not not used any anymore at all yeah. and I've got one ready for when that finishes sent me another one just when that finishes but his glues uh, I don't have any problems with the uh, mm. Oakland Archer glue don't have any problems with any of Oakland Archer's uh, stuff um you know basics we are very basics from Oakland Archer we have all your essential we do all your essentials yeah and look at that there we go that's the box so I've done them both the same and chopped a little bit off you can see here I've got some glisten in it if I just tip it forward that's oh, because yeah. Yeah. there was some uh, glitter glittering on, on my pad oh so it just picked it up so it just ink. picked it all up yeah and then we're oh, gonna awesome. just happy accident happy accidents we'll just pop a bow on it just show you how to quick it just Quickly, oh, do gosh, it. that show's gone quickly, isn't it? We've only got oh, a minute left. Have we only got a minute left? Where's that gone? Where's that gone? So that's what you can do with there. And I've then... got a finished box here as well. Have actually. you got a finished I've one? I've got a finished one. Here's one I yep. ran up earlier. But also, just. While Karen was chatting, no, it wasn't really. Just a quick one. one showing you what you can also do with your stencils. Oh, fab, yes, show and, us, show us, show us. And onto your journaling. So each one's been done individually. Oh, just lift the pad off your mic. There we go. Sorry, each one's been done individually. Perfect. And I'm going to stick some nice um, Lucy ladybirds onto that and yeah. then just some writing at the top. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, well, lovely. Karen, thank you so much. Thank it you. just wasn't long enough. When do we get to do it again? I'm back on the 24th with Stampendous, lots of house smells. Fabulous, thank you. What a brilliant show. Love you. that. You'll probably have to watch that. It's a bit like one of those films that you need to, like, the more you watch it, the more you'll get out of it as well, because we learn an awful lot about life itself in that hour. Check out your baskets and stay right where you are. There's plenty more on the way. Oh, next, some of my favourite people in the whole wide world. Emma and Pam are here. It's Quilter's Trading Post coming up next. There we've got the Stamperia One Day Special and some fairy hugs coming too. Hi, I'm Anna and I'm a founder of Craftbox UK. Craftbox is a box full of craft supplies that we send to our customers monthly. All products are placed in a beautiful, sturdy box, which is ribbon tied, and we hope that by receiving this box, you will feel like it's Christmas every month. Make sure you don't miss the Craftbox shows on Hochanda. Did you know you can continue watching Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, for free, using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If you're not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember to have your router's password to hand, whether you're using a wired or wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. 
This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the center of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type hochanda.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcast and access to previous shows. So now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people will be too. Our kits are really easy and I hope they inspire you to have a go at stitching. Since we've been on Hachanda, we've had a great time. Everybody's been really friendly and really good. We've met loads of people all around the country who watch Hachanda and find it really inspiring. Don't forget to join me on my own Dean shows on Hachanda. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we're honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Andy from Picture This. I've been a painter all my life. Picture This was actually formed on the back of a throwaway remark from one of my art students. This has developed my drawings into a series of photopolymer stamps, clear stamps for the crafting community and the crafting industry. The stamps are all hand-drawn by me. They're made in the UK, most important to us at Picture This, and we have so much more to bring. Our shows on Achanda, um, we hope to make them informative, amusing obviously, entertaining, but mainly it's about bringing the creative spirit to you. Make sure you tune in and watch the picture this shows on Achanda. then at the top. We have a little dance along, alongside us because of course I'm not here by myself. I've got fabulous Pam and Emma with us. Give us a wave girls. Hello. I love it. And you can see Emma, I mean you've got some kind of little friends with you there as well. I have, I've got mini Pam and Emma. <laughs> I Ooh. love it. Now we're going to have a little bit of fun during this hour because we've got a little bit of family rivalry going on. We've got two shows for Quilting Trader Post coming up. Um, this hour, obviously three o'clock and then at seven o'clock we're going to be concentrating on products that um, Emma has chosen to bring. But this hour, it's all about Pam. So we are rooting for Team Pam. So there's a bit of family rivalry going on. So I do urge you to jump ahead and have a little look on the website because Pam has been incredibly busy bringing us some beautiful designs. And I think this is the first time, well, it's the first time that I've seen many of these. And I think perhaps the same for you. We have got items that you have seen previously. So I do urge you to jump ahead and have a little look. And I know you have been because I know before we even came live with the show, you have been looking at these. Now we've got the first item item number already up on the screen and for this item number you have six choices of designs but they're kind of split into two kind of camps so to speak because you've got your backing fabric two different shades so you kind of got your lighter tones and you've got your darker tones so you've got your creams and your taupes is it taupe or taupe 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 mm, I don't know 
I call it tour. Um, so with regards to this, you've got your two different kind of sets. Now, they're all under the same item number, so you can dip in and out where you so choose. Go for single items if you want to do, or you can add the set of three in. It's entirely up to you. But for each set, you're looking at £15.99 and, and beautiful pieces of embroidery. Embroidery, I love embroidery. It's kind of one of those timeless classics, isn't it? Just sitting and relaxing, Pam. Oh, yeah. I absolutely love doing it. I haven't been doing it very long, but I do love doing it. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. I did when I was young, when I was very little, and my grandmother taught me some oh. of the basic things. But in recent years, no, it's only since I've been coming here. And I love it. I can't stop it. Oh, I love I'm that. Addicted. Now, with regards to this, I mean, some people might be completely new to embroidery. What sort of stitches are we going to be learning in these? Things um, that we've heard basic, of? Basic, but very basic. The satin okay. stitch, um, uh, chain, chain stitch. stitch um, French well, knots. French knots. Oh, I love um, a French knot. Stem yeah. stitch. And that's about it. Oh, there's fly stitch. Fabulous. I think that's it. So all stitches that we've kind of heard of, nothing oh, too yes. scary. Yeah. Love that. Now this one obviously is your fox gloves on cream that we're looking at. Alongside the fox gloves on cream, we're looking at other cream backed um, projects because I know you'll probably want to go for multiple. So this one is beautiful. This one is your lupins. I always think of my auntie Winnie when I think of lupins because she had them in the back garden. They're oh. absolutely beautiful. Must have only been about seven or eight, something like that. But oh. they were beautiful. And gorgeous colours with these. Like these yeah. ones. I think that, yeah, it takes me a long time to sort the colours out. I've done lots of samples in wrong colours, but now, and I've done two different ones on this, so I want you to be able to see that you can use um, your own choice of colours ah, on them. Good point. Yeah. Good I point. ordered all the threads. Ah, and she okay. me up and she says, I've changed my mind on one of them. <laughs> oh, do you know? <laughs> Start back to the drawing board. Yeah. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> <"Hello."> <laughs> now, this is the third and kind of final one in that third set of three, if you are choosing to go for all three of them. They're not a set. You're buying them individually. But I think they do work really, really well together because, of course, the beauty is they've all got that same backing fabric. So I do urge you to consider going for multiples of these before you finally check out your basket. But what are you getting within your kit? Well, with any of those colour tones, obviously, we'll look at the talk in just a few moments but you are getting your backing fabric you're getting those beautiful threads that emma's ordered twice um, <laughs> yeah. beautiful yeah. arrangement there dmc we're talking oh, yeah. quality here oh, yeah um, really nice threads. they've got a lovely sheen to them yes. and they look lovely when they're made gorgeous yeah. i love that um, and then the fabrics now emma tell me about the fabric because this is already pre-printed this is pre-printed it's a cotton fabric with a linen look and i've printed it up with it's um ironable washable lines not that you should need to wash it and i wouldn't recommend washing it before you go because then you've got to iron it yeah, <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's lot. a good point but yeah, yeah and it's all ready to go then i've kind of done a fainter line than harsh black so that it it doesn't show up if you don't hit all yes. your lines as well so Doesn't very matter. forgiving no um, but you can see it i mean i've, I've made sure that that I can see it, and yeah. I don't always see as I might do. It's not, not the best <laughs> yeah. I'm a bit old. Yeah, yeah. And so, yeah you can brilliant. See. So of course you've got your your base. So your base will be looking at, um, in action in just a few moments. Then you're going to get your embroidery sets. Now in each one of these sets, you have got a set of five. In keeping with that kind of uh, kit that you're going for, as I'm looking across these, have we got repeats in any of these? I think there's I'll one you on with the spot there. Pizza in just some of them are one, the dark pink is the only one that's in more than one. Three. Oh, there you that's go. That's the one that's she changed. Kind of, it's like a connective <laughs> between yeah. them then, isn't it? I kind yeah. of like that idea. So uh, there you go. And then, of course, you've got your full instructions with the, these. What sort of things are we going to find in the instructions, ladies? Okay, you've got instructions on how to, do, how to set yourself up, your preparation. Then you've got instructions on each individual stitch and how to do it. There you go, with diagrams. Wonderful. I'll try to break that down as simple as I can so you can get on with it. It's not easily then, done. No, Ooh, there's your traceable well. so that if you want to do more, yes. you can trace it through fabric yourself with a with a fabric marker and make more backgrounds. I did mine. My first ones, um, some of those samples there were done with traced with a um, light box underneath. Oh, yeah. And sure. I did it just with an ordinary pencil. Oh, right. Okay. So it does work. Yeah. It's just, it, you can get going though without having to do that with your pre printed. Oh, I'd rather, I'd rather have pre printed. Well. Yeah. yeah. And then that's your stitch guide. That tells you which stitch mum used where. Now, you don't have to stick to that. You can do whatever you like. But if you want to know what mum's done where, there you go. I love it. So all of that information, I mean, I'd be thrilled to bits to be able to get the threads and that pattern for that price on your screen. But don't forget, you are getting that first first project that you could be creating. Any one of these you're going for, you've got obviously the finished project,
object when you make it, then it's up to you whether you're going to pop it into a frame, how you're going to work with that. But these are very, very comprehensive kits. You've got so much in there for your £15.99. Very generous supply of threads as well. So you will have threads left over, which, of course, because you've got the pattern in there, you can then start using on other projects as well. So we've talked about these particular ones on your cream. And again, those beautiful flowers that we just touched on are available on your top. So slightly different term at backing with these. Same flowers, same colour tones, all that kind of idea. But it might be that you're wanting to go for that darker backdrop. So again, you're going to get your fabric the same way as we spoke of before, all pre-printed with that design. And of course, the patterns, exactly as we saw, all the instructions there. You've got your pattern guide there as well, your stitch guide with regards to these ones. And then it's a case of choosing your flowers. So again, let me show you those in their frames because we have got your foxgloves. So your foxgloves, they're all stitched out in a similar vein to how we saw on the cream, but this time with your taut background. So a little bit more of a mushroom tone, but it kind of makes the design pop out, doesn't it? Should I bring the two together, just those? Because sometimes yeah. it's a bit difficult for you to make your decision without sort of seeing this. There's not a huge amount of difference in the background, but I think it does pop a little bit more with the talk. It is a little bit more dramatic. It's yeah. almost like a twilight look. That's it. But, of course, the uh, top is that particular one if you're wanting to go for your foxgloves. Again, your lupins are available in a similar sort of backdrop. There you go. Okay, this is when I could do with being an octopus, really, couldn't I? I don't actually have a spare kit. A set of hands, wouldn't I? Yeah. Um, and there you go, the lupins. Absolutely beautiful. And then the final one, which I think is kind of my favourite, is the sunflower. Absolutely adorable. Aren't they beautiful? Charlotte, our producer of the hours, you remember in her nana um, having uh, some flowers. And I think it's one of those first introductions to the garden as a child, isn't it? Yeah. The, the competition of who's... Mm -hmm. Whose sunflower is going to be the tallest by the end of the summer? So, again, loads and loads of choice. Whether you are going for your cream backgrounds, whether you're going for your taut backgrounds, they are all comprehensive kits. And for £15.99, a brilliant gift to give to somebody because, of course, they are all packaged, but all the information is needed is in that package. So you could quite easily give these as a gift. Imagine this is a Mother's Day gift for somebody. Oh, that would be absolutely adorable. Or maybe even creating one to give as a gift. If you've got three children in the family, you could each get a term of one, couldn't you, and give them to mum, and then she's got the complete set of three. Love that idea. So 861-883 if you fancy getting hold of those. Now, more kits to share with you. So similar sort of idea, but I must admit, I love a poppy. These yeah, are beautiful yes, designs. I yeah. yeah, I yes. remember when we had fabric shop, we were always asked for poppy fabric. I yes. remember that because I never got any. I was always like, oh, God. <laughs> Now, again, you can see your backdrops of these, similar sort of idea. You've got your cream, you've also got your top with these, and again, beautiful designs. And I can see loads of gorgeous stitching going on here, and beautiful colours have been chosen as well. Mm, I love colour. Yes. Really? Yeah, you can see right that from these. Yeah. 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 Absolutely beautiful. Now, with this particular one, it's been popped into a frame. Again, you've got your fill of colour there, but then you've got your gradient of colour as well, because that's what you need, isn't it? You need that kind of backdrop to add that shading. Again, the different colour tones in this one. Might be that you want something that's just kind of bright and airy, and I think seeing that kind of collection of flowers with the kind of the gaps between them gives it almost that sense that they're blowing in the wind and things like that. So that one is your cream backdrop. And then again, you've got your top. So if you want to go for something slightly darker, it's a difficult one to choose, to be honest. I know. I like them both. I really like how the white daisies at the bottom stand out on the tote. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah. I really like that. I'm going to pop them side by side because, again, they do both look different. You're they quite do. right there, Emma. Those white little daisies do stand out a little more on the top, don't they? But yeah. I suppose it depends on the, the backdrop and your kind of home decor. Yeah, really, isn't it? I think they're both beautiful. They certainly are. Mm. And at 19.99, very popular. Similar sort of idea as we were chatting before. So you've got your fabric with your pre-printed design. This time you've got more threads in there, but again, still that DMC quality, still that beautiful colour. All you need to do really is add in your needle and your hoop and you're good mm. to go, aren't you? That's it, you're Most off. of them, you can do more than one of each with those threads. I can say there's given. loads of thread yeah. there. Yeah. I know you can for the sunflower because I've used the same thread to do two of those. Okay. Mm. Makes sense, doesn't it? So uh, there you go, all those beautiful threads there. And of course, you're going to have everything. I'll quickly uh, flick through the pattern, but you kind of know how the patterns work with Pam and Emma. They always make sure that you've got everything in there to complete your project, but also to move on and create even more. So you will have your stitch guide in there. You'll have all the elements that you need to mean that you are creating the most incredible project. And there you go. There's your photograph of the finished sample as well. I love that because it's kind of deciphers, isn't it? Sometimes, I know we say, oh, we love a French knot, but if you, you're not into your 
broad, you, you might be able to hear this term and I don't know what it means. At least that way you can go straight to the design and you know exactly what we're talking about. So there you go. Choices again, 999-093, £19.99 and pence being your price. Now, I'm sure you will have noticed these beautiful um, canvases that we've got behind us. Well, as I move to the side there, check out these beautiful peacocks. Absolutely gorgeous. These are lovely. Pam's peacock. <laughs> like that title. Yeah, we had a customer phone me up before we did the peacocks because these have come back because we sold out before. And she said, Oh, I think you should do a peacock. And I went, Oh, yeah, Mum, do a peacock. We've got peacocks in the family, it's a oh, family yeah. name. So. That's right, I remember, was it your yeah. grandfather? My mum and granddad yeah. were peacocks. Yes, I remember, yeah. Yes. So, yeah, so yeah, it's a like a family thing, really. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. And they look absolutely amazing. Again, so you'll notice the backdrop of these, you've got your cream and your top. And again, these are printed onto your fabric. Obviously, a larger piece on this occasion. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I think this is cotton linen, isn't it? This, uh, linen. no, this is the same cotton with the linen effect. It's similar to the ones, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah with right. that linen effect. Yeah. 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 Um, again, you've got all those beautiful peacock colours there, so you're going to be able to get that shading you can see there. Absolutely gorgeous. The eye of those peacock feathers, beautiful, all those different colour tones in there. But again, it's your personal choice. Which of those are you going to go for? Are you going to go for that top backdrop where you kind of see the brightness coming through of those mm -hmm. uh, peacock feathers? Or are you going to go for the creamier background? It's entirely up to you. It's your choice. Looking at the cream one now, so if you're wanting to have a little look at these ones and perhaps decide side by looking at these two there's not a huge amount in it to be honest um, and uh, I think the detail that you've got there is gorgeous and don't forget you're going to get the template in there the pattern in there so you can incorporate your own fabrics as well so if you do find that you create one of these and then think oh that's like do another one in a different backdrop then you can do that quite easily and you will have more than enough threads to enable you to do so now the next one that we've got here this one is beautiful I love this idea um, I love family trees and kind of family heritage and stories behind families and this one I think you could quite easy perhaps in a single line of thread just let, put little subliminal names in this you one really it's could. a lovely tree I mean this is a sampler tree I mean this yeah. one is beautiful. I'm gonna step well out of the way so you can have a proper good look at this piece this is beautiful so this is a this is actually quite a big pattern because there's a lot of different stitches in there it really is a sampler mum's tried to do a bit of everything for you mm. to have a go at and this we didn't give you threads because you can do it in your own colorways mm -hmm. if you've bought any of the other um embroideries then you've got your leftover threads from those oh yeah that's so, a good point yeah actually. yeah, yeah we decided to leave this one sort yeah. of free it's a free for all <laughs> almost it. yeah free for what you want to do with it and how you want to interpret it but you've got the backgrounds you've got where the shapes are then you choose what you want to do we have given you a stitch guide though there is a stitch guide to know what mum did if you want to make it up the same yeah I've yeah. got one at home on the wall that I did um, it's a little bit different from that because I like to make the pattern as you know perfect as you I work think on it should it, yeah. be I work on it but I've put all, all sorts of different patterns in uh, stitches yes so yeah. you can do what you want and put yeah. different colors in. well that's kind of the feeling behind yeah. the sampler isn't it it's just yes. sampling different stitches yeah. and showing that's off your work to, to the perfection I mean this is beautiful and I love this because as you look in this you've kind of got elements for all the seasons I mean we've got hollies and berries yes. over the far yeah. side there you've got your springtime flowers with yeah. these as well so um, and things like your sycamore um, well it's kind of done like it's like a sycamore leaf but it's kind of like a sycamore leaf shaped flower if you know what I mean yeah. so I'm seeing all the seasons coming together for this this one it looks beautiful yeah. and I think it's a nice one because you've got little kind of segments so you can work on a segment yeah. perhaps a day or yeah. a weekend or something like that and it all comes yeah. together it's proven to be a popular one this one now with this one you are getting your embroidery panel you're not going to be getting your threads but you know what you can have loads of those threads left over from all those other fabulous kits that we've been looking at <laughs> and I'm sure you'll have threads in your stash as well but it's a good size piece that particular one is in a, um, a frame so let me open that up just to show you the size of this one and I would say you could put this into something like a cushion but you wouldn't you wouldn't want any well you could make it into a cushion but if you'd like yeah. don't sit there yeah 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 <laughs> a decorative only cushion yeah and this one's actually a cotton linen blend fabric as well so it's a little bit different to the other ones but it works the same because it's fabric mm -hmm. Pam could you Basically. use this as kind of like a panel on a quilt if you wanted to oh yeah of course you could yeah and build up yeah. a design around Absolutely. it yeah wouldn't it be yeah. stunning that would especially a wall quilt. quilt yeah yeah oh yeah a wall 
quilt, but you might hang on the wall, yeah. Yes, yeah, like a wall hanging or type on one, the, yeah. On the yeah. Back of a sofa Beautiful. Or Love it. And gorgeous artwork. Um, it's a popular one. 30% of the stock has gone. Again, you've got everything that you need to know in there with regards to putting your design together. Just need to add in your own threads, but have a look at the size of this pattern. It's a two-part pattern, so when you get it home, it's really easy to explain it in the instructions, but you've kind of got an overlap area. Bring those together, and then you can see there you've got your larger design with your top and bottom elements all coming together. So I think that is brilliant value. You're loving that one. Um, if you're wanting that one, please be quick. 321 £14.99. Amazing value for money, that one. And one that you are really going to enjoy putting together. Can't wait to see what you do with that on. Now, you need something to put all your goodies into. Well, we can help you with that as well. Now, we've got a couple of different ways you can get hold of these as kits. You can see instantly we've got the fabulous carry or kit in your blue and also in your green. You can get hold of the pattern by itself, which doesn't include any fabrics, but of course we know that you sometimes want to do that. But to be honest, the kit is brilliant value for money. It really is, yeah, yeah. We've, cut, we've tried to give you everything you'll need except for wadding. Okay, we yeah, don't give which you the is wadding. personal preference because some people exactly. might want to use our form, some people might want to use wadding. That's yeah. it, and that's it. And it's really good for any scraps and leftovers you've got. But the, the main bag, you've got everything there for your lining and outside, plus your pre-printed panels for your embroidery. Well, this is the key thing because if you are thinking about going for the paper pattern, don't forget you won't get the fabric enabling you to create these panels and you won't get the fabric to create, obviously, the bag and the embroidery thread. So that's why this is a really good value for money kit because you're getting all those additional elements and you're getting a lot of fabric in here your lining fabric obviously or your fabric for your binding as well all the decorative detail which I love you've got this gorgeous button star fabric in there and then you've got the threads obviously picking out color tones from that fabric but more importantly you have got those panels already with the design on there so you could stitch away with these ones and then obviously when they all come together pop them in the bag but saying that you don't have to put them in the bag if you don't want no, to. We're going to put those no. in little frames, actually. Yeah, they'd be lovely. Mm. Yeah. Because you yeah. get a lot, of, a lot of little individual pictures there, wouldn't you, if you wanted to do it that way? Because I'm thinking, you've got one, two, three, four, five. When you break it down that way, there's a lot of pictures in there. Isn't there, there is. It took me a while to print those. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you fancy getting hold of these and you're a freedom member, you can see you've got a cheeky little additional discount there. £31.99. It's down to you to decide, though. You've got your gorgeous blues, you can see there. Or let me bring the green in so you can have a little closer look at the green one. Personal choice. That's what it's just down to. So again, the green tones, you've got your pinks in there. You've got those gorgeous kind of turquoisey greens in there. Really pretty. Slightly different styles of fabrics, but again, that button theme still going on. Or you've got your blue. So yes, it's up to you to decide. Whichever you fancy, you've got brilliant value for money. Um, 198953. Bottom of the screen, if you wanted the pattern by itself. Now, Pam, we're going to come over to you. Yes, and we're going to do a little bit of, I like to call it slow stitching. This slow bit. stitching, yeah. Yeah, because it yeah. is. It should take your time. Yeah. yeah. I'm a machinist, really, mm -hmm. but I just love doing this. I can sit and do it when the cat's not around. Yes. Just <laughs> let me. Yeah. And it's highly portable, isn't it, as well? Yeah, so it is. Nice you thing. can take it with you. And I take it to work sometimes when I get into the shop and sit on the sofa and do it there. Oh, lovely. <laughs> right. So, what do we need to know? Well, I'm going to um, demonstrate a bit of satin stitch to start with, but first of all, before I do that, I want to talk about the hoop that I use. Because okay. with this... Um, I think always with satin stitch, you do need it in a hoop. I've tried it without, and it's not as it doesn't come out as well. But I don't like a big hoop, and okay. I haven't got one that's on the table. And I like to have um, a hoop that's just about the right size to get your fingers into the middle, because then yes. you can um, guide the needle on the back as you do it, and it's much tip. easier to get it nice Is like your that. Finger right in the middle. Let me just test. <laughs> Oh, she's so naughty. <laughs> now, now I know we have got a huge amount of hoops and different uh, kind of seated yeah. hoops, and so yeah. jump onto the website, you'll find something yeah. that will suit your needs there. We don't put hoops in our kits because it keeps the price down a bit. And anyway, if you buy kits all the time, you don't it's need very a personal stack preference of, as well. You don't need a big stack of hoops yeah. either, do you? I've got three sizes here. Now I like a six inch. So my fingers go nicely in, into the middle of that. Well, if okay. you've got a bigger hand, then you could have a seven inch yes. or an eight inch. I can get it in there, but it's not That's as a nice tip, to use. Actually, try and get within your hand there to yeah. get an idea of the size. And then there's yeah. a five inch one yeah. if you want See, to I do don't that. Have a problem with the bigger yeah. one. <laughs> now, when you put it into the hoop, you just pick out the piece that you want to work on and put okay. it in. Put that on the bottom and put it on the top, and push it down. 
And what um, sort of tension do you need in there? I mean, tight. do you need it like a drum? I like mine drum tight. Okay. And then you know that you're not going to pucker up the back with the, with the stitching. It's easier to stitch neat. Okay, so it's easier to keep neat. the tension right yes, that way. Yes, it is, yeah. yeah. And satin stitch, it's very important to do that. It's not quite so important if you're doing um, chain stitch or stem stitch because that's not so, you know, difficult to get nice and flat. Well, I suppose the satin stitch, you can be covering, I mean, travelling quite a distance with that yes. neighbour and thread, can't you? want yeah. it nice and neat. Yes. You yeah. want to pull it tight, but if you pull it too tight when you haven't got any tension, you're going to get a yeah. Yeah, squidgy bit. Yeah. It's going to pucker like a, like a um, sewing machine without a proper That's tension a good on point, it. Yeah. It's tension, yeah. yeah. Now, I'm going to do, um, I don't know whether you can see this closely. We can, we're just yeah, uh, on the overhead camera so we can have a proper yeah. good look at what you're up to. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you one of these little satin stitched bells here and okay. the way I do it. Um, Right, I'm going to start at the bottom there, and there's a reason for that, because the bottom part, when you put it up, it's harder to find it accurate when you're pushing it up from the bottom. You've kind of got to guess a little you've bit. You've got to guess yeah. a bit. Well, if you, if you start there and go round, you're going to put um, chain stitch around that bit, so it's going to cover it. Right. So you stick it in the top, and I like to start in the middle, okay. um, because you go either side, oh dear, you go either side, and then you get it, um, what's the word? Even. Even on each side. Oh, okay, so yeah. it looks, I mean, you can get it sort of cockeyed and sideways if you start at one side and move across. I found this out because I've done so many that are wrong and I've unpicked them. If you want to unpick, snip it off, pull it out with a pair of eyebrow tweezers. <laughs> Love it. Uh, this lovely little lady that you got to the site, are we going to see her a little bit later on? We are. We've got some kits for her. Yeah, yeah. but we're not talking about that, Emma, though, because no, we're, no, we're no. Team Pam in this hour, <laughs> so she's, you just have to wait till Dolly Team Emma at seven. <laughs> <laughs> she's sewing Dolly Dawn and she, she comes with me and she's in my sewing room. She's useful, so she's got everything that you need there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she's on later. <laughs> right, so what I'm going to do, and I do this now with all my satin stitch that's wonky. Okay. <laughs> and it makes it easier to make a neat job of it. <laughs> and I like okay. a nice long thread. I mean, they say, oh, you mustn't have a long thread. Oh, I quite like a long thread because it doesn't yeah. twist up as I think much. Sometimes they say kind of the distance from your elbow to your hand, don't they? That some people can. Mum goes more like shoulder to oh, hand. Really? Yeah. Oh. Oh, well, thirty-six inches is normal. Yeah. Well, you've oh. got very short arms. Well, you don't have to <laughs> keep. Hands. You don't yeah. have to keep um, casting off and starting again, and yeah. it doesn't. Honestly, people say it twists up more if you have a long piece. No, it doesn't. It doesn't well, twist up as, as quickly. You don't want those excuses, do you, Pam? No. <laughs> and I, I mean, you do hang your needle down every so often and untwist it. Of course you that's do. That's a good point, actually, yeah, because yeah, yeah, the gravity helps then, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. See, so you can stick your needle in there so much easier than trying to push it up there. So Shall each we? time you're kind of moving the width yeah. of the thread across. Yeah. Yeah. This she's, is satin stitch. She's also using three thre uh, three oh, strands. Yes, I forgot oh, yeah, about, that. about so that. Yeah. Yes. It means it's quite strong. You're not going to be fraying your thread as you're using it, which sometimes is a reason for using a shorter length because if it frays while you're sewing, it can snap, and that's yeah. the worst thing if you've got a long piece of thread snap right in the middle. But because you've got three strands here, it's strong enough to cope. And another thing, because this is top quality thread, yeah. it's just lovely to use. Yeah. See how that nicely that's going in there? As soon as I've done this over, then I'll um, show you this um, chain stitch around the edge. I love it. But Shall I show you that segment on the, the finished sample that we've yeah. got here? Yeah. Just so is it, um, yeah, yeah. everybody at home can be related. Yeah. Of course, we're talking about the fox gloves. One of the six options that you've got. And you've got two options with regards to whether you have it on cream or whether you have it onto your top background. So you can see here these gorgeous little fox gloves coming together with that fabulous satin stitch. There's all these different ones here, all done in the same technique. So this is the thing, once you've mastered it in one of those little bells, then of course you can create it with all the others. Um, and again, you can kind of see the centre theme of those. So the centre spine, which Pam showed us to start with, and then working your way outwards from there. So that particular one is on the cream. Now the top is a, sl a slightly darker tone, maybe a little bit more mushroomy perhaps, um, but again, similar sort of design. The same threads are used within both of those kits. So the colours will stay the same with regards to your fox gloves and the daisies around them but if you like the backdrop being that slightly darker then perhaps the uh, the top is the one for you now just to give you a little bit of an update your fox glove on your cream is proving to be a very popular one so much so that 60% of the stock has gone my goodness 
You are loving these kits. Not surprised though. Fifteen ninety nine. You're getting everything. Your printed canvas. You're getting all your threads, the instructions, and a pattern, so you can go on and recreate these. How are you getting on over there, Pam? I've nearly got to the edge of here. I'm going to put probably two more stitches in, and then I can show you the um, chain stitch. And then Wonderful. I'll show you how I got those little dots in it. Gosh, in no time at all. That's that's they don't take that bell. Long. Yeah. Each little one doesn't take long, but mm -hmm. I mean, there's no rush. Is there's there, no so? rush. Um, it's nice because this is kind of like when you know when you're sitting there and you're thinking, oh, I've just got a couple of minutes before those potatoes are done. What can yes. I do? Because we always want to be doing something, yes. don't oh, we? Oh, yeah. I do. I can't. Not I can't do just anything. sit and do nothing. No, I'm terrible. I drive no. David crazy. Oh. <laughs> yeah. No, I have to take things with me wherever I go to do something. I take things to the shows when we do um, quilt shows, which we can't do at the moment. I have to have something to do while Emma's setting up because she doesn't let me have a hand in her setting up. Oh, oh you no. turn around and she's picking up the biggest, heaviest box there is there. <laughs> <laughs> she's a nightmare. Because you weren't watching her, Emma. I know. I have <laughs> to turn around. Turn. If, you hear, if you're ever near anywhere that's set it up and you hear somebody shouting, it's me telling her to stop it. <laughs> <laughs> it. Oh, so no, she comes and does this. No, no. Hopefully we'll have all those fabulous shows again. Yeah, at the end yeah of the we year. will. Um, so I'm just going to do a chain stitch now. So I just went down a little bit from the edge of there and it's just going to go around the edge where it's, where it's marked. Now, bring the thread up, hold it with your thumb. So you can get hold of it with your thumb, lovely yes, there. Yeah. Not a problem. Stick it back in nearly where it came out. You don't have to stick it in right where it comes out, but you can if you like. Okay. And then you can make your um, chain stitches. Oh, you did that very fast. Yeah, okay, I'll do it a bit slower. See, I'm getting And is this done in the now. same thread that you used for the main bell? Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, it's, three strands. Yeah, three strands. Oh, I think pretty much you always yeah. use three strands. Yeah. And you stick that, you, it, oh, I'll show you again. Right, it comes up, you stick it back down in the same place, holding on to that piece. Oh, you there. kind of got the loop, yeah. Yeah. Right, and then you push it back up. Depends on how much of a curve you've got, how far you push it. You can do some long, thin ones if you're doing a filling chain stitch. Okay. So they're thinner, so you can fit it in as narrow a gap. But these go around the edge, so you want them quite chubby. And then you pull the thread up and it hangs it round and makes a little loop. I'll do another one. It's very similar to a lazy daisy, isn't it? It is a lazy daisy, but it's just not not a finished one. It's a travelling lazy tra day. Travelling lazy day. It's not, it's not <laughs> such a lazy day, is it? No, it's not very lazy. <laughs> You're quite <yet>. right. <laughs> 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 it's not as lazy as some daisies can no. be. <laughs> I've, got, I've got one of those here. <laughs> this right. one's travelling. The thing that I noticed as well, I was just looking back at the finished sample, that you, the kind of the open end of the, the flower as well, it's not filled in. I mean, you've been doing a lot of filling in with the, the design with the, the kind of the, the bells or the trumpets yeah. of the flower, but because of the quality of the fabric, you don't need to, to cover it up. So no. these open areas that you've got, you'll see you'll come in and do your um, French knots and elements like that, as you can see in there. But you've still got that fabric coming through because mm. of the quality of it. It doesn't matter. No. No, Supporting it right the way through. Oh, it's a nice fabric. It's got a kind of a, almost a checkered kind of linen look to it. Yeah. So it's kind of interesting. It's not just a plain flat fabric. Mm -hmm. No, it's, it's, and it's nice. It, it, the needle goes through it easily. It's not too loosely woven and it's not too tight either. No. I tried out a few and this one I found worked the best. It's got a nice fluid feel to it. You can yeah. see how, how it's draping. Then yeah. it just loses it. Yeah. So look, I've nearly done that. I won't finish that off, but I, what you do is you keep going round. Because I want to show you those little dots in there because I started off doing lazy, doing um, French knots. It doesn't really work. So I've done see, little tiny stitches, like little seed stitches. And they're nothing to do. They're so easy. It's unbelievable. Oh, can you still see what I'm doing? Probably not. You keep moving, so no. <laughs> <laughs> if, you had, if I had a stand, it's easier for people to watch what I'm doing, but... Get in there. So you're travelling under those satin stitches now. I have a nice long one yeah. there. There you go, yeah. Just to see how it's coming it round. Like yeah. There you go. She won't stop now, so, you know. <laughs> oh, I will. I'll just going. finish this one and then I'll show the, the oh, little Oh, I know that. I'll just finish this. I'll just finish just this. Finish Next this. thing you know, three hours have gone. Just finish No, this. it's scary, isn't it? <laughs> I can't We're help it. It's addictive. <laughs> no, I love finish. it. No, just, oh, yes. How about finishing off the threads? That's something that we've got to. It's, it's a lot um, harder to unpick it, so you don't have to worry too much about it coming undone. 
So you literally so just, just sewed so it So you've just under. done a couple of little stitches there and snipped the thread? Just little stitches on the back and snip it off, it's just fine. It. I'd probably do a knot, but you don't have to. Oh, no, I don't do a knot. Oh, it's a big debate, a isn't there? To knot or not to knot? No, 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 no I was not. No, no, not <laughs> to knot. Oh, no, I don't know. Now, not let knotting. me take you through those fabulous designs. Of course, Pam's been working with the gorgeous foxglove there. Um, and again, we've got the foxglove as a kit. Two different options. So you've got your cream background or you've got your talk background. Cream is in the lead still at the moment, so now three quarters of the stock has gone. Just to reiterate, within your pattern, you are getting your cover sheet, which obviously has got your photograph in there so you know what you're aiming to achieve. Then you've got, obviously, the instructions, how to get started, your glossary there with regards to your stitches. So if you've never stitched before, then don't worry. Emma has got that covered for you. Nice, clean, concise illustrations there. Good sizes as well, so there won't be any squinting going on when you're wanting to create these stitches. Then, of course, you have got your pattern. Now, your pattern is included, although you won't need it initially because you have got your printed panel. But when you go on and recreate more of these, then obviously you're using a light box or maybe even a window. Um, coffee table with a light under it. If it's got a glass top, then you can use that to trace off that design onto your future fabrics. And again, they're explaining all those different stitches and where they're sitting in your design. Now, when you get your design, you will get for each one of these, depending on the one that you choose you will get your printed panel and it's kind of that almost like a faux linen look you can see that gorgeous linen style fabric there but it's not as tricky to work with but it's absolutely beautiful lovely soft very lightweight as well so you're not going to be tackling and wrestling with those threads getting them through there you're going to get some beautiful results and of course your threads you're going to get your DMC threads included um, and you can see they're going to get five of those skeins working with them most of the time with your three threads so you're going to split them there's six stranded um, threads there just split them in half add in your needle add in your scissors your hoop and that's it you are pretty much good to go so it's a fabulously priced kit there at 15.99 so you've got your fox gloves in your cream you've also got them in that top then the next one that we've got similar sort of idea with the pattern i'm not going to hold up the pattern and go through it again because it's the same for each one of them but it's the finished sample this is what you're looking to achieve and this is where the beauty comes through so the lupins again a beautifully tall flower as you can see those gorgeous majestic leaves with these as well showing you all those different greens that you've got within the set there brilliant value for money again cream and top being your options with regards to this one so this one is the cream backdrop that we're looking at at the moment and then if I bring in the top, again, it's more of a kind of mushroomy tone with regards to that backdrop. But again, it kind of makes those colours pop when you look at them close up. The green and it's kind of that greeny yellow really does stand out on this one. Again, I'm going to pop them side by side just so you can kind of make your comparison with regards to those. And of course, the beauty is if you do choose to go for either of these, and the backdrop is exactly the same with the other flowers as well. So if you do want to go for three to complete your set of all three flowers, then you can do with confidence. So make sure I've got those the right way around that one's got to go there and that one's got to go over there last one that we've got um, is your sunflower and again it's another beautiful one isn't it um it's one it's a happy flower i think sunflowers and pansies make me smile because they're both those kind of flowers Again, beautiful greens coming through here. Again, you've got all the um, elements, all those fabulous little French knots coming together in the head of your sunflower, as you can see. And again, we are looking at the cream backdrop with this one. Um, my arms aren't just quite long enough, so I'm going to have to take it with me while I come back again. Didn't think it through. And then you've got your top backdrop, as you can see there. So again, it's entirely up to you which of those you go for. But again, the top is the same as the top in the other two kits. And the cream is the same as the cream in the other two kits as well. So you can go for that set of three if you're wanting to. £15.99, um, 861, 883 if you're wanting to go for those. But another kit that's proven to be very popular is that poppy one. This is beautiful. You've got loads of different colours featuring within here. The gorgeous red from your two different poppies. And then, of course, you've got your daisies with those. And, of course, those earthy tones. They're kind of like the, uh, and the ears, as you can see, with regards to those. So... If you're wanting to get hold of those, then please do so. £19.99. pence. Again, you've got your cream or your top, dependent on which way you want to go. And then £9.99 if you want... Uh, £9.99, try again. £19.99, £9.99093. There's a lot of nines involved with that product, isn't there? Now, let's have a look. There's a lot of peas in this one because we've got Pam's Peacock. Um, now, you've got two options with this one again. That familiar cream and top making an appearance again. But what a beautiful piece this is. Larger piece, £24.99 
absolutely beautiful and proving to be a popular um, item as well. So 326442 if you fancy getting hold of those. Now the tree sampler, oh my goodness, you have been loving this one. This one we've been very, very busy for. Rapidly approaching 80% of the stock and we can't get hold of any more. Now let me introduce you to this piece. It's beautiful. It's a kit, but you are going to add in your own threads with this one. So you'll have the backdrop, you'll have your a fabulous fabric to work on, which is 18 inches by 16. So you can see it's a really good size piece. But then you determine the colours that you're going to use. Now you probably will stick to traditional green and red for your holly berries, but pretty much any of those other colours, you could change those out if you wanted to. Um, and the beauty is you are going to get your template so you can replicate this in your own fabrics if you're wanting to. But by keeping those threads out, it's a very affordable price at £14.99 and you are loving it. 321455. If you like the look of it, then please be aware that approaching 80% of the stock has gone and we can't get any more of those. It is a really beautiful piece and you will not be disappointed. Again, if you want to get the details are there on your screen, you've got a large piece of fabric with that pre-printed design on there. Absolutely beautiful, as you can see there. Now, this particular item, now that I've told you I can't get hold of any more, is causing a bit of a queue system on the phone. So if you are placing your order on the phone, I hope we've got enough stock to see us through. If you can bypass that and jump onto the website and place an order, then please do, because that way you can guarantee you'll get hold of that one. And of course, you've got your fabulous pattern that's going to come alongside it as well. So uh, there we go. I'm going to leave those details with you as I tell you about the fabulous bags that we've got. Two kits. Very busy of these. And we've done a little bit of a check with Pam and Emma. We can't get any more of either of these two options. So um, it's because you've got so many elements in here. You've got all the fabrics. All you need to add in is things like your threads to stitch it together and then obviously your, um, your wadding or your R form, depends on how you want to put it together. But you've got all the fabrics for the straps, the pockets, the lining, the outer and you've got all those fabulous little panels and this is the thing that makes this a really worthwhile kit. You're actually getting, I think it's five of those in there, all pre-printed which obviously sit and make those panels up but you have actually got the, um, the, the design there, the pattern template there. So I personally would be tempted to potentially use these as just little pieces that I can put into frames around my home, making some beautiful artwork, and then incorporating those designs through fabrics that I've already got in my stash. Really does work out as a very affordable kit, especially if you're a Freedom member. £31.49, so uh, 198953. You've got your options of your green, so your blue, we're just coming across the green one now. Similar sort of fabric, slightly different tones, obviously, with regards to the buttons and obviously the, the green aspect of these. But the panels are exactly the same, so the same designs working throughout that. And it really is a pretty design, as you can see, of that bag there. Gorgeous. Um, 198953, um, I've got a bit of update. That tree sampler. Got my sad voice on because we've got to say goodbye to it. Um, technically sold out. So if you've got it in your basket, you're okay for the time being. It's not yours until you do check your basket out though. We've got people that have been disappointed because they haven't been able to get hold of it. So if we do have any fall back into our stock, I will let you know so you can get to them on the website quickly. Um, so for the time being, go say goodbye to that one. I kind of knew that that would happen with that one. It's a nice design, that one, isn't it? It is a really nice one. I might be able to bring it back in the future, but at this point, I haven't got any more fabric, and it's like gold dust, that fabric, yeah, from the, the suppliers. It's quite tricky mm, to yeah, get hold of. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you're going to in the future. Don't know when. Maybe, yeah, but no, not, that's fair not, enough. Yeah. That's fair enough. Yeah. Um, so what are you up to then, Pam? I'm just going to do a lazy daisy. Okay. We've done, a, we've done a running daisy, so we're going to have a lazy one now. And I'll just do quickly things, because you've seen most of it now. Um, what you do is you bring your... That's the wrong one. <laughs> that is the wrong one. <laughs> Dear, this is the trouble. We're trying to work with two threads at the same time. <laughs> You've got two threads on the go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, bless you. Yeah. Which right. design are you working on? Oh, still on the foxgloves, lovely. Oh, yeah. Me. yeah. They're all the same stitches applied to all of them that have got yeah. them in them. So, I mean, okay. there's, there's definitely daisies in the, in yeah. the um, what's it called? Poppy. Poppy. Poppy and cornflower. So, all, the only difference is between that and this is just you make the you make the loop that's why i don't like the um it's too dark because it depends how much you pull your thread how round oh, your, yes. your your petal is and then you just stick it in the back right in the top again yeah, just to hold just it. to hold that and then you come up again at the bottom and you just carry on like that until you've got them all done i have been known myself when i found that my lazy daisies are not covering up i have put extra little stay stitches in the sides of my petals i've put a second loop in 
Oh, there you are. Mm, if you See? want, you can do that. Like, yeah. Is that a looping or a looping? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We've got two mm -hmm. types of loopings going on in this. Yeah. There's a lot of looping things here. <laughs> now, um, I'm just going to show you, if I can get this threaded up again, here it is, how I did those little um, dots in the middle of those. Oh, that was quick. Wow, look at that. These are chenille needles, by I'm the way. I'm impressed with that, threading a oh, needle oh. like that, Pam. That's good. Gosh. We were just discussing my eyesight's going now. Got, it's got to the age where I'm suddenly thinking I'm going to need some reading glasses because I can't <laughs> see to thread a needle. And this is how easy it is to put those little dots in. Okay. This is called a seed stitch. Oh, I see. Okay. It's I easy if you I was calling them much. French knots. Oh, I do apologise. Well, I did do French knots, and you can if you want, but they're a bit big. Okay. Fair well, enough. to be honest, in the pattern it says French knots. Does it? Yes, because you never told me about this, and they're exactly the same. <laughs> it's all about choices, then. Yes. So you could do a seat, you could do the stitch that you're showing us, but in the pattern it suggests a French knot. Is yeah. that what we're saying? Yeah. Sorry, folks. <laughs> Sometimes right, as well, I know with the French knot, if you want it smaller, you can kind of strip it down to maybe two strands as well to you make could. it slightly smaller. Oh, you could yeah, if you yeah. wanted to do that, but this is so much easier. Well, you're giving us a bit of a bonus now, teaching oh, us a yeah. stitch. Yeah. So all well, you do is you, do you bring it. it up and you push it down. That's it, done. Okay. That's your little stitch done, and it, it is finer, look, see? Seed stitch. It is a proper stitch. It's a proper recognised stitch. That's why I've got me. I've got my finger at the back trying to push it in in the right place and when I'm not live on television I'm a lot quicker at it. I do yeah, it's nice months, that you're doing it at this place because we can pay attention and we can see what you're doing. So. Oh yeah, yeah, and I get helpful. all wobbly because I think people are watching. They oh, they're not watching, nobody's <laughs> watching Millions you. are watching. <laughs> Millions. Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's watching Mum, they're all waiting for the last hour, seven o'clock. Naughty <laughs> girls. They That's see. a little voice from Team Emma coming up yes. there. Um, <laughs> just joking apart, we have got another hour with the ladies yeah. at um, seven yeah. o'clock this evening. This hour we're concentrating on a lot of Pam's kits and then at seven o'clock um, you're going to be looking at some of Emma's kits. There's nothing to see there, so yeah, this is the hour you want to be ordering. Right, now. <laughs> rude, very rude. <laughs> yeah. Do that another time later. Now I'm going to do the... Um, Fly stitch in the middle of the leaves. Okay. So this is one I've never heard of, and every time I write fly stitch, I see flies. And I think, no. Well, yes, I think there's nothing particularly pretty about a fly, so I'm no. not quite sure where it gets this to is a it's got fly. wings. Oh, I see, right. That's oh. what it is. It's good job somebody can think of that one, because I never worked that one. <laughs> it's like, start at the top. Yep. Sorry. Yep. Down in there, where the, where the three thingies come together. Right. And then up. Oh, this is such an easy stitch. These are all easy stitches. And then hold on to that bit there, down there, up there, and make a loop. There you go. That's your fly stitch. Oh, wow. And that's all there is to it, down there. Actually, it's a lot easier than even looks. And it's such a quick filler as well. It's like colouring in with stitches. Yeah. What's that? That's it. Colouring in with stitches. It, it is, is colour. Really. Oh, this is colouring in with stitches. Yeah, up there, down there, and up. And unlike a felt tip pen, you can erase this so much easier. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you get it wrong. Yeah. You get it wonky. Yeah. You don't need you've to got that one. printed line to perfection. I mean, the three yeah. strands cover it perfectly. Oh, they yeah, do. They and do. yeah, and the, the the amount of um, ink that's on it is just about right. Yes. We worked it until we got it right, didn't we, Emma? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Because yeah. we print these ourselves. These are our, you do indeed, our yeah. printed panels. Right, so that's done. Now, I just want to talk to you a bit about what the rest is done, and then we're finished. Okay. Um, round the edge of the leaf, I've done two rows of chain stitch. Ooh, lovely. And the chain stitch is the one that you used around the edge of the, the little trumpet that yes. you showed us at the beginning. So. That's right. Yeah. Now, the middle of the um, Lazy Days has got two or three... French knots in it. French knots. Proper French knots. French knots. <laughs> yeah, French knots. So and the chain these... stitch around the, the leaves, and of course you're showing us that fabulous fly stitch. And then the centre of the daisy, is that where you're referring to the, yeah. the French knots? Yeah, two okay. or three French knots in the lightest colour of the green. Um, I've got the dark green in the middle, and then there's, I think, I haven't got a picture here, I don't really know what I did. Okay. <laughs> mm, but it shows you in the pattern. She's done a lot of embroidery I recently. Have. I've done all these. They, in the tell you in the pattern. Yeah, 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 there you go. Lighter in the, on the inside, darker on the outside. That's right. And there's two rows, isn't there? There yeah. is indeed. Yeah. But again, you can do whatever you like. Yes. If you'd rather do it all in the same colour and have a you thicker can. dark green line. It's if up you, to you. If you have a look at those two, the tops of them are different as well. Um, one oh, of them's yes. got more pink at the top, and one's got more green. You can yes. do whatever you like. 
I suppose you can kind of go a little bit free reign because, yeah, you can see that on this one here, you've mm. filled in with the pink, whereas on this one, it's the green mm. to give it kind of that uh, that new growth look. Yeah, um, one and, of them's yeah. come out a bit more than the other. The sun's been on it a bit longer. <laughs> I mm. love it. Now, we are sharing with you one of those fabulous designs that Pam's created for us, the fox gloves. It's available on two backdrops. You'll notice one is slightly lighter than the other because one is on cream and the other is on top. And the fox glove is one of those fabulous designs that we've got from that set. We've actually got some six choices under the item number, as you can see on your screen there. Fox gloves being the one that we are talking about at the moment here. But then one of your other options that you've got is your lupins. Now, your lupins, again, you've got the choice of having it on your um, cream. I think I've got those the wrong way around, actually. That one's your cream, isn't it? The lighter. So you've got your cream and your top. Um, so, again, it's up to you which you go for. But, again, if you're wanting to kind of keep that continuity going and you're going for the fox gloves, you can kind of imagine how those would work together almost it's like oh not that way around that's never good it's never good if they're growing upside down is it um, but you can see kind of get the idea of if you're wanting to create several of them and build up your own almost gallery the last one in that collection if you are looking at doing that one is going to be your sunflower and again you've got your sunflower again on the cream backdrop which is already in a frame you're going to add your own frame into these ones and then you've got that fabulous top tone there so again it's personal choice I mean, which of those is it you're going to go for? It's amazing because the threads are exactly the same, but don't they look different? This time on the cream, the yellow looks way much brighter than on um, the top. Amazing the difference that they make. Now, within your kits, each kit is going to be exactly the same with regard to the contents. You're going to get your printed panel. You're going to get your pattern actually within your paper pattern as well, and your stitch guide, and you're going to get your five embroidery skeins there, all DMC quality, so you know you've got quality and way more than you are going to need. And, of course, as the instructions will tell you, you're splitting them down from their six strands to your three strands. You just need a chenille needle um, and a little pair of scissors for doing your snips as you go. But there you go, your foxglove on cream being your first of your options then you've got your foxglove on your top you've also got your lupins on your cream lupins on your top and then you've got your sunflower again on your cream and then finally on your wonderful cream as well on your top should i say so cream and top being the options between each one of those flower groupings 861 883 if you're wanting to get hold of those so pam what are we up to now we've probably got about 10 minutes or so left i think yeah i'm going to do a bit of magic with the um when you finished your embroidery because when oh, okay yeah. the other thing is when you move it around in the hoop which you will do in a small hoop um, it doesn't hurt it to um, change it around and catch some of the embroidery in the hoop because I have that quite a few times okay have I caught that in the hoop right and as long as you stretch it into the hoop in the place where there isn't any stitches I wouldn't advise you to pull that when tight. you put it in yeah. tight but the rest you can pull it out tight and make it nice but it's still a bit wrinkly it's not too bad though is it no it looks when you good. think about it yeah what you do and i really think it's a good idea to spray it all oh, right okay. now you do this when you've got really bad creases in fabric mm -hmm. it's just water oh blimey that's a bit strong that <laughs> who did that it wasn't me <laughs> who did that hang on <laughs> This isn't... <laughs> well, the table's a bit wet now. You need, you need a mist. I need yeah. a mist. And that's not mine. I got it at the shop. I forgot mine. I left it at home. But it doesn't oh, matter. Bless, yeah. What you do is you spread the, you spread the water out over the, over the fabric. And like I was just trying to say, when you get one of those nasty creases down the middle of a fabric that you've bought, yes, yeah. um, do it this way. Don't um, steam iron it. Right, okay. Because the steam iron will put the crease in more. Yes, that's a good point actually, yeah. Because when you put water on fabric, cotton mm -hmm. fabric, it relaxes, relaxes yes. and it spreads out and then you, the creases come out. You see they're coming out there already. Even yeah, and that's just with the, the heat of your hand doing yeah, that. Yeah, I mean it's just not the heat, it's just the, it, I'm spreading it. Yeah, the water. Yeah. yeah, and then you just put the iron over it. So this is on the dry. reverse. Sorry? Yeah. This is still the reverse, isn't it? It's the reverse. You can iron it on the other side, and I do. I mean, it's I have amazing, done. though, because obviously the way that you stitch it, the stitches come through. So, yeah. 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 It's kind of give up for thinking this was the front. on the back, yeah. 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 Um, I have heard people say you must never iron embroidery. Okay. I do. I, I take it you take no notice of them, Pam? No, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> not for hours. No. no. No, not for what I do. This is my embroidery. That's Everybody's theirs. Everybody's entitled to opinion, aren't they, though, They Pam? are. What? They're yeah. entitled yeah. to their opinion. Yes. yes. She's doing a lot of ironing here because the fabric was really, really yeah. well. <laughs> I want to show you what happens on the other side. Okay. <laughs> and how I put it on a board as well. 
because there's a knack to that as well. Oh, that's and I, true, actually, yes. I yeah. learned that from a wonderful textile artist, how to put it on a board. Ah, oh, okay. See, look. Oh, look at that. Magic. Aren't those threads beautifully shiny as they well? They are. Yeah. It really works. I mean, just to give it a pressing like that, that's that's beautiful. And it hasn't completely flattened all no. your stitches. Yeah, Not if you do it the on, the, on the wrong want, side. Yeah. yeah, you want to keep mm. it now, slightly puffy. You cut the board to the size you want it. I uh, cut what sort of board should we be using? It's just ordinary um, mount board. Mount board. Oh, that, I see. Yeah. 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 Mount board's nice. It's quite dense. Yes. It's bits left over that you perhaps do other. See those those mounts around those. So, yeah, when you've cut a, um, a framework, keep the yeah, middle bits. I've keep, got a stack always of them. keep your middle bits. Yeah. yeah, stack of them. Right. So what you do is you. We've tried it with grey board. That's not really strong enough. No. no. Now you've and got to get that in the, the middle. The colouring of it, I suppose, it could. Although yeah. the, the fabrics are a nice nice density, so you probably wouldn't see. You it probably come wouldn't. Although you yeah. can always stick a bit of paper in between. Oh yes. Yeah. There's all sorts of knacks you can do with it. You <laughs> make it right. Right, I get my pins. Now I put that right in the middle, and then I fold it up like that, right, and turn it over like that, and it wouldn't be wet. Okay, yes, if yeah. That butt ran <laughs> squirted water everywhere. <laughs> Had a bit of a downpour. We did, yeah. <laughs> a bit of a pour. <laughs> got my eyeball ball wet now. It's a bit like the weather. <laughs> <laughs> Just to give you a bit of a time check, Pam, we've got about three and a half minutes That's left. good. It, it's not going to take me much longer than that, because okay. it was the water that did it. <laughs> Try and keep it stretched out that way, and just stick the pins in like that, look. Like that, all the way along. It's another f nice thing about the mount board, it's strong enough to hold yeah. those pins. Yes. It will hold the pins. Under tension, yeah. You'll be amazed at what happens next. And then you pull this one up the same, okay. and you pull it reasonably tight, but not too tight that it bends the board. Right. Just so that it puts a bit of tension on the other side. You can make sure you've got it right before you finish it, because you can always take the pins out and redo it. That's a good point. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. And then you pin it along the other side. I won't put too many in, because I want to show you what happens next. I haven't got the sewing machine up. You sew. You can. You, there's two ways to do this. Okay. Either with a sewing machine, which I always do, or you can hand stitch it across. You can put threads across and hand stitch it backwards and forwards. Oh, like, tight. like a zigzag. Yeah. yeah, lacing. Lacing it. Yeah. Or you can put it under the sewing machine and you can machine it along the edge. And I think that's what I've got here with the sunflower. Yeah. You can see on the the backdrop there where you can yeah. see. Uh, and like you say, most sewing machines would be able to cope with that. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, the one we've got here, the, the um, Husqvarna. Husqvarna one, that, and you go slowly, you put your, th your stitch length up to the longest stitch length and go slowly along the edge and it's fine. That's a good tip, I like and that. And it's so it's easy, easy and then finish. you just do the same, take those pins out when you've machined it, and then you take those pins out, turn it in the other way and do the same the other way. Or hand stitch it. That is so easy to do. But yeah. It's a lovely, neat finish. Yeah. Oh yeah, and you get a lovely picture. Look at that. Look. Yeah, that is beautiful. You'll notice Mum's also overlocked the edges. You don't have oh, to. Yes. But if you've got an overlocker, it's really handy. If you cool. don't um, do something with the edges, when you work this for a long time, it can fray. Okay. Yeah. Um, so what you can either do is overlock it if you're lucky enough to have one of those, or you can just turn it over. And put some big tacking stitches along. Yeah. Oh, something that you'd remove yeah. at a later stage. Well, yeah. Well, I wouldn't remove it. I'd just cut it off. Oh, because okay. Fair <laughs> <enough>. <laughs> that's, that's, that's true. Enough. Never thought that's of that. True. Your piece yeah. is big yeah. enough because we give you a big piece of fabric. Masking tape is also. And then there's good. masking tape. Just makes yeah. sense, actually. Yes, like you said. Why, why make life difficult to don't yes. unpick? Cut it away. I never thought of that either. <laughs> Look, and of course, that sunflower, beautiful sunflower yep. again that you've seen there. I mean, it just looks so effective, doesn't it? That gorgeous shininess mm. that you've got from those DMC threads. Um, choices, of course, you've got your cream, which is a slightly t lighter base, as you can see there. Um, and then I'm going to bring in the other, which is your top. And that's the thing, with each one of these fabulous embroideries, you've got choices within your kits. You are going to get your printed fabric, and that's kind of where the choice comes from. So if you are going from your top, then this is the fabric that you would get for the... Um, a sunflower. It's the same for any of the others. You will have the designs um, already printed on there that you can follow in that kind of soft grey tone. So it's 
dense enough for you to see it, but not dense enough for it to be seen underneath those threads. And of course, your DMC threads come in alongside each and every one of those kids. It's been a busy hour. It's been lovely to have your company. Do make sure you join the ladies again at 7 o'clock this evening when we'll be concentrating on more of Emma's patterns. Um, thank you. I've had a fabulous thank you. time. And learned so much, Pam. Oh, okay. yes. I've had a lovely time as well. I just love showing people how to do things. Well, you do a brilliant <laughs> job of it, so thank you. Thank you. Um, so, anything in your basket? Now you need to be checking your baskets out, especially if you're going for those fox gloves and I will see you a little later on. See you later. Oh, about Leone and the one day special. What an amazing deal. Then the lovely Julia Watts is joining us with fairy hugs before we launch a brand new all and create one at six. Did you know you can watch Ochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it. Now it's time to add the Hochanda app. Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the Added Channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specialising in traditional crafts for the modern maker. Most of our products involve textiles and age-old techniques from button making, lace making, weaving and other forms of passamentary. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B Silkworks shows here on Hojanda. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognize businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we're honored to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Lucy from Sweet Poppy Stencils, the Craft Station Limited. We're a craft retailer and we specialise in stainless steel stencils. Our stencils are manufactured in metal. Uh, this allows us to have designs that are intricate. We also have new products coming on board. Um, our craft bonds, our uh, pole drops and our acrylic paints are joining us. We've recently joined Hachanda and we're really excited. This allows us to demonstrate and show our products. Um, we know customers like seeing um, the demonstrations. So make sure you tune in and don't miss the Sweet Poppy shows on Hochanda. Hi, my name's Mel and I'm from Crafty Devils down in Devon. We are a family run business and we've been established for about 16 years now. We're known for our MDF products and our mediums. All of our MDF products are produced in Devon in the UK and we have a wide variety of products to inspire you. If 
you watch her chanter, you'll see us put together and decorate our designs to inspire you so that you can make your own crafting projects. So make sure you tune in to all our Crafty Devil shows on her chanter. Welcome back everyone, uh, here we are, it's time for final call on the one day special from Samperia and it's been a tremendous 24 hours. It's funny actually because it doesn't seem like a day has passed because we've seen so many things um, from uh, this one day special and everything that's on the show. This is brilliant, this is a world that you can completely and utterly immerse yourself into. So let's look, uh, shall I give you some good news? Some really, really good news. First of all, Leonie's here. Of course she's Hiya. here. Hiya. <laughs> and secondly, your paints are back. Paints are back. Yay. Um, in fact, look, I can show you because I have got them. Oh, yes. Oh, the They're doubt back. that I had them organised. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I haven't. But I have been using them constantly. Um, the reason that these have been so busy is the colours are beautiful. Um, they are a really gorgeous, creamy paint. You've got within this selection, um, you've got your patina, you've got your rust. I mean, you've got your, your that beautiful yellow. It's such a good, creamy um, selection of paints. And I must admit, if you watch any of that Stamperia, um, like they give you loads of inspiration now, any of those videos, all the designers are now using the paints. Yeah. You know, and there's a lot. Hopefully, every time, I mean, I can't promise this, but I'm, I've already um, said, Sam! Uh, <laughs> but hopefully now we'll be able to build up the collection. So every time we have a new collection, the yep. paints that go with that collection, I've already seen the next one, uh, the paints that go with that collection will be coming with the, the collection. So it's it's something you can start uh, saving. And the price is amazing. It, it's Well, that, that's why it keeps selling out. I think it sold out what, <laughs> yeah. three times over the last 24 hours, something like that. Like that. Um, and this goes out for you on the 6th of March because obviously we've had to beg, steal, borrow, do everything yeah. to try and get these back. Uh, we didn't think we were going to actually, so it's all six of those at just 16.94, which is just really, really good. 688227. Get those as quickly as you possibly can. Don't let them sell out again because remember, this is our last live hour with the one day special as well. So our last chance to kind of keep it in your eye line. Uh, right, let's go straight into the one day special then, which we're going under the sea with Stamperia. This is an awesome, awesome one-day special. I don't even know where to begin because this, this is like the gift that just keeps giving and giving and giving and giving. You are going to love this. You'll love the imagery all the way through it. The stamp set is absolutely, let me just show you it's stamped out because we're talking about big, big stamps going on in this set. That lady there is just, and I love that, the cogs in her hair, you know, that, that, that under the sea theme, the cogs, the steampunk, the mixing and matching of everything runs right the way through this one day special. It is absolutely tremendous. Um, if you've missed any of the shows uh, with Leonie over the last 24 hours, you must watch them again on Rewind, but you must get your order in for the one day special, obviously, before we start a brand new one at six o'clock tonight. Here are your 12 by 12 papers. Of course, you've got them in 12 by 12 and your eight by eight as well. And they are just every one of them. You think, oh gosh, I feel like I need 30 sets of each one because <laughs> you've got those lovely rust tones in there. Um, I love how some of them are almost like boat blueprints. You can take them out. You can take bits and pieces out. There is the deep sea diving octopus <laughs> that we saw yesterday. There is that brilliant, brilliant kind of metal work look. It's so awesome, isn't it? And you can see why. Just remember back to that selection of paint colours that Leone had in her hands. And just, you know, you know straight away um, that they are the perfect inks for this one day special. So many elements to it. There's, there's the other bit of the deep sea diver. We <laughs> yeah. thought we'd lost him, but he is actually there. <laughs> He's well. there wondering where he nicked his, I know. Um, his what's it, the it's job, brilliant. his lid. Look, you've got all your tags in there as well. They are brilliant. Really, really nice. The colour tones through this is beautiful. Remember, you get the same thing as well. So there are ten designs and one of each. Um, and you get them in your 12 by 12 and your 8 by 8s as well. And they're just awesome, aren't they? It's all about the colours and it's all about the potential beyond that as well. I think you will want more and more and more of this these um, once you see everything else that goes with it um, you'll just want 10 of everything it is it's like one of those it's really 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 busy as it has been I mean we launched this what 
less than 24 hours ago and it has been bonkers every single time we've brought it back onto your screens oh well caught Derek <laughs> well caught um, every time we've had it on your screens it's just gone bananas I'm not surprised at all um, plus you've got your oh and you we can get the um, the 12 by 12 papers on their own as well so if you're thinking actually you know what I've ordered the one day special mm. but you're right Derek actually I'm gonna need more of those papers and and when will they reappear again uh, who knows I have no crystal ball um, will they be available in the future will they be the same price in the future I don't know now is the time to stock up on them as well four four seven eight five eight is your item number going out for you on the 4th of March massive savings all round as well so this is the one to go for right let's continue because there is plenty more to show you oh gosh if you haven't yet in the last 24 hours seen these rice papers um, you will want to jump in because this is our last chance to show you now on this you get two and I, and I said to Lee only yesterday when I was I was on at the eight o'clock show last night with this I don't think I'd ever seen a three rice papers before I mean that's nothing I guess revolutionary but um, to have that bigger size kind of lends you to bigger projects as well doesn't it with this you get two sheets of the um, a three and you get two of the A4 and they are delicious texture rice papers Leonie mm. as well aren't they? They're just amazing um, I, I, what I love about rice paper uh, they're just they're that kind of product that you can do so much with you know Look. you can go if you've got a box that's round cylinders you go and round it yes. you can put them on glass as long as you're using the right adhesive you go in on glass and the thing is if you use them on glass put lights in you can see through them yeah why not use them for lampshades you know you can put them on a lampshade I did buy a lampshade making kit but I ran out of time so I didn't have time to make oh, I wanted really? I, I am obsessed oh. with wanting to make lampshades yes. at the minute really this is me thing but I know it's one of them because you have to be really like, and I think for me because you have to line both rings up at the same time and roll them right and, and be precise yeah I oh. mean I'm not precise with anything <laughs> but I'm obsessed with it because rice paper for lampshades yeah. would be divine put them on your um, put them on fabric you can put rice yeah. paper on fabric and I think because they're so easy to work with but whatever you do with them they look good yeah. and it's just kind of like it's an it's just too easy but too beautiful um, and obviously Stamperia the first company to actually do uh, printing onto your mulberry paper and they are top quality they feel the absolutely amazing and yeah. the design um, Italian companies so the designers and and their eye for design they they make sure the designs are absolutely top they're dollar. so intricate honestly it's like reading a book the first time you see one of these because you'll keep going back mm. to it and realizing just how many different elements there are in there it's really really busy 104 382 is your item number 11 pounds and 96 pence for the 2a3 and the 2a4 um, on that one really really busy not surprised remember this is the last live hour uh, for Stamperia today and the one day special of course it's good until six o'clock or until the stocks last to be honest with you um, here's a lovely bundle and, and Leonie you were working with this one yesterday I think weren't you with, with all the the wonderful um, the cogs. clocks and the cogs in the in the grey board this mm -hmm. is brilliant you were doing inside the journal page weren't you um, this is lovely in Abs fact my frame just uh, to your right righty right right it stood up there and this one. there that's got cogs in it. Ah, yes, it has. I it has. Let it. me bring this in to show you. How gorgeous is that? And that's that's all lit as well. You've managed to get some lights in there Gosh. as well, haven't you? So that's lovely. Did me lights. Beautiful. Quite chuffed with that one. Really got me cool. lights in it. Just love it. Look at all the dimension to that as well. Especially with the lights inside. Love that. So on this one, you get your grey board with your clocks and cogs uh, and all the <laughs> other little elements that go in there, all steampunky. Then you've got this stencil. Now, I didn't see this stencil yesterday, but how cool is that? All of that lovely text Read in the there. top. Read the top bit. Is that a bat wing there? Yeah. Ah. All right. Well, it could be um, behind you on the shelves. Yeah. There's another wing that is part of the uh, the range. That's part of. Ah. We haven't got the mold for that, but yeah. if you've already got the mold or you've got the papers, that mold works with that stencil. Perfect. And that mold was on last time when we launched the Vagabond collection, right. um, but th we didn't have that stencil. And ah. I love. So if you read the right. top bit of that stencil, is right. beautiful. So once you've tasted flight, you will forever. Walk the earth with your eyes turned skyward, for there you have been, and there you will always long to return. Is that not just fabulous? <gasps> yeah. I love that. 
I it, love that. It I just think I think I must have been a bird in a previous life. It, it makes you want to, <laughs> to do an Icarus, doesn't it? Yes, and stick it feathers does. to your arms and see if it works. <laughs> so with this, you also uh, do you get the? Is it the rice paper as well? Yeah, so you yeah. also get the um, the A3 rice paper as well, which is full of cogs as well. Um, 486310, 17 pounds and 97 pence. Grab that quickly while you can. That's lovely, isn't it? Right, OK. Now, stone paper. Stone paper. Hadn't heard of it about an hour and a half ago. And Leone showed me what she's done with it. So this is kind of paper that behaves like fabric, uh, which is incredible. It means that you can sew through it. You can basically... I, I'm not going to say absolutely, but you know what? I, when I when I say almost indestructible, it's one of those that you can throw any medium at, and you can stitch through it, and you can cut through it. You can wash it mm -hmm. when your project is made as well. Um, so it really is kind of the business. And, it's and, amazing. And you've got something that you're working yes, on. Yes, I started it in the last hour. Yeah. I'm going to finish it in this hour just yeah. because um, because I'm really chuffed with it, and I want to show it I, how you complete it. Yeah. Stone paper is one of those products. You you can do so much with it. You can make, again, you can make light shades with it, a freestanding. Um, it is, even if you just coil it and stitch it together, because you yes. can saw this, you've literally, you've made something straight away. I mean, it feels amazing, but because of the nature of it, anything you do on a canvas or a piece of paper, you can do on that. But then it acts like fabric in yeah. that you can wash it, you can scrunch it, you can stick it through your sewing machine. It's really cool stuff. I love and there's some really good ideas and inspiration on Stamperia's YouTube channel uh, using stone paper, making the more sensational bags and bags oh, you yeah. can use. Yeah, functional ones, yeah. Uh, absolutely. Brilliant. Really cool stuff. And it looks beautiful with rice paper. Love it. 858855. Is a tongue boats. twister of an item number. <laughs> uh, £10.99 pence, you get a sheet of A3 and two of A4. And then one more to look at over here. Oh, we've got some chipboard. Um, oh, this is the one with the um, with the die cuts, isn't it? Yes, love this. So you've got the chipboard. This is uh, this is. Um is it Sir Vagabond, isn't it? I was, Sir thinking Vagabond. It was, I was thinking, is it Doctor or Mr? No, it's not <laughs> Sir. It's uh... Sir Vagabond. Mm -hmm. And he certainly is as well, isn't he? Um, I love all these die cuts, by the way. I'm just going to move a couple of things out of the way here, just so I don't cause too much calamity, uh, because I just want to show you a few of those die cuts, because they're, they're absolutely awesome. Because you go from, like, the smallest compasses and clogs to uh, hot air balloons, and they're the most amazing. So get one of him. Um, and these just really, really bold kind of um, sentiments and statements. They are brilliant. I just absolutely love these. Extra uh, explore, dream, discover. Um, love it. Love it all. I think it's brilliant. And such a good buy as well. Uh, plus, of course, remember, you've got the 8x8 pad as well. And there's awesome loads in there. 553-190 is your item number. £14.47. pence. Also on the show, we've got the moulds as well. Now, these have been massively popular over the last 24 hours as well. 015451 is the Sir Vagabond Gears Fantasy. And you definitely, definitely want one of these because if you love the whole vibe of everything that's going on uh, with the Sir Vagabond collection, then you'll definitely want to get your air drying clay in there, get your polymer clay in there, get your resin in there. Um, I was talking as well, because they are silicon, they can take heat as well, so we were toying with the idea of maybe, um, maybe using them as a wax mould if you wanted to um, as well. These can even go in the dishwasher, do we talk yeah, about? I should imagine, because well. yeah, they are silicon, silicon, aren't they? Yeah, and there's another one as well, 12 99 for that one, 015451. And then there is the vintage tour um, mould as well, which again is another silicon, £12.99. Love this because it's got the wings and also got the compass in there. And you've got uh, vintage tour and dream big um, as your sentiments in there as well. 153702. There's lots more to look at uh, through this show as well. So make sure you shop ahead of us as well. Uh, and yes, and don't forget the paints that are back in stock because they will whiz back out as well. They're on extended going out for you on the 6th of March, but just get them right now while you can. Right, Miss Leone, all over to you. Hello. Do you know it's hilarious? It's because I keep I getting more bits to add on it. I mean, it <laughs> isn't, I'm not, it's going to be that weighty when I've finished it. So where I'm going with this, I'm going to catch you up because I started this in the last hour. So this is your stone paper. Because it's stone paper, it's super flexible. 
people you can sew it i haven't i've glued it and i've glued it just for time essentially but also live tv i've used double-sided tape and then i've used the extra strong glue uh, from stamperia just because it'll hold this is going to be an ipad cover and lovely derek because i've gone and taken mine off lovely derek's like don't worry it isn't gluey inside it's all right <laughs> uh, but look so it's going to be my ipad cover which i Awesome. Which I love. Yes, you can absolutely die cut it. You can definitely die cut stone paper. And because it's heat reactive, if you die cut it and then shape them, heat them, they'll hold the shape. So stone paper, you can do a lot with it. Love I mean, it. this is cool stuff. I remember the first time we saw stone paper and had it on. And it was one of those where it's like, uh, the first time I saw it, it was like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. But but then it's, it kind of goes quiet because we get loads more stuff. And then it's like, oh, we found stone paper again. So oh, it's just amazing. So what I'm doing is, I'm, I'm faffing now, okay. So that <laughs> join in there, I want to cover my join. I'm going to cover it with a piece of rice paper. Um, with the normal piece of paper. That piece of paper is from your one day special. What I love about this, you can use random pieces of paper. It doesn't matter. It's cool. You know, it'll always look good. If you wanted to, you could actually do just a cheeky bit of stamping in there as well. So if I take one of the stamps from the uh, one day special and just a tiny bit of stamping, because just a bit of stamping, always looks good awesome. you know you really don't need much but it always looks good have we had a picture of stone paper oh lovely oh look oh that's beautiful gosh that is absolutely gorgeous helen oh man look at her hair. that's amazing i love that that is beautiful yeah helen thank you for sharing that and that rust technique you've used there that looks like the real deal doesn't it that is phenomenal. Thank you. I love seeing what people have done. It's just, it's so inspirational. So thank you. Keep sharing those photographs. Um, we love it. We love it. So I'm just, I'm now getting carried away with stamping, but I love that. Just a tiny bit of stamping. Um, I'm using your stamps from your one day special, but I am mixing up with some of the stamps um, from the, the lovely seahorse because the, the bubbles are actually from the seahorse. So I'm just popping a couple of those there as well i really like that yeah it's just one of those isn't it that you just need very little i love it i've absolutely gone off on a tangent i weren't going to be doing this you know shall i show you all the stamps that are yeah. on the seahorse one just quickly just while you uh Go while we lose you for a minute uh, <laughs> she's gone uh didn't take long did it about nope. two minutes three seconds <laughs> off she goes because this one has the big seas of the day of course the massive seahorse with the cogs in it uh plus you got or what i was calling so i'll carry on calling it that the flotsam and jets and the stuff that floats around <laughs> beautifully under the sea and you've got the bubble stamp as well which is brilliant you'll use that absolutely everywhere won't you yeah it's lovely sorry i, I were off i <laughs> literally weren't listening to a word you were saying that's all right i had gone into stamp heaven um so leave that to dry obviously okay so what i've done rice paper on here rice paper on the back you can see under the rice paper that's one of the other things about rice paper that blue is paint on the stone paper because you can see under the rice paper it's brilliant for layering this is the one from um it's one of your big sheets of paper so it's one of the A3, and that's actually Sir Vagabond one. I'm using, I'm mixing them up. That's Sir Vagabond, that's your one day special. They work together. You know, you do not need to do these separately. Okay, so this is going to be the cover. The cover, I've used the other rice paper. So that's the one that looks like um, a wood panelling, which is absolutely gorgeous and perfect for the cover. So what I'm going to do is stick this on first of all. As I said, I'm using my adhesive. So what I'm doing to stick this on really chuffed i'm finishing this you know i've actually finished this time i, I that, have got you know, that's, that's twice in 24 hours hey, i'll tell it? you what I've, <laughs> I've finished three projects turn it over a new leaf i never do this well what it is it's because it's because you always feel when you do tv live tv you always feel that you ha you have to be starting something new every time yeah and it's that oh i have to start you know and i have to do this and whereas actually sometimes just finishing the project 
is lovely. Yeah. And I think people at home like to see a project finished as well. And actually, some, I mean, I'm saying people at home. I'm not going to lie, people at home. I wanted to finish project for me um, because <laughs> because I get sick of having half finished projects that I really want to finish, but I never have time. Oh, yeah, let's have a picture while I struggle with this. Who's this from? Steve-O! Oh, gosh, look at that. Oh, like, Steve massive overstitching. Yes, now I'm loving the stitching. Love it. See, now, the, what I'm using on my, you know, my uh, stone paper, some stitching like that would look phenomenal on the stone paper. It would look amazing. And what's oh. he done? And steve has done some workshops with Antonis. Oh, you lucky man. I bet that were well cool. Because, yeah, he, he, he is such an incredible designer. And when he... Um, and when he does the, the lives, because they, you know, they do the, the videos on Stamperia, I mean, I bet he's a bit of a laugh, isn't he, mm -hmm. to do workshops. Were you a bit of a giggle, Steve-O? I mm -hmm. bet you had a lovely time. I'm a tiny bit jealous there, Steve-O. I've put my adhesive too far up, but... Could we I've slip some... Um, I'm not suggesting you do it now, but for the, the project that you've got going on here... Yes. We could try and slip some magnets in there some way as well, couldn't we, as, well, a, as, as a closure? look what I've got here, darling. Oh, like, I read, two your, I read your magnets, mind. Two cheeky magnets oh, ready brilliant. to go. Um, I have got... I've got adhesive there, OK? Now, because I've put adhesive in the wrong place, what I'm going to do is... Bring in some powders, and I weren't going to use these at all, but I have put adhesive in the wrong place. So I need to cover that adhesive up because there's no way I want to stick my iPad to my adhesive. But if I just use my beautiful powders, not only will it look gorgeous, I mean, these are water reactive, but of course I'm not going to bother doing the water on them. Um, but it'll look beautiful, but it'll also cover up that adhesive. So if you do some at daft, like I've just done, <laughs> um, it's always, there's always a way around it. There's always something you can do. And I mean, something like this, your stone paper one, this is something you will absolutely find the way around it. If it's a bit of card, so if it gets too bad, you just pop it in the bin. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, but that's solved that. See, solved, and it's a bit shiny and gorgeous. Love it. So that's OK. OK, so that's the flap. Now, it is important that you make sure that your, your folds are nice and creased. So I did that before. I mean, you can put clips or something on to really force them down, but that's cool. So now, decorating. Already done it look gorgeous. Love it. I'm so pleased with this, it's unbelievable. And I've actually made some that I'm gonna use. Now, these are strips of the stone paper. I couldn't decide what to use, don't they just look amazing? I mean look at the texture. It's got all sorts on there. And, and I just love this. Have you have you achieved that? Dead easy. Looks like um, plates of metal. Yeah, doesn't it just? I demonstrated that last hour. Right. All you need to do scrunch it, it'll right. scrunch, yeah. it holds its scrunch, but then just lay your paints on it. That's Brilliant. all. I'll, sh I'll do a quick one, I'll do a quick. Do tune, um, uh, watch on catch up. So 12 o'clock. Yep, yep, yep. And I did on 12 o'clock, I right. just did, but I'll do a quick one and I'll probably then want to use this one as well. So <laughs> the all one the of them, on, honestly, I did use, a, I kept uh, the first one. That one is really thick now because I used that many techniques I was playing. Mm -hmm. So I did that many different things on it. Is that why but, you love this so much? Because you can carry on. Because yeah. often you don't know when to stop, do no, you? No, you just no. go, oh, I'll just yeah. do this and just yeah. do that. Just do that. So you could kind of go as many layers as you like yeah. of whatever it is and... It's like, yep, can still use that. Yeah, it's so it's great for uh, being experimental. Brilliant. Yeah, it's absolutely fabulous. <laughs> and I think, yeah, that is one of the reasons I absolutely love it. Yeah. And I just like that it's so different. Yeah. You know, when you're working with it, you can do so many different things. It's fabulous. And it never says no. No, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, it's just, go on then. <laughs> go on then. Go on then. Put some <laughs> glue on me, why don't you? Shall I show you what I did on that first one when I were experimenting? <laughs> so... I'll put, I'll put one layer of paint. What knit adhesive would I need to cover my lampshade? So, when I bought the kit, there was, um, there is an adhesive panel in there that you'd stick it to when I bought the kit. But I'll tell you what I was thinking, or what I was thinking was either using, so, doing my, um, 
doing how we're going to get the rice paper, but then how we're going to cover it in my adhesive. So how are you going to use my collar gel? Hang it up, let it dry, so then the rice paper goes hard ah. because you've got your adhesive, yeah. and then use it just like that. That's yeah, what you I had go in mind. Straight to it, would you? No, but that that's what I had in my mind. That's what I wanted to do. I haven't tried it, so oh. I don't know if it would work. But in my head, that should work. Yeah, you've you've got to make that happen. Now. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, right. <laughs> We're all going to remember that. Yeah. now you said it. <laughs> that that's what I feel that it it should, it should work. Should do, yeah, yeah. Um, because yeah, it'd be hard. But al alternatively, if you were sticking, yeah, um, if you were sticking it to a lampshade that already exists, your collar gel will do that. Yeah. Or if you've got your mixed media glue from Stamperia, that's another cracker. They all use that. All the designers use the, the mixed media glue, to be honest. Um, and Because it's one of those that they can then protect your surface over. So there's loads of stuff you can do. Right, I'm now going to pop my adhesive on here, right? Now, this will be... Just bear with me. So, pop your adhesive on. Now, the thing is... With adhesive, obviously, um, you know, it, it's not really designed to, to be um, heated up and stuff. Mm -hmm. So you put that on and then we'll put paint over the top. Which paint shall I use? Let's use yellow for a change. Okay. So, squidge my paint out. And then I'm going to put the paint over the adhesive. So what I would I wanted to see if it'll crackle, because some adhesive will obviously crackle when oh, you do yeah, this. Yeah. yeah. So I was th I I just thought oh I wonder if it didn't. But what it did do was blister, and I really liked that. I'll see if it'll do now. Probably won't now because we're on telly. <laughs> but it really blistered, and I I really like the sort of blister. Can oh, you there see it, it goes. blistering? Yeah. Yeah. And I quite like that. So I didn't get a crackle, but I did get that, that extra texture. And actually, you can, because it is adhesive and it's sort of fighting, you can s scratch some of it off, and it looked quite cool. Remember, if you have got a petroleum jelly, you can do a layer of petroleum jelly, then a layer over the paint, on top with the paint, yeah. and scratch or heat it where the petroleum... But I couldn't find my petroleum jelly. Where the jelly is... Um, see that's can I get some off uh, where the jelly is then I was trying to find something to scrape it oh see see that's actually yeah that hasn't come away my other one at home came away but that one's all normal oh I can scratch it a little bit with my nail there we go I knew where to scratch it you see you have to be a bit rough with it yeah. but where your glue is in parts it means because obviously it's not drying as well as so it allows you to scratch it off a bit. Yeah. So it does let me you can create some really cool layers. However, yeah, if you use petroleum jelly, um, those layers, if you use a bit of, um, I keep wanting to say the brand, yeah. the PJ instead of, oh, no, oh that's nearly saying <laughs> dodgy, didn't it? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Peanut jam, Leonie, peanut jam. <laughs> Don't use peanut jam. I'm going to stop talking <laughs> because whatever I say, it's just sounding weirder and weirder. Just to change the subject briefly, yes, I'm just going darling. to remind you that the, uh, you. That the paints are uh, still around, uh, by the way, just in case you've just joined us recently and you thought, oh, this is all well and good, but she's using the paints again and they sold out a long time ago. Uh, they are back in stock right now. They're going out for you on extended on the 6th of March. Uh, we've literally had to beg, steal and borrow and a quarter of the extended 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 stock <laughs> has already sold out and gone remember you get all six of those colors as well 16 pounds and 94 pence and and just as a, a footnote to that as well Leonie mentioned earlier um, that she's trying to sort out that for future Stamperia shows that um, more paints add to that collection as well. So these are the paints that go with these collections beautifully hopefully in the future we do new collections and new paints to go with those that will be part of this range as well. It works out at £2.82 per pot, which is ridiculously too low. That's no so wonder good. they've sold out so many times in a That's row. That's so good. And it's just such a good colour combo as well. It's just fabulous. OK, let's get... Oh, now, do I want to put my magnet other side? Let's put my magnet the other side just in case. So I'm going to pop my magnet here. Because I'm thinking it does need to stick, Leone, remember. I'm going to pop it on. I'm then going to pop sticky tape there as well. And then 
I'm going to take that off. Do you know, I used to be so good at this, <laughs> taking the, the end, but for some reason, it's just not been, um, it's not been something. Oh, this is very... Sorry, folks. Nothing to do with the abuse that you were giving your nails just a minute ago, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I show you a mould in the meantime while you're having a little Thank wrestling you. match That's there? That's a good uh, idea. This is really, really popular as well. These are silicon moulds as well. They are so, so cool. I mean, look at the depth of them as well. Uh, they are just so brilliant. Um, get your, um, your resin in there, of course, your air drying clay, your polymer clay. I think wax as well. I think have a little play, have a little experiment as well, because it's silicon, remember. You know, when you buy silicon for the kitchen, it can withstand almost anything. It's almost indispensable, uh, indestructible, isn't it? And indispensable. Um, mm -hmm. Well, that's not a bad idea, actually. Yes, we could try, we could try a potentially uh, um, a little bit of soap making, I suppose, couldn't it? Yeah, that would be well, quite nice be cool. to come out as a mould. Mm, yeah. Well, why not? Give it a try. Try everything once in life and uh, and twice if you like it, don't they say? <laughs> oh one five four five one is your item number, and it's twelve pounds and ninety nine pence. It's not the only mould that's on the show, so have a look on the website. Right? Have you, have you managed to win? Got that. Is so that the the magnets under there. I've put that. That's from Sir Vagabond. Okay, so that's under there. That's there now. So building this up, I want to pop that on. That is a little bit long. You could have it so it looped round. It's stone paper. I'm gonna cut it off because um, because I don't want it looping round. So all I'm gonna do is chop that off about here. Okay. So chop that off about there. Oh, I've gone into my stone paper, but that's okay. I want to try and rush this a little bit just because of time. Um, so, more... Oh, I don't want to do any more tape. Right, let's... <laughs> <laughs> the tape, the tape is now. We've only got just, an hour. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to stick to my glue. It is extra strong. It just needs a bit more drying time. That's all. I want to pop a little bit of lace on there because, oh, because I wanted to. It's not. I'm going to cut it down properly after. Okay. I'm going to keep it longer for the second whilst it's drying just because of time. So pop that there. This is then going to go over the top. And I can put a fair bit of adhesive on there because it needs a fair bit of adhesive because obviously it's nice and crinkly. So that's going to go over the top. That lace will be cut down and I'm going to squidge that. Obviously, um, stenciling, you can stencil on your stone paper. I've used the... Um, cream paste for stenciling because your cream paste is really really uh, flexible so it means when you use it on your stone paper it's going to be absolutely fine look at that that mold look at it painted wow doesn't that look yeah. amazing yeah. and this you see on here is going to give you the weight so it'll look absolutely, I love that. I think it's absolutely stunning. That's one out of your one day special, beautiful. I mean, just beautiful. And I, I thought, yeah, I want that because I wanted it to break this up, you know, and a panel breaks that up gorgeously. Yeah. Doesn't it just? You know, oh, you use the um, stencil on the stone paper to yes. add a texture with paste and whatever. Could you do the converse with that as well? I was watching Karen earlier, uh, and she was using a stencil to emboss. Could, no, would that work on I the stone paper? I don't think it would hold an emboss. I right, don't okay. think so. I, I, I haven't put it through an emboss. Do you think machine. if you wet it quite a bit? And, and then tried I'm going to right. say no. Right, okay. I'm going to say no. Yeah. But I don't know. I'd have to have a little go with yeah. that. I mean, if you run it through an embossing folder, yeah. then I don't, I don't know if it would hold it. I mean, it holds, maybe if you heat it. Yeah. Because obviously it holds its shape and it holds it if you crinkle it. Yeah. So maybe if you put it through an embossing folder and it have good pressure, yeah. then maybe. I mean, you could always do that and then sort of fill in. You would know, you both, like sometimes you? You, you fill in sort of a... A bit to um, oh, on the back side to hold to make yeah. it hold the, the the shape, if you will. Like yeah. that's if you were using it with metal. Yeah. So you could do that kind of technique with it. But yeah, I'd have to I'd have to have a play with that to be dead honest. Now I'm thinking because what I want to do, I'm going to move this because I want this to come round. Okay. So where my mould is going, I want that to cut round like this. Do you see what I mean? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm yeah. going to have a fancy corner, <clears throat> fancy, like this. I'm going to bring my lace round. So I'm glad I didn't use... 
Uh, I'm glad I didn't use my um, tape now because I changed my mind. Mm -hmm. This is a good thing about using wet adhesive yeah. that you know it's going to stick eventually, but initially you've got a little bit of time. Yeah, that, that mould is ridiculous. Look at it. That is beautiful. It's brilliant. Um, it's I just beautiful. need to give you an update on that mould, actually. 80% um, of the stock of that mould has gone. Remember, it's not just the one there. I mean, if it were just that one for that 12 99 you'd be well chuffed, wouldn't you? But you get all the cogs there as well. You get some other elements um, that you'll just use again and again and again. So you've got a good range of massive medium and the little tiny ones as well so you can really go to town with those 80 percent sold out though so do be quick and check out on that one if you want it um gel medium i'm absolutely using gel medium for this because gel medium is one of your best adhesives and for holding something like that down that will absolutely work so popping that down now stone paper is also good for um embellishments so if you want uh, something to have more you know um more it's so you want it sturdier you want it have it um so it's got a little bit more life to it yeah. your stone paper is brilliant for that wow, so it's great for all your embellishments i mean i've done this but i'm not quite sure where i want to put it that's my i might put it there like that Oh, joy. So, pop in, and again, gel medium. I'm putting a fur water gel medium under there because I want that movement. Oh, beautiful. I love it when it comes together like that. Happy Stone days. Stone paper's so good at holding its Honestly. shape. As soon as you change the mm. shape, it just stays, doesn't Isn't it? it? Maybe good. that's why it's called stone paper. Yeah, yeah. It's so <laughs> good. It's so good. Look at that now. Isn't that beautiful? Love now, it. that's... And, in, and then inside. So remember, we've got our magnet. So the magnet's going to come down. We need the other magnet, which is obviously stuck to my craft knife. <laughs> so, of course it is. So your little magnet. Now, the way to put this on, get your adhesive. Oh, no, oh, not round again. Two. <laughs> <laughs> get something ready to talk about, Derek. <laughs> <laughs> we could be here sometime. <laughs> um, I'm popping the adhesive there for a second because I need to make sure there. That's where my magnet is yeah. and that's the way it needs to sit. Right, yes. Do it like that. And then, going to pop that down, get hold of the adhesive and then I've got my magnet in place. Okay. So that will give me the lovely magnet. Uh -huh. Come on, don't. <laughs> I've got this. I haven't got this. Oh, for goodness <laughs> sake. It, it's because there's no reasons. No. There's no reason. No. It's, oh, yes. Good. I'm really glad. I haven't sworn once. <laughs> <laughs> OK. So I wanted, because I've um, had a lovely time decorating my stone paper, I probably don't need another layer there, but I really like it. So I'm going to pop another layer there, just because, look, when you, hold, when you shut it, you still see that. Oh, and I just love it. So I'm having another layer there. Yeah, so it. I'm going to chop that down. I mean, I was tempted. Oh, I love it. This wasn't the thing I was going to demonstrate for the full hour, <laughs> but it's now become the thing, hasn't it? It's all right. Sorry, folks. No, it's good. But I have had a lovely time. We're loving it. So, and actually, that there. tablet cases, you know, like the generic ones that you go oh, out yeah. and buy, which everyone does, because oh, I need to protect it, so I'll keep it in this. Uh -huh. And they're always pretty unattractive, aren't they? Yeah. Pretty... Imagine making these to sell. Oh, you know, yeah. I mean, you could every time it would be different. And because yeah. this is great for blokes and for women, yeah. you could literally, I mean, you could make these every time they'd be different. It yeah. looks so cool. These are amazing. These are your beautiful transparencies. I can't remember which kit they come in. It's one of your Sir Vagabonds. I love these. If you haven't bought these yet, you need these in your life. I mean... Oh, I love them. Look at how many you're getting. You're getting tons of these. And they're just so cool. Look at the wings. Oh, You've got wow. all the wonderful cogs. And on stuff like this, because even on your paper, it just adds another dimension. Yeah. I love these. I it's, love... Almost like, um, it's almost like celluloid looking, isn't it? Yeah. Like film strip. Look at him. Mr. Oh. See, I could have him popping out my oh, bag. That's, he's he's got to go in there. <gasps> He's he got to go in good. there, hasn't he? He looks so look good. Look at that. Okay. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Oh, my well, gosh. Well, cancel all the other shows. <laughs> That's it. We're, we're in for the night. It's, um, he's going in there. Um, okay, to glue this down, <sighs> what you would do oh, oh. is... Um, done that look cool. Love I'm going to use my gel medium, actually. It is clear. Yeah. I'd normally use... Um, 
It's something like your glossy accents. Yeah. But I should imagine my gel medium will be absolutely fine. Oh, my word. I can't believe, like, in the whole of the last 24 hours since we launched at, what, 6 o'clock last night, ah! I haven't even seen oh this. Oh, my God. And do you right. know what? The top hat. I'm not not using it. That's going there. Have you have you got Emily? Have you got a picture of all of of all of the bits that you get in that? Because <laughs> oh, do we get rice papers in that as well? Yes. Oh, hello, rice right, and, so two... and that's the rice paper I've used in this project, isn't ah, it? Ah, that's the one we were looking mm -hmm. for. Right. Okay. So brilliant. So we've just uh, two birds with one stone. There, we've just done it. Uh, right. Nine one four six four four. Be quick because uh, as soon uh, as soon as Leonie got the first one out there, mm. um, people started checking out on this. So um, again, now this is going to be really really busy. I haven't seen this. I don't know about you. I don't know how many shows you've been watching in the last uh, twenty four hours of the one day special. I, this is the first time I've seen these, and I just think they are genius. Mm. I thought oh, Leonie was going to say it was from one big sheet of uh, acetate, and she'd made it and stamped and this that and the other and blah blah blah. And then I realised. No, we don't have stamps for that. So yeah. how has she done that? No, they're ready-made as well with two um, of your A3 rice papers as well. OK, get those checked out as quickly as you can because there's a bit of a rush on on those just yeah. to let you know. And what I love about these shows, and this is why Stamperia are so cool. Like, how many hours have we had? And I've said this before, there's never enough hours because no. the products, you can do so much with the products. I mean, one thing we could absolutely do is just simple cards. Yep. You know, yep. but it's it's just there's so much. Now, I know there's a massive blob, blob of adhesive, but that's OK, because I'm going to pop that there, so it doesn't matter. So my absolutely massive blob of adhesive can be handled. I don't know if my magnet's going to work. I'm not going to lie. I was just going to ask. Yeah, I think, I think the I, magnet I've might now, have... Uh... I've got that carried away Mind with you, my layers. Why do they good, those magnets? It might still, you know, it might it still might, be enough to... It might, but do you know what I would have been better doing? Putting the magnet under one of these layers, which was my initial intention, but then I, I did get carried away. Well, you could always... I guess you could always get a, a, another one and, and stick it under yeah. a cog, couldn't you? You could. You could put... I mean, you could put... Um, oh, all sorts of fastenings. To be fair, I mean, that... Um, that um, the mold. mold is yeah, that heavy? Is weighty enough. You're not going to need We're a fastener, okay? And actually, oh. to be honest with you, um, wh what are we going to sacrifice? The function of the magnet or the beauty of the piece? <laughs> We're having this, aren't exactly. We? Absolutely. Exactly. I love this. Right, love the mold this. is now limited stock. Um, not surprised at all. Or buying it, everything's going bonkers now. Um, and it's so like this is the last 19. No, it's not even that, is it? It's the last 14, <laughs> nearly 13 minutes. The last live 13 minutes of the Stamperia uh, shows in this 24 hours. So everyone's now playing catch up um, and checking out all sorts. Because where it might have been just the one day special that you were having, now it's the moulds. Now it's the. Um, now it's the. Transparencies? Um, yes, the transparencies. And mm. now it's the stone paper as well. Like, it's all going crazy. And the paints are there, remember, again. So if you did miss out on the paints when they've sold out before, get those in your basket now as well, because they are whizzing out of the door. Oh, I'm loving this hour. Come on, love I it. love it. Um, OK, last technique, last technique. Um, so, I, I mean, look how beautiful that is. Perfect. Oh, my gosh, I'm so pleased. And I'm going to trim that off. I'm actually going to use this. I'm, I'm going to use... OK, the paints. So I'm just getting my sponge, popping it in my paint, and then just gently edging. Um, and it's that gorgeous sort of rusty orange, which is just amazing. So I'm just literally going around. How you could finish this then, if you use a wax or, um, you know, a, a beautiful, a beautiful wax over the top of this, a clear wax or a clear varnish, um, would look really, really cool. Mm. I do love this colour. I love this colour. I mean, that, that is such, you can get such good rust effects with these paints. Yeah. But obviously You've got your patinas there as well. What is that colour called, that one? I don't know. <laughs> um, Matone, mine oh, okay. says. Well, that, that's clear as mud. Uh, brick mine red. says Matone. Ah, ah, I hope I've been sent the same one as we've got in there. Ah. ah. Oh, that's a good... Yeah, good. mine definitely says Matone. But it might be the same. Oh, it's Matone then, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we just call it... Yeah. For some reason. Oh, there you go, Maton is brick. Yes, Maton is brick, right. There we go. Let's call it perfect Phew, for rust. I'm That's what that. it needs to be called, doesn't it, for yeah. the sake of this? Yeah. Perfect for rust. Perfect rust. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that sounds like ice cream. Maton. <laughs>
Oh, look, 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 look at that paint, a bit of that paint. Look how good that looks around the edge. So just open that up. I'm so happy. Oh, that's so um, nice, isn't and it? And then, uh, then just <laughs> popping round like this. Now, that mould, I am going to... Yeah, you could use buttons, you could use... And I've bought, like, the best buttons because I love buying things like that. Never used them. I bought them years and years ago because yeah. I don't even sew. But I've got <laughs> the most beautiful button that I can use. It's got paint there, but that's If you okay. had a nice coggy button... Yes, coggy. exactly. <laughs> you could make that with... Yeah, of course you could. Because we've got the, the beautiful... With the grey board ones, yes. Well, I'd actually use the moulds with resin. Because oh, you yeah, want yeah, it yeah, to be really heavyweight. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what I'd absolutely use. Yeah, yeah. I'm going round the edges here as well. And a fair bit of the paint. But I mean with the paint, it just it just gives it that that extra layer of interest and it brings all your colours together. So now just going round, whipping round all those beautiful colours. Merge together. Gosh, he, one of these hours he's must be amazing. for I'm you. So must be one of these hours must be really, really difficult because because you must be like right. Okay, I want to do this. Want to yeah, do this. Yeah, want to do yeah. this. Blah, 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 and like yeah. yeah. Well, I've got so. Okay, I've had a. Re I have really. I've I've been quite chuffed this time because I have finished projects. Yeah. Because I that is one of my real pet hates that I don't get to finish projects. But because I've actually finished projects, I've been really happy with it. And I think, you know, there's nothing worse than seeing loads and loads of our finished stuff that you're dying <laughs> to do, but you just never get a chance. So this has made me very happy. And, and also it's nice because people can actually see just how beautiful things look when they're finished yeah. and how achievable it is. Yes. I mean, if I can do this from scratch, this was from scratch. This wasn't prepped. <laughs> this was just an idea in my head. So if I can do that from scratch whilst doing a one-day special, you can yep. absolutely do this at home. Yeah. You know, and I haven't sewn this. You can sew these. Yep. And seriously, what you can do with these are just phenomenal. That bit of paint, too much. Get your water brush. Remember, this has got adhesive on it. So that adhesive will help protect it. So if I scrub, and I was putting a bit of welly on that, but if you scrub it, it means that's one of the things with your, your adhesive layers, you know, it helps protect. Look, if I scratch that off, you can scratch it off because it's got adhesive on it. Yeah. That's why with your mixed media, your adhesives are really important and that's why your transparent um, gesso is important because you can put layers on it then it lets you layer. Okay, now, obviously that's all dry. Oh, he's so cool. <laughs> that's there, let me put that round. That'll all dry. I would have used a matte uh, gel medium but and that circle that circle is one from the uh, cogs but i really like that and then obviously when it's closed you've got that on the front oh, doesn't that just look i love it fabulous do, do you know what i want to do now i want to take all all the graphics well it's funny emily just took the graphics off the screen there because i was just <laughs> going to say let's take the graphics off the, off the screen let's open an auction and let's all bid against each other for that <laughs> what a work of genius isn't it that's it's brilliant. I'm actually keeping but yeah absolutely yeah there's no way that's leaving <laughs> this building I'm let me sure. tell you um it's brilliant <laughs> Don't forget, you've got those um, clear die cuts there on the details, which are going bonkers. I'm not surprised. You get your two A3 rice papers um, with that one as well. I can see why that's absolutely running out of the door. Because you used just, what, one, two, three, I think, of those, and there yeah. are oodles and in there. And not even, not even a full, that isn't even a full sheet of rice paper. No. Not even no. close. Uh-uh. No, because yeah, yeah. they're A3. You've got loads left on that. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. There okay, is. Um, let's show you the paints again as well because they are hanging on in there after selling out three times in a row. <laughs> um, they are on extended um, de delivery going out for you on the 6th of March, but well worth waiting for. And included is that Matone, which means brick. But they give them lovely Italian names, which is beautiful. Uh, so nice variety of colours there. Ridiculous price. It works out something like two pounds eighty something each. Ridiculous. Six double eight two two seven is your item number. Get that into your basket as well. Sixteen pounds and ninety four pence. Right. Quick look at the one day special. Then it will be a quick look at the one day special because. <laughs>
as always with Leonia, and now it hasn't gone uh, to plan. But that doesn't matter because we've had the most amazing time. So your one day special is your 12 by 12 papers and your 8 by 8s and that big, big set of stamps. Rather than going through all the papers as well, I'm just going to show you um, the stamps stamped out because they are, I mean, this is real size. So Leonia's just stamped these out onto a white card there. They are stunning. I mean, just look at the size of her with all the cogs in her hair and everything else. She's so graceful, isn't she? Yet so funky. And you can add so much more to that. Um, it's brilliant. I love it. Um, it is available. The lady stamp is available on its own. You can see on the details down there as well. So if you want just the stamp on its own at 16.99, you can. But if you look at the value that you're getting in the 12 by 12 papers and the 8 by 8 papers, as well as that full stamp set for 30 pounds and 47 pence, it's one of those where you go, oh, actually, I better off with the one day special really aren't we but if you just want the lady you absolutely can um, so much variety in the papers as well it's so so busy across the board basically everything in this stamp area show everything they have available um, is proving really really busy right now I am not surprised uh, right the papers as well because if you want extras remember um, all of these 12 by 12s are incredibly beautiful but they're all double sided there are 10 designs and you get one of each so you will want another set there's no doubt about it. You will definitely want another set um, of those. So if you want that, details are at the bottom of the screen. So you get 10 of those for 11.99. Um, and there is just so much in there. You'll just go on and on and on with this forever. But you want one for looking at and one for actually using, um, eventually using. Do you know what I mean? Once you've stopped. Uh, what's the word? Ogling. <laughs> Ogling. You'd be ogling when you'd just be looking at it going, oh, how can I? How can I cut to this? And then one day you're going to have to say, right, that's it. Time to commit. Time to build a project like that um, iPad cover. Other yeah. tablets are available. Right. <laughs> what we got? We've well, you, oh, right. got four and a okay. half minutes. Okay. So <laughs> this is one of the ones I were going to do. So what this is for my jar, I've got, I've, these are all different moulds. I've started painting it. It's clay. I've started painting it. What you can do with your clay, and I'm obviously only going to show you a little bit, but on, the, on any of your moulds, you can literally just take out parts of it, which is really good for filler inner bits. So you can literally just take out a tiny little bit like so and then that is really handy for filling bits in on your um, you know on your jars but I've used I've used all the different cogs and things and this is lovely because it allows you to build up now I've gone on with the dark green but then watch I'm obviously not going to finish this so when you get your dark green you can be quite now this isn't the air dry clay this is um, a heavier one which is why I'm being really rough with it it's more of um, a porcelain air dry mm -hmm. is this one so I wouldn't be this rough with air dry but I'm really rushing now so once that's dry, you then bring on, and I would wait for it to dry. Otherwise, you're just going to end up um, you're just going to end up layering colours rather than being able to do what I'm doing. Oh look! But look how much, look how it pops. I mean, oh, is that not just? Is that the fabulous? matoni back in? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's and that's our Tony. Our Tony. Our Tony back in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You would get in. I mean, there's loads of white bits. This, please, obviously, I am very much rushing this. Look at the little train at the front. Oh. How cute oh. is it? <laughs> at first, you don't see it. But then, when you start bringing them out, and I mean, look at the Discover. I really, yeah. really, really love that. So, that's what I were going to do there. Okay, and the Dream Big. See, and I love that. That's part of the mould. That dream big is just oh, so gosh. cool. That's another hour all on its own, That's isn't it? That's another hour. One? That's another hour. But <laughs> the jar, I'll see how quickly I can cover a jar with rice paper, shall we? So this is why rice paper is cool. So I'm going to take my beautiful rice paper. I'm going to get my little jar. And this is the rice paper with that wonderful, um, two minutes, seahorse on it. Obviously, matches the one day special beautifully, which means all your cogs and things will work. Go round with um, a wet brush, which will. Oh, that's a stiff brush. I didn't clean that very well last time, did I? Actually, it's great for putting my adhesive on. Mm -hmm. So, just put my adhesive on there, like so. And then, a minute and a half, kid. You can do it. You can do it. I mean, I don't know if it'll fit. 
Might need another little piece. But take it round the jaw. Ooh, so Ooh, close. Ooh, nearly. So close yet so far. <laughs> it's okay, we'll pretend you can't see that side. <laughs> you can then, because it's rice paper, you just fold it underneath, which means you get that real look at that. I love rice paper. Look how good it is underneath. So you just nice. fold it round. And the lovely thing is with this, because it's rice paper, when you put lights in there, yeah. it'll shine. Yeah. You know, you'll see all the way around it. But then you can cut out some of your gorgeous embellishments um, from your one day special that will blend beautifully. All I do is put another little bit of rice paper. But what you could actually do is cut out one of your little bits of paper. I would. I'd use my cover from my one day special Ooh. i cut out this bit yeah on the cover and that's the bit i go up the jar yeah. and then obviously when i have painted that there had to be some i didn't finish when i've painted that put a lovely string around there and some shells dangling off it stick a light in there boom bob's your uncle i love it that's another I'd love option that if it were good. one day <laughs> wowzers 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 right when are you back Sunday, I've got a one-day special with All and Crates on Sunday. Yay! New Janet stuff. Bah, bah, bah. That's amazing. Right, 48 hours to reset Yay! then. Uh, check out your baskets. <laughs> right, coming up after the break then, we've got some fairy hugs going on. And then we are launching, as part of the All and Create weekend, a brand new one-day special with Tracy Evans will be here. Can't wait. William Morris is best known as the 19th century's most celebrated designer and a key figure in the arts and crafts movement. Join me on Hochanda where I will be bringing you a wide selection of printed fabrics from the archives of William Morris at fantastic prices. And I'm Hayley. And together we are the Dreamies. Dreamies have been around for 11 years now. We started with CD-ROMs. We've developed into stamps, paper pads, dyes. We've now got the Dinky Inkies range as well. So we've got so much to bring to you at Hachanda. We design everything in-house and we manufacture in the UK. We produce tutorials to inspire you to get the most from our products. On the Dreamy Shows, we hope to further inspire you with all the techniques and tips that we can offer, hopefully getting you to use all of your inks, your flower making techniques, and really build on all the skills you probably already have. Make sure you join us for the Dreamy Shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Bev. Hi, I'm Sam. And we're from Be Crafty. Be Crafty is a family-run company. Sam is my sister. And we love bringing brand new products to Hachanda. We manufacture and design all our own ranges of stamps, inkables, MDF, lots and lots of inspiration that we love to bring and share with you. If you tune in to Hachanda to join us, you'll see that mine and Bev's style are totally different. But what that does is it brings you lots of styles and techniques that you can include in your crafting too. Our ranges are increasing all the time with the lovely hand-drawn images that Sam and myself are trying to bring to you, plus the fantastic new designs that we like to bring in the inkables, in the dinkables and the MDF as well. So you can use them across all different sorts of crafts and bring the best we can to Hachanda too. So make sure you don't miss the Bee Crafty shows on, on Hachanda. Hachanda. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week using the Hochanda app on your Amazon Fire Stick for free? 
Just like your smartphone accesses an App Store to add new applications, your Amazon Fire Stick accesses the Amazon App Store to add new applications. By downloading the Hochanda app, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Simply turn on your TV and connect your Amazon Fire Stick. If this is your first time using the device, follow the on-screen instructions to connect to the internet and log into your Amazon account. Once set up, you'll need to open the search bar. To do so, simply use your remote circular directional dial to scroll to the search icon and select it. Now simply type Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. All you need to do now is select download and remember it's free. Once this is added to your Fire Stick, you can move the app for easy access. Press and hold your home button on any app and then select apps from the menu that appears. Scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the button with the three horizontal lines on your remote and select move to front. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognize businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we're honored to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Oh my goodness, how amazing are those finished samples? We're talking fairy hooks for the next hour. An amazing array of beautiful stamps that we're going to be sharing with you. We've got a fabulous guest alongside me. Julia, how are you doing? Hello, hi everybody. I'm fine, thank you. It's, it's lovely. It's a, actually, it's really lovely coming into the studio because this is the first time I've seen all the DT they're samples. Beautiful. And they're absolutely stunning. So thank you very much to the fairy hooks design team. Uh, they're just stunning. Now, fairy hooks is a new brand to myself. So can you tell okay. me a little bit about Right, so Fairy Hugs, uh, we had our first show on the 6th of October last year. Okay. Uh, they're based in the States, um, so of course there's an extended delivery, uh, and they're just a husband and wife team. And the, the, the Fairy Hugs brand and, and uh, sort of themes are born out of their children's love of everything magical and mystical. Aww. Oh, that's so sweet. So it's a lovely a little family-run business. Yeah. And the thing that I love is you've kind of got what I call component stamps. Yes. Because they're stamps that can build up, create yes. beautiful scenes, but they're also strong enough that they could just be used by themselves yeah, as well. Yeah, you can make a really quick and simple card if you want to, or you can actually, like you say, blend lots of different elements and uh, and create a big scene. Um, I mean, people will now have, st I mean, I know that they get becoming very popular. Yes. They will have started to collect some of the stamps. And, and you know some of the stamps on the samples are actually here today but they will they have been bought uh, beforehand so you can really kind of uh, extend your collection uh, if you're looking for any inspiration do go to the fairy hug store facebook group okay. that's what it's called and the dt they do post loads and loads of inspiration there as well so it's always worth having a look there and i know you guys have been busy with previous stamps that you've bought and as julia said there you may well have designs that you've been working with so share them with us let us see mm. what you've been up yes. to studio at just need to mention to you as well as julia said american 
company, so we have got extended delivery. We're only looking at the 3rd of March, though, so that will be here before we know it. But this set, I think this is a beautiful set. I love that little cascading waterfall. Mm, I mean, that's yes. such a useful design. Yes, yeah, so if you've got uh, the stone wall, uh, that we, I think we've bought that one recently, then you can use that one alongside it if you want to. Uh, obviously, we've got the crane there with it. Um, and, and like you say, extending the designer, mm, if you yeah, want to. Yeah, that's actually a stencil, one of the clever, fairy hot yeah. stencils there in the background, which we will be bringing back to you next month. And all these little components that you can mm -hmm. see obviously are available. Yep. Um, you've got the little frogs and obviously you've got the crane featuring within the and show. And the little dancing and the mushrooms. And the dancing mushrooms, I'll yeah. show you those a little bit later. Yeah. I love the title, dancing mushrooms. Mm. Adorable. But again, a simple card there. Yeah, yeah. Using that gorgeous kind of starry swirl, which we've yeah. got as well. Yes, yes. Yeah. So Isn't that beautiful? It can be as simple or as, as complicated as you like. I think sometimes we can we can overthink the yes, stamps yeah. and uh, there's definitely elements on the show to, to, to really get you going, to get you definitely. started. I love this one as well there because doesn't it look different when it's actually stamped out and it looks kind of like stonework style yes, with, the, yes. with the browns in there. Yeah, and a little bit of glitter, glitter to make the, the water glisten. Very, very effective. I mean, this is going to be a lovely one for any water-themed yes. project, isn't yeah. it? Whether it's yeah. as simple as you're making a card for, a, I don't know, a fisherman using other stamps that you've got, that elements of moving water I think is beautiful and I love the way that the design has been created using the, the papers that you've got there where you kind of got that water flow coming through mm -hmm. absolutely beautiful now 14.99 is the price for these three stamps lots of you adding them into your baskets already which I am pleased about because I think you're gonna love them when you get them home so 376212 as I mentioned you've got your individual elements so you can see your heron there you can see that wonderful cascading waterfall there it's kind of a peaceful image just to start with. I just love sitting by moving mm. water it's mm. beautiful and then a little mini frog there, absolutely adorable. Now, if you want to get hold of these, the 376212. Now, we've got more to share with you. Do urge you to jump ahead and have a look on the website as well, because there's lots of different stamps that you might want to add into your basket. Many of them we've got little groups, but of course, you might find individuals as well on the website. But this is a lovely one. Love this one. The beautiful fairy and the fireflies as well. First of all, when I saw these, I thought, oh, bumblebees, but they're not the little fireflies. They're little fireflies. And, and I did a Facebook Live earlier today, and I did say that they're all the same, but they're not. They're actually all different. I had a really good look after the Facebook Live. And, uh, yeah, the wings are all different on them. So uh, if you're stamping them, you can, you can multi-stamp the same yes. one if you want them to be the same. But if you don't really mind... Just to stamp them more separately, and you've got the happy moon there. It is a really uh, happy and, face. And the fairy's called Takara, and Aww. so she could be um, kind of holding the, the, you know, holding her arms up, and the fireflies could be flowing yes, to her, or yeah. they could be flowing away from her. You know, she's just let them go. Um, there is actually a little stamp called Flamo, I think he's called. This is a little baby fairy <laughs> uh, who we've not bought back, bought to you yet, and uh, she's meant to be catching him. Oh, but obviously, I see. it's it's. In, in whatever hands, eyes yeah. you, you think you'd be catching anything, the, the stir, uh, starburst will go very well with it Definitely. as well. Definitely. Now, I'm just going to mention, some of you, if you are shopping online, you may well have um, noticed on the website, it's mentioning the 12th of March. Um, it's incorrect. I don't know who put that information on there, but they're going to be severely reprimanded. No, they're not. <laughs> We're amending it um, to the 3rd. So it is the 3rd, so don't worry too much about that. They're not going to be too long coming to you. But again, the moon, I Look love it. That. It's a very contented little face on that yes, moon. Yes, and that's a very serene scene, that one, isn't it? With, yeah. the, with the little swan and the waterfall as well. Beautiful. Again, making use of that first stamp set that we saw. Again, the swan's making another appearance here. Yeah. And a again, bit, bit really white pretty. Embossing. Very, very effective. Love it. And there's the moon actually decoupaged on this occasion with little Oliver that we're mm. going to be uh, introducing you yes. to a little bit later on. And the log. Yes, we've got that one as well coming up. Um, the moon, again, I mean, perfect if you're wanting to use it with anything metallic. That's Look really lovely. That. Actually, I was watching Kay from Indigo Blue yesterday and she was working with her luscious powders, creating a starry night background with that? the luscious the powders. Yeah. So that would be perfect on there as well. The little envelope as well. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Love that idea to that this one, I think this is a really clever idea. I'm going to bring it in. I'm going to actually put it um, uh, landscape for you because yeah. uh, it's easy for you to see. But I love, you kind of got the swirl there and it's almost like a watermark swirl that yes. you've got. We have got that stamp coming up. And then you've got the little fireflies and I love that. And it's, it's like their trail. trail. Yes, yeah. So you could use that with bumblebees too, yes. you know, yeah. um, or butterflies, yeah. anything you like. But that's very clever. 
Love that idea. Um, another one here using the little fireflies <laughs> but in a little jar there. Ah, yeah, Aww. have a look at your dies and see what, what you've got and what you can use with Definitely. them. Definitely. Yeah. Absolutely adorable. Lots more finished samples to share with you, but for the time being, just going to give you those details. 094196 if you fancy getting hold of them. Lovely little trio there, but of course I introduced you briefly to Oliver. So let's give you that formal introduction. Oliver comes in a lovely set again. You've got three stamps coming together. Not only have you got your fabulous Oliver, as you can see but you've also got your two two trunks and you've also got a very pretty little corner with that kind of ivy leaf mm. there's a lot of detail in this stuff yes there is that's, that's, that's gonna be great for framing your work yes yeah it's always nice to have a bit of foliage to frame your work definitely um, Oliver could be uh, standing on the trunks with the trunk stood up or yes, having them point, on their side yeah. um, also the gnomes that are coming up will be great on the tr that's trunks a good idea, as well yeah. Yeah, and uh, like you say, the trunk, when you actually cut it out, I mean, this is a really clever use of it because it's been used here to actually create a little frame, a little wooden yes, frame. That, that is very clever. That's lovely. A little Oliver sitting there with that foliage behind him. Um, again, changing out the design. There you go. You can see Oliver sitting on that tree trunk there. And again, I love this one. I don't know who's created this one, but they've really captured Oliver's eyes with that little hint of yellow there. Yeah. And again, we've got some beautiful papers coming up as well, which we're going to... Well, I say papers, they're bordering on card, yes, really. But are. again, Looking and they all pre, they're all they pre-printed with this they are. kind of yeah. moon star. Yeah. Brand new to us today. We're going to pop the details up at the bottom of the screen. They're very Look affordable. Look at the colours on oh, that. Oh, wow. Tremendous, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Love this. And, of course, Oliver featuring in many of these. We've got other stamps coming up as well, featuring the, uh, the little owls in flight as well. Yeah. But there you go. And Again, the tree stump. And the tree stump, yes, of course, we've got that one coming up as well. Now, this is a clever idea as well, where a little area um, and uh, has been kind of masked, uh, well, no, a large area has been mm. masked to reveal the thin area. That's very clever, um, that's yeah. very clever. And those trees, you might recognise those trees from uh, Leone's One Day Special that she did at the oh, end I of see. January. Oh, right. So it all mixes and matches. Certainly does. And at £20.99, pence, a lovely set to go for. 500992 if you fancy getting hold of this one. Do pop it into your basket. But as we always say, you need to check those baskets out to make sure that they are on their way to you. Now... This next one is beautiful. You've got the owl in flight within this particular one, but you've also got that fabulous tree. This tree stamp, Julia, is going to be so, so useful. And I love the way you've kind of got that centrepiece of the tree that you could have something sitting in there. That, that, that's just the, the, the small moon of the, of the two moons, uh, the full moons, actually uh, will sit inside that. Oh, okay. uh, that's what it's designed for. That's why it's called the moon tree. But yes, absolutely, you can sit other things in, the, in it if you want to. Um, but yeah, and also some of the cards are using the some of the branches as foliage, and, and the whole tree isn't being used. So, yeah, it's a very very versatile stamp. Gorgeous, you can see there. It's almost like it's holding and hugging. Them yeah, in there. yeah. Beautiful, but of course, it's a nice one for you to build up a scene with the little um, gnomes coming along. A little that's uh, clever, isn't it? I Using the, the yeah. stone pedestal as a fire pit. Now, this little stone pedestal that's coming up in a little while does look like it's having a bit of a barbecue. It does, <laughs> yeah. It's a bit chilly, is that horror? <laughs> and again, those fabulous papers making an appearance there. Love this as well, where the stamps kind of been used in different yes. ways. Yes. Yeah, it almost looks like you've got lots of different stamps. And in look, there. the star starburst there is, oh, is yes. in the. Um, just in the middle yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. That's interesting, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, very effective. Love it. Again, silhouettes. I mean, I love silhouettes, especially when you've got a pretty background. Mm. But again, incorporating the little fairies. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. I love that background. It's isn't really it gorgeous. Pretty. Nice restful co um, colours with those. Um, you can see at the bottom of the screen there, if you'd like to get in touch to ask any questions or perhaps you've got images that you'd like to share with us, the details are there. You can either post them onto our Facebook page and we'll pick them up from there or drop us a line at studio at chanda.com if you're wanting to get in touch. Julia's got a couple of shows with us today. So we've got this show obviously um, at five o'clock, but then she's going to be back again later on at nine o'clock. So um, Ben... Bit of a bonus, I've been for two shows. Now, the little hedgehogs, oh my goodness, these are so adorable. And I love this because you've kind of got a little family. Mm. Um, and it comes again as a set. This is where you get your dancing mushrooms. This is your little, <laughs> mini, these are the mini dancing mushrooms. We've got uh, a bigger set as well, um, which you bought previously. Uh, and then you've got the tree stump. So obviously the big hedgehog will look perfect sitting on the tree stump, as will the gnomes, as will Azalea. You know, uh, Malia can be lean on it as well yes. there's lots and lots of different ways of using it as Adorable. you can see there, the these. samples 
But oh, oh, it looks like the little st all the little hedgehogs are sitting around yeah, waiting I, for stories to I start. Think, yeah, she's either telling a story or she's <laughs> being like a Peter Pan and uh, and getting all the hedgehogs <laughs> in. <laughs> now, the foliage that we saw on that card was that from that stamp that we saw earlier on the the ivy. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Look, the little hedgehogs in the tree there. Oh look! <laughs> and that was having a drink. And the frog's saying, get out of my pedestal, you. You're in my pedestal. <laughs> Off you go. <laughs> Love it. And again, we saw this one, I think, on the finished sample yes, video that did, we saw yeah. at the top there. Again, yeah. the larger mushrooms featuring. But again, they work really, really well alongside those stamps. These ones, we've got all sorts um, going on here. I love the branch at the top there with the fairy sitting there. And then down below, obviously, the little stories that you could create with these. Yeah. Absolutely well, loads of That's got some of, of work with the, the stamps we've had on previously. But, ah. Yeah, but people will have those. Beautiful, and there you and go. And look at the, 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 at the top, that's the, your moon tree branches oh, at the top. Oh, yes, yeah. of course. We bought the fur yeah, leaves beforehand, yeah. yeah, and that's one of the um, uh, backing papers that we've got on the show that's mm -hmm. been used. Absolutely beautiful now. Of course, this gorgeous backdrop that you can see here, this is detailing those fabulous papers that we were talking about. I will introduce you to them to them in a few moments, but they really do make light work of creating a beautiful card because they are the right size to create these kind of slim size DL style cards um, and uh, just easily done. Mm, That's yeah, the thing. They are. Very you effective. know, if you don't know where to go with your stamps, yeah. get one of those out and just because the acetate is all printed on as well, so you can oh, pull the acetate off your stamps and sort of mess around with them how yeah. to look see how you want them clever idea love it there you go so if you fancy getting hold of that set then there you go details on your screen 14 pounds and 99 pence now we've got a couple of options with regards to the next one now we've got a couple of different elements we'll start off with the biggest saving because let's face it that's what we're most interested in and if you're wanting to get the biggest saving and you're a freedom member then there you go the details are on your screen what you will get is all three of these stamps now they are available as a pairing and then as an individual but you won't get the saving that you're seeing on your screen and i think they just work so so well together a little azalea there she could be sitting in the tree sitting on a little tree stump if you wanted she could even be sitting on the stone pedestal if she wanted to <laughs> and then of course you've got all these different elements helping you build up the design build up the story again i love the positioning of this little stamp as well because you could be leaning on almost anything really, she could yeah she? yeah you've got the tree stump you've got the, uh, the pedestal she could be leaning on a stone wall she can be leaning on anything you like absolutely adorable and here she's leaning on the pedestal she's got the little frog for company Again, she could be listening to well, a little story, mm. it could be uh, all sorts of different things. And again, that lovely, lovely um, ivy coming that's through a, there. Not, actually, that's a different one. That's not oh, an ivy. It? But it could, yeah, it's a different one. Okay. But that could be an ivy. Quite easy. I love that backdrop. Beautiful again there. And again here, the little waterfall. I mean, that looks gorgeous there again, doesn't it? And yes. again, using it with other yes. things that you've got See, in your See, the stash. stamps are really well proportioned. So yes. you can actually sit, you know, obviously the this is a small fairy azalea. So you can sit her on things. You can sit her on the moon. You can sit her on, on toadstools and, yeah. and on the, the, the waterfall. Whereas obviously the big, bigger ones like uh, Malia, you yes. couldn't actually do that. Yeah, beautiful. Now, the details on your screen are for all three of those but of course if you jump onto the website you'll find them in their kind of separate sets the biggest saving though is with the trio 882141 but if you are wanting to split them up you can get hold of the two together or that larger stamp now the cardstock i must tell you about these you are loving these and these are beautiful um you're going to get 24 sheets in total now we're looking at them we've got eight designs in here 24 sheets so that's three repeats of each one julia three, three of each one yeah there's seven okay. that are vertical and one that's horizontal i love this now these are bordering on cardstock but have a look at these absolutely beautiful so of course we saw those gorgeous designs a few months ago slimline dl which of course you can use portrait or you can use landscape just to give you a little idea of how they kind of come together on the card there you can see how they're building up that backdrop ready for you to create with but you've got all sorts of different color tones and different landscapes featuring with these and you are getting three repeats of each of these ones that i'm sharing with you in a whole host of different colorways so you kind of got all the colorways for all eventualities whether it's daylight or night time really with these yes, ones. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, and lots of different colourways. Uh, you've, got, you've got beautiful teal colours, blues. Um, you've got somewhere the moon's at the top, somewhere it's part way down, somewhere the moon's slightly off. Um, so yeah, lots of variation. And it's like uh, if you get an A4 piece of, of card and fold it lengthways, so you've got a thin card, you just chop a little bit off to about nine and an eighth inches and you've got your standard card with That's your mat. So they measure clever. three and a half by eight and a half. That's what nice. they measure. 
nice size and you can see there when you start building up your stamps with these you really are going to get some absolutely incredible results time and time again of course because you've got your different colorways in there you can get different results and different looks i love them absolutely beautiful so 12 pounds and 99 pence incredibly affordable and incredibly popular as well so 050851 now something that you have seen before is the next item that i'm going to be sharing with you but that doesn't mean it's not proven to be popular it's proven to be very popular that gorgeous little swirl this is such a useful stamp to have in your stash not just when you're working with your fairy hug stamps but also with other things and i love that the setup it almost looks like she's blowing those little stars into a swirl mm, yeah They're gorgeous the, 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 the swirl is actually designed to work with her with the kissing perfect, fairy yes yeah, yeah. yeah perfect absolutely gorgeous 11.99 that's all that you're paying for this one um, and the little kissing fairy there very very good size so again proportionate so you can work it with all the other elements of course that's something that's very key to um, the fairy hooks and you can see there the little swirl there's turning that little frog into a prince <laughs> or a prince into a frog you don't know it could go both ways really couldn't it the moon's there uh, coming through but of course it could be bubbles that she's creating and blowing it could be a little dandelion clock it could just be that she's blowing a kiss whichever way you want to work with these you can get some lovely results 11.99584722 now i know somebody who would love a little kiss from a fairy those would be our gnomes that we've got here and you've got a lovely little collection these are so adorable I showed them to you obviously with many of those finished samples that we've just been looking at loads of different names they've got some fabulous little names harrow there we've got to tar tarwerp is it tar tarwerp and um yeah tor torbic torbic some brilliant names and i love the shoes i i'd love a pair of shoes like that <laughs> <laughs> and his little toadstool wheelbarrow as well absolutely beautiful um, and the and this is what i say about the the idea and the thought that's gone into the proportion of these it, i mean it becomes evident with these when you're looking at the finished samples because literally everything works so well together that's the key thing when you look at the little gnome that we've got on the card here you'll recognize the little wheelbarrow but then one of the little tiny hedgehogs is just the perfect size to sit in there and i'm sure you'll find other elements that will work alongside and again here you can see how you've got them going up the little log to um, the log that we were looking at earlier on which is almost that like little platform but again putting little elements in that wheelbarrow yeah. so all of those stamps are on today's show that is effective isn't it yeah Love yeah it. Perfect. Um, so if you fancy getting hold of those three, then just £10.99 is your price and 412181 is your item number. Now, something that's going to be very useful for this one, and it's been popular since its launch at 8 o'clock on Sunday morning, and that's our Heat Impossible um, Acetate. Look at the price that we've got here. £9.99. My goodness, that is a good price. They're A5 in size and you've got 50 of those sheets. There's a lot of uses with these. Um, you're saving a whopping great £30. This is one of those seven day savers that I always suggest you stock up on because we don't know when we will going to see them back again and we certainly don't know if it will be without saving. So 930 take, take advantage in your droves as I know many of you have been. Spread the word as well because I know lots of you take advantage of these when you come across the savings and then tell all your crafty friends. So the more the merrier. 930 if you fancy getting hold of those. Now Julia we're going to come over to you for your demonstration. Okay then. so we're going to oh, start look. we're going to start really 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 um simply to begin with uh, not really really simply but um kind of next level up from simple so we're going to start with um one of the uh, design sheets that there is on the show and uh, this is the only one that's um horizontal and i've had the kissing fairy on three shows now and do you know i this is the third show and i haven't used her yet in a demonstration so i thought right off we're going to put that Error yeah, straight. Right. We're going to put that right, absolutely. So although she's been seen twice, I haven't actually demonstrated her um, yet. Well, so, our viewers are loving her. Yes. She's fabulous. Yeah, I did, uh, this, this, this card that we're going to make is actually on my Facebook uh, cover. Sh uh, cover. Oh, okay. So, uh, I have, and I have been sharing this one um, to the Hochanda group as well. So, um, so that's probably why. So I'm going to have her. So she's part way over the moon. Mm-hmm. This is the thing about the stamping platform, you can have them exactly where you want them. And also, of course, if we make an error, we can go back in. Remember, they're silhouette stamps, and so they need to be inked with a really e inky ink pad. Okay. And I'm using a, a Nocturne Versafine Claire. Um, yeah, I'm using my newest one. 
It is an oil-based ink, but uh, it's very juicy and it gives you great detail. Sometimes with oil-based inks, though, the more ink you put on, the more you're taking off because you're just moving it around. So that's probably why um, you need to go more than once. And I'm very messy, very messy. Let me tidy that up. And so we'll go. And just give your ink a chance to actually um, bed in nicely. I mean, she just looks fantastic through the... Uh, through the stamping platform, really. Don't Beautiful rush it. Beautiful papers, though. Yeah, they really are. They're really good quality. Make sure it doesn't move. Oh. So I need to just put a little bit more on, as expected. It's not not wrong. It's just that she needs a, she needs work because she's nice and. With well, good solid areas good on there. Good solid areas, say, yeah. yeah, absolutely. You can, of course, stamp and emboss if you want to. Oh, yeah. Um, Versafine Clear will dry on these. Um, you can either heat set it or just leave it to dry. Um, but just be careful that if you're going to put glitters on or um, colour in that, you know, it's dry before you actually, you know, smudge it. There we go. Aww. I think there's a little bit there that I haven't pressed on properly. Give a little press. That's better. That's better. So beautiful. she's beautiful, isn't she? Absolutely gorgeous. And now we give her her stardust that she's meant to have. Again, I've had this on the show twice and I haven't used it because it's always been with the Kissing Fairy. And I think this little star, starry swirl, I mean, this is such a useful one. Yeah, it um, really is. Absolutely amazing. Again, it, it's just one that you'll use over and over again. And, and I should say that these are um, uh, really good quality photopolymer. I don't know if you can get into the detail that we've got there on that stamp. Oh, wow, yeah. Can you see how yeah. deep they are? Gosh, yes. So they're, they're, they're produced in America, but they are, um, uh, you know, like high quality photopolymer. And uh, they do say that they don't yellow. Obviously, I've not had mine for very long, so I can't guarantee that. But that, they do say they don't yellow, which is a really nice thing. Obviously, mine's black because of ink. <laughs> <laughs> so you couldn't really tell it. You'd, you'd be able to tell in the gaps. But, yes, they're very good quality. So don't, don't worry about, oh, I've not used these before. You know, I don't know whether I'm going to invest. Are they good quality? You know, they've not been around long. But, yeah, well, they are You know very what, though, but the price on your screen, they're 11 dollars I think that's not a lot to pay to try them out. If you are skeptic, um, skeptical at all, which you don't have any need to be, there's no. lots of people that have taken advantage of fairy hook stamps before uh, and been thrilled to bits with the, the results. But I think this is a nice, affordable way for you to try them. And I love that little swirl because at the moment you've got it kind of going out horizontally as if she's kissing and making those little swirls. But yep. I think stopping you rotating that and almost having it like it's coming out of a jar or yes. out of a, yes. a pot or something yeah, like that. It could be that. a magic potion of some yeah. sort, absolutely. Right, so I've made an error and not bought a block with me, so we're going to make do with the block that do I have got. Do you need one? Because we've got some have I've got you got, one in the presenter's lounge. That, have you got a block? That, um, yeah, if you go... My, my, my stash, I've got a show tomorrow morning, so all my stashes, just go and rifle through it. There's loads in there. Um, right. There's some clear um, blocks in there, so yeah. So we'll let that dry, large one, so we'll let that dry that for one. now, and then we'll, um, we'll, we'll, we'll stamp some corners okay. on it. Um, Shall I show everybody those papers just while you get... If you want yeah. to. Is that all right? Yeah, um, yeah that's fine. Uh, of course, Julie's just been working with one of these, but you are actually getting eight different ones and then three repeats of each of those. And these are beautiful, perfect backdrops, as Julie's just shown us, that you can use them very, very quickly and very easily. Rapidly approaching 40% of the stock has gone. So if you're wanting these, you need to be quick, and even more so if you are wanting them in multiples, which I've got a feeling many of you will do, because they are the perfect size. And as Julie said, you've got lots of verticals there, but you have got a horizontal, and that's the one that Julie's just been working with. So if you're wanting to recreate what Julia is working on, then you're going to need these ones. 050851. Powell has been e emailing. You're supposed to be having the afternoon off, love. She did um, say she'd be watching. <laughs> oh, she's loving that. She's loving everything that you're bringing. She's really enjoying the show. Oh, so, uh, thank you, my and lovely. And she loves watching, loves watching you um, create your cards. And I saw this on Facebook earlier on. Somebody was saying about how they love your, your demonstrations and the way you do your demonstrations. I'll be calm and informative. <laughs> calm even yeah. when I forget things. Uh, <laughs> Um, right. And uh, lots of love um, from the, to the whole team from a very locked down Paola, bless her. Oh, I miss my Paola. I haven't seen Aww. her for a few weeks. 
Um, so um, we're, we're kind of starting on another card now, and um, I'm just putting some faded jeans, which I have re-inked, although you wouldn't guess, uh, oxide, onto a piece of watercolour card. This is the Super Smooth um, watercolour card from Sentimentally Yours. Okay. And we're going to make a little border with the mini dancing mushrooms. <laughs> I love that dancing mushrooms. They're yeah. adorable. Yeah. I did. I have done this with the bigger ones before. So I have got one block, you see, but it's got not big enough. coming from everywhere. Um, Paula's emailed her back in to say she's got some acrylic blocks on her trolley as well. We've just got metal there. Oh, <laughs> it's so lovely to have the support. It really is. Right, so let's get a piece of paper out so I don't have to do too much cleaning up. I'll do a Phil Martin here. Okay, so faded jeans on the background. Then we've got our little mini dancing... Um, mushrooms and these are going to create a border at the bottom of the card but I want to give it dimension so I want to have um, different levels and I'm going to stick tape uh, tape on it as well okay. so we're going to start on this side I'm not worried too much about where I start because I'm going to be cutting it out anyway I'm loving that dancing mushrooms is available in a little trio so we're just going to bring those details up should you want to get hold of these um, and of course it's teamed up alongside oh I forgot what it was teamed up with was it the, the, the tree stump and the little hedgehogs, of course, yes. So you can actually nestle them in and create different levels. You see how I've done that? And then we can go back up higher here, like that. Wonderful. So we've got a different level there as well. So you carry on with your border, just slotting them in. So you've got this kind of arc here. Mm -hmm. So we can slot that in, kind of there like that. And so you carry on it's doing some, it all across. Somebody at the door. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you could hear that. But yeah. Doing it all across. And then when you cut them out, then you get yourself a little border like that. Oh, okay? that looks effective. Um, let me show you those stamps again. 30% of the stock has gone of these. So if you are wanting to get hold of them, this is the trio. The little dancing mushrooms, that's a useful one. I mean, Julie's covered a really good area using that one little stamp. And then, of course, you've got the different hedgehogs, different sizes there. And, of course, your tree stump as well, which is incredibly useful. So, uh, yeah, do uh, pop those ones into your basket and be quick. They're popular. Right, so we're going back to our previous one, because I've got a block now. Lovely. This would, it would have probably been the block I'd have used anyway, because it's Mr. M's. Oh, there you go. Yeah, so um, we've got the ivy co uh, corner here, and I'm going for a green Versafine Claire. This is Shady Lane. And we're just going to frame our piece of work. So this is so, so simple, because we've got the starting point with your beautiful paper, and all we're going to do now is frame it with the ivy. Make sure it's not going on her wing. Okay. Give it a good old press. Remember, we're not in the platform now. Because it's such a big um, piece of um, card yes. that we're working on, we can't really do this off the page yeah. uh, in the platform. Okay, okay. Um, just a bit of an update with regard to the Kissing Fairy and the Stardust. Rapidly approaching 40% of the stock. My goodness, details there. Um, 584722. It's such a pretty card, this. <laughs> such I was trying to do it quietly. I have mastered the silent sneeze here on the channel. <laughs> I got caught out then. Sorry. Uh, yeah, it's it, it, you know, it's such a it's they're such easy cards to create, but so pretty and elegant. I think. So we've got those the two corners there, and because we're going to make it into the four. I make a mess every single time on the block. That's a lovely little stamp, that one. I think that's so useful because if you've got any floral stamp or three-dimensional flowers, like your little die-cut flowers yeah. and things, I mean, that's going to really you, support. Yeah, you can use it in any of your projects. It's all, you can never have too many foliage. Now, I chose everything that's on this show uh, and, and because I failed miserably, I didn't actually put much foliage on. Um, so I think we've got more foliage on next month uh, when we're here. Yeah, um, it's you failed miserably. You failed miserably. You chose some brilliant Because I nice didn't stamps. put enough foliage on. Oh, you know, it. that's the thing. So, so all we do then is you need to wait for this to dry because you don't want to smudge it. Okay. Pop a little bit of um, quickie glue. Oh, on the wings. On the fairy's wings oh. and colour in her hair. And I've put a little bit of um, Sakura Stardust pen on the swirl. 
So if I kind of wiggle that for you, you can see that that's got a little bit of a, oh, a yes, shine to it as well. Yeah. And then I've popped a couple of the Clarity um, uh, Leone stickers on there because they go so well they with, do, with, with the they? theme. Yes, yeah. uh, and, that, and that's it. That is beautiful. That is just so, so simple to do. And you've shown us just how achievable it, it is, is as well, Julia. so Julie, easy, thank you. so easy. Just remember to get an acrylic block. There you go. Uh, <laughs> thank you. I'm going to let you get ready for your next Okie dokie. Um, yeah, we are busy. Lots of you have been taking advantage um, of the, all the different stamp sets we've been sharing with you. I'm going to do a little bit of a review. We're going to come back and see Julia in just a few moments. But we're starting back at the beginning with that fabulous little waterfall. This is beautiful because it is literally like a little fairy tale. In a little fairy tale forest, you could just imagine coming across this with all the little toadstools and everything. Thing. Um, so you've got the little waterfall as you can see there. You've also got the crane alongside and then the little tiny frog there all coming together as a little trio there. So 376212 is your item number on this one. £14.99. Of course, um, we are looking at an American company, so it is extended delivery with regards to these. So just to warn you, the 3rd of March um, with regards to these. So uh, yeah, and again, whether you are using one of those little um, stamps there just by itself there, as you can see, um, just being used there on its own, simple as, but then of course you've got your little swirl there um, with regards to um, the elements that you've got. Again, building up a scene with these, quite easy to do. Again, changing out the colours, giving it a beautiful little uh, look there. And again, just making it absolutely gorgeous, that whimsical, fairy-like feel that you've got. And then the crane again there, the crane alongside the waterfall in this particular set. And then finally, you've got your little frogs here, just watching from the sidelines, as you can see there. And I love this idea. Again, an extension of the waterfall there, using one of the stencils that we've seen from Fairy Hugs before. Um, you've got your three stamps in this one for just £14.99. 376212 is your item number if you are wanting this particular one. But how about your little uh, fire lights with this one? Uh, not your fire lights. Fly, fire, fireflies. Fireflies. Fire, fire lights. Fire lights are something completely different, aren't they? Um, so uh, you've, with this one, you've got a little trio. So here you go. You can see your little fireflies in the middle there. And of course, you've got your little fairy to the side there with her hands cupped. Um, hands cut there, so she's holding something. She could be holding anything though, couldn't she? So it could be that she's holding fireflies or she's blowing kisses or um, holding a little lantern. A whole host of different ways that you could be working with this one. This one's migrated, I think. That one has migrated. That's a, that's a little, where's that little gnome come from? Where's he appeared from? I don't, oh, happy moon. Happy moon. <laughs> That's where the happy moon's come. I was just trying to figure out where the little gnome had come across, but it's the happy moon that you've got in the sky there. Um, again, your little fairies there, as you can see there. Again, on this occasion, um, she's holding, well, it's almost like a little flower that she's got there amongst her hands. And again, there's little daisies coming through there. Fireflies, um, you can see here, you can uh, see them in the little jar there, die cut jars. Um, again, there almost caught in a little net and again just adding little elements from the other stamp sets that you've got with this one it's proven to be a very popular bundle rapidly approaching 40 percent of the stock so 094196 if you're wanting these and of course a lovely little metallic one there. i like that metallic one we'll come back to those in a little while now this is a nice set because this is where you're going to see oliver oliver the owl and a majestic stamp he is. It comes alongside um, a, well, two other stamp plates. So you've got four stamps in total in this particular set. So you've got Oliver, then you've got your two tree trunks. Now the tree trunks are nice because you can have them horizontal or vertical. So he could be almost perched on an upright log or it could be horizontal and he could be overlooking um, a scene or building them up as a frame. Now a quarter of the stock has gone of this one. Again, the ivy coming through, as you can see there is a backdrop. And again, here he's sitting on that log, but it looks like he's actually coming out of a tree. But have you recognised that little swirl again? Twenty ninety nine is going to get you these. Um, and again, I love this idea where he's sitting on the tree stump that we'll see in a little while. But again, it does come with the logs, so if you do want him sitting on the logs, then you can do. 500992. Absolutely adorable. Love it. Fabulous. Now, if you fancy getting hold of that one, then obviously the details were there on the screen. Uh, but the next one, I like this one. This is a useful one because obviously you've got the tree with that kind of little open area. It's almost like little hands creating that little area there, which is going to sit the smaller of your moons in there. But this one comes alongside the larger moon and also the little flying owl as well. Rapidly approaching a third of the stock has gone of this one. And again, those papers, those backdrop papers, I mean, they're doing half the work for you, aren't they? Look amazing. A little bit of a sparkle going on with this one with that embossing. The moons, again, it could be a double moon sky. I don't know if that exists. 
I was listening on the radio. They've landed on Mars, haven't they? It's all, all, I don't know how it happened. Well, I know how it happened. They kind of sent something up. 70, 70 days, I think they said it took for this thing, this little roving thing that's up there. It's a long time to go anywhere. And again, the tree coming through there, again, with the backdrop of those fabulous moon-like formations that you've got. But again, the stamps in this particular set, the tree, the moon, work so well alongside the other stamps that we've been looking at. So you can really build up your own kind of story, your own page. And again, here, the tree being used, obviously, as is at the bottom there, very much grounded, but then using it at the top there as well. So 105 829, if you fancy getting hold of that one, just £21.99. And the hedgehogs, oh my goodness. These ones are really popular. You've got your little trio, your little family of hedgehogs there, um, alongside the tree stump, and of course the dancing and mushrooms, which we can see that go back and see Julia with the dancing mushrooms, because of course she's creating that lovely little um, element that she uh, cut out earlier on. But again, building up the scene, using this tree that we saw. Rapidly approaching 40% of the stock has gone with this one. And again, building up the story, building up the design, using other things that we have got available for you and other things that you may already have in your stash as well. And this little pedestal is a useful one. That's coming up in a little while as well. Fabulous £14.99, pence 0886898 um, if you want to know. Now, we've been busy for this set, really busy. Now, we have got um, a fabulous price saving with this one because this one is a set of three stamps. So you can get all three of these together and as a freedom member, you are saving. Um, you've got the price coming right the way down to £17.98. But they are available as a little duo, these two together, and then obviously the fairy by herself. The biggest saving, though, um, is if you are going for them all together. And, of course, for being a freedom member, you get that additional saving as well. Um, and they're just beautiful. The pedestal, I think this is going to be such a useful one for you to work with because you can see they're building up a design so easily. And it could be a little pedestal. We've seen it also being a fire basket. We've seen it almost being like a little water fountain. Now, rapidly approaching 40% of the stock again with this one. Add a bit of sparkle, add a bit of interest. Or we'll just use it just as you can see. They're absolutely adorable. So if you wanted to get hold of these, and the details are there on your screen. Now the cardstock, which I've put down there, I need to pick back up again because I need to tell you about these. Um, these have been popular. You're going to get, there's eight variations, and you get three repeats of each of these, giving you 24 in total. Now £12.99 is your price. Now I keep calling them paper, but they're not. They're cardstock. I don't know the GSM of these. I mean, Julie, what would you say with these? They're at least 200. They're really, I mean, you can see the clickability, and that's kind of yeah. a sign, isn't it? Yeah. They're just standing up there quite easily. Um, really good bases, but rapidly approaching half. Now you have got seven, which are kind of your vertical scenes, and the one that Julia was working with is that one, which is your horizontal scene. And you're getting three repeats of each of those. So if you fancy going for a couple of sets, you can do. Each set's going to be twelve ninety nine. Good money spent, I think, especially when you are looking at the silhouettes that we've been chatting about here. So zero five zero eight five one, if you are wanting those. And then that gorgeous swirl, the little starry swirl, and the kissing fairy. This has been one of the most popular sets on the show. I'm not surprised. I mean, that price, how we're able to bring these to you at that price, I don't know. 11 99 you've got a really good size stamp there. And of course, that gorgeous little starry swirl that is so, so useful to have. Um, lots of you taking advantage of this one. They don't have to be used together. So here you can see the, the kissing fairy kissing a little frog. And, of course, the frog and the tree stump. We've got that one if you're wanting to get hold of those. The ivy again. You could be using the ivy to create your scene with this one. And, again, the backdrop that's jumped in. <laughs> Half the stock of this one has gone. Isn't that pretty? And, again, building up your scene. I love this idea. She could be blowing almost anything. She's blowing bubbles on this one. And I love this one, the use of those little kind of sparkles there. Absolutely adorable. 11 99 so affordable. Why not give it a go? Um, I certainly would for that price. Now, what else can I share with you? The gnomes, the little gnomes. I feel as if they need a little tune as they're going along. 412181, pounds is your price with this one. Again, very useful set. Love this little wheelbarrow. And it's just perfectly sized to fit all sorts of little goodies in there. And again, build up your scene with this one. So 412181, if you want in that one, £10.99. 
Now, seven day savers, this has proved to be a popular one. 50 sheets, A4 sheets. Now, this is your film. It's like your acetate, but it's heat impossible. And it's always a good idea to go for the ones that you can use your heat with because then you don't have any nasty accidents. 9.99, uh, 30 pound saving. And it's a useful one to have, isn't it, your heat embossable acetate, Julia? Yes, definitely. I only have heat embossed acetate uh, because then when I want heat embossed acetate, I'm not going to pick up the wrong one. So I know what I'm like. Um, so, yeah, I only have heat embossed acetate. And it's normally um, five, I think, uh, five, five pound odds, I think, for ten sheets. So th that's really... That's really good. I don't know what how thick that is. Anyway, let's give you some ideas of how to create some scenes. Now, I've done a lot of fussy cut, and I did... It's not what my proper demo is, but I want to... Because I'm with time, I want to show you as many stamps as I possibly can. So we're on one of these um, lovely scenes that we've got here. And taking into account the log, and we are going to stamp the log in a moment, we can have the log on a scene here. We could bring in our little um, border so the log doesn't look like it's actually in the middle of nowhere. And then we can put things on it. We could have Ollie on it. I call him Ollie, he's Oliver. We can have Oliver on it and then we can have kind of, uh, I don't know, uh, we, can, we could bring in a flying owl up there but we've already got owls in there so we could perhaps bring in the happy moon and the happy moon could go up there. So you've got your acetate so you can see that you can build yourself a scene. So that in itself, let's move it up a bit. I love that and that's really clever because like you say you can kind of get an idea. You can get an are. idea of, of how you're going to have, actually fussy cutting some out is, is a really good idea. So, but we can also have, Oliver can also stand, let's have it this way, on the end of the log. So it totally changes the so look. So he could actually stand on the end yeah. of the log. And to, to me, you don't actually need anything else on that card. No. You could perhaps put a little bit of foliage down here if you wanted to. Um, or you could even have uh, this, this little, if you, if you had him over this side rather than that side, let's put him there like that. You could have this little hedgehog thinking, Oh, I want to get up there. Please, <laughs> please let me up there. Oh, it does look <laughs> you can get really little stories out of it. <laughs> but you can also have, um, that again, with, with the logs here, you can also have... That's a good point because it's a good length to go across the width. It yeah. is to go... So, so, so Azalea is uh, there. And uh, what did I do with that little hedgehog? There he is. And, and in fact, we're going to stamp something like this. So she could be talking to the hedgehog that's coming oh. along there like that. Or again, we could have... Um, uh, Torbic, he could be coming along, and You're he's so got. You're so clever at remembering all the names. He's got. Uh, I'm trying my best. Um, oh, he's, oh, he he's looks got like a little push chair. He, yeah, he's got a little push chair. So, so you know, he could be doing that. So you've got loads and loads of things that you can do. You can also put, like you saw on one of the samples, you can cut some of the log bits off and put some of the logs so that they're actually oh, coming that's out of they the did it. Out of there as well. So you know, there's lots and lots of fun to have. You know, Clever. by fussy cutting and, and, you know, laying them on. But we're going to do a mix of cu fussy cutting and stamping right now. Wonderful. Julie, just to give you a quick time check, we've got a little over nine minutes. Yeah, I know, I know we haven't got that long, unfortunately, but have, never mind. Have it's we got similar stamps coming up at nine o'clock tonight? We've got the same show, yes, okay. coming up later on. Um, so let's stamp this, these logs here and we'll pop these on here. Like that. Stamp it off the edge like that, okay? And then we're going to stamp this in black. You can see where every time I've stamped something, it's stamped really, really well. Um, so detail this because you kind of get the, the grain of the, the bark yeah. as well. In so this. so yeah. you can colour it in if you want to, uh, which I've tended to do. Um, it's, this isn't watercolour card, mm -hmm. so... Um, I would, if you want to do a watercolour, I would actually mix your watercolour on your mat first of all okay. before you go to it. Um, certainly the watercolour brush pens from Sentiment are yours will go on there, but uh, neat rather than uh, watercoloured. And I'm guessing you could take inspiration from the backdrops to try and yeah. create um, or replicate similar sort of ideas where you've kind of got that spotlight area. Absolutely. So this is going to go in here like that. Oh, lovely. Okay, 3D'd. And I've already got Azalea stamped and she's going to go on there and she's got a bit of glitter on her, on her uh, fairy wings and I've just coloured her hair in. And then we are going to stamp the little um, hedgehog. Let's 
file all those on that acrylic block for now. So you've got, you've got three different uh, hedgehogs. So they look like they've fallen out in the packaging. It just looks like somebody's... A, yeah, you know, this is more thinking, them. right, I've had enough of you. <laughs> That's homeschooling <laughs> for you. It is homeschooling enough. for you. But, of course, <laughs> you can actually turn them around so that the, these little chappies are actually facing her. So, yeah. Um, yeah. I did think that to begin with. So we're going to just stamp the little one up here. So you can do it completely, the thing is with these, you can do it completely flat if you want to, mm -hmm. or you can add a little bit of interest to it. And I know it's only a little stamp, but it, it just is, is, is like an insurance thing, doing it on your platform, just yeah. in case. I think I've done him nose diving. He's found a grub. He has found a grub, yeah. He's be found, yeah, a little grub. He's having a bit of lunch. And up here, so up here we can we can have the flying owl, which I really, really like. That's a lovely stamp. It is a yeah. beautiful stamp, so we're gonna have that up here. Okay, so you reckon that's a nice one. If you've got any verse stamps or um, kind of meaningful stamps, it's, it's quite often a bird in flight is a really nice stamp to support. It. Yeah, or fly free yes, or you know yeah. yeah. So but um uh, like I say, Leone's stickers, I've used them a lot and they, they, I think they work really, really well because they're, they're, so, some of them are kind of mindful kind of sentiments. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, some of the ones that Kay, Kay had on yesterday, actually, with the um, a Asia, is it? The, I think that's the name, design, designer's name. Um, there were some quite nice sentiments in there. Oh, okay. Um, we can go back and rewind those. Yeah. yeah, there's loads on Hochanda, actually that are really good and suitable for it. That's something we don't have with fairy hogs. We don't have sentiments. So, so again, like I say, oh, I'm not, not going to stick this down because I want to show you something else as well. So I would just stick that down like that and then pick a, put a sentiment on and mat it and layer it onto uh, black card and it would be like... <laughs> similar to That's that. That's very graceful move. I know, I know, not <laughs> at all. It would be similar, but I've used the moon there. Okay, so you get something similar to that. Fabulous. Okay. I've had um, an email in from somebody asking about the ink pads. What type of ink pad you've been using? I'm using Versa Fine separate. Claire. Yeah. Versa yeah. Fine Claire, yeah. Okay. Fine so, um, yes, yeah, so this is actually, I wanted to show you this as well from earlier. This is a scene that I created with um, in the Facebook Live. Oh, so, if okay. you go onto my Julie Watts Crafts page, uh, on Facebook, you'll see me creating this because I don't think we're going to have time to do that in okay. this hour. Um, I've had a question as well asking about using the stamps on fabric, and I'm guessing you can as long as you've got the right ink. You just need the right mm -hmm. ink. The Versa Craft is a very good one if you want to wash it. Um, so, yeah. Good question. As long as it's heat set, you'll be absolutely fine. So let's go and let's use this one. Now I wanted to show you that uh, you can actually cut these down. So if you don't want to go for the full length, which is eight and a half inches, mm -hmm. if you go to about there, it's about seven inches. Okay. So you can make a smaller card if you want to, or of course you can have your foliage coming down. Now a super, 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 super quick and easy card to create is uh, with a Takara. They're so beautiful, these little fairies. They really are, they really are. So she can go down here, and we're, we're having her off. And I did do a similar thing in Facebook Live today. Okay. And again, we're going to stamp her. I'm trying to get through as many stamps as I can. And which stamp did you say you This is Takara. Oh, there you go. I'd be quicker if I didn't make such a mess. <laughs> That's Honestly. Okay. But hopefully you can see how quick you can actually create something. Don't take long at all. No, do don't they? take long. Yeah. You've got your background made already. And also it shows that, I mean, many of our, our viewers may have just started crafting, so they might not have a whole host of different colours at their disposal. I mean, this is just showing you that simply having your card to create your card base and the cards obviously with the moons and just a black ink pad... And You're good. The results, yeah. You don't need lots of you different. Don't need a lot of Because with silhouettes, it, the, the default usually is black anyway. Yeah. Um, but look at the detail in the the wings there. Yeah, and the little it's incredible, isn't around, it? She's yeah. really beautiful. So that's Takara. So instead of using the Starburst, which I've used already, we're going to use the Fireflies. Oh, they're cute. Which I've put somewhere. Where did I put them? Uh, I'm very lucky. I've got all these stamps. There they are. 
So I thought that well, what we could do is have them flying away from her. Oh. So she's so just she's let give, them go. She's given them a secret and they're, they're taking yeah, it away. Yeah, she's just let her. them go so we can stamp them so that they're kind of flying away. Put that down there. You can have that up there like that maybe. That one's gone a bit further. That one's that one's a, a real escape artist. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's got he's got lots of information to share with all the other fireflies in the <laughs> Firefly Kingdom. Could be like the fairy communication system, couldn't it? Could be, could be. Flying off to the next little forest. Yeah. Saying send pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and then we can bring in, because we've got, we've probably got space, to bring in the moon. Put all on <laughs> I forgot we've actually got a pizza show tomorrow. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I was a, looking at that. On a Saturday afternoon, um, two o'clock, we regularly have um, kind of like a, a session in our kitchen, all sorts of different styles. And uh, tomorrow we've got a brand new supplier to us here, um, and it's all about making pizzas. And I've actually used um, the kits that they're bringing, and they are fabulous pizzas. Yeah, so I asked you Paola said she'd used them, oh, and she liked them too. Of course, if you're looking for a vegan option, they can help you with that. Is, is, is dough just vegan anyway, isn't it? Isn't Sorry? it? Isn't dough vegan anyway, I don't the pizza know. dough? I don't know, Leona would tell you. Apparently not always. Oh, right. I suppose it depends on what you're mixing in with it, I suppose, isn't it? The flour, the flour would be okay, but yeah. it's... I don't know. So we've got the happy moon here as well, because the happy moon's quite happy that these fireflies have been let go, you know? Oh my goodness, we've only got a minute left, Julia. Where did so, that go? So, so all I would do there is actually on this one, I would probably chop it down to seven inches. Okay. And I'd, I'd, I'd probably base her a little bit with a little bit of um, watercolour or something yes. to, you know, in that colour, and add a little bit of glitter. Beautiful. But you can see how quick and easy that was to create. Yeah. And effective as well. And like effective, you say, yeah. And it's all in the stamps yeah. and the background paper. Covered. <laughs> Julia, thank you so much. So there you go. I mean, Julia's shown us um, three fabulous examples of working with those stamps, making it very achievable. And I think that's the key thing. When you've got stamps of this quality and the design quality as well, then everything else is so easy. Don't forget to add in those papers. They were key with the demonstration and they're going to make life so much easier for you. Julia, we'll see you a little later on. Nine, Nine o'clock, yes. Fabulous. Yes. Look forward to it. If you've got anything in your basket, especially if it's those papers or the fabulous fairy with the little swirl, you need to be checking out your basket. I will see you a little bit later on. So it's six o'clock and it's one day special time. Make sure you stay tuned. It's all in Create and it is fabulous. Then we've got the lovely Quilters Trading Post before I come back with the one day special at eight. you heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Hachanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a Chanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away, or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888, and join her Chanda Freedom today. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we're honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Emma. And I'm Pam. And we're from Quilters Trading Post. We've been open since 2007, so we're coming up to 10 years now. 
we started our business um, in Cambridge really with a long arm quilting machine. We decided we wanted to make a proper business of it, so we bought a shop in this area. We soon grew out of that because we became successful and we bought a school and now we're in the school. We have four parts to our business. We have the quilting service, we run workshops, we sell patchwork and quilting threads, fabrics and notions, and we do patterns and books. That's our newest thing and our favourite being our crafters carry-on. We've really enjoyed being on Hachanda. It's um, made us famous, really. We've got lots of people who now come into the shop and tell us that they've seen us, and that they've enjoyed the demonstrations, and they've watched us over and over again. Make sure you don't miss our shows here on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly and we're really excited to still be working with you guys here on Hachanda. We were there from the very, very beginning and we're still bringing you lots of really exciting soft crafts. We design and manufacture all of our kits and all of our fabrics here in the UK and we love bringing them to you. So if you're an experienced sewer or you're just starting out in soft crafts and sewing, join us. There's tips and fabrics for everybody. Make sure you don't miss our shows and come and craft yourself silly on Hajanda. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dyes that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders. We have decorative dyes, we have colouring daubers, we have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping moulds, where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers, which are absolutely stunning. So I hope you can join Heartfelt Creations here on the channel. Happy Friday evening everyone and welcome to what is a one day special hour but actually things are a little bit different this weekend because we are doing a not just a monthly mega deal but a mega monthly mega deal situation with All and Create. So what we've done is that All and Create are on right the way across the weekend of course. Abs has been uh, here already today as well. Uh, we've got Tracy with us in this show as well which is going to be absolutely brilliant but there is from All and Create there are kind of it's kind of two lots of one day special plus lots of other wonderfulness that will fe be featured over the weekend all in one enormous mega monthly mega deal. Now I have to tell you it's already been very very popular it was launched with it was Yanis this morning this afternoon sometime earlier today and already things have gone a little bit crazy and I'm not surprised because when you see the plethora of what is available in your mega monthly mega deal which is not easy to say uh, but we'll be saying it all weekend I'm sure um, you have got the biggest savings um, in this uh, massive huge array um, which includes free gifts and all sorts as well but Let's talk about our focus for this hour because one of the very, very talented artists that work with All and Create is Tracy Evans. And it's lovely always to meet a legend. So let's go live to Tracy right now, wherever you are right now. Tracy, good evening. How are you? Good evening, Derek. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good, good. Where I'm are we talking excited. to you from? Where are you? I'm actually in Crewe, Cheshire. Oh, lovely. Good up north. Right, you ready for some... Uh, for some fun for the next hour then? 
yes, I'm really excited and I've made sure that I'm dressed and my hair's washed for the first time in months. <laughs> Everything looks brilliant. <laughs> now, of course, we love your illustrations. We've seen your, your artwork with All and Create many, many, many times um, uh, recently, I know. Um, it's great. I love the character that you put into all of your artwork as well. We'll, we'll have a look at it, some of it, straight away, shall we? Because um, it, it's just beautiful. It's full of imagination. It's full of breadth and dimension as well. I always love an alphabet, I have to say. So the first item we're just going to show you right now, uh, which, of course, is in your mega monthly mega deal as well, um, is this three set of stamps here, which are absolutely adorable. So we've got the pheasant, which we're focusing on tonight, and we also have the snippet alphabet. I'm a lover of an alphabet, and I love this one. It's really, really good. And we've also got your heart grunge as well. Now, heart grunge really encapsulates what All and Create is all about, uh, really, doesn't it? Tracy, because um, it, it's kind of that that conglomeration of chaos and wonderfulness. It's just full of a little bit of everything, isn't it? And I think that's what I like most is the fact that you've got that collage style, which is predominantly what All and Create are about, is a collage style. And to this time around, I've tried to mix things up a little bit by offering the collage style, but off also offering some quirky characters that go with the background stamps and that heart stamp we always say that stamp sets are versatile we do band that word around quite a bit True. but for me i think i think it's really important that every stamp is versatile and works with the older releases as well well if you look at that elongated heart i mean there's so many elements it kind of fires your imagination in so many different uh, uh, directions doesn't it there's kind of like test tubes in there and feathers and bingo numbers and postal elements there's kind of there's kind of all worlds colliding in that heart isn't there <laughs> i think that's me all over uh, try and cram in as much as possible but still have some style about it so it's great to have a collage and mixed media style but I like it to have a clean edge. I don't like it to be too cluttered. I do like there to be some open space so that you can develop that style as well. I absolutely love it. Um, I've got some news for you already. Now, this is the first monthly mega deal. So these three sets of stamps here for you are this monthly mega deal where you make a four pound saving. What I would say, everyone, is just hold off and watch everything um, progress in terms of savings as well because you might be changing your mind a few times um, in this hour as well because already stock wise where did you say Katie we were already okay approaching a fifth of the stock has already sold out and gone 666616 is the item number for that um, an alphabet set of stamps is always, always so, so wanted and loved and brilliant. Now, just bear in mind that £4 saving and keep it in your mind for a moment as we look at another bundle of Tracy's artwork here. Um, and, and this is lovely. This is like... This is like taking a little journey into Tracy's mind here. The little characters that run <laughs> around in it, I think. Is it, Tracy? <laughs> Yes, I am slightly quirky. I am known as the quirky queen. Um, but what, what I wanted to do with these characters is I wanted to show that you can have quirky characters and you can still do mixed media. You can still have cute quirky, but it doesn't necessarily have to just be done in a cute way. Yes. It, can still be developed, it can still be developed in a mixed media style. But I've also stopped trying to stay true to my style in adding little details in the characters' bodies. And I think it's also, again, important to let the customers know that all of these stamps work beautifully with the older releases. I never want to bring a new stamp out that won't work with at least a few of the other older releases as well. Yeah. Uh, I, I think they're, they're brilliant as well. I, I think right now as well, where we're, we're all at home, just like you, Tracy, a lot of us are at home, a lot of us have got children to entertain and, you know, find different things to do as well. I think you've got something that can take every crafter at every level, at every age, on a bit of a journey with this set. I think it's really, really nice. And again, 
you're right, versatile is used an awful lot as a phrase, but it really, really does count with here. You can see the character, but it's not so much character that you can't add your own individuality into it as well. With the all and create stamps and stencils that you might already have, or you might be adding in the mega monthly mega deal. We'll come back to that in a moment. Now, um, Tracy, I'm going to let you set up for your first demo as we go through everything else. There's quite a few numbers and bits and pieces for us to go through, and then we'll be back over with you um, in just a second. So if you want that set of stamps there, uh, the quirky friends, up, up and away, and the happy dog. It's 21 stamps in total there. Loads you can do with those as well. £31.97 there. 579309. They're all ready busy. I'm not surprised at all. Now, if you want these and these, because you've thought, OK, you've got that that FOMO already, and you want all of Tracy's pieces in one. So you've got great backgrounds there. You've got the ability to personalise with the text. You've got those amazing pheasants there and all the elements in that stamp set, plus all of these up here. We've got a bundle for that as well. Now, that's got freedom saving on it as well, which is brilliant. So on that, if you're a freedom member, uh, you're saving even more, which is brilliant. So it is £78.94, or if you're a freedom member, £71.05. And, and that means it's saving you £10.89. And <laughs> I've got to take this one first. It's just the cutest thing, isn't it? This is brilliant. This is taking one of the little creatures on a little balloon flight. And you see, just that script and the little elements that Tracy um, uh, added into the balloon there has just given, I mean, that is quite some adventure going on. You can feel the wind going through there, can't you, as well? Oh, and look, there's a... Oh, actually, it might be missing a little element. Oh, I tell you what, that should have been part of that, shouldn't it? Sorry, one's come away from the other. Because this has been made as a penny spinner. Um, so if I put him back on there and put that up there, then, oh, actually, I'm going to need to get... I'll fix that. I'll do a repair job on that, and I'll show you it again a little bit later on. Um, and we'll bring it back to you. Uh, in the meantime, look, you've got the little, uh, you've got the little creature there, the little dog there, um, using the um, using the script as well, which I think is lovely. Look, aren't they cute? Now you know that you've got the three pound saving that you've got here. That has that's the three pound saving that's carried over from that four pounds from the other one as well. So overall, you're making a £7 saving um, if you're doing um, this bundle here, because of course it's the two sets. So you've got the £3 saving on one and the £4 saving on the other. Keep up with me, but you don't need to, because actually the big savings come in the mega monthly mega deal. But if you want those two together, that's the item number you need. 405819. Right. Shall we get to the main attraction, which is basically no FOMO here whatsoever, because you are going to get all of the collections that you see here from All and Create, which is one of the biggest bumper bundles of stamping wondrousness you could ever wish for. And if you've got anything All and Create, you just know how well, if you take a little peruse through any of those stamp sets that you like, you know that anything All and Create that you have right now, any of the stencils, any of the stamp sets already, because they're so full of script and life and animation and breadth and possibility, then you will definitely, definitely want this. Now, this is a culmination of what will be a one-day special at the end of the weekend, what we're featuring tonight with Tracy, uh, a weekend wow, and also there's free gifts in this. So this is the mega monthly mega deal. You're getting 146 stamps in total here, which is just bonkers and mad and lovely and brilliant. And, the, and again, the other thing about this is, is it is broken down as well. If you're a, a Freedom member, you get this as three flexes as well, which is really, really good. So that £15 saving is there. You've got all of the other savings that are carried over. So overall, the actual saving is around about £35, which is brilliant. Um, free gifts over here, which is £25 worth of free gifts. So it's two stamp sets and a washi tape there as well, which is really, really awesome. Um, I love it. I love these. I think the shapes on those are just 
beautiful, aren't they? Because they're almost a little bit floral. They're almost a little bit lifeboat. They're almost a little bit, little bit mint that we used to enjoy that's still around these days with the hole in the middle. There's hearts in there. It takes your imagination, doesn't it, in so many different directions. Now, there are lots and lots of you with this in your basket already tonight, and I am not surprised. Can I just reiterate that what we've got here as the mega monthly mega deal collection here if you're a freedom member of course you can break that down into three flexies so your first flexi on this one i'll bring you the details of that so it brings the price down straight away to 160 pounds and five which is brilliant and you can break that down into three flexies of 53.35 so if you're not a freedom member and you want all of this right now it's a why not. It's a definitely a why not. It's definitely, OK, become a Freedom member to save your postage for the rest of the month and also the ability to break this down into three flexes. The first of which, today, which gets this dispatched to you, um, is 53.35 and your PMP, and we send it out to you. That's it. It's yours to start playing with, to start discovering, to start enjoying as well. 728596. Now, remember, this is a monthly mega deal. So this theoretically is available for a month now that is down to you really because it's all about stock and stock wise on the mega monthly mega deal already half of the stock has sold out and gone now I think if I'm right in saying we're all in creates first hour today was that midday or was it an earlier one 10 o'clock this morning so since 10 o'clock this morning when it first launched in fact Pretty much within a minute and a half, I saw with um, with uh, one of the shows earlier, we were talking 10 or 20% of the, I think it may have been the midday show actually, but um, 10 or 20% of the stock had already gone by then. Now we're talking about half of the stock sold out and gone. All in creator with us all weekend. Pardon the pun. Don't pardon the pun, actually. They are. They're here the whole weekend. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. I mean, we're meant to be talking a month. We're meant to be talking a month's worth of stock here. When you see the breadth and depth of everything, and this is kind of like all in create, all in, all in one gorgeous, gorgeous bundle there for you. And there will be more monthly mega deals as well. This is the first one of 2021. It's fabulous. Now, remember, you can break down the individual collections that you're seeing right now. You can break them down and you can buy them individually as well. So if there's something you've just got your eye on, you just want that, you can go to the website. In fact, we'll go to the website and go and have a little flick through, shall we? So you can see um, the stamp sets, <coughs> excuse me, are included. The washi tape is on its own. Um, again, you can break down those larger stamp sets like the Snippet Alphabet. You can buy that individually if you want to as well. But of course, the biggest value and the biggest savings, and they are massive savings, is in that monthly mega mega monthly mega deal yes right to get that the right way around so it's 177 pounds and 83 pence now we've also got some pick and mixes on the show tonight for you as well in fact there's a huge array and if i was to go through them i'd be here until about nine o'clock because because they are awesome and massive so this is your all and create weekend ready to just go in and just it's a bit like your well a pick and mix is definitely the term isn't it and go in and delve into absolutely everything that you want to it's going to be such and such a busy hour as well so do get your orders in because remember if you're getting the mega monthly mega deal then you can sit back relax and just watch the rest of the whole of the weekend and get all of the inspiration as this collection comes out to you but anyway listen let us go back up to staffordshire and back to tracy the lady herself who created this artwork that we're focusing on um in this hour um and see what we're going to do and you've got some examples there i think tracy to show us have you well, I think as well, as a designer, Derek, I think it's important that I also show um, the viewers how the designer of the products is inspired. So uh, if you don't mind, if it's OK for a couple of minutes, I was just going to show four samples because my samples are completely different to the design team samples. Yeah, it's all yours, so Tracy. I, I oh, brilliant. Thank you. So what I'm going to do over the next 24 hours is I'm going to... Uh, create the sample that is here in front of me and it's actually an accordion and in the accordion I'm going to use all the stamps that I've designed uh, for the one day special and the mega bundle so I'll be using all the stamp sets now what I've tried to do is I've tried to use a minimal color palette because for 24 hours I want it to be about the stamps 
I don't want it to be about too many other products. I want to show how the stamps can actually sing and can actually work on their own with minimal product. So we're going to be creating that over the 24 hours. So I will start with that shortly. But just for a couple of seconds, I just want to show uh, a 3D project. Oh, wow. Because so sometimes we're always thinking about cards or journal pages or, and I just want to show that stamp sets can also be used in 3D projects. And I think it's important to show that, that they are versatile in that you don't just have to use them for card projects. So we'll just move that out the way. Tracy, I'm loving your camera gonna... work. Do you want a job? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying my best. Brilliant. <laughs> so also here, what my idea was with the mouse is that it reminded me of the nursery rhymes. And that's what the clock struck one means here. So the idea is that with these quirky characters, that you can take them in a mixed media approach. Yeah. You don't have to just think of quirky characters as being cute. They can also be vintage, and you can also use them with all your background stamps as well. So that just shows that. And I won't keep you too long with the samples. Just one more sample, just to show that the pheasant, again, can also be used in a mixed media project. That's awesome. Just so that you can see that we've used all the stamp sets and it doesn't just have to be about cards. So we'll get on to the demos. And what I want to do first is I want to use the alphabet, which I absolutely love. I love the fact that it's a random alphabet and you can use it as a whole as a background or individually because each stamp is individual yeah. and I'm also going to be using the pheasant stamp set so I'm really pleased with how they've, they've turned out they're always better in real life than when you're actually designing them yeah but I also think that as, as a designer you also need to see what you're spending your money on and the pheasant stamp I just thought it was important because you can't see it on the stamp sets these little elements here are also you can use on their own. You don't have to just use them with this stamp set. These elements can be used individually. The same again with the P. You can use them with my older stamp sets. It doesn't just have to be with this stamp set. So for instance, the pheasant can go with a lot of the flower stamps that I've bought out as well. Yeah. Love so it. we'll get onto a demo, which is the reason why we're here. So what I've got here is I've got a piece of white card. It's white, smooth card, and it's four and a half inches in width by six and a half inches in length. And what I have here is just a circle die cut out of copier paper. Nothing special, just out of copier paper. And I'm going to take the alphabet stamp sets and I'm going to use greens. Abs will, will be very proud of me using greens. So it's one of his favorite <laughs> colors, so he will be proud of me. <laughs> so I'm actually going to use this stamp set as a whole, because a lot of the time we always think, well, we'll just pull each individual letter out and we'll stamp an individual word. Mm -hmm. It doesn't just have to be used like that. You can use it as a whole stamp set. Just make sure you can see me in camera. Yes, yeah, you can. Yeah, perfect. So, I'm just using a VersaFine Claire Verdant. And the Verdant is a, an ink pad with a really good open time. So that means that it stays wetter longer. And it's, the VersaFine Claire is really good for these all and create detailed stamps. So I'm actually inking the whole alphabet because I don't want to miss a part of the alphabet. And what oh, I'm going to really do is I'm going to do- stamp set in our lives. I just love this stamp set. It's one of them stamp sets that I just, I, I love alphabets. I'm also using Shady Lane, and I always want to say Shady Lady, and I, it's Shady Lane. <laughs> so <laughs> maybe I'm a bit of a, maybe I'm a bit of a Shady Lady in this. <laughs> You've been in lockdown too long, Tracy. <laughs> oh yeah, I've been in lockdown far too long, I can tell you. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lift this stamp set up. And as you can see, I'm not using an acrylic block. I'm actually using it as is. So you can judge exactly where you want to put that. And I'm just going to place this here like so. Now, the reason I'm not using an acrylic block on this occasion 
is one, to show you how simple the stamps are, to show you the quality of the stamps, but also because I'm going for a random effect. I don't necessarily have to have perfection. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if you miss a little bit because that's what the background looks like. So as we lift the stamp up, you can see we've got a beautiful background and you've also got an extra piece that you can use another time for another project. Yeah. So absolutely perfect. So I'm just going to wipe my area just so that we don't get in a complete mess. So I'll just lift that up just so that you can see the lovely detail in the stamp set. And you've got numbers and you've got the whole alphabet. So that's perfect. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the aperture, which is from the same die cut piece, and I'm just going to place that over the circle that we've created, the spotlight. Mm -hmm. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a Distress Oxide Twisted Citroen. Now, I don't want to add too much colour. So what you need to do is you need to make sure that your ink blending tool is primed with enough ink. Don't be in too much of a rush to, to not have enough ink on your, on your tool uh -huh. because then you will not be able to get a decent blend. But on this occasion, I'm going for a dabbing motion. I'm not going for a blending. I'm going for a dab. So if I go out of camera, please mention to me, Derek, yeah, just no, so you're, that I keep everybody. Yeah, absolutely perfect. I'm Brilliant. loving it. Um, you've stunned me into silence and I don't shut up off often, so <laughs> I'm just enjoying the show. <laughs> it's not often I get stunned into silence, Derek, I can tell you. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the pheasant stamp. Now, I absolutely love the pheasant. One of my uh, lovely followers, who is now a friend, asked if I would produce a pheasant stamp. And because I've already got bird stamps in the range, I thought, mm -hmm. why not? And I had to add a few quirky bits because the actual collar will go under the pheasant and the hat ah, will go on top of the pheasant. Brilliant. So you've got accessories. But think outside the box. If you don't want to use the hat and the collar on the pheasant, yeah. you could use them on their own as a masculine card. Yeah. So what I'm going to do now, again... This, because I've got this aperture, I've actually got a bit of a lip here. When you've got your card, because of that piece of paper, even though it's thin, there is a little bit of a lip. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the pheasant stamp as is. I'm not going to use it with an acrylic block. So I think also what we should also show, Derek, about the stamps. Mm. The stamps are actually made. The stamps are actually made in the UK. And I think one thing that we should, that we don't often look at, is the thickness of the stamp, the actual quality of the polymer. The polymer is absolutely fantastic, and that means that you can you can use your stamps with your hot enamel um, techniques. So if you've got those hot enamel techniques, you won't do your stamp any harm at all. Oh, that's good to know, isn't so, it? Yeah, because you need that quality in the polymer to be able to use it with those heat techniques. Yeah. For those techniques where you're using molten, things like your hot glue gun, mm -hmm. hot powders, mm -hmm. it won't affect your stamps at all. Brilliant. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use Morning Mist Versafine Clay. And again, mainly because I've got that lip on this circular aperture, I'm using the stamp as is but I'm not using the whole image. I'm just using part of it. Because just because you've got a whole image doesn't mean you have to use the whole image every single time. The only thing you need to remember when you're stamping anything is to make sure you're not in too much of a rush. Make sure that you've got a good layer of ink, especially if your stamp sets are brand new. If you've got a brand new stamp set, please make sure that you use a good layer of ink. So, and I've got a small desk here, so every time I put something down, it's frantically looking for it. Just move that sample out of the way. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the pheasant, and I can judge in this aperture exactly where I want that pheasant. And 
again, I only want part of the image, so I don't have to have the whole thing. So I can just press, and if you want to use an acrylic block, you can, but when you're stamping into an aperture, I wouldn't recommend an acrylic block for that technique, just because of that lip around the aperture. You need to press where that aperture is, just to make sure that you've got the whole image. And if I just lift to check, yes. And if I remove that aperture, you can see that we've got a lovely stamp set. And can you see Brilliant. the detail in that pheasant? That pheasant is just, even if I say so myself, I just think, I think he's a handsome fella. So I love him. I love I love pheasants because actually I always I always personally I always regard them as comedy characters because I live up in North Yorkshire and when you're driving down lanes and whatever you know they do that kind of like like they're an it's a knockout character that they're like oh which way do I go I'm not really quite sure where to go and then eventually they get out of the way but I find them quite funny I really do there's comedy in them for me but they're also they're quite a commanding kind of um, bird as well aren't they yeah and quite sort of statuesque yeah but they're a bit like they're a bit like me actually Derek with the comedy <laughs> thing because that's what I'm like just before an Achanda show <laughs> just before an Achanda show I'm sort of flitting all over the place yeah so I'm exactly the same yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it. what I've got here is what I want to show is yeah. with the stamp sets sometimes we just think about the whole thing sometimes it's nice to think about how to break down that design so what I've got here is I've got a smaller circle die cut circle if you don't have any dies in your collection just draw around a lid and that's absolutely fine and what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to take the stamp set and I'm going to take a black ink pad this time not to in black and I'm just going to ink that stamp and I'm just going to ink the central area with that black ink and I'm going to place the circle onto the part of the pheasant. And it always makes lining up a little bit easier. So now you've got part of the image. So in a way, you could also have a card where you're just using that as a background. Nobody even yep. knows that's a pheasant. You yep. can just use that as a background. And if you wanted, you could even use that with some string as a balloon to go with the characters. Ah, so it's yeah. just thinking yeah. outside the box. <laughs> so it's just thinking how far your products can take you. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add this to my pheasant. And you just have to line it up generally, just so you get the idea. And I will hold it up when I've got everything lined up, just so that you can see that for definite. And that's what I call a spotlight. It's spotlighting different areas on your image. So what I want to do is I want to take that a little bit further. So I've got a heart shape, which I just drew. So I've just drawn a heart shape. Mm -hmm. Or you could even use the hearts from the stamp set and draw around them. No problem at all. And what I'm going to do this time is take the pheasant image once again. And I'm going to just wipe my stamp set just because I don't clean my stamps normally but because I'm going from black to green I just want to make sure I don't contaminate so I'll just make sure that we've got that green lifted that black lifted what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the verdant ink once more and I'm going to ink the pheasant now if you wanted you could have the pheasant all in green nobody says that the pheasant has to be in black it can be in green, it can be in turquoise, whatever you want. And I'm just going to use some of that shady lady. And then I'm just going to add a bit of the stamped image just to the heart. That green's fantastic, isn't it? It might be, um, you know, normally some outside of someone's um, comfort zone colour wise. Um, but you look at it in that context and you think, why have I never used that ink before? I know. I mean, isn't it a gorgeous mm. colour? I Lovely. just love the colour. Nice grubby hands, but nice, you know, <laughs> nice colour. <laughs> I've always got grubby hands. That's the only problem. Really <laughs> grubby hands. So we'll just give those a wipe. So what I'm going to do now is create a second layered spotlight just to give the stamp a little bit more interest. So just create a second layered spotlight. Ah. Just add it over the top. Oh, just like that. so. 
just so it stands out a little bit more. And what you can do now is you can press it down because you've decided exactly where it's going. Don't press your artwork down until you've decided where it's going because then you've got a little bit more manoeuvre time. Yeah. But also, we want to sort of make sure that pops a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little bit of shading just around this circle here. I will lift it up on the camera because you probably won't be able to see with me being on the desk and with it being quite dark in the room, so you might not see the shading. But it is important that you add that shading because it does make everything pop. So Tracy, if you're, doing a, if you're doing a spotlight like that, do you always start with a circle first and then you can put any shape above it? Or can it be any combination of shapes that you use no, to spotlight? it can be. So if you've got, for instance, if you think outside the box, if you've got the all and create hexagons or the all and create triangular stencil, yep. you can start with those shapes and you could use those stencils to create a different spotlight. If you want to be inspired by the demos, you could take them in a different way by doing a different spotlight, just to make it look a bit different with different shapes. But if I hold this up, just so that you can see, there's a little pop of shading just around yeah. the circle. So that just lifts it up, doesn't it, completely? Yeah, it just makes it look a bit more 3D. Now, what we can do is we can do a little bit more to this. We can give it a little bit more work. So what we're going to do is we're going to add this pop of black, just because you've got this black here and you don't want it you don't want it just left like that because it doesn't look like you've put any thought into it because you've got the black here you don't want it to look like you've just plonked it down on the card you want it to look like it's got some kind of design element and you want your stamps to be the main focus but you want them to you want them to sing you don't want them to look like you've just plonked it on a card and not thought about it you want to offer a quality card to whoever you're sending the card to. Now, what I want to do is I also want to use the twisted citron again. As you can see here, we've got the twisted citron in the aperture. Yeah. And I think what's important, what's important is when you're designing something is if you've got an element here, if you can, without it looking over cluttered, bring some of this element into the background. So I'm going to bring some of that twisted citron into the background. I'm just going to scrape direct to paper some of that ink. Oh, I love this. I wish we just had a four hour show, in. Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> You'd get bored of eating no, my No, no, absolutely never. <laughs> absolutely never. So much inspiration on this. So I'm, I'm going to have to give everyone some just... updates soon, but. Um, but you I'm, just I let me know this. when you need to do updates, Derek. I, I will I do in the next pause. couple of minutes if you want to just round no up this, this demo, although I never want it to end. No, nope. no problem. So I've just brought in the lime green into the background just so that it looks like it's more cohesive. Now, what I want to do is I want to add another little stamped element. And on your stamped images, on the pheasant, yeah. there's this little image here just here yes what is a collection of pheasants called tracy do you know I, do you know i actually don't know collection we'll, actually we'll, we'll look at say. it we'll look it up i'll get katie to look it up and then see if we can find out because there must be a collective mustn't there for pheasants oh there must be <laughs> and actually i'm ashamed to say that i don't know I should, well I should we'll all find out together book. every day's a school day exactly exactly it's cool so what, what i want katie? you to think do we know oh it's called a Nye, as in N-I-G-H. Really? N-Y-E, apparently. A Nye of pheasants. Who knew that, Tracy? Well, I... No, I didn't know that. Well, you learn something every day. Yeah. But if you, if you look at this, Derek, this yeah. part of the stamp set here, that in itself would make a card. Yeah. Just that on its own. You don't have to have everything just on one is that card. like a little musical so what, score that they're sitting on tracy it looks it looks a bit like a musical yes, it is. score is they're it just like a little musical it's score. awesome yeah. isn't it it's all that could almost be an album cover for beethoven couldn't it yeah but also i think what's important to point out is can you see these little details in the pheasant here yes it's it's meant to coordinate with the big pheasant because the big pheasant's got details in its body as well so all those details Love are it. thought about so just going to add this now okay 
what amazes me is how quickly the time goes. Yeah, oh, I always yeah. think I always think I'm going to have loads of time to do everything, oh, no. and it never works like that. No, Tracy, honestly, an, an hour on telly is like uh, ten minutes in reality. It's bizarre. Yeah, but I do Facebook Live, so I know exactly what know. it's like time-wise, but it just disappears. Listen, and so Tracy, just as do... you're working on that, do you mind if I just break away yeah. for a second and we'll come back and watch no. and watch whatever you've completed yeah. there, if that's all right. I just need to remind Absolutely. everyone um, what's, what the offer is here, because it's honestly, it's so awesome. Let me break it down, because we've got monthly mega deals, two monthly mega deals. So let's start with this one here, which is the three big stamp set. So we've got the pheasants that Tracy's just been working with, um, which are, you know, again, awesome. Just take that moment just to have a look at a little journey through. I did wonder whether that was like a tux collar, and it was. I didn't want to ask, because I didn't want to ask a silly question, but it absolutely was. Of course it was. It's Tracy's work. It's bonkers. It's a little bit quirky. It's a little bit bonkers. And that's what life should be like at the moment, shouldn't it? Um, it's beautiful. So you get that one. You also get the other two stamp sets as well, which is the Snippet Alphabet and the Heart Grunge as well. The Heart Grunge is just absolutely awesome. And then, sorry, Marcus, we, Marcus as I, I point at one thing and Marcus goes the other way and then, and then we're, we're, we're doing a push me pull me at the moment. Um, lovely, we have got a lovely rhythm. We just go completely the opposite ways at the same time. It's brilliant. Um, so there is the heart grunge. Again, that's brilliant. And again, it, that can be foreground, that can be background, that can be coordination with everything else that you've got in this. So if you want this monthly mega deal, that one is 49.97, which you can break down into two flexes as well. And you're saving four pounds on that. But of course, hold off to see the details on the mega monthly mega deal. Because we've got also from Tracy's amazing artwork, Tracy that we're um, working with in this hour, who's just awesome and amazing. I love her a bit. Uh, look at these. Look, just look at those. They are brilliant. So these are your quirky friends. Up, up and away. And happy dog. I don't know. Is we haven't. Got, oh, do you know that might be that might be one of the only ways to go on holiday at the moment as well. Hot air balloon. Or oh, is that allowed? Because you don't know where you're going to end up, don't you? Don't do that at home. Not that anybody will, but you know what I mean? That would be quite a nice way to just jet off at the moment, wouldn't it, if we were allowed? Um, but those quirky um, characters are just brilliant. And I love the different scaling on them as well, which is brilliant. Um, Gina has just dropped me an email um, saying, couldn't resist putting these in my basket. I, I, you know what? I completely understand it. If you want the three stamp sets then of the quirky characters, the up, up and away, quirky friends, I should say, and happy dog, it's £31.97. There is a, 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 that is brilliant. 579309 is your item number on that one. But again, hold off because that is all also part of the mega monthly oh no hang on let's do the Tracy Evans complete collection first sorry I'm jumping ahead of myself so that's all the three large stamp sets and the and the character stamp sets as well together because that's also uh, a bundle with an extra saving on it so there's an extra three pounds saving there uh, so that um, also incorporates the four pound saving that we had from the larger stamp set at the beginning you keeping up uh, 78 pounds and 94 pence of course that's uh, lower if you are a freedom member as well but almost um, I'm almost making those details more complicated than they need to be as well because ultimately I want you to join most people who are saying you know what I've got to have it all because you know we saw abs on the on the shows earlier on in the day with some of these other stamp sets here now we've got Tracy's we've also got Sunday's one day special um, which will be uh, these the, this monthly mega deal uh, down here as well and plus bear in mind that this mega monthly mega deal <laughs> <laughs> also comes with £25 worth of free gifts as well. So you've got an extra bonus two stamp sets and you can see the individual prices for those because they're on uh, the, the, the web as individual items. So you can do the totting up there and that's £25 worth. So it's these two gorgeous stamp sets here. So you've got the big um, heart and then you've got so many elements here plus the washi tape as well is included. Um, you can also split this down into um, three payments as well, which is even better. Um, so we've worked out, by the way, that if you are um, a Freedom member, we've totted up. Katie's been doing a lot of very complicated calculations in the background. And actually, tell me again, Katie, because I've forgotten. The, 
Right, so you've got your £35 saving that we know of overall if you're buying the Mega Deal. And with your freedom, it comes to £56.70. And then you get your free gift, which is a value of £25, of course. So that brings the total of your savings all together to £82 worth of savings. £82 worth of savings, and you get no FOMO because you've got the whole All and Create weekend here. This is your whole weekend of All and Create in one, all sorted. And your first of three, three flexes, £53.35 plus your PMP today, and we send it out to you. It's yours. It's yours to start playing with. It's yours to start creating with. Um, you're going to love it. And you are going to have a weekend full of resources remember, in terms of the shows to watch back from Abs and Tracy and uh, Leone and uh, like it's a just big weekend. You're going to have to have it a bit like a video library of all the shows. So you can come back for the inspiration as well. Um, I just love it all. I just, I just want it all. And actually, I, I just want I want a four hour show with Tracy right now rather than a one hour show. Um, it's brilliant. The whole collection. Every time you look at a different set, you see different inspiration. And can you see the way you can mix and match and bring everything together as well? Because there is no element of this that doesn't mix with everything else, which is absolutely awesome. So if you want your mega monthly mega deal, already half of the entire, and it's usually we're talking one day special, and this is a one day special hour, but this is monthly mega deals that we're, we're talking about. Stock that should be lasting a month, and already within half a day, half of the stock of that big entire bundle has gone. When you look at the size of the saving though, I mean, it's just awesome. And, and with free gifts as well. We love All and Create, you know we love All and Create. Um, and I know you love it as well. So let's do some more then, shall we? Should we go back to Tracy? Shall we, shall we, shall we? Let's go back to Staffordshire and find out how we're getting on. So what else did you add, Tracy? Okay, so what I've done now is I've made what I would call a cohesive design. So I've added the pheasants here below and I've spotlighted the pheasants oh, to yeah. coordinate with the centre here so yeah. that it looks like a proper design card. And then just at the top, I've done exactly the same with the pheasant, just so that you can see that it all ties in perfectly, just so that you can see that. And if I just place that down, you can see the whole card. Just so, and those metal elements just bring another quirky touch, which is what I like about creating cards. I now, obviously, love it. Sorry, I didn't create a card with mine. I created an accordion. As you can see, it's a complete accordion. You can't, ah. can't see the whole thing. Yeah. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to say that you can change it up. If you want this to be a canvas, it can be a canvas. If you want it to be a journal page, then it can be a journal page. <laughs> So, would you like me to go to the next demo that now, Derek? That spotlighting, by the way, is such a genius idea. I'm sure it's given lots and lots of people um, lots of ideas. Yes, please, let's start a new one then, shall we? No problem. Let's just do I just dump everything on the floor, so there's no room. <laughs> so, let's have a look at one of the quirky characters and how it works with the background stamp. So I think we're going to create that next. OK, I'm just going to give you some warning straight away, Tracy, that we, we've got 10 minutes on the show, so we might be need, need to be slightly swifter this time, just so that we don't run out oh, of time. 10 minutes? Sorry. For goodness sake. <laughs> you can do it, Tracy. I know you can do it. <laughs> so what I've got here is I've got the heart stamp set, the grunge heart, and I'm following the colour scheme all the way throughout. It's important to follow the colour scheme if you're creating an accordion, just so that it works beautiful. I'm using Shady Lady. And again, I'm not using an acrylic block because I want a vintage effect. I don't want something that necessarily has to be too perfect. It can be random if you wish. So it's entirely up to you. And I will be able to be a little bit quicker because I have cut the mouse out, so that is good. But just so that you can see that background, can you see the detail in that? Just oh, yeah, stunning. yeah, yeah. And I just love the torn edges. I love the fact that it's not straight. So just move that out of the way. 
Tracy, what can I just ask now? you, um, over lockdown and everything else, obviously the last year so far has been quite extraordinary for all of us. Does that make you more creative or do you just have your moments? I would say the first lockdown, I was actually more creative because yeah. I just wanted to get stuck in yeah. and not, not think sort about of dwell it. on lockdown. Yeah. Yeah. But in the second lockdown, I'm now ready. I need, need to get out of the house. Yeah, yeah. get so some new inspiration. I need, I, I, yes and yeah. it's i also need to i'm a big fan of gardening so yeah I, I spend a lot of time in the garden and that inspires me but because of the weather we're not even able to do that well at least so we're in plus temperatures shame. now aren't we again so that's a good sign oh mind you i only have to be something like 12 degrees with being a redhead and i can get sunburned so <laughs> it's not a problem <laughs> so what i'm doing here is i'm I'm using the Neuron stencil from Abs, um, and I'm just going to add another touch of layer to the background. I'm just using the Hickory Smoke Distress Oxide Ink, just to add a little bit of a detail through the stencil. And as I said at the beginning of my demos, this is about the stamp sets, not anything else. It's about how the stamp sets can sing. Yeah, it's making so them the star, isn't it? Yeah, the, the stamps are the stars this time around. And what I'm going to do is just grab a piece of card. Do you know, my desk was so tidy before I started this show. It's well, you know, we can only see a bit of it, Tracy. So, uh, you know, and, and that camera hides a multitude of sins, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, it's hiding loads. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stamp my little mouse. And again, just allow the ink to rest on the card, just to give it time, even with a small stamp, just so that it soaks into that card. And if you can see, the mouse, just like my other stamps, has got detail in the body. And it's got a little M for mouse. Now, the mice come to life when you colour them. Look at the difference when you actually colour the image. Oh, awesome. It makes a massive, a massive difference. They Do you give your characters names as well, Tracy? I haven't yet, but I'm bound to. The, the, way, the way the words that come out of my mouth, nothing would surprise me. <laughs> because I actually called, yesterday on a Facebook Live, I actually called my characters Squirky instead of Quirky. Oh, did you? <laughs> so <I'm> now, <laughs> they're known as Squirky characters now. Lovely. Oh, look, look, his little quizzical look as if he's looking to say, what on earth has she drawn this time? <laughs> exactly. That's exactly what it's thinking. <laughs> so, what, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add the mouse, let's not take over the space, to the background. Yeah. And we just want to make that mouse pop a little more. How am I doing for time, Derek? Uh, you've got another five-ish minutes, so you're, you're, you're fine. Maybe right. four, because I might need to do so, a quick reminder before we go. Yeah, no problem. So we can easily recap in the next show what we did anyway. It's not a problem. Yeah, because you're so back at eight o'clock with Hayley, aren't you? Yes, I'm on at eight o'clock. Now, again, just so that that mouse doesn't blend into the background too much, I won't do it all, but what you need to do is you need to go round with a black pencil. I won't do that now because it takes up too much time. And what you need to do then is we want to add another black spotlight, which is just two circular die cut pieces placed together and run through the die cutting machine, just so that you can get the frame. And what we can do then is we can frame the little mouse, just so that he's framed, just so that he pops a little bit more. And then what we can do is we've got the little... Um, Bless him. He, look, he again, looks like he's. Um, it looks like he's written his maths homework up on the wall, and he's like, "No, I still don't. I still don't understand it." <laughs> yeah, a bit like me. I never. I never understood maths homework. No. So. Yeah, me too. <laughs> that's why. That's why I'm artistic. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I'm stood here. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not an accountant. So on these stamp sets, you've also got two hearts, and I'm going to stamp this heart. And again, with the same colour palette, those greens. So I'm just going to stamp with those greens. Do you know, I'd use those hearts every colours. time I posted uh, a card to someone. I'd use that heart on the envelope. That You see, that's a lovely idea. You could put it on the back of the envelope. Yeah. And it's just a lovely touch. Also, remember to do the inside of your cards as well. 
but you can also see that the heart has got quite a bit of detail as well ah. and if i bring that in we've actually cut that out so we don't have to wait for tracy to do that mm -hmm. so i've cut a heart out and i'm going to add that heart here like so and again you would go round with a black pen just to make that pop a little bit more and obviously when you're at home you take a little bit more time just to, to work on your project you don't rush it like you do on live tv <laughs> but if you can spend the time just blending everything and making sure everything's stuck down properly you just get a professional finish just think it's important that you realize that when you when you're buying quality products you should get a quality finish and it means that your cards look a step above just being handmade look they're not that. just handmade they're a little bit more than that yeah yeah and then what you can do is there's a little sentiment on the mouse stamp set and it says friendship and the friendship sentiment coordinates with all the alphabets that i've done previously just so that you realize that there is thought that goes into the stamp sets so even the sentiment coordinates with everything else so we've got that friendship so there's our friendship sentiment just cut that out and your mouse can hold all the accessories that are actually on the stamp set as well so ah. it does work with everything that's on the stamp set and what you do then is we'll add this to the card so that it's holding the friendship word Oh, look. And then you can send this to a friend, especially in lockdown, if they're not feeling very, very bright. Yeah. You could send this to a friend. You and could then send this to a friend this... who, who knows things about facts and figures and say, come and help me with my uh, with my tax return <laughs> or my uh, <laughs> or whatever it might be. That's awesome. Um, Tracy, I'm going to have to leave you, I'm afraid, but um, no we, you can always come back in there, a, a recap, of course, because you're back with us at 8 o'clock. Can I say what an absolute am, joy... Yes to have you with us. I've really, really enjoyed it. And I know it's going to be another brilliant hour with you again um, at eight o'clock tonight. Lovely to work with you, Derek. Thank you. Thank you, Tracy. Oh, amazing. I wish the show was four hour long. Quick, very, very quick recap then. Um, so we've got, remember, the three large stamp sets. So the new pheasant, we've got the snippet alphabet and the heart grunge there, uh, which is really, really lovely. Very, very busy on its own there as a monthly mega deal. £49.97. That's saving £4. Then we've got the other set of Tracy's stamps as well uh, with the quirky friends, up, up and away and happy dog, um, 5793. 31 pounds and 97 pence you can put the two together so the complete tracy evans collection so that set and that set and the details are there 405 819 at 78 pounds and 94 pence uh, saving three pounds on its own but that incorporates the four pounds saving from that set into that set putting those together and don't forget the mega monthly mega deal which is so so popular that Half of the stock of the entire month has sold out and gone. It's not just a one day or a one week thing. This is a month thing. And within half a day, half of the stock has sold out. 728596, remember, has a freedom price and three flexies on it as well. My thanks to Tracy. Uh, she's back again in an hour's time, or in two hours, yes, an hour's time, uh, with Hayley with another one day special hour. Check out your baskets. Oh, and breathe again. Right, OK, next up. Oh, it's the it's the second half of the match of the year between Emma and Pam with Quilter's Trading Post. It's after the break. Make sure you're there. Tula Pink is a fabric designer, a quilter and an author. She works closely with Free Spirit Fabrics to develop multiple fabric collections every year and is best known for her dark sense of humour, a flair for hiding animals within her designs and her bold, unique use of colour and pattern. Join me on Hochanda where I will be bringing you a wide selection of wonderful fabrics at fantastic prices. Hi, I'm Matthew Palmer, a professional artist with the SAA, the UK's largest and friendliest art community. The SAA exists to inform, encourage and inspire all who want to paint, and that's exactly what you'll learn to do with me as your teacher. 
As a self-taught artist of 30 years ago, I know the challenges of a white piece of paper and learning how to paint. But with me, Achanda and the SAA, I'll show you how easy watercolour painting really is. I'm here on Achanda because I want to show you my watercolour painting techniques and I want to get you over that white paper fear and get you started and develop your watercolour painting. So whether you're a beginner or an advanced artist, I've got some fantastic watercolour techniques that will get you started and take you even further on your watercolour journey. So join me, Matthew Palmer, for my shows on Achanda. Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people will be too. Our kits are really easy and I hope they inspire you to have a go at stitching.